is down here. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, we're good. Now, Wild World for the DS, except I'm playing it on the Wii U because I'm a bad dude who doesn't give a shit about nothing. All right, let's do it, boys. So Wild World adds a decent amount of new bugs, specifically a lot of the bugs that spawn on coconut trees, like the Goliath Beetle, the Atlas Beetle, those all started in Wild World. And what's probably going to be worse than all of those is the Peacock Butterfly, which only spawns on black, purple, and blue flowers. So we're going to need to do a little hybrid breeding in this game, which will be fun, but maybe torturous, depending on how hard it is. Why are DS games available digitally on the Wii U, but not the 3DS? It's a great question. It's a great question that I don't have an answer for. Let's go get Coconut Crab 2. Nope, not in this game. All right, we're going to... Other things, we're going to reset our island here. Or re rebuild our town. Yeah, fish will be gone forever. Friendship ended with fish. Now Bug is my best friend. Y'all get any more of them pixels? This game? No, it does not. It does not, sadly. Alright, there we go. There's been a webcam we figured out here. I'll just go. There we go. Wild World is poggy. I mean, this is my first Animal Crossing game, so I have a lot of nostalgia for it. Is loud? Oh, is it loud for you guys? Let me see. Is it loud or is it like normal? I guess. Oh, maybe I should do this and then. Maybe it's better now? Let me know. I miss the music. Not so much anymore. Okay, that's probably a little loud. Let me turn that down to like this. There we go. Probably better now, right? English at last. Yeah, also English. Uh, pretty, pretty epic. English, pretty epic as well. But there you go. All right, so now it's not... You hear it now, right? I didn't like make it inaudible, hopefully. All right. Today be May 28th, 2022. So I have the... I routed this myself. So it's probably not going to be the most accurate. But I have it for July 1st at 11 a.m. Is when I want to start this challenge. So July 1st, 2022, sure, at 11 a.m. There we go. All right, very good. Why'd you reset? Uh, I don't know. I just do all these from a fresh island is how I prefer to do it. Oh, let's also get that out of here. Might get motion sick from this game? I don't really see how you would, but I suppose it's possible. All right. This one, bug. I'm tearing up, NGL. It does make me nostalgic as well. I don't know, but then again, this game is like... I don't know, it does look pretty bad. Wait, I called myself Bug! Alright, well, I'm Bug going to Bug. I called myself Bug, but that's okay. Yeah, Bug just so happens to be the blood out! Watch your tongue, ye slug. Alright, I'm Bug going to Bug. That's fine. That's fine. I don't have to be diagonal. I can be Bug, that's fine. Sure, put me near the beach, man. Bug, yeah, I'm bug going to Dagnall. I suppose we could do that. Yup. We goldfish, pl plenty of pirates booty. Yeah, whatever you say, man. Still mad about the plonk not living up to the hype? The plonk did kind of suck dick. After you customize paradise planning, will they replace the furniture with items you gift them? No, I don't think they will. I don't think they'll change the house that you give them after you customize their house from Happy Home Paradise. No, I don't think they will, but I could be wrong about that. I could be wrong about that. All right, well, obviously, first things first, we need to do the chores, which aren't uh, optional in this game like they were for Animal Forest E+. Try catching every diagonal across the series, not clickbait. Pretty good. I missed the plonk. I, it wasn't that great, man. Trust me, you didn't miss much. Writing a short film with this in the background, be sure to credit you when it gets nominated for an Oscar. Unironically, I hope it does. I hope it does. I'm not near the beach. Mallory, Mitzi, and Hopper. Hey, good villagers at least. Then again, they cut all the bad ones. Yeah, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. 
So this game, I guess I'll list off all the new bugs in this game. The Peacock Butterfly, the Emperor Butterfly, the Agrius Butterfly, the Honeybee, the Fruit Beetle, and the Fly. The Moth, the Oak Silk Moth, the Lanternfly, the Scarab Beetle, the Goliath Beetle, the Rainbow Stag, the Atlas Beetle, the Elephant Beetle, the Tarantula, the Scorpion, the Monarch Butterfly, the Orchid Mantis, and the Walking Stick. I'm definitely not going to get all those done today. But, I mean, no. Does white... No, white tulips don't make... White tulips don't make any of the flowers that we need for the peacock butterfly. Neither do yellow roses. Yo, rhinestone cowgirl. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes. Wait, no, not your emotes. Thanks for the bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, this is my house. Hey, bandit dragonfly! Mac just showed up at my campsite. Yo, Mac is kind of the man, though. There's a lot of bugs. I don't know, a lot of the bugs are not going to be that hard, I don't think. A lot of the bugs I don't feel like will be that hard. Yeah, I'm bugged. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, it's quite great. All you need is some glasses and this guy looks just like you. Am I, like, permanently side-eyeing everything? Maybe. I tried flower breeding once and despised it. I, I mean, I'm hoping it's not too bad in this game. We'll see. We'll need a watering can. I'm gonna cry. I'll need a watering can. You don't need a shovel, luckily, but you do need a watering can. So hopefully I can get everything that I need pretty quickly, which is just a bug net and a watering can. I probably will need a shovel. In fact, I will need a shovel for sure at some point as well. What game does Tom Nook get a shirt? He doesn't wear a shirt in the first... He doesn't wear a shirt at first until New Leaf in 2013. So I think New Leaf would be the answer to your question. Let's do... A quick lap around my island, and let's pick up any flowers that can be used to make black, blue, or purple flowers. Is that a yellow tulip, or is that a orange tulip? That's yellow. Interesting. Yellows can make black tulips, funnily enough. So, let's go around and collect every flower we can find that can make something. I think red tulips will work. Yeah, red reds will make black tulips, so let's grab that. Cosmo. Red Cosmo? Feels like that would work. Yeah, red, red Cosmo can make a black Cosmo, so let's grab those. And no white Cosmos. Only Cosmos that can make black Cosmos are red Cosmos. White Rose? White Rose, white Rose makes purple Rose, so yes, absolutely. I'll take that. It's just like make a flower breeding area in like the most open part of my town, I suppose. He wears a shirt as his PJs, but he doesn't have as everyday wear. He don't need it as everyday wear, okay? He's a boy boss, all right? Don't fuck with him. Yellow pansy. No, I don't think yellow pansies do anything. No, white pansies and red pansies, though. We do need... That was a white tulip? We don't need a white tulip. No, no white tulips needed. Only reds and yellows. No white cosmos... Were the graphics like that? Uh, I don't know, because it was a D Nintendo DS game. White pansy, white pansy can make blue pansies, so let's grab those. I mean, shit, right behind Tom Nook's store might be a good idea as well, in case we need to keep checking up in there. Red rose? Absolutely. I was a city folk guy. I mean, city folk is great. Like, in pretty much every way better than Wild World, graphically especially. So, I mean, yeah, if you're used to city folk, this probably looks fuck ugly. But, you know, what are you looking for? Flowers that can be made into black, blue, or purple flowers. That is what I'm looking for. Um, I don't know the optimal breeding pattern for flowers in this game, so I'm just going to put them right next to each other and hope that that's good. You can forgive me, it's been a long-ass time since I've deliberately tried to breed flowers in Animal Crossing Wild World, because, yeah, I don't know. It has been. I do not remember what the optimal breeding patterns are, so I'm just going to throw them down next to each other. And if anyone has any idea what the best way of doing it is, then do let me know. Then do let me know. So that's it for right now. Another white rose and another red rose. Okay. I would ditch high school to play Animal Crossing using the Wii mic. Oh my god, the fucking Wii speak, city folk, Wii, yeah, that thing. Pretty sure that only was supported by, like, two games, one of which was city folk. Yeah, pretty, I don't, I feel like you're, like, one in a million for having actually owned one of those. 
What a flop. I mean, it was pretty cool. A little bit ahead of its time, really, if anything. Yellow roses don't do nothing, right? No, I don't think yellow roses do nothing. I mean, it was kind of ahead of its time before, like, communication in online games was as prevalent as it was. Nintendo tried their hand at it, I suppose. I suppose I can introduce myself now, right? I have two of the three games that support the Wii Speak. Yo, let's go. Just no Wii Speak, probably, if I had to guess. Statistically, it's very unlikely that you own the Wii Speak. Hey, shark. I owned one, it was cool. I mean, dude, it honestly is, like, pretty sick technology. A, a little bit ahead of its time, you know? Hey, Mitzi. It just didn't catch on, I guess. I guess, or Nintendo just didn't make enough games that supported it. Hey! Look who it is! Look who it is! It's all Buster Brown over here! Dickhead. Taunting me. Fluttering around. Fuck you. She's my fave. Mitzi's pretty good. Mitzi's pretty good. Greetings, Dagnal in chat. Hello, Margo. How are you doing? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hopper's my favorite boy. He's pretty good. Rock Hopper Penguin. Another red Cosmo. That beach. That's a piddly ass beach. This whole... Jesus, what a horrible island. You just got like this... What is this? Wait. I didn't even notice this at first. You got this whole fucking like right... Right like strip of island here. It's completely like you can't fucking do anything over it. You're essentially like... Jeez. Your island's essentially smaller because of the fact that... I guess I have three bridges, which is pretty cool. There's so much river as well. I mean, you could see this as really cool or really inconvenient that you have basically a fucking useless strip of land over here, but I guess you get more river as a result of it. Ugh, interesting. That's a little rough. That island's a little rough. That's my wild world town? I'm very sorry if it is. It's not exactly a... Uh, that's not that's not my favorite that I've seen. God has purged this forsaken town. How many different wild world towns were there? Can't have been that many. Considering New Horizons only has 96, I imagine, like... I mean, shit, wild world can't have that many, right? Just mirrored? Oh, so it's that... You have this one just mirrored? Oh, interesting. I guess that'll be an easy way to double the amount of towns that you have. Just mirror them. Hey, what's up, Mitzi? Oh, the Agrius butterfly. Well, if only I had a net. That is one of the new butterflies. White tulips? No, no white tulips. No yellow roses? All right. I think we got every flower that we can get that can make a black, blue, or purple flower. I think. And let's just use, like, the back area of Tom Nooks as, like, a small breeding ground. Uh, so we want red, red. I think generally... Oh, I think generally speaking, red, red flowers make black flowers in this game. And there's only one other type of flower other than these, and that's carnations. And you can't get those through regular gameplay. You have to get them on Mother and Father's Day. And I don't think that they have a black, blue, or purple variant to them. So there's really no point. There's really no point. Here I am, slaving away at work, as always. Girl bossing, you mean. Sounds like girl bossing. I like the quirks of the Wild World map design. It is nice. I mean, I don't know if it's my nostalgia speaking that I kind of agree with that, or if, like, genuinely... I don't know, maybe it is nice. I don't know. I don't know, I do like town generation back in the day. Or, I don't know, maybe it is just nostalgia. I have no idea. The system is all messed up, so it's making me angry. So you're like, you're girl bossing, but you're mad. And that's fine. It's okay to be mad. It's hard being a girl boss, I suppose. Alright. Everything planted, let's do our chores. How long will breeding flowers in this game take? It could take... Well, like, well, I guess I need the shovel. Pretty much like... I need a watering can and a net, and you gave me a fishing rod and a shovel. I'll buy the shovel, but that's not the greatest start. Um, I don't know. Slay what you want to slay, and let the slay slay. Slay what you want to slay, and let the slay slay out. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You streaming for 11 hours straight? No, this has been over the course of a few days now. I don't know, flower breeding can take one day in-game. It might take 
a month in game. I really don't know. I don't know. Tom Nook has a flea on his head. Holy shit. Or is that like a dead pixel or something? Thank you for validating me and reminding me I can still be a girl boss and also be Madge. Yeah, for sure. Yellow tulip. I think... Do I have another white rose, maybe? White rose, white rose. You son of a bitch. You son of a fucking bitch. If I get another red Cosmo or... Yellow tulip, I guess I could pair those up. Yellow tulips, I don't know why, but... I mean, shit, I guess I could just add it on here. Like, if I add it on to the existing yellow tulips, I mean, maybe that would be good? Try it, I guess. And then, what was the other one? A red Cosmo? Sure. Add a red... I don't really have room for one. Alright. Move the white pansies over one. Please pick up. Thank you. Move those over one. Add another red Cosmo right here. It's the first time I've ever actually tactically planted the flowers outside of Tom Nook's store instead of just throwing them down wherever the hell I feel like it. Probably the first time I've actually cared about their placement ever. And with the rest of them, just throw them. Just, just fucking send them. Just send them. Please send it. Apparently you can't drag them. Alright, there you go. I just got an ADHD ad, LMAO. <laughs> I wish I could curate the ads that Twitch sends to you guys. Unfortunately, I can't. Unfortunately, I cannot. At some point, you might need to, like, deforest this island and help get a uh, palm tree beetle. So maybe I shouldn't plant too many trees. I guess I did plant them in ways that they're not even going to grow. So no big deal, I guess. How silly. Yeah, I've only just arrived. I mean, I already talked to Hopper and Mitzi, so I guess we're good. We need to talk to Tortimer as well. 11 hours, thank god this ain't in one sitting. It's not unusual to see streamers stream for 11 hours. I don't do that because, you know, that's... I wouldn't do it myself, but people do do it. As crazy as it is. As crazy as it is, people do do that. Alright, this was Mallory? She home. Oh, no, that's Hopper. Okay, my other villager was Mallory, and I have no idea where she lives. Where's Mallory at? Where's old girl boss? Okay, she's down below the town hall, and I need to talk to Tortimer anyway, so no big deal. People do do it? I mean, yeah, I know, like, fart jokes, but... Oh, Honeybee is new as well. I know, like, fart jokes, they're hilarious. The CEO! Yes, sir! I serve my company! I lick my boots! I know that, like, it's a poop joke, but people do stream for, like, 11, 12 hours a day, and they just, like, and then, and then they're just back the next day. Like, they don't take, like, a month break after that, like I would need to do. It's crazy. It's insane. You would have gone insane playing Animal Forest E+, plus for 10 hours? Yeah, probably. I very much probably would have, yep. I'm Scorpio, what's your sign? Uh, I'm Diagonal, man. I'm just Diagonal, dude. Oopsie daisies. Keep fat fingering the fucking quick save button. I realized I know nothing about you. Yeah, you need to talk to him again to get your birthday as well. July 2nd. Literally tomorrow in game. Yes, my sign is a cancer. You aren't Dagnal, you're Bug. I am Bug. What trait is most important? Kindness, beauty, coolness, or charisma? Charisma in all caps. Um, what do we think, boys? What's most important? Kindness, beauty, coolness, or charisma? I don't know. Y'all think charisma? I don't know. Coolness? I'm pretty cool, though. Kindness? No, that's the answer they want you to say. That's the answer they want you to say. Beauty? That's the answer Mallory wants me to say. I feel like it's down between coolness and charisma. I'm going charisma, man. For my job? Charisma, definitely. Oh, she didn't even say anything about it. Let me snoop through her drawer. Something stinks! Something stinks! We has a rat! Alright. Same birthday, July 2nd. Yo, hell yeah, dude. I... We share a birthday with other known girl bosses, such as Lindsay Lohan, Ashley Tisdale, um... Who else has July 2nd? 
pee drawer? <laughs> he found the pee drawer. All right, all right. I introduced myself. Yes. Suppose yeah, yeah, yeah. Charge delivering furniture. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mallory. Bug found the piss drawer. <laughs> Lindsay and Ashley. Yeah, yeah. We got some girl bosses on Team July Second over here. That's July second. If you say it wrong, so true. So true. Thoughts, streamer who streams for 11, 12, 24 hours in one sitting? Eh, good for them. I couldn't do it. The animal leaf sound is weird in Wild World. I like it in Wild World. I don't know. Maybe, again, nostalgia, but I like it. I just got a Soleil smile. Is that like a smile through the pain, or are you genuinely happy about Soleil? I guess if you're happy about it, then slay. But, you know, it could be, like, a smiling through the pain, because not too many people like Soleil very much. Yeah, I'm working for Tom Nook. Honorary girl boss. A robo-table. Thanks, man. I loved- actually, that's pretty cool. I would have loved that as a kid. I fucking loved the robo-set as a kid, man. I, sh I fucking decorated my entire house with that. Slay, girl boss. The carpet just hurts my eyes? What? Not enough pixels for you? Can't hate on the hamster villagers with how round they are. They are pretty round, but, like, I don't know. They're probably, like, amongst my least favorite, but that's just me. Tortimer is alive for now. Hit the sleigh button. I got Carolyn. Her house is awesome. Carolyn's great. Great underrated villager. Knowing villager personalities from Wild World and New Horizons? I mean, that would be nice. I think that in this game, they were nice without being excessively rude like they were in GameCube. Which is kind of a nice balance that I think I'd like to see, you know? Like, a lot of people are like, oh, I miss the villagers being fucking mean to you. And I'm like, I do too. But they don't have to be mean for them to be, like, good interactive villagers. Make them like Wild World where they're actually interesting without being mean, you know? I love Alfon- that's the man right there, that's Fonz, dude, he's awesome. What was the furniture set with flames? Because that and the Robo were my favorite as a kid. The furniture set with flames, I don't know. I remember there's like a flame shirt, I don't know if there's a furniture set with flames in this game, though. I love having nice villagers. I deal with mean people outside my silly little Animal Crossing game. Yeah, there you go. I mean, I get why somebody wouldn't like the mean villagers, but I do miss them myself. I miss the slider bar stuff. Yeah, you had a lot of, like, dialogue options, like, where you have, like, interactive choices with what they ask you, and I miss a lot of stuff like that as well. I miss a lot of stuff like that as well. My favorite underrated villager is Alfonso. That's the man right there. That's the that's the fucking man. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the slay button. Can I let you guys in on a little secret? Can I let you guys in on a little secret? I've never hit the bell. I have never hit the bell on a video before. Like, if I ever told you to hit the bell on one of my videos, it would be hypocritical. I have never hit the bell. I've never, I, I really, I don't want to be notified, even by my favorite of favorite of favorite YouTubers, I have never hit the bell. I don't really want to be given notifications for anything, to be honest with you. That doesn't stop YouTube, though. They still give me notifications. Kind of weird, but yeah. I don't know. I've never hit the bell before. I've never hit the slay button. Most of my subs are muted. I mean, I, I get it. Like, subscribing can be just, like, a nice notion without actually wanting to be informed of an upload from that person. I get it. I don't know, though. I don't know. Where was Hopper at? I forget. I forget where Hopper was. For you and a couple of Minecraft YouTubers? Thank you. I am honored to be amongst the likes of Tommy Innit and Dream SMP folks. I think. I have the bell on for everybody. I mean, I don't know. YouTube, like, gives me notifications about some of them anyway, whether I hit the bell or not. So I'm like, what's the fucking point? I'm hitting the damn bell. Yo, what's up, Sackafers? How are you doing? We're doing all right. I mean, we got through Animal Forest E+, so can't complain too much. <clears throat> can't complain too much. Yo, thanks for the lab floor. I'll go with my robo table. Dream SMP was fine until the fan base got toxic. I don't want to discuss Dream SMP because I have strong opinions on... Yeah, that the fan base, and you know that fan base could be in chat, and maybe they're perfectly fine, normal people. But you know, 
get very passionate about their Minecraft YouTubers, you know? <clears throat> <clears throat> anyway. My phone is always on D&D, &D, though, so I get no notifs. Wait. Oh, do not disturb. I thought your phone was just, like, permanently in a state of Dungeons and Dragons. How silly of me. <laughs> That's fair. Dream SMP stands scare me. I'm gonna leave it at that. Yeah, kind of same. But, I mean, stands of, like, anything kind of scare me. Like, don't K-pop... Like, aren't K-pop fans pretty horrible with that as well? Like, I don't know. I, I feel like if you are so passionate enough to threaten someone's life on the internet because somebody is not a fan of what you're a fan of, I feel like that's pretty horrible, and I feel like it's hardly just a, uh... Dream SMP thing, could be a K-pop thing, could be a, uh, I mean, really anything. I would sure hope that my fans wouldn't be doing stuff like that. I did not mean to be eavesdropping into a conversation here. Did you just ask what I, what I think you did? No, I'm not seeing anything right now. You sure about that? Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing, but I've never had a boyfriend. T! Ooh, and I'm just over here like a fucking doofus. She has a flea. She has a fucking flea. Oh my god. She has a flea. She has a fucking flea. I'm so mad. She has a flea. Oh my lord. You know what would be? This is actually great because I don't even have a net. If I had needed to catch a flea in this game and I had just found this situation where Mitzi has a flea, I wouldn't even be able to get it. I would be molding right now. So I'm actually thankful that I had that I ended up having to get one in E+. Jesus Christmas. Anyway, I'm just over here like listening into this tea. It's kind of embarrassing. I've never had a boyfriend. I bet you have a girlfriend though, right, Hopper? Yak. Mitzi. Y yes. Girlfriends. Are something you want until are something you want until you actually have. What's he mean by that? What do you mean by that? Is it like the I hate my wife trope, or is he gay? <laughs> hey, Bug, you're with me on this one, right? Man, I am staying out of this. Not really, man. Not really, dude. Well, some boys aren't that intimidating, Bug. Well, 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 so you got a crush on someone in I didn't say that, man! What are you- <clears throat> I've heard you've been real chatty with pa Pascal! Pascal? What is this, this fucking... What is this game? What is this game? What is this game? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what he's talking about either. Pascal and Bug sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Wait, I had to deliver him a fucking- I got so distracted. This is what New Horizons is missing, dude. Seriously. Like, when people are like, I don't really understand what people mean when they say that old dialogue is better. That's what we mean. That's what we mean. I totally wasn't ignoring you. Fuck yourself. I have a delivery for you, okay? Christ. These villagers, they're ruthless, man. I'll probably put bits of that in the video. Yeah, don't worry. You sent this letter, didn't you? Yes, sir. Work of art. Dag scow, dag scow, dag scow, bug, please refer to me as such. Hopper's molding, you stole his man. I did steal his Pascal, didn't I? He was asking Mitzi about Pascal, not you. Oh, was he? Okay. Oh, that's fair. I guess that makes more sense, because I don't really think Nintendo acknowledged that gay people exist all the way back in 2005, so that probably makes more sense. It's 1 a.m., just woke up, we're in Wild World, let's go. What a time to be Alice. Well, good morning, Alice. How are you doing today? Bugnal. 
Home wrecker. <laughs> yeah, dude, I got I mean, I guess I'm the fucking Animal Crossing home wrecker over here. You're bug and I'm slug. Nice to meet you. In school we sang first comes love, then comes marriage, then comes unexpected miscarriage. First comes shame, then comes despair. Two hearts broken beyond repair. D I V O R C E. Are you alright, man? That's horrible. Like, bro, I get it, like, his kids, but holy shit, dude. What's wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you? I was, like, nine? What's wrong with you? That's pretty fucked up. That is fucked up, dude. Like, and you're just casually saying that in passing? You were nine! Is this supposed to make it better? What are you doing? I'm losing it. I thought all kids sung that version. I have never, and I cannot explain how never I have heard that before. Now, as far as that song went for me, it was sitting in a tree, K-A-S-S-I-N-G. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes the baby in the baby carriage. That's as far as I ever heard it before. I've never heard that version, ever. Ever. In my life. And you were nine. Jesus Christmas, man. I thought all the songs were about killing Barney. Now, we've been singing the killing Barney songs, like... Uh, I don't remember how it went, but yeah. I remember those. I mean, I don't know. I'm not saying I was an angel as a child, but good golly, man. I wasn't singing about miscarriages, my goodness. And divorce, and oh, goodness gracious. None of the dialogue ever registered until now. Yeah, I feel like we uh, didn't appreciate until later on in life. Fuck it, I'm wearing the work shirt this playthrough. Alright, can I have a... Uh, like, more than 950, but that's okay, I guess. It's okay, it's enough to get the shovel. I'll need the shovel, and I'm gonna time travel until I have a day where I have a watering can and a net. Hopefully my flowers don't die before I get a chance to get a watering can. That would be very unfortunate. Now I'm curious, because I know none of these songs. I, I certainly didn't know that one, man. So don't worry, you're not alone on that. Good old playground. Just good old wholesome playground. So, oh yeah, I guess there is the uh, ring around the rosy, a pocket full of posies, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Isn't that one about the Black Plague or something? I don't know. But you don't really know that as a kid. The only time anyone wears the work uniform is in a speed run. Well... Kind of in a speed run. I'm, in a, I'm I'm trying to go speedy. Sort of. Break time's over, buckaroos. Bye. All right, have yourself a good rest of your day at work. Thank you for being here. Hopefully Hopper will water them for you. That'd be nice. Uh, reset clock. It's about the plague. Yeah, that's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. Oh, July 2nd. Do I get a uh, birthday canned watering gift, maybe? Birthday can water... <laughs> A little scrambled right now, I gotta be honest with you. Do I get a birthday gift watering can, perhaps? That'd be pretty awesome. Be pretty great. I mean, to be fair, me and my friends used to just beat the shit out of each other in elementary school. Wow, oh, bug! Hey, hey, what's going on, man? What, do you think I forgot it or something? No, 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 no. I just got fucking Bozo here next to me. Are you happy now, or what? Yeah, I'm so happy. Hey, uh, Bozo, you wanna get out of my face, please? God, he does look like me, doesn't he? Oh god, I hate it. It's my BF, yeah! Well, no, that's Lyle, not Pascal, man. Oh, the flea market's today, let's go. Oh my god, that's LGBT. Hey, I got a birthday cake. Um, alright, I guess I'm selling that, because I don't know what the hell else I'm gonna do with it. And I guess we'll do a quick look around to see if any more flowers spawned that could perhaps make black, blue, or purple flowers. And sure. Money rock, maybe? Nope. Uh, no, no. Those are all the ones that I planted for the chores. Did any of my start dying? Oh, good. Oh, good. None of them died. Oh, well, that's good. They won't breed unless you water them, but they won't if they don't die. That's good, I guess. I hope I get a watering can for my birthday. No, I don't think I'd ever would have. 
I don't know. I guess it'd be kind of sick, because now in real life, like, I'd be growing some flowers. I guess it'd be kind of nice to get for my birthday. So I don't know. Count me in. Happy birthday, birthman. Thanks, man. All right, so we got a watering can. I need to sell this birthday cake, though, first. My Instacart just came back with the good stuff. Let's go. Hell yeah. Lyle X Bug asks X Pascal Thruple. Maybe, man. I can't... No! What... What do you mean you can't buy it? What, what can I do with it? Can I eat it? Can I... I thought... I thought you could eat it. Maybe you can't do it inside? Selling the cake your boyfriend got for you? I mean, I was trying to. Now I'm not. Can I... Can I eat the cake? Or do I have to put it down and then eat it? What the fuck, man? You can't sell the damn birthday cake? For what? For what? Hey, what's up, Hopper? How you doing, man? Alright, I guess I'll sell the things inside my house. Get the fuck out of here, scam artist. It's furniture? I know, but like, still... Alright, let's see here. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, do a little bit of whoop. Okay, now I think you can... Can- can you eat it? Can you please eat it? It's a furn- yeah, yeah, I know it's a furniture item, but like, I wanna eat the damn- I wanna eat the cake. Can I- do I have to do it inside my house? No? Alright, well, I'll fuck myself then. Just- alright, fucking sell all this shit then. Just take some apples? I could, or I could completely leave nothing in my house except for the birthday cake. Get the fuck away from me, dude. Somebody pointed out to me earlier that he looks like me, and I, I just hate that he does. Cause like I can't, I, I'm just mad. He does look like me. I'm mad. I'm mad because you're right. All right. I can't white white flowers. Oh, I guess I didn't have another white rose, so that's why I didn't put it there. Stalker. That's why he looks like you. I'm not a stalker. Man. Come on. This is rude. Make a hopper shrine with the cake. Oh, I guess, man. All right, there we go. Just need the watering can. Uh, yeah, 520 works. No, I actually wish it was a little bit more, because now I can still only buy the watering can. The watering can. I mean, it's fine. We don't need a net right now, because right now, all I'm really worried about is just getting a black, blue, or purple flower. So, honestly, this is okay with me. That's why he likes you. Uh, okay, okay. I love how the game is like, how dare you sell the cake your villagers to your villagers, you're a horrible person. He hardly says that. I don't know, he hardly says that I'm a horrible person. I'm a horrible person, but not for that reason. People, yeah, exactly. So, red, red roses can make black roses, that's what we're trying to do with these. Also, there's no indicator that you watered something in this game, so you just have to hope that you hit the right tile. Black, or sorry, red cosmos can make black cosmos. White, white pansies can make blue pansies. I think that's a pretty low percentage chance. I don't know the rates of hybrids. Forget it. I have no fucking idea. I just know that these can make the things that I need, okay? So that's all I'm worried about. I hope I hit the right tile there. That's why we're trying to get black, blue, or purple flowers. Is because we need to get the peacock butterfly. Yeah, which AC game is this? This is Wild World for the DS. Mm, I feel like I missed that one. All right. I mean, maybe we'll get lucky. Get it first try. Maybe it'll take like a month. I have no idea. I'm definitely not finishing Wild World today, though. To be honest with you, if I just get like the hybrid flower, I'll be happy. <laughs> I haven't played any of the older AC games. They're cute. They are cute. They're good games as well. I would recommend, though, instead of Wild World, maybe City Folk. But, you know, still a good game. Still a good game. Are you playing this on the DS? No, I'm playing it on a Wii U. I'm playing it on a Wii U. Somebody made a great question earlier, and they're like, why is it that... I need to buy turnips today, by the way. Why is it that, uh... Oops. On the DS, you can't play... You can't buy DS games. On the 3DS, you can't buy DS games on the Virtual Console, but on the fucking Wii U, you can. And I'm like, you know what? It's a great question. It's a great question. 
Do they only have the water drops on the flowers after you watered them in New Leaf? I don't even know if they did that in New Leaf, did they? I thought it was New Horizons that added that, but it has been a while, admittedly. It has been a while. Little birthday gift from Mom? From... Oh, oh, love Mom. Happy birthday! Oh, thanks! He didn't send me any money, though. Ugh. <laughs> All right. They have drops in New Leaf, I think. Interesting. It's been so long. Did I get 88, 88 points? Damn, just for having that cake in there? Holy shit! I got 88, 88 for having that damn cake? That's... Wow. Alright. So points are apparently a lot easier in this game to get than they are in New Horizons. Alright. News to me. Angel, angel, angelic numbers, yeah. Uh, I don't have a net yet, still. It's the boyfriend's cake. I guess so, man. I guess so. Alright, nope, 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 and nope. Good to see you. Alright, beautiful. Oh yeah, I also need to buy turnips. I don't have a whole lot of money, but I should probably, like, sell some things. Okay, Tom Nook has a net, and we also need to buy turnips to spawn flies or ants. No, just, f yeah, no, 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 ants were in E, e Animal Forest E+, so we just need a fly. You ever find out what villager scored the highest HHP score? Yeah, there's videos out on my YouTube channel. Finished that, like, almost a month ago at this rate. In fact, over a month ago, I think. It was tangy? It was tangy. Spoil, I don't want to spoil it, but yes, it was tangy. This soundtrack is so good. Oh, it is. It is very, very good. I mean, I guess sell flowers that I don't need. Uh, don't know. I don't think they're going to be worth very much, but oh well. Might as well. Cake made it feng shui. It might have? I... It may be, honestly. It might be feng shui. I think it's just like a lucky item, but lucky items don't give you that many points in New Horizons. I don't know. 120. Wow, what a steal. Alright, we got a net. So we have everything that we need. Now we just need a few... Well, I mean, we might as well try to catch whatever bugs we can that are available during this time. The Emperor Butterfly, Agrius Butterfly, Honeybee, and Fruit Beetle being ones that can spawn right now. So, if we see them, we'll catch them and sell them for some money to get some turnips. What is this pixely mess? This is Animal Crossing Wild World, dude. It's very good. I just drove for eight hours. I'm exhausted. Hi, Chad. Hello. I hope your drive was safe. I hope it went well. I don't really remember the graphics being this crappy. Yeah, because you played it on a little DS. You didn't play it on a blown-up Wii U screen. You didn't, like, you know... You gotta, you gotta remember, like, we're playing this on a system that it was not really meant to be played on. You know? We're blowing it up to, like, a full, in my screen, 1440p screen... And, yeah, you, where you can see, like, every little minute pixel. Of course it didn't look this bad, because you were playing on, like, a little baby DS screen. It's just smaller than the palm of your hand, you know? Hey, Joan, you want to not go anywhere while I build up a little bit of capital? Yeah, everyone's like, the pixels, the pixels. I'm like, man, this is just how it was back in the day, man. This is just how it was. You know, I do need this, actually. I'm like, damn, this is extreme, like, you know, extreme, like, iPad kid energy. They aren't that bad. Not for a DS, man. Not at all. They're not that bad for a DS at all. For a 2005 game, yeah. Considering that was, what, 17 years ago at this point? Yeah, not bad. I kind of like how it looks. I don't know. It has nostalgia for me. I'll admit, yes, it does look bad compared to, like, City Folk, for example. But, of course, that came out on the Wii. Of course, it's going to look better. Right? Back in my day, we were able to count every pixel, both uphill, both ways. And we liked it! Barefoot! In the snow! True. Pretty true. This game is a year older than me. That's weird. <laughs> I forget that, like... Yeah, yeah, people are, like, younger than this game. But, you know, that's fine. It's normal. People who are, like, as old as this game are, like, paying their taxes, right? Yeah. 
I'm turning 20 Monday, you guys make me feel old? I, I love, like, going into, like, a, a video's YouTube comments, and then they're like, Wow, I was 9 when I saw this video for the first time. Now I'm 11. I'm so old. Yeah, man. You're, 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 you're really getting up there. A true geriatric. I'm just weirded out by it. I see that. Imagine being younger than this game. Kind of crazy, right? Kind of crazy. Kids do be kind of weird. It's kind of like... I don't know, like, going into the comments section of, like, a Queen music video, and everyone's like, I grew up in the wrong generation. I'm like, I don't know, man. 30 years from now, people will be saying the same thing. Alright. No, I don't need to. That's alright. I don't need to. Uh, I will be white turnips? Oh, yeah, red turnips as well. 101, sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Oh, wait, do they only sell them in 10 bushels? Oh, shit, I don't have enough, then. Uh, so I don't have enough? Oh my lord. Alright, just hang tight there, Joan. I gotta shake some shit out of trees, alright? You just- you- you just hold on there, missy. You just hang on there. I gotta get some bells here. A couple hundred more. There we go. One more. Ads, ads, streamer, ads, ads. What do you want me to do about it, chat? What do you want me to do about it? I can't do nothing about it. I can't stop the ads, okay? I'm sorry. Blame Twitch. Don't blame me. This is a very long ad. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know what y'all want me to do about it. My birthday is actually coming up. Pog, dude. Mine's a little over a month away. Life is just a very long ad. Like, I don't know. That's pretty true. Hey, Drift. Cool looking guy. All right. That should be enough, right? Yeah, that's enough. We're going to have 20 bells spare. There's no quick switch between tools in this game? No, sir, because the D-pad is actually the means of moving around, so it kind of makes sense. Like, I used the joystick to move around, but we didn't have the joystick, of course, on the DS. So the D-pad, which is normally used to quick switch tools, was actually how you just moved around in general. What are you doing around here? Well, actually, I didn't want to talk to you at all, man. I wanted to talk to Joan, but sure, man, whatever you say. How old will you be turning this year? 26. I will be turning 26. Which is, I don't know, part of me is like, I'm so old, but then some 30-year-old in chat's gonna be like, oh, you're not old, and then some 40-year-old in chat's gonna be like, oh, you're not old, and then some 50-year-old in chat's gonna be like, oh, you're not old. So I don't even want to start that, like, means of... I don't even want to start that whole conversation here. But, you know. I couldn't imagine being 26. Some 200, yeah, like, eventually it's gonna go on and, like, that, that lady who's French who lived to, like, 122 is gonna be like, Je parle vous français. That's, that's, you're not that old in France, by the way. That's a little fun fact for you. Alright, and then just drop the turnip anywhere. Well, actually, wait, does, if I let the turnip rot, won't it disappear eventually? Uh, I think I remember this being a problem in the city, folk. Actually, okay, yeah. It'll just rot if I just keep it in my inventory. So you know what? Just do that. Just keep it in your inventory. Yeah, 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 just keep it in your inventory. And I think I see something over here, and I do. The first new bug of Animal Crossing Wild World, which I actually didn't want to get right now. But I'll take it. I had the walking stick scheduled for October, but hey, I'll take it in July. Works for me. 49. Alright, and now, I guess, just keep time traveling. Yeah, keep time traveling. New bug! It looks so goofy. The walking stick? How does it look goofy? You could barely tell it was there. I spotted the pixel out of the corner of my eye. Literally invisible. You gotta have eyes for these things. You gotta have eyes. Not everyone's built to be an Animal Crossing speedrunner like your boy is over here, okay? Alright? You gotta have eyes for these things. Yeah, but like, you know, when you're a one pixel wide bug, I guess it does get a little hard to see. Y'all think I should check the downloads? You think that they just dropped a... You think they just dropped a 2.0 update for Animal Crossing Wild World? Maybe I should check. No, don't reset the clock again. I never caught it in New Leaf. I see you want to quit. Don't fucking patronize me. In New Horizons, they're really rare for some reason. I set my alarm for 1.30pm to catch the stream, and I just woke up now. Good morning. 
There's a bug that is white and only chills on white flowers. It's practically invisible. Yes, the Orchid Mantis, which is another new bug in this game. <sighs> All right. Our butterfly is going to be the hardest part of Wild World. The Peacock Butterfly will be, but only to get the hybrid that we need to get it, which I'm currently working on now. And then after that, I don't reckon they'll be too hard. I mean, there's the Coconut Tree Beetles, which are pretty rare, but... I don't know. For some reason, I'm like, I don't think they'll be that hard. I don't really think they'll be that hard. How did you rot? I watered you. What? Did I miss? How did, How are they wilting? I fucking watered them. I fucking watered them. I must have missed. Like, it, there is no indicator if you actually watered a flower. But, like... You say peacock and no one bats an eye. You say poopcock and everyone loses their mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very funny, very funny. Who taught you that? Flowers are sensitive in this game? I mean, I might have just missed them. Or maybe I didn't water them? I don't know. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, maybe I just didn't water them. Maybe I got black thumb. Yeah, the opposite of green thumb. I forgot to unlurk. It's all right, man. Like, you know, I, I, I don't really keep track of who's lurking and who's not. Kind of weird if I did. Or did I, like, overwater them? Is that a thing? Good night, easy. Have yourself a good night. Watering cans don't break in this game? Nope. No, they do not. In fact, nothing breaks in this game. Axes, I guess, but then you get the golden axe and that doesn't break. I mean, I guess I'll grab this and then we can add that on to the patch I have over here, which can make black tulips. I don't really know how yellow yellow can make black, but I ain't gonna question it if it helps in my endeavors here. Nothing breaks? Nope. Only my spirit, after not getting a hybrid flower. To be determined. We'll see. Maybe it'll come easily, I don't know. See, like, in my... I, I feel like I get, like, dead on the flower, but, like, I don't know, I'm gonna trust that that's good enough. But at least you can see them damaged. Yeah, you can see them damaged in this game as well. I think if you just look in the inventory, you can see it's got, like, cracks to them. I don't know. And then even then, the golden axe doesn't break. Like, there's an actual reward for getting the golden axe, not just, oh, it lasts longer. No, it just don't break at all. I like your voice. Thank you. I'm working my night shift tonight, and my goal is to catch three golden trout in New Horizon to get a model made. Wish me luck. Hey, good luck. You be working night shift? Be playing Animal Crossing on your night shift? She Paid to catch golden trout. What are you, a Twitch streamer? Blue Frog, I love him. Blue Frog? We had Drift. Is there Jeremiah as well now? Or another Blue Frog? Hmm, I don't know. I hate the golden tools. They shouldn't break. Not to mention, they don't do anything special. Like, golden tools in previous games actually did functional things like the fishing rod gave you more time before the fish got away the golden net had a bigger hitbox to catch bugs with like the golden tools they don't even like incentivize getting them it's kind of stupid but you know whatever i'm not a game designer so obviously i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about i need another white rose still i should be doing Ooh, that didn't take long that didn't take long at all. That was pretty good. All right, so that can spawn a peacock butterfly. I'm going to keep it on me for the moment. I don't know. I want to... I, I really don't want to, like, wreck it on accident. So let's put it in a place where, like, it can just sit out in the open and hopefully spawn a peacock butterfly. And just do not run over it. <laughs> Please do not run over it. All right, and then now we have everything that we need to get a peacock butterfly, an emperor butterfly, an agrius butterfly, a honeybee, and a fruit beetle. Now, there's one more thing I can do if I... Okay, okay, actually, here we go. I'm going to drop this turnip, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to time travel one day backwards. And if I do that, then A, I don't think my black rose will wilt, although I should have picked it up just to make sure. And B, my turnip will rot, because time traveling backwards makes your turnips rot, and then the turnip rotting will spawn a 
fly, which I need, in case you're curious. Alright, big brain. I think this is big brain. Unless this destroys my black flower, I will shit, I will cry, I will literally fucking die. But I think just going one day backwards shouldn't do that. So let's go back to July 4th and rot the turnip and keep my black rose. Night shift today, I got a normal shift, aka standing up early on Monday. I don't know, man. I work night shift. I will take a morning shift 10 times out of 10 over a night shift, man. Can you clone it by water? No, cloning wasn't a thing until New Horizons. Cloning was not a thing until New Horizons. Didn't you make a video on New Horizons tips? I thought the customizing to reset tool durability was cool. Did I? Interesting. Now it's raining. Hmm. Interesting. I guess the weather seed is not predetermined? Hmm. Cool. Unless I, like, did not change it back to the original day. What's up, Patty? How you doing? All right. Is my flower still there? My turnip didn't rot. My flower's still there, though. Okay. Change of plans, then. I thought that rotted your turnip. Okay. Change of plans. Let's go... Let's grab the black flower, and then let's go a week ahead so that we know for a fact it'll rot. Um... And then keep the black rose on me so that we know it's not gonna rot. Or wilt, I suppose. Yeah, at least my flowers will be watered. I mean, that's fine, I guess. I don't need another hybrid, but if it wanted to make another one, that'd be cool. I like the night shift more. I do get a lot of those, and I've been working night shift only this month, but I get normal shifts Monday and Tuesday, so I need to fix the standing up thing. Well, that's kind of fucked up, how they mix normal shifts with night shifts. Like, I don't know. If I work... Well, okay, so it was the 4th, so we want to go the 11th, so a week ahead. If you work night shifts and morning shifts, then that's kind of fucked up because then, like, you're, they keep messing up your sleep schedule, man. We don't want rain? Well, no, we don't for the fact of butterflies won't spawn in rain. But I was just trying to get the turnip to wilt because I thought time traveling backwards would do that, but apparently not. Night shifts only sound so chill. They are, I don't know, man. Like, they destroyed my, like, mental health when I did them, so. But that's just me. Your mileage may vary. Y'all may, uh, y'all may be night shift types. I am not. I am not. I got one coming up this week. Like, when they mix, it's gone. It's just gone. Literally, oh my god, what a mess. My turnip is just gone. I should have kept it on me. I don't need that, but... What time is it? Is it Sunday? No, it's Monday. Why is this game a pain in the ass? Um, My flower's still in my inventory? Okay, good. Alright, let's go back to Sunday. Let's buy more fucking... I don't have enough money, I don't think, to buy turnips now. Oh my fucking god, what a pain in the ass. Yo! D2 Jackal, thanks for converting the Prime to a Tier 1. Kiki! Thanks for converting the Prime to a Tier 1. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, and enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's give myself, like, a little bit more time since I may not be able to find Joan right away. Alright. Well, thank you, Jackal. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Did we have Jeremiah? Yeah, I could sell the Jewel Beetle, actually. That's worth a decent amount. Instead of rotting, they just despawn. Well, they'll rot if I keep them in my inventory, which is what I should have done. But I was like, oh, leaving it out there for a week and won't despawn, right? I guess it does. Shush. Too used to New Horizons, man. All right. Uh, sell the Jewel Beetle. Sell... Well, I mean, sell your two bugs, I guess. Chocolate cake! Thank you for the Prime as well. Thank you. And enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing as well. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Oh, he got the microwave. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do not sell your black flower. I will cry. I will shit. 3,000 bells. Works for me. All right, that's enough to buy a few stacks of turnips. I don't need a few stacks, though. Just one will do. But maybe for the spreading them around town might be smart. 
Then again, that would be an effective strategy in New Horizons where a fly is like super fucking rare and you'd want to diversify like piles of junk around to get it to spawn. But in this game, I'm pretty sure you just leave something out to... You leave something out to like rot and a fly will come pretty damn quickly from what I understand. Oh, is it the flower festival? Oh, look at you guys and your cute little flowers. Oh my God. That's actually really nice, because, I mean, it's more opportunities for butterflies to spawn. Unless that's just... Like, unless they just did that in this game without the need of a flower festival. They just, like, plant flowers outside. I mean, that's super convenient, because, again, it's more places for butterflies to spawn. So, I'm not gonna complain. No matter what, it works for me. Where's Joan at, man? My orchard over here, meanwhile, fucking sucks. Oh, yeah, sell the flowers. Why would I sell the flowers? Honeybee. 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 I'm talking baloney. Please. Thank you. I think it's a honeybee, right? Yeah, there you go. 50. Actually, 50. No, just 50, right? Yeah, because that uh, jewel beetle wasn't new. Just a walking stick. All right. 50. How long does the stream go on? I just got here. We've been streaming for close to three hours now. Probably gonna wrap it up soon, man, because, like, my extended streams the last couple of days have exhausted my voice. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll probably wrap it up pretty soon. I'd like to finish all the butterflies during this time in order to feel good about moving on. Or feel good about, like, stopping stream and then coming back tomorrow. I would like to um, get all the butterflies that I need, the peacock, the emperor, the agrius, and the fruit beetle, which is another thing that I need that I haven't seen for some reason, before I leave. But if I don't, then I don't. It's not a big deal. Is a fly really that hard to catch in AC and H? Yeah, for some reason, I struggled so much to get a fly. I guess your mileage may vary, and, you know, good on you if it does, but I had a fucking bitch of a time getting a fly for some reason. It's stupid rare. Yeah, I don't know why. Like, the cicada shell, the fly are just like, for some reason, they were just like, okay, yeah, let's just put, like, the fucking spawning chances, like, absurdly low for them. Hey, 92 sounds good to me, man. For a turn up to rot in New Horizons? A week. Same as all the other games. Wait, hang on. 30. Three! Should be, yeah. yeah and then we'll just drop, like, three... The time travel a week forward now to a day that's not raining, and they'll rot while they're in my inventory, and then I can drop them, and then they shouldn't despawn. All right. What time is it where you are? 4.48 p.m. 4.48 p.m. After coming back, after... I remember catching it after leaving something outside, going inside, coming back out, and it being there. You got lucky. You got lucky, I think. I don't know, that's, that was, that hasn't been my experience with a New Horizons fly. Alright. One week forward. What is it, the 10th? What is it? Yeah, the 10th. So I'm gonna go 17th. Doesn't really, could be the 18th, doesn't matter. Go to sleep, good night. Good night, Danny. Have yourself a good night. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Alright, as long as it's not raining, this should work. As long as it's not raining, this should work. I thought it was an hour earlier than it is. Yeah, it feels later, doesn't it? Maybe that's just because, like, when I'm streaming, time is warped. But it does feel earlier. Shit. But they're rotted, right? They're rotted, right? Yeah. Okay. Although I should have split the stacks before... Whatever, it doesn't matter. I should have split the stacks so that I had three stacks of rotted turnips, but it's not a big deal. My child self could not understand anything about turnips in Animal Crossing for the life of me. I remember I never got into turnips as a kid, but then, like, I saw my prices were, like, 600 one day in City Folk, and I'm like, Whoa! I've never seen it that high! As it turns out, I could have posted that on, like, the, the Bell Tree forums back in the day. Probably made, like, insane money. But, you know, I had dial-up internet, so I don't think that would have went very well. Alright, try the 19th, I guess. You're in Mexico City, it's 6.50. So you're, you're central time in, so you're central time in Mexico City. I would have thought that you guys were mountain time, but maybe I don't know my geography very well. I'm going to skedaddle and take a nap, but I enjoyed the stream as always. You enjoy your nap. You enjoy your nap. 
Highest I've gotten was 658 per turnip in AC and H. I mean, that's two off of what the maximum price is, so that is pretty lucky. That is pretty lucky. I don't know, should I go to, like, what, what's the non-rainy season that still spawns all the things that I need? Where are y'all from? I'm from Pennsylvania. Eastern Standard Time. The... The East Coast Beast Coast. Central Time Gang? I feel like, collectively, United States citizens... You know that meme where it's, like, people who are, like, two, two enemies? Who are, like, shaking hands on something that they agree with, despite being polar opposites against each other? EST? CST? PST. We can all handshake agreeing that mountain time is dumb. Mountain time is stupid. Central time gang. Gotta love Tennessee. Uh, open parenthesis. Tennessee is ass. Don't come here. I wasn't planning on it, but I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep it in mind. I'm in the UK. None of the streamers I watch stream at convenient times for me. I mean, it sucks, but I mean, a convenient time for you would be like... 5 a.m. in the morning for me, which is not convenient for me. Although that's going to be the time that I get up tomorrow to watch the Monaco Grand Prix. Um, because Formula One... Oh, we decided to be a European-based sport. Blah. Dag, 5 a.m. stream when? Never. Although, when I worked night shifts, I used to stream... Can I stop getting a rainy day, please? <laughs> I used to stream from 1 a.m. to usually like 4 a.m. when I worked night shifts because I would stream after I got home from work. Um, so I I guess it has happened technically before. I've, I've probably been live at 5 a.m. before, but uh, I would not recommend it. I would not recommend it. I would not recommend it. It's not it's not a good time to be awake. Although many might disagree. A lot of people are like, I like the nighttime. Everything's quiet. I don't get any vitamin D into my fucking skull, and then I wonder why I'm so depressed all the time. <laughs> Dag, sunrise watching stream when? I never understood. Like, I can agree that, like, a sunrise or a sunset is a pretty sight. I would never, never wake up to see one, though. Man, like, there's one, there's two sun uh like occurrences every day okay why do you need to wake up at 5 a.m to watch the damn sunrise it's stupid i never understood people who did that but maybe it's just me maybe i'm wrong i don't know either way black rose you will go i keep hitting the fucking map instead of the inventory you'll go here and then rotten turnip will go a little bit before you Waking up at 4 a.m. is awful. Gotta do it for work sometimes. I hear you, man. On one hand, like, I feel like waking up early, waking up early in the morning sucks, but, like, later on in the day after waking up early, you're like, I don't know. Like, just something about, like, my day is so much better when I wake up early, but the actual process of getting up early sucks dick. I hate it. But once you're up, man, it's like, it's all right. It's all right. To watch Michael Jackson documentary, we're not the same. Yeah, I guess we're not. I guess we're not, huh? Uh, please. All right. So, Peacock Butterfly, Emperor Butterfly, Agri's Butterfly, and Fruit Beetle. How have I not seen a Fruit Beetle yet? They're just like these little green things. Little green things on trees. I guess the cicadas might be taking up their spawning spaces. Hey, yo! Hey, you! Yeah, that's right. 51. Yeah, these are a daytime butterfly, despite, I think, every game after this making them a nighttime bug. I don't know. I guess maybe in real life they're nighttime butterflies, because this is the only game that puts them in the daytime before they're like, whoop, never mind, they spawn at night. I don't know. I always wondered why they did that. Little green things on tree? You mean leaves? All right, Buster. You got, you got to be a smartass about it. You won't be a smartass about it. The morning person, and I'm a night person. I am not an afternoon person. Interesting. I mean, I don't know. I guess I'm. I don't, know. I don't let the day. I don't let the time of day that I rise define who I am. Okay. I'm just diagonal, you know. I'm just diagonal. That's an ant. We don't need an ant. We need a fly. I suppose. Okay. If I can't get a fly. 
I don't know. Flies spawn on rotten turnips, right? Can someone confirm or deny that? Because even if they don't, I have a means of getting a fly that I know will work. I don't- I didn't need that. That I know will work, but it would take, uh... It would probably be done at the end of this challenge, because it would be- it would involve spawning a Rafflesia, which I think makes it so that no other bugs can spawn. So, it's kind of like a last last gasp effort, if I were to do it like that. But I just kind of assumed that... I, I didn't actually do the research, but I just kind of assumed that flies spawn on rotting turnips. Pretty sure they do spawn on rotten turnips. I mean, I think so as well, but that's that they do that in New Horizons. I mean, who's to say whether that they do it in this game? I don't know. They might have changed it. I have no idea. I have no idea. 12 hours? Oh, yeah, we hit 12 hours. So now we're probably well into the part two of the unedited footage. I guess I'll cut part one of the unedited footage off after I finished the Butsu no Mori E+, and then I'll start part two when I started Wild World. Yeah, that'll probably be what I do for when I eventually get around to uploading these to the second channel. Which I'll try to do at the same time that I upload this video to the main channel, but no promises because these take like out. These take like okay, so those videos where I where I by the way, thank you Margo for the 51 bits. I appreciate that. Those uh, videos where I on my second channel, I uploaded the uned unedited footage. They took like 18 hours to render, basically rendering haha ha, my computer useless during the time that it was going as well so yeah i don't know i don't know can't promise i'll get them out on time my day is ruined if i wake up at 10 that's the first indicator of my mental health declining yeah no like i get it though I understand, like, why people would be like, I don't know, I never used to understand when, like, I would sleep until noon, and then people would be like, oh, I can't do that. I'm like, why well, sleeping in is awesome. And then I, like, now as an adult, I sleep until noon, I'm like, my day is wasted. Uh, I, I am just completely off kilter. I don't know what to do with my life now, and, ooh, I need that. And now I, uh, I'll proceed to, uh, ruin my entire day. Okay, yeah, so we need a coconut. And I'm gonna hope it can grow. I think it should grow right there, considering it's close to the beach, right? I'm gonna need this coconut to grow, because a lot of the new bugs that were introduced in this game are those uh, expensive beetles that spawn on palm trees. Oh, every bug now? Exciting. Indeed. How are you doing today, Waffle Kitty? Welcome. Didn't someone's house... Someone's house was here! They already moved? Wow. Wow. This person had a bunch of, like, flowers around their house, and now their house is just gone. Wow, they're already gone. Shit. Christ, all right. Well, they said, see you. I'm out of here, dude. All right, well, cool. Good to know. You know, maybe it'd be better to do this in June, when no cicadas spawn. But, I don't know. I don't know. I probably should have thought of that. They took one look around town, and they were like, shit. I'm out of here. I don't blame them. Can't blame them. Or, well, what else do I need that spawns on trees? Could I start, like, going ape shit on the trees if I were to have an axe, theoretically? Do I even have an axe at this point? Because I think axes may not happen, they may not spawn until nook and go. Yeah, I'm doing the games in order. Thanks for the hydrate. Yeah, so we just finished the Butsu no Mori E+, and now we're on to Wild World. Once I went to sleep at 8 in the morning because I was doing a biology project. I mean, I've had those days as well, especially in college, but it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. They said next year there will be an AC kind of game made by Disney. Kingdom Hearts? Uh, is that right? I don't know, I feel like there's already so many AC games out there, you know? Like, I feel like... I feel like everyone's had a crack. Ever since seeing the success of New Horizons, I feel like everyone's had a crack at a AC game. Kind of like Stardew, you know? Like, there's so many Stardew clones out there that, you know, people are just making in reaction to the success of Stardew Valley, you know? Everyone's trying to get a little piece of that pie. But, I mean, I don't know. If it's made by Disney, then funding shouldn't be an issue. So, if it ends up being a good game, I'd be excited to play it. 
so many air conditioner games out there. I saw a fascinating... Not a coincidence, it's actually very logical that this, this makes total sense. What are you Omega Lolan Kingdom Hearts about? I've never played one. I, I, I cannot defend Kingdom Hearts. I'm merely just wondering why you're lolling at it. But, um, apparently the influx of people moving in to Florida in, like, the 1970s was as a result of air conditioning becoming more and more prevalent and accessible for people. And you can kind of see, like, the accessibility of air conditioning correlating to the spike of population in Florida. I'm like, you know what? That makes total sense. So why am I, like, so surprised by, like, that not coincidence at all? Despite it making total sense. Oh, I thought that was fascinating. It is interesting. Even if, like, you can look at that and be like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Especially if you've been to Florida before. Mamma mia. Okay, I don't need a honeybee no more. I don't need a honeybee no more. Is Sephiroth the main villain or what? I don't know, man. I used to watch this guy speedrun Kingdom Hearts, and, like, it, it didn't help that he only... Oh, there we go. It didn't help that he only did it in Japanese, but I didn't understand anything about it. So, I don't know. I feel like even if it was in English, I wouldn't understand a damn thing that's going on in damn Kingdom Hearts. I don't know, something something like Darkness or something like that. That's all I know about Kingdom Hearts, man. Alright, got the fly. He's a super boss in 1 and 2. I thought it was like Ansem in Kingdom Hearts 1. I don't fucking know. I don't know anything about anything, man. I don't know anything about anything. It's called Disney Moonlight Magic. Interesting. I'll keep an eye out for it. I'll keep an eye out for it. Alright, Peacock, Agrius, and Fruit Beetle. How have I not seen a Fruit Beetle, man? They are... They're supposed to be everywhere. They're like... You'll know it when you see it, but like, they're these tiny little green... They're like, the, they're like the drone beetles in New Horizons. How are they... How have I not seen a fruit beetle? Or am I blind and I have? I'm like shocked. Can someone check fruit beetle spawns? Maybe I got it wrong and they don't actually spawn right now? Okay, it's just a common... I mean, I guess I haven't seen a common butterfly until now, so maybe my fucking spawn rates are just completely fucked around. Mm-hmm. Do fruit beetles have lower spawn rates in this month? Maybe. I don't know. I didn't see anything that said that it was or wasn't. I don't know. Are you in the right time? Peak times are four are till 4 a.m. July through August. Yeah, I'm in July. I'm in late July, and it's just past noon. So, yeah, I don't see why it wouldn't spawn, but I don't know. I don't know. Melon baller. Thank you so much for the subscription. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How many bugs were introduced in Wild World? Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19. 19 were introduced in Wild World. At least that's my... And assuming I got it all right here, and I actually counted right, but yeah, something like that. Which, you know, sounds like a lot, but it's less than half of what we had to get in Animal Forest E+, and a lot of the bugs that we have to get are not going to be that difficult, so... I don't feel like it should be too bad. I'm definitely not going to get it done today, but... I should have it done... on Monday, because I'm not going to stream tomorrow, because tomorrow is Sunday. But I think I should have it done on Monday probably be on the city folk on tuesday yeah it's 93 total as well i was surprised to see that there's also 93 unique bugs across the series as there's 93 unique fish across the series i don't know if it's a coincidence or if they meant to do that hardest bug to catch in your opinion i don't know in this game like every bug is kind of hard considering you can't sneak with your net anymore so anything that you need to approach on a tree is going to be difficult yeah, I mean, a banded dragonfly up there would probably be pretty difficult. Never mind, that's a darn dragonfly. No, the flea isn't hard. Like, getting it to spawn is difficult, I suppose. Then again, we already saw one earlier, so maybe not so much. I don't know. It can't be that bad, I don't think. 
Still haven't seen a peacock either. I feel like the hard part about the peacock is getting the flower to spawn it. I don't know, maybe actually getting it to spawn itself is rare as well. Disney Dreamlight Valley. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out for it. I would say Tarantula and Scorpion from New Horizons. Nah, those are easy. Just don't carry your net around. It, it blows people's minds every time I tell them this, but Scorpions and Tarantulas will not sting you in New Horizons if you just don't carry your net around. If you just carry any other tool around, they'll leave you alone. And then after that, once you're a safe dis distance away from them, pull your net out then and then slowly approach them. And then don't run towards them. But if you slowly approach them, then they'll go like... And, but they won't, they won't, when they do that, stop, and then after they settle down, then approach them a little bit more. Once you get the rhythm down for it, they're really easy. As for cowards, man, yes, that is the coward strat, but if you're struggling to catch them, then I would recommend the coward strat until you can start doing the real gamer strats like your boy over here. Eh, uh, I'd like to listen to that conversation, but I got better things to do. What they do, what what they do, what sound? Like, what sound do they make? They go like... <laughs> yeah, they go like that. Something like that. Banded Dragonfly. Yeah, those are hard in, like, every game. Especially fucking Animal Crossing for the GameCube. Mamma mia, don't even get me started. I never do. That's so helpful. There you go. There you go. I would say just don't carry your net around, and from there it's trivial. From there it's trivial. I'm not getting anything, man. I mean, another Darner Dragonfly, I guess. Sure. I want to make that my ringtone. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. I give you permission. I give you permission. Bugs can hiss. I mean, look. Yeah, yeah bugs can hiss. Animals can talk. You were able to practice the means of ethical consumerism and capitalism in the world of Animal Crossing. Yeah, anything's possible, dude. Anything's possible. You're able to afford a house as a little, like, fucking munchkin kid. Like this. You're able to afford a house. You have an ethical landlord who doesn't have any, any deadline to pay off your loans. Yeah, like, there's a lot of unrealistic shit about this game. You're gonna be surprised at a bug making noise? There's so much shit that you should be more surprised about than that. God, I wish that was me. Same bestie. Got home from a party. What did I miss? We finished Animal Forest E+, and now we're working on Wild World. But I'm getting impatient. I think I'm going to wrap it up in a little bit here, even if I don't get all the butterflies that I need. I think we'll probably try again tomorrow. I think we'll probably try again, not tomorrow, but Monday. Blur the fur. Thanks for the follow. Eh, I mean, I'm getting some butterflies to spawn. I don't know. I saw an Agrius, but I didn't have a net at the time I saw it. And now I can't get another one to save my life. I was lucky to get an Emperor Butterfly as soon as I did. And then from there, I just get nothing. Oh man, I just joined? Well, I'm sorry. I mean, I can't, unfortunately, accommodate the schedule for everybody's, you know, time. If I could, I would. Blame time zones, though. If I could, I would. Can I, like, walk in and out of Nook's Cranny? Theoretically. Can I grab the rose? And then, like, keep walking in and out of a building until something spawns? Like, shit, don't even grab the rose. Just, like, walk in here, walk back out, see if there's a peacock butterfly? I mean, shit, the loading screens aren't bad. I might as well try, right? I might as well try. Why do the graphics look lower quality than E+. It's very simple. E+, Plus was on the GameCube. The DS is a DS. It's, it's... It's tiny. It's a handheld console versus a standalone console, like a an, an, a home console. It's very easy. You can reset the spawns. Yeah, I think we'll try do this a few times. I don't know. Try it. I like the fact that flowers and AC aren't mostly poisonous to animals. IRL. Yeah, would hate to see some of my most hated villagers poisoned in the most awful and gruesome of ways. Yeah, that'd be terrible. Why the yeah, but they're lower quality because E E Plus was on the GameCube, which, despite being older than the DS, I mean, was an actual console, not just a handheld. So, you know, games could look a little bit better on it. 
Wish me luck. Next stream, I'll probably be able to eat food again with this whole strep mouth sore combo. Well, I hope you are. I hope you are. I hope it gets better for you. Hopefully, you got some good antibiotics or something like that. I don't think I've ever had strep throat, but I've had to take a strep throat test before. And if you know what the strep throat tests entail... Ugh, yeah, I, I didn't like that. <laughs> What's up, I rush? How are you doing? Welcome. Ugh. Ugh, all right. Give it like... Wait, am I getting a tan again? I feel like I'm getting a tan again. Like, I feel like... I feel like I'm getting a tan again. Like, I feel like I'm I'm starting to get a tan. I'm not even on the island here. Ooh. Bandit dragonfly in Animal Crossing Wild World. That's kind of a tough catch. I love the strep test because I'm a throat goat. Okay. Got strep three days before I moved to college. Almost like it was stress-induced. Yeah, almost like the school system has made set people up for failure. Can I please get a peacock butterfly? Finally got the mahi-mahi. Took months. Let's go, dude. I mean, yeah, it takes that long, unfortunately. Yeah, you're definitely getting tan. I felt like it. I wasn't nearly as pasty white as I was when I started this. What villager would you poison? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Maybe the chow? Something like that? Something that universally everyone agrees needs to be poisoned, like chow or diva. But you know. Strep test not for an emetophone. For an emetophobe? I mean, it's not really a choice. I mean, if you need a test, you need a test. But I guess in order to get prescriptions to fix your strep throat, you probably need a test, right? Chester? Kind of true. Barreled? Mm, probably banned from my chat for slandering Barreled. But that's fine. That's fine. I'd like to curate an audience of Barreled enjoyers. I don't know if we can have a, uh, a naysayer, a Barreled naysayer in chat. Poison O'Hare while you're at it? Literally, why would you have a problem with O'Hare? He's perfect. He's a good boy. He's cute. He's got a little goddamn hat. He has a hat before villagers were allowed to wear hats. He was an innovator. O'Hare gets a hat, and then suddenly everyone else, Animal Crossing, adds the ability for villagers to wear hats. For the barreled slander, can we poison Gigi instead? Yes, we can poison Gigi. That's fine. Not my boy Barreled, though. You don't touch him. Mm -mm. Kiki, please. Nah. Well, I don't know. I can't. Well, I mean, that probably spawned on the flower. I don't know. Chops can get poisoned and slandered, hated and discriminated against. Yeah, I had to get down with that. Little chop slander never hurt nobody. Coal? Yeah, we can poison coal, yeah. I hear a lot that barrel is ugly. You hear a lot because that's what the sheep want you to think, okay? Be a free thinker. Be a barrel enjoyer, man. We're a rare breed out there. Barrel enjoyers. I hate chops so much, he's my worst enemy. Oh, I guess I get it. Poison Beardo? True. Pretty true. Don't talk to me, please. I'm very busy. Yeah, you can poison Beardo. Ursula, she bullied me in GameCube? Sure, I like Ursula, but I mean, if you gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta do what you gotta do, I suppose. Talk to your boyfriend? My, my assigned by chat boyfriend? No, I don't think I will. Mmm, yeah. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Now, I have to be careful, though, because if I save and quit and then log back on on Monday, my Black Rose could wilt, so I think... Hopefully, I'll remember to time travel back. Hopefully, I'll remember to time travel back to this day when I want to play next so that my Black Rose doesn't wilt. And, or maybe even I can find a better day. Like, maybe I should try doing this in June when cicadas don't spawn. And that might help my chances of getting a peacock butterfly or a fruit beetle. Why the fuck is a fruit beetle taking so long? I don't know, but I think I'm going to get it wrapped up there because my voice hurts. I could pick it up, yeah, but that would require facts and logic, which I do not subscribe to. Alright, one more. I'm going to walk in and I'm going to walk back out if it ain't there. If the peacock butterfly is there after I walk out, I'll stream for five more minutes. How about that? Streamer, balloon! 
Five more minutes. Five more. No. Thanks everyone for watching today. I very much appreciate it. That's a. There's a black rose. Yeah. There's a black rose. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you need to. Black, purple, or blue spawns peacock butterflies. Thanks everyone for being here today. I very much appreciate it. I'm gonna be live again on Monday. 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. GMT, 7 a.m. EST. All right. Right now, during this time, what we need is a peacock butterfly. We got the black rose to spawn one. We need an agrius butterfly, and we need a fruit beetle. And then after that, well, we'll worry about after that. After that. Yeah, but you're my comfort streamer. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Three, two, one, go. That's what we need. During this time frame. Touch the start. I, you actually have to touch it. That's incredible. Incredible technology. I've been pretty sick. I didn't get the COVIDs, but I got the fever. Fucking everyone's sick right now, dude. Kristen's sick. You're sick. Fucking is just disease. Everyone is just diseased. Anyway. Ice cream flinger. Thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. See, I'm thinking it's pollen because it's like actual sickness. It's not just like allergies. Like, I think it's more than just that, you know? Preparing bug. <laughs> bug in bug, yeah. Finally managed to catch a stream. Oh, fuck off, dude. Not you. Uh, Lyle. Please, don't cancel me. Um, yeah, but welcome. Love your videos. Thank you, Matrell. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we should have, uh, yes, a black rose on us, and then all the bugs that we caught during this process. So let's drop the black rose again with the opening up the wrong part of the inventory. We'll drop the black rose, and we'll just keep doing what we were doing at the end of last stream, where we just keep circling our town until we see a peacock butterfly, agrius butterfly, and a fruit beetle. The fruit beetle, I don't know why it's as rare as it is, but apparently it is. Bug of bug. Amazing. So, the, the, the lore to it is that I wanted... When I named my character, I thought I was naming the island. And so I wanted to name the island Bug. I just wanted to be Dagnol, but I'm stupid and I can't read. So, I'm Bug, and I live in Bug, okay? And if you got a problem with it... That's perfectly fine. I have many flaws to me that you'd find probably issue with, you know? All bugs in Animal Crossing? Yeah, so it's just like the fish challenge that I did, except it's with bugs now. I'm bug from bug. I do be kind of bug, though. I think I gotta do this. If I don't get it within, like, maybe... If I don't get, like, something within, like, 15 minutes... I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this in June when cicadas don't spawn. I really feel like they're kind of fucking me by, like, how much they're spawning. The cicadas. Of course, the more cicadas that spawn, theoretically, the less of everything else that'll spawn. So, if I can do this during a time where there's no cicadas, I reckon that'll probably do... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they'll come easier. Maybe they won't. Invested wheat. Thank you so much for the subscription. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing as well. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it very much, thank you. Yeah, so... We'll give it like... I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. If I don't even see anything that I need... Then I'll probably move on. See, that's a jewel beetle. For some, How am I getting a jewel beetle more often than I'm getting a damn... Fucking... Fruit beetle, for God's sake. Something's wrong. Like, I don't know, I must be doing something wrong. Fruit beetles are not rare. At least not from what I remember as a kid. I always watch your videos while I'm doing my nails. Hey, there you go. How often you be doing your nails, though? So happy to see a stream. Everyone was sick all week. Damn, everyone's sick. This is what I'm saying. Everyone is sick right now. I'm the only healthy person in the world. I'm convinced of it. I'm the only healthy person in the world. Like, I think that, like, I might just be... I might just be the, the, the like, most healthiest, robust person in the world. Is all I'm saying. Where my sickos? Yeah, yeah, any sickos in chat? I'm shockingly not sick currently. That's crazy, dude. Shiny Sugar Puff, thanks for the two months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your 
had free viewing. I appreciate that. What's up, hey Kiki? How are you doing? I'm watching while I work, work, twerk, and watch stream. There you go. A common pastime. I'm sick. I, I know. Everyone's sick. You're sick until proven otherwise, really. Anyone healthy? That seems to be the bigger, like, news break here. You're the opposite of patient zero? Yeah, like, I'm the last person in the world to be infected. I guess that would be the, uh, the uh, opposite of patient zero, right? Like, I'd be out here living in, like, Greenland or Madagascar or something, because, like, you just can't infect me. It's impossible. Impossible. Patient infinity. Yeah, that seems right. I'm patient infinity. Will Smith? No, that man's pretty sick, isn't he? In, like, certain ways. I'm healthy, but my knees are killing me? Well, that's fair. I feel like knee, back pain, that's only inevitable. I don't know if I'd call that sickness so much as I'd call it inevitable. I've long had... I've had long COVID since February. Long COVID? Is this a new strain? Long COVID. I guess you're just having symptoms that have lasted since February? That sucks, though. I know that it makes people, like, lose their taste for, like, a long time. And that's, like, the worst part about it, honestly. This game looks so nostalgic. You can say it looks bad. It's okay. Because it kind of does, but, you know... Do remember that this was a DS game. Blowing it up to a 1080p size stream probably makes it look a lot worse than it did when you were a kid. Mom's feeling good for a girl my age. That's pretty good. I mean, that's that's good to hear. It's good to hear. Everyone's talking about how sick they are. Let's talk about how healthy some of us are. Barely coughing. I just got the scratchy throat and mad boogers. All right, well... I'm not going to say TMI, because I suppose when you're sick, of course you're naturally producing record numbers of boogers, but I don't know. I guess it's good to know. I'll keep that in mind. What is this? This is not something I need. Get out of here. Uh, saw stag, whatever stag. I already got it, probably. Get the fuck. I don't even need it. I just wanted to get it to despawn. Get the, get the fuck. I'm tired of the dialogue. What dialogue? My vicious snot. Hey, that's growing. Nice. Okay, that's good. So we only got one coconut, so that's good that that's growing, because we are going to need coconut things eventually, so. Very good news. Even if I don't get the peacock butterfly, we can salt call something today a win. My nose running like a marathon. I, I've said that before as well. I mean, I got a big honker, okay? Not to be TMI, but I got a big honker. Big honker, that means big nostrils. Big nostrils, that means a lot of shit gets up in there, okay? So I get the runny nose quite a lot. So I be using the nose running like a marathon. I use that as well quite a lot. So I get it, I get it. Oh, you're sick of the dialogue. Are you talking about, like, you're sick of us talking about sickness? I don't know, I feel like sickness and ailment is only part of life. Dude, I'm not even getting, like, any butterflies. Can I, can I just check something real quick? Let me, let me, let me just check something real quick, okay? Peacock butterfly. What are the, what are the, what, uh, it's March to September. Chubby bub, are you in chat? <laughs> are you in chat, chubby bub? I have an issue with, with, it's not your Wikipedia, but you, you are associated with this Wikipedia. I would like to file a formal complaint. All right, somebody tell me how this one makes sense. Time of year, March to September. Peak times, September to March. <laughs> what is this, man? What, what is going on here? What is this? What, what's going on here, man? I was, I was just checking to see, like, what the peak months were. And I'm like, wait, the peak months are the months that it's not available? Any uh, Nookopedia admins in chat here? I mean, I know I could change it, but I don't want to change it. Because I feel as though I need to, like, back it up with data. I don't know. What is this? I just wanted to check if they're available in June. So, see if I could go to June and then get them when the cicadas aren't available. But... I guess it's... I guess we can still do it. How? They're only worth 220 in this game? Jesus Christmas. What a tragedy. Because no one's catching them, so they're happy. I guess mental peak months, yeah. Either way, I, let's go to June, man. Get these cicadas out of here. Maybe we'll have more luck. 
While I'm at it, let's check if the Agrius butterfly also spawns in June. And they don't, actually. July to September. Okay, we might have to get those in September, then. Uh, okay, that's annoying. That's annoying. And then the fruit beetle. When's the fruit beetle spawn? Fruit beetle. July to September. Shit! All day. Peak times 7 p.m. to 4 a.m. Okay, well, that's fine, then, because we're going to need to do July at 11 p.m. later on. So, actually, that's perfectly fine. All right. Well, that's kind of annoying how the Agrius butterfly doesn't spawn in June, but if it helps us get the fucking... If it helps us get the goddamn uh, peacock butterfly faster, then I'll be happy. S-tier villagers here. Oh, yeah, Jeremiah, Drift. Who else we got? We got Portia, my time at Portia. And yeah, we got a lot of good villagers, man. I've never seen the opening screen for Animal Crossing. Wild World, specifically. Good nostalgia there. You have Kiki? I do have Kiki as well, that's true. Making a Faz coin out of clay? What's a Faz coin? Is that a... Oh, it's raining. That, that won't do. That simply will not do. Um... Uh, please don't tell me this despawned. I really should have picked it up before I, uh, before I, oh yeah, I don't have any inventory. I really should have picked it up before I did this because, I don't know, like, just weird things where, like, maybe if you time travel backwards, it may not be there. On Halloween, you should cosplay as Nigel Thornberry. Are you saying that I look like Nigel Thornberry? I take great compliment out of that. Thank you. Please stop saying peacock. That's too many cuss words. Ah, you say, you say poo, you say peacock, no one bats an eye. You say poopcock, and everyone loses their mind. Can't fly in rain? I guess so. Literally, they can't. What kind of ice cream did you post on Twitter the other day? That was cookies and cream ice cream. Finally, someone's out here asking the good questions. Society, exactly. Society moment. Yeah, that was a cookies and cream ice cream. I don't remember the brand, though. <laughs> oh my god, so funny. True, true. Not even noticing the whole butterfly part. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, I, I guess I missed that one. Sorry. Slaycock. <laughs> What's your favorite ice cream? I guess cookies and cream. It, 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 you know, like I've been eating a lot of cookies and cream lately. It's like vanilla, which is great. And then you add, like, some cookies into it, and that makes it even better. How could you not like it? I like cookie dough as well. But, like, if I had to go for, like, basic ice cream flavors, it's vanilla, and it's not even close. Splashing? Do you mean smashing, like Nigel Thornberry? It's Oreo? Yeah, like, the cookies in there are Oreo. Cookie dough is great, too. Some Ben & Jerry's Americone Dream? What the heck is that? Sugar cookie. Good morning. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Good morning. Hope your morning is going well. Hope your morning is going well. Can I find a non-rainy day, please? I, I want a day. It's not raining. Oh, want, want dry. Dry day. Please. Game hates me. I think this is, like, the wet season of the game. But, like, my god. Like, you just settle down with the damn rain here. Maybe I should go to some... September. Because everything I need is also available in September. The Agrius was, right? Maybe I should go to September. Less chance of rain. Maybe the cicadas will be gone for sure. Uh, I could try it, yeah. Let's try it. <laughs> Thanks for the hydrate. And then I'll have to go back to July for the next split, but that's fine. That's fine. Let's make sure we go backwards, though, so we don't get weeds. So we want to go 2021, and then we'll go September 1st. Not that it matters what day of the month. I think it's fine either way. And then noon, yeah. There we go. You can only get rain. Welcome to Denmark. Notoriously rainy Denmark, is that right? I guess so. The counter? Oh, yeah, I did. Uh, the counter is fucked up in it should be 52 no problem 
Every time I change scenes, and I really wish that, I don't know if I can fix this, or if the people who made the plugin for it have to fix it, but, like, every time I change scenes, it goes back to zero. So when I changed the scene to show you the peacock butterfly, it went back to zero. So, whoopsie. Alright, September. It really looks no different, to be quite honest with you. It still looks like summertime. Alright, well, peacock butterfly should still spawn, Agri's butterfly should spawn, and best of all, no... Cicada should spawn. So, beautiful. <laughs> Dagnall's Hell, AC and H rainy days. I mean, when I'm looking for the flea, I'm pogged for rainy days. But, yeah, when I'm looking for things that can't spawn in rain, I'm not exactly so pogged anymore, am I? Maybe I should bring all the flowers to, like, one area so that I can just, like, keep checking that one little spot instead of going around the whole town. I don't know. Hey, it's been weird. Glad you're streaming as a distraction. Yo, indeed. I hope your day gets better. Assuming it's a, I don't know, is it a good weird or a bad weird? Happy, rainy, cold country. Yeah, it's like, what do you want? Do you want a country where it rains so much, but the human, you know, development index is super high, and you're, you know, overall, like, the happiness of your citizens is, oh, that was an orchid mantis that I just stepped on. I'm stupid. <laughs> I do need an orchid mantis. Um, please don't tell me this tree died. Okay, good, it's still growing. Screw cicadas in-game and IRL. Cicadas IRL are kind of... Oh, yeah, I guess instead of cicadas now, it's fucking mantises and shit. Ah, uh, whatever. They shouldn't be as bad, right? Surely. Yeah, cicadas IRL. Is that a fucking walker cicada? I thought I got rid of you motherfuckers. I guess I got rid of brown and robust cicadas, but either way. Your nook is on video, got me hooked. Oh, I'm sorry. Hopefully, like, hooked in a good way, but yeah. Hooked on, not phonics, but nook is on. When your dog picks up a cicada and you hear it buzz in your mouth, yum. Okay, I can't say I've ever experienced that one before. Um, but, you know, I, I guess, go off, bestie. <laughs> the flowers in New Horizons found a way to cheat death. I don't know. I don't know if I prefer them dying like they did in this game and every other game or staying alive and spreading like damn weeds in New Horizons. I don't know. Kind of a pain in the ass either way. Yeah, I don't know. We don't get cicadas anymore in California, but we did. We used to. Not too bad, though. Like, I know in some parts they were really bad. Depending on, like, whether your, your brood was spawning. Is that an orchid mantis on there, or am I going damn crazy? Okay, I'm not going crazy. That's 53. Nice. It's so hard to tell. You get, like, 20 pixels to deduce whether there's a bug on there. If you're right, good job. If you're wrong, how could you tell? <laughs> like, I don't know. Did any of you see an orchid mantis on there? I just happened to catch it out the corner of my mouth. My mouth? My eyes. How's the bugs going? It's going good. We just got our first one of the day. We just got our first one of the day. Yeah, we would get, like, cicada shells on trees in North Carolina. I never was in North Carolina when our local brood emerged. Um, you know how, like, cicada broods are, like, every 17 years they'll pop out of the ground and they'll just, oh, they'll stir a fuss. They'll stir a total ruckus. And then, you know, they're gone. They only last, like, a few days, right? And then they're gone for another 17 years. It would rain on you and the wind came through. Yeah, that was pretty, uh... That doesn't sound like the, a good pastime for me, personally. But, you know, your mileage may vary, I suppose. Damn, he's an orchid man is fucking menace, dude. My 17-year cicadas last year was awful. They lasted, like, two weeks, too. Yeah, and they're, like, deafeningly loud as well. Ugh, I don't know. No, no thank you, myself. Last summer was hell here with all the cicadas. Yeah, I guess it was, uh, I don't know who whose broods are emerging today. Not today, but around this summertime. Whose broods are coming out this year? Anyone got a brood emerging? I always thought it was sound I'd hear in the trees was angry wasps. It was just legit a shit ton of cicadas. It was just a shit ton of cicadas, dude. Absolutely. Fortunately, I moved, so I don't have them anymore. Yeah, we don't have them over here in California, no mo. But yeah, they were, uh, they were raucous. They were a real, they were some real, uh, some real menaces, for sure. No, uh, no, no, okay, good. 
I've never seen or heard a cicada before. That's probably a good thing. I mean, they don't, like, you know, provide a whole lot of good, I don't think. I think they give some birds some good food for a little bit, but that's about all the good that they serve, I think. They, you know, they feed some birds for a few weeks pretty good, and then uh, bada bing bada boom. Man, orchid mantis are just, like, kind of everywhere, huh? All right. I guess let's... Well, now I... My inventory's full, so it's not gonna be so easy now. They feed your dog, too? I don't know if you want your dog eating those, though. You can hear the bats in the trees? They were loud as fuck. Gosh, bats in trees? In Italy? <laughs> Sleep for 15 years, scream, sex, die? I mean, that's better than- that's better a life than most people in my chat have lived, so I don't know, man. Don't knock it till you try it. Don't knock it till you try it. Which bug are you looking for? Peacock butterfly? Uh, Agrius butterfly, fruit beetle. Only the peacock butterfly and Agrius butterfly, really? Wow, that was very good. <laughs> good, good catch, man. Just 360 no scope that bug off the flower. Um, really only the peacock and the Agrius are needed right now, though. The fruit beetle's an extra, whether it wants to show up or not. Drift, you scared me. Excuse you, I stream, I scream daily. I stream daily at twitch.tv slash Dagnal. That's where I'll pop my link in on the video. Is that a pawn? Is that a chess piece? Oh no, it's a bongo drum. Alright. Better than the life of a mantis? How long do mantises live? I can't imagine it's very long, right? Oh, we gotta fly in an ant, so we don't need that, uh, we don't need that turnip anymore, right? There you go, 14k. Look at that! He's so cute when he floats away with a scallop I give him an AC and H. He is a cute little guy, isn't he? Simp, sex, get murdered by wife. I feel like that's still better than the life of most of my chat members, though. Like, again, you goof on it, but like, I don't know, man. Mantises be out there getting some more hoo-ha than ain't none of you getting, so I don't know. Nothing terrible has happened today, five out of five? That's good. I'm glad to hear it. That's good to hear. Nothing bad has happened today. You know, maybe nothing good has happened, but that's okay. To to expect something good to happen every day is simply unrealistic. Simp? Okay. Sex? Sure. Get murdered by my wife? Ha! Huh? Worth it! Am I right, fellas? <laughs> Put her there. Um, please still eat. Uh... Hey, I have a great life. I'm glad. No, genuinely. I know that I, you know, I goof and I gaff that life is horrible sometimes. But if your life is not horrible, I'm happy for you. I'm not spiteful. A lot of people are spiteful over people who have good lives. And I get it. It's easy. It's easier to be spiteful than it is to be happy. But, you know, I'm happy for you. I'm roasting us all. At least I'm telling the truth. That's true. I always tell it like it is. Yes, sir. I always tell it like it is. Give me that. Last day of vacay, just saw the new Top Gun. The new Top Gun. Isn't that that show with damn Jeremy Clarkson, man? There's a new... Not... Yeah, Jeremy Clarkson. I'm right. I... No, I'm thinking of Top Gear. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of Top Gear. What the hell is Top Gun? This whole time I've been thinking it's this car show with Jeremy Clarkson. But no, I'm thinking of Top Gear. What the heck is Top Gun, and why is everyone talking about it? Is it a new Marvel movie? New Marvel came out? Day's kind of mid, kind of unmotivated, so 3 out of 5. Hope it's better tomorrow. So 3 out of 5, that strikes me as above average, though. That sounds good to me. Oh, now we get Monarch Butterflies. Which I will need, actually. I do have Monarch Butterflies down as something that I need. Eh. Eh. Ugh! Is 007? I don't... That's James Bond, I think, right? 54. That's James Bond, right? I think. Darnell, both old and young. Like, I'm old because I'm not in high school like most of you. Hey, there we go. Eh. Eh. Urgh, there we go. <laughs> I'm old because I'm not in high school like most of you. I'm young because... I don't know what 007 is. I don't know what... I don't know, man. Which one am, am I? The bastard himself. Alright, now we just need an Agrius butterfly. 
So I'm just gonna like consolidate all the flowers around this area here and just see what spawns, man. Like sell all these bugs in my inventory or just release them. Might as well probably be faster at this rate. All right, so we got the peacock. That's good. Now we just need the agrius, which I don't think will be too, too bad. Imagine being young. I'm young. I'm hip. I'm with it. Taka, 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 taka. Used to be a ride at King's Island, but then they changed the name because it was no longer named after the movie since Paramount is no longer the owners. Interesting. Fascinating to hear. I feel like Paramount kind of owns everything, though. I don't know. Or maybe I'm thinking, like, Disney. You should start a gel company called Dagnal and make- and it makes you a Daniel. What? A gel company? Like a hair gel company. Or like a- you talking about like the propulsion gel from Portal or something like that. I don't know. Top Gun is a plane and an engine American movie with Tom Cruise. Considered a classic, so it's a big deal. They're coming out with a new one. Interesting. Okay. Well, there you go. I learned something today. Thanks for the bit, Danielle. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. I have the original VHS of Top Gun. Interesting. I, how many people in chat even own VHSs? I definitely don't, like, own them anymore. I think a lot of the VHSs of movies that I enjoyed as a kid are definitely in the possession of my parents. Not me, but... I don't know. Be kind. Rewind. I miss my VHS? Yeah, till you had to, like, rewind the movie, and then, like, you have to close your eyes while it's rewinding so you don't spoil it for yourself. Like, outside of that, it was pretty cool. Outside of that, it was pretty cool. I do, of Sailor Moon movies. There you go. Any non-anime ones? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anime is valid. You're valid. I'm 21. I have a few VHSs, too. I feel like VHS is, like... 21 and above generally is probably like the VHS age. If you're like under the age of 21, you've probably like, there's probably like an about a 50% chance that you've never seen a VHS. And then of course that percentage gets higher and higher the younger you are. But you know, I guess, I mean, look, I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't really have much nostalgia about VHSs because I think that they're kind of inferior to, I thought Kiki was a flower. I was trying to pick Kiki. I feel like they are just objectively worse than DVDs, where you could just instantly skip from one part of the movie to the other without having to rewind all the fucking actual film in there. But I don't know. I don't have much nostalgia over them. I guess because of the movies that I watched on VHS, I'm nostalgic for, but for VHSs themselves, eh, not really. Not really. Hello Kitty VHS was my entire life at one point. There you go, Hello Kitty VHS. You know what I wanted as a kid along similar lines of Hello Kitty VHS? I wanted the, uh... <laughs> there was this computer, like, this this personal computer. Um, and it was, like, Hot Wheels. And it was, like, blue with, with flames on the outside. It was, like, this Hot Wheels PC. I wanted the Hot Wheels PC. You had the Hello Kitty VHS. I wanted the Hot Wheels PC. What is the cringiest 12-year-old slang you know? I don't know much 12-year-old slang, man. I don't really know much 12-year-old slang. And I feel like if I did, I would call out half my chat. Pikachu, Nintendo 64, let's go. There you go. I used to eat the VHS tape. Interesting. Well, I assume your organs are getting a good movie down there, then. I hope. There's a Barbie version? Of course, for the, uh, for the, for the girls, right? You gotta have a, you gotta have a guy version and a girl version, because girls can't enjoy Hot Wheels, and guys can't enjoy Barbie. Ho ho ho. No, no, no. Made some creamy mushroom Alfredo, ready to watch some bug catalog? Hell yeah, dude. Hope to, hope to be your bug catcher? I don't know, man. I don't know. Please don't show it off, man. Please, please put that down. Just, just get it out of here, please. You can dig up flowers with your hands? Yeah, that's how it was in every game prior to New Horizons. Dig them up with your hands. You don't need a shovel. In fact, I prefer it that way, to be honest with you, because in real life, that's how you yank them out. Love the look they make when releasing bugs. Yeah, they just like, huh, see ya. 
All right, so now I think let's... I feel like we've consolidated most of the flowers all together here. Let's, I guess, just keep refreshing them by walking in and out of here until we get an Agrius butterfly. I loved Hot Wheels as a kid. Bro, I love Hot Wheels as a dang adult. I want, like... I want Hot Wheels... Like, as an adult. And I don't care what society says. I don't care what society says. I want adult Hot Wheels. I want to be able to, like... I, I don't know. I don't know what I want. I just want to, I just want a society to be okay with adults liking Hot Wheels. Do you like minions? No, man. Not really. Ad, ad. I'm getting an ad. Why for ad? Streamer ads. I can't control it, chat. I can't do anything about it. What do you want me to do? When, like, commercials come onto the TV, are you guys like, ad, ad? Like, the TV can't hear you, man. Mastermind, thanks so much for the prime. Thanks so much, I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I did some weird-ass serial killer shit with my Barbies when I was five. Fascinating. Fascinating, I think. Adult Hot Wheels? Ah, yes. Me over here with my NASCAR diecast addiction. There you go. I, I had some NASCAR diecasts. Under, like, the plastic shield as well. Yeah. Another hey. awesome month with an awesome community. Thanks for always being the part of my day where I know I made it through another day when you come on at 5 p.m. est. Let's go. Hell yeah. Another awesome month with an awesome community. Thank you. Invader Zimps for the four months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. And thank you for joining us for another month. I appreciate that. At 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. GMT, 7 a.m. AEST. Hell yeah. Thank you. Whoopsie daisies. Glunk. I missed. Glunk. I want to customize dolls or something, but I have one Barbie. What's stopping you, man? I guess maybe they're expensive. I don't know. Monster High dolls were better than Barbies. They're worth a ton now. I recently sold all my old ones. I remember getting commercials for Monster High as a kid. I didn't know that they'd ever be worth something. They're the modern day Beanie Baby or what they expected Beanie Babies to be. Monster High dolls are so rad. I mean, I, I, I remember them vaguely in my mind, what they look like. I also got a Monster High as a kid. Wait, what? Hey, there you go. Apparently you're rich now. I guess. I don't know. How much are my old Hot Wheels worth? I don't know. I probably don't even want to sell them, to be honest with you. They're my Hot Wheels. They just re-released them? Oh, okay. Like, what about, like... Bratz dolls. Like, there was Bratz dolls, Barbie dolls, American Girl dolls. Why Monster High dolls? Beanie Babies? Like, what happened to the fate of all these? Why only Monster High? Hey, what's up, Christine Mons? How are you doing? Welcome. What happened to all those? Bratz dolls were pog? People go pog bog bog poggers over squishmallows? They do. I don't really know why, but they do. There we go. Ba beanie baby snail. <laughs> Eating my Trader Joe's tamale and enjoying the stream. A perfect end of the day. Yo, there you go. Hell yeah, dude. Can't say I've ever had a Trader Joe's tamale, but there you go. I hope it's good. I hope it's good. I'm sitting on my 24-inch Squishmallow. That's a big Squishmallow, dude. American Girl Doll Teeth? What the hell do you mean, American Girl Doll Teeth? My sister had an American Girl Doll. I don't remember, like... They're, they're supposed to be, like, real dolls? They're supposed to be dolls about real people? Or something like that? I don't know. I have anime figures. Are those not called, like, Nendronoids or something like that? Like, the ones where you can, like, customize, like, their pose or something like that? I don't remember what they're called. I have a Isabel from Animal Crossing one. Nen Nendronoids? Nendro Nendroids? I don't remember what they're called. Nendroids? Yeah, 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 whatever. It's a brand? Oh, are they brands? Okay. Well, kind of like how we call all 
bandages band-aids i don't know the brand is the figure now hello streamer dude how's it going it's going all right how's it going for you yoink and by that i mean yoink and by that i mean please i'm dying out here man i'm i'm dying please i'm i'm dying like i know it's the fastest butterfly in the god dang world but holy i'm please if this gets scared away thank god if that got scared away, I was going to shit. Oh, all right. That's everything that we needed, except Got for a fruit beetle. We'll Can't get that later on. The stream experience with a single ad. Hope the Hello Fresh has been good. Yo, Els Bells, thanks for the four months in a row. Can't hate the Dagnal stream experience with a single ad. Mm -mm. Oh, the Hello Fresh. Um, I may have gotten some bad mushrooms in my Hello Fresh the other day. So, HelloFresh is, uh, yeah, <laughs> HelloFresh is, uh, is, is, they're pushing my buttons, that's for sure. HelloFresh is pushing my buttons, um, but, you know, that's fine. It's a new week. New week, new HelloFresh, new fresh ingredients, new, please don't give me slimy mushrooms again, I will shit. Goodbye, fresh. Like, honestly, dude, I'm I'm running out of like patience with them, man. Then again, it's provided like I don't know. The re you might be like, oh, drop them. But they provided like a sense of like stability over the course of the time of had Hello Fresh to where I'm like, I don't know. It's been nice having like a stable, like planned meal set, you know? So I don't know. Oh Odette Amorette, thank you for the tier one. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I don't know. Like, if I think about it, like, if I get rid of HelloFresh, what am I gonna do? I gotta start going back to, like, the degenerate way that I eat before, you know? Or, alternatively, buy my own fresh ingredients, but then I'm like, well, I'm lost, and then I don't know how to put them all together. I don't know what to buy. I like having my portions perfectly allocated to me, like, in a weekly basis, like HelloFresh provides. I like the concept of HelloFresh, I just wish the shit that they sent me was actually more fresh. Anyway, now we have to move on to July at 11pm. And there, we need a moth, an oak silk moth, a lanternfly, a scarab beetle, a goliath beetle, a rainbow stag, an atlas beetle, an elephant beetle, a tarantula, a scorpion, and a fruit beetle. But before we do that, we probably want to get some more coconut trees growing. Because I only have the one, and I'd probably want more than that. If I really want to make this go by fast. So before we time travel, let's try to get some more coconut trees growing. So we're going to have to time travel to a time where that coconut tree that I have growing is grown. Plant those coconuts, and then roll that into like a whole beachfront coconut setup. Some of them are pretty good. Yeah, maybe I could, like, save the recipes and, like, buy the ingredients. That's actually a good idea. Save the recipe cards. Or, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Either way. You find a different, better service that's similar to HelloFresh? Like, I know that there are other ones out there, but isn't it not, like, really a HelloFresh thing? It's more of, like, a local distribution thing? Like, I feel like... I feel like it's really not even HelloFresh's fault that my shit is, like, gross sometimes. It's, like, the local food distributors that they work with. Eh, whether that's true or not, I really have no idea. But, oh, you know what I gotta do. We were at September 1st. Let's go to September, I don't know, 4th, and the coconut should be grown. Isn't it more to do with, like, the actual distributors that they work with? So maybe, like, I really don't know if it'll be any better if I go with another food service who probably use the same distributors, right? I don't know. Do you have any tips on not getting burnt out with AC and H? Yeah, take a break from the game. I would say, like, instead of trying to fight off burnout, just take a break from the game, you know? You know, you don't have to keep playing. There's no need. I missed something important. I'm back. Yeah, so we got every bug that we needed in July. So now we're in... Well, we're gonna go back to July just at night. But before I do that, I want to get some coconuts growing here. Gotta get head out. Good luck with the bug catching. Thank you. I hope you have a good rest of your day, Strawberry. Aren't all recipes free online? Yeah, I think all HelloFresh recipes are free. I don't know how you'd get them without, like, paying for the service, but I'm sure you could find them. 
Like, come on now. You, you're giving this... Everyone who subscribes to HelloFresh, I'm sure, is probably... You know, they're not going to, like, hide the recipes from anyone else, right? So, I'm sure they're all online somewhere. When I'm bored of New Horizons, I play City Folk on my Wii. There you go. That's a good idea. I mean, yeah, another Animal Crossing game, or, geez, another game entirely. I've been getting back into the Binding of Isaac Rebirth lately. Great game. Gonna pirate HelloFresh. <laughs> there you go, pirate HelloFresh recipes. Will those grow right there, or do they need to be, like, on the sand? I'm gonna do, like, one more forward, just to be sure. They might need to be, like, on the sand, though. I have no idea. I think they can grow. I think... I, I don't know. I, I, I remember as a kid, I would put them, like, on the sand, and then they would leave, like, no room to actually catch the bug. So, I'm gonna try to back them up a little bit, and hope that they still grow. Now, they won't grow 100%, but... I'm hoping at least one of every few that I grow, grows. I gotta start my quesadillas soon. Yo, genuinely, like, the Mexican food that HelloFresh sends me is really good. I, I find that the pastas, the Italian food, and the uh, Mexican food that they send me is always really good. I don't know. I don't know. Everything else is, like, okay. I really, like, if they send me good stuff, I really don't have a problem with HelloFresh, man. If they send me good stuff, the stuff that I put together is very good. It's just that sometimes they don't send me good things. They send me, like, slimy cucumbers and stuff. Back when the trees could just die? Yeah, it was really annoying. It was really annoying. You good at Mario Kart? Yeah, I'm pretty good. It's when they send me more shredded cheese. Yes, they do not send you enough cheese. So true. We have a whole bag of mozzarella that is mostly used for adding on to the very piddly amount of cheese that they send you. And I feel bad because they're like, oh, this is a nice healthy recipe. Wow, look at that. All right, Mr. Green Thumb over here. Cool. They're like... This is a this is a nice low calorie healthy recipe for you to use, and then I'm over here like sprinkling like a bunch of extra cheese that they didn't intend for you to put on there, and I'm like, whoopsie. Well, guess it's not so healthy no more. Cheese goblin time? Yeah, like, I don't know, man. I'm just saying, if they wanted me to be eat a little healthier here, they should send me a little bit more cheese to where I'm not like, oh, well, this simply will not do, and I just put a shit ton more on there, okay? Is that simple, HelloFresh? He hates Ninja Hideaway, and I laugh when he gets ramped up about it. I also hate Ninja Hideaway, now that it's on Mario Kart 8. I never played it on tour, though, so that's probably why I hate it. I don't have that tour experience. I caught a boot. A boot? Yeah, that can happen. Homemade pizza today, and it was yum yum. Hey, there you go. Hope you're having fun. I'm happy to be watching. I'm excited to see how this challenge goes. Yo, it's going pretty well. Thank you so much for joining us. It's going pretty well, though, and thank you. Thank you for coming over. Cheese and, like, bread are everything I need. Genuinely, like, bread... Might be the most perfect... It might be the most perfect food. I think bread it might be the most perfect food. You know, like, everyone's always saying, like, pizza. Yeah, but what's pizza made out of is bread. That's the primary ingredient, right? I think... I, I think bread is... I think bread's perfect. I think it's a perfect food. Like, peasants eat bread. The upper class eats bread. Everyone eats bread. Everyone eats bread. It's the perfect food. I think it might just be, like, the most perfect food. No cap, no bullshit, for real, for real. I think that it's the perfect food, to be quite honest with you. Wegmans bread. Well, yeah, Wegmans, there's better breads than others, but... <sighs> bread just... I think bread is perfect. Gluten-free bread is bad, too. I suppose maybe not for certain diets, right? But, I don't know, man. For all intents and purposes, man, I think bread is probably, like... <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe even my favorite food. Because, like, while I would probably rather eat, like, a lot of things versus just a plain piece of bread, bread is the basis of so many things that I enjoy, you know? 
to where I'm like, well, I don't know. If I had to break it down to, like, brass tacks here, I think bread might be my favorite food, man. I don't know. That's why Jesus chose bread? Yeah, like, why did Jesus choose bread? Because my mans knew what he was doing. You can dip bread. You can do so many things with bread. You can bake the bread. You can butter the bread. You can get the bread. You can do everything with bread. It's a wonderful thing. Which game is this one again? This is Wild World. Wild World. Alright, so let's go to... Let's reset the clock and let's go to July at 11 p.m. And we're gonna do a little... We're gonna go to July 1st and it's gonna... They're not gonna grow because I went backwards in time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to 11. Then we're gonna go 0. And then we're gonna load in here and then we're immediately gonna go to like the 4th so that all those trees that I planted will grow. You can make bread into little orbs if it's squishy enough. Sure, you could orb your bread if you want to. He also chose wine. I mean, I was pretty cool with bread. I'm not so much cool with wine. I love eating bread while having an existential crisis on my bedroom floor. It's the perfect existential crisis food. I caught a frog. Pog. He should say that when you catch a frog. You should say pog. List of streamers, favorite food, along with vanilla ice cream? Like, could I live off bread and vanilla ice cream? Maybe. Maybe. Devin is not. Thanks so much. Wait. Thank you so much for the Prime. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Odette Amaret, did I miss your subscription from 10 minutes ago? If I did, I apologize greatly, because I don't remember shouting you out for that, but thank you very much. Where's your name from? It's just a spin-off of my normal name. Used to squish bread under his feet and pick it out of his toes for a snack. I think I might ban you. I think I might have to ban you for that one. Constantly finding ways to live on just bread and cheese and strawberries. There you go, dude. You got your main fruit groups. Fruit groups. You got your shit. I don't think it could be raining. I think maybe to get something. Well, let me let me just check to see if our things grew. Even if it can't be raining, it's at least worth checking to see if our uh, cocoa nuts grew. It's his brother, not him. Calm down, Tag. I know, but I'm saying that's gross. That is straight up for real, for real nasty. That might be the nastiest thing I've ever heard. Oh, yeah, the 11 p.m. theme as well. Mamma mia. Oh, wait, I didn't grow them all the way. Okay, like, a lot of them died, but I don't know. Enough of them lived, I suppose. All right, we got to go another day ahead anyway, since they didn't all grow, so no problem. And Falflerus, thanks so much for the Prime as well. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing as well. They do look so sad, man. The little dead trees, they're so sad. This is all wilted and stuff, and I'm like, oh, man. Don't feel bad, man. All right, the fifth. Beautiful. Very good. All the 11 p.m. themes are good? They are. I don't know, like, actually, now that I think about it, Animal Crossing GameCube's 11 p.m. is kind of creepy, but still pretty good. Coffee is the best drink. Disagree. Have you heard about Nikocado Avocado? Unfortunately, yes. There we go. And Best Girl Lexi. Thank you so much for the subscription as well. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing as well. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so now that we got most of our coconut trees grown we should be getting a bunch of expensive beetles growing on those like the atlas beetle the hercules beetle well we already got the hercules beetle but the elephant beetle stuff like that we don't need a dynasty beetle that was an animal forest e plus so let me go over all the things i need again a moth an oak silk moth a lanternfly a scarab beetle a goliath beetle a rainbow stag an atlas beetle an elephant beetle a tarantula and a scorpion and a fruit beetle that's everything that we need. I don't know how easy or hard it's going to be to get, uh... I don't know. Specifically the tarantula and the scorpion. That strikes me as... 
quite difficult, but, uh, hey, easier, hopefully, hopefully easier than a moth was? We'll see. We will see. Yeah, Tarantula and Scorpion, I mean, they're super easy in New Horizons, because if you just approach them slowly, they're not gonna get ya. But, I don't know about this game, man. I don't, I, I don't remember how easy or hard it is to catch them in this game. We'll have to see. They'll be interesting, to say the least. What also might be worth doing at some point is cutting down all the trees in the island if I can get enough axes as well. If I'm really struggling to get all the bugs that I need, there's a fruit beetle, my god. I was looking for that so much today, and I only found it just now. Alright, there we go. I guess, like, they are more prevalent in the nighttime because reasons? I don't know. I just ran a 10k and my feet hurt like fucking hell. Yeah, that would probably make them hurt. Yeah. Well, congrats on the 10k. That's pretty awesome. That's fucking a lot further than I can run, dude. That's pretty awesome, though. That is pretty awesome. Roblox Animal Crossing? No, I've never seen Roblox Animal Crossing before. How many bugs do you need now? Um, still quite a few. I'd say like 12 if I had to just estimate. But this is the next to last time frame that I need to time travel to. After this, we only need a walking. Wait, no, I think we have... Actually, wait, because wait, I have... After this time frame, I have another time frame for October at noon. But all the bugs that I have scheduled for then, I've already caught. So actually, wait, everything that we still need in Wild World is available during this time. So actually... Not that many. We don't need that many, actually. The ones that we do need are quite tough, though, so don't don't get any ideas that we might finish this today. It would still be quite a pain in the ass to do so, but I don't know. A lot of bugs that we need, I've already caught, so I don't know. Please play Animal Crossing games on Roblox. I would have to even, like, play Roblox, dude. I've never played Roblox before. It's, uh... I don't know, not, I'm not anti-Roblox, don't get me wrong, but, like, I'm not, uh, ooh. Well, that's a Hercules beetle, I don't need that, but let's just get an idea of how tough these things are to catch. I think if you just approach it slowly and then swing at the right time, it'll probably be okay. He froze. My man's hasn't moved for 20 minutes. Uh, uh, uh. Yoink? Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, we already have the Hercules beetle, though, but the, a lot of rare palm tree beetles are the bugs that we need, so... It's encouraging that we've at least seen that one. It's encouraging that we at least saw the Hercules. We need an elephant, Atlas, Goliath... Yeah. Ooh, and a rainbow stag. Ooh, okay, that thing isn't so common. Let's just make sure we don't mess it up, though. Yo, what's up, Devin? Is not. How are you doing? Uh, glunk. There we go. 59. Alright. Moth, oak, silk moth, lanternfly, scarab beetle, goliath beetle, rainbow stag, atlas beetle, elephant beetle, tarantula scorpion. I'm really worried about the tarantula and scorpion. If I get to the point where I only need a tarantula and a scorpion, I think what I'll do is I'll chop down every tree on the island... And make it so that essentially nothing can spawn, except for tarantulas, scorpions, and I guess moths will still be able to spawn, but that's it. That is it, pretty much. I just want to play Wild World again. It's a great game, dude. I would highly encourage you to do so. I just appreciate everyone in chat today, and Dagnall, of course. It's really great here, and I really, really love it here with all you guys. Hey, I'm glad that you enjoy it. Glad that I can provide a... A uh, source of entertainment for you. Hit that yoinky sploinky. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Rate Morbius 10 out of 100. I don't know what Morbius is, man. I think it's a movie that just came out. I have no idea, man. I don't like Marvel properties, so... I, I have not seen Morbius. I have not seen Morbius. I just see a lot of, like, memes about it. Like, whenever a new Marvel thing comes out, the only thing that ever indicates to me that a new Marvel... Ooh. The only thing that ever tells me a new new Marvel property came out is all the fucking things that I see on the internet about it. That's the only thing I ever see about Marvel, though. Alright. 
All right. Relax. Settle down. Easy. Easy peasy. Let's go. All right. Catching bugs in this game, actually not so bad. Cool. All right, elephant beetle. That's a new one that we needed. Still haven't seen a tarantula or a scorpion, though. Don't need another moth. Need an oak silk moth, which is like... Kind of like an atlas moth, if you knew those in New Horizons, but not the same. It's not the same, but it looks similar. Morbius is a Marvel property? I'm pretty... Wait! No! No, wait! Isn't Morbius the Matrix? I thought it was a damn Marvel movie! Morbius is Marvel! Okay, I'm smart! I'm intelligent! I'm a smart human being! I knew that! I was not second-guessing myself at all there. Yeah, but wait, he is from the movie. He is from the Matrix, right? He is from the movie. He is from the Matrix, yeah. <laughs> is the intro thing the comic flappy thing Marvel movies have? It is the Matrix. Is the Matrix Marvel? Matrix is Morpheus. Oh my god, wait. <laughs> Alright, I'm confused. Everyone was trying to explain it to me, but at this point, man, don't even bother. I am too far gone. It's related by marriage. Okay, I don't... Now you're just using analogies that I have no idea. It's like related by marriage? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't... Will this be in the video? No, not every discussion that we have will make it into the video, unfortunately. Although, I am currently rendering, um the first part of the full bugs challenge so the full streams will get uploaded to my second channel which this will be in there and everything else that we've talked about so i guess on that video this will be in there matrix is a whole different universe well that's what i thought because matrix isn't marvel matrix is the matrix i'm quite late but hello there yo what's up sage how are you doing Welcome, welcome. Marvel and Sony were married, but they divorced, and Spider-Man is the baby. This is just ridiculous. This is ridiculous. You, 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 you're, 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 you're pulling a fast one on my asshole now. Now you're just pulling a fast one. You're just trying. You're just. You're tugging my britches now. You put this conversation we've dropped in the video. Will you put this conversation we've we we've dropped in the video? No, this is not an interesting conversation. I don't know. Like this is not I don't know. Like I try to keep like the amount of just like random bullshit that we say in videos to a minimum. I try to keep like the video that's specifically about catching all bugs in Animal Crossing relatively uh you know, relevant to Animal Crossing. So, no. Random ones like this probably won't make it into there. Because, I don't know. <laughs> it's not that interesting. Hey, streamer, look at me. What's going on, Kudel? What did I miss? Not much. We made good progress today, though. We've gotten a lot of... Do I see something? Oh, no, that's the flagpole. Oh, well, I saw something behind there. You missed a lot of... Uh, we've kind of made, made good progress today. We've got a lot of bugs. We, I mean... I don't want to say we might be on the city folk, but with a decent amount of luck today, we might be on the city folk at some point today. We will see. Scorpion, Tarantula, and others are still holding me up, but I don't know. Oh, nice. 60 bugs now. Yeah, and we only need... Let me see. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven. We need seven more bugs. So the end of Wild World will be at 67. And we're at 60. It's not bad, man. That's not bad. What's your favorite video of yours? I don't know. I guess, like, the full museum one. It seems to be a fan favorite. And, I don't know. I quite like it as well. Because, I mean, it's probably, like, my most... I don't know, it's probably, like, the hardest I've worked on a video, so I guess, like, I'm pretty proud of it. Then again, I watch it back, and I'm like, man, this thing kind of sucks. I don't know, like, I feel like as time goes on, I start to, like, hate my videos the more I, uh, like, look back on them. I don't know. 
But I don't know. It's still pretty good, and I'm still pretty proud of it. What's up, Carolyn? How are you doing? Welcome. Let me try refreshing things here. Also, whose house is this? Oh, Mallory. Okay. Ooh, wait. Ugh, all right. It's Memorial Day. Time to remember your wife that left you. Hmm? It's probably my most. Oh, and then an ad pops up. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, yeah, I was saying that my museum video is probably the one that I'm most proud of, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's like my second most popular video on my channel <clears throat> as of right now. It might overtake the bridge one. And honestly, the bridge one is so bad. My most popular video is the one where I'm seeing how long it takes for villagers to pay off a bridge. And it's really bad because I didn't even, like, complete the challenge. I just simulated, like, how long it would take instead of actually seeing how long it would take by doing it, you know? So that video is, like, probably one of my worst, and yet it's my most popular, so I don't really understand it. Wait a minute, isn't this, isn't this store open super late? Oh, only to 11. I thought they were open till like, 1. Oh, and there's a scarab beetle. Nice. Careful. Careful. Beautiful. 61. That's my most popular video, is the one where I see how long it takes to pay off all of a bridge using only your villagers. And I didn't even do it in that video. It's an interesting concept, yeah, and that's why it's achieved the popularity that it has, but I didn't even do it. I just, I was just like, oh, well, at the current rate... Relax. He's fine. He's fine. When he spreads his wings like that, I think that means he's, like, about to fly away. There we go. I wonder which bug will be 69. I have to imagine either the scorpion or the tarantula. We'll see, though. We'll see. Because, I don't know. I haven't seen one of those two yet. And, well, I haven't seen either of them. And I imagine when I do, it'll probably just sting the shit out of me, so it'll probably take some finessing to get. I mean, but after I get the oak silk moth, does anything spawn on normal trees? Could I, theoretically, cut down every single tree on the island, except for my palm trees, after I get an oak silk moth? Do you have any videos planned after this one? No, I don't really plan videos too far in advance. I guess I kind of had it planned that I was going to do the bugs after I did the fish challenge for this, but, uh, no, I don't really have plans for videos. Like, if I have a plan for something, I'll just start doing it instead of being like, oh, well, we'll try to do that maybe later on in, like, a month from now. No, I don't generally try to do that too much. Do all deep sea animals? See, like, that's been suggested as, like, a natural follow-up to doing all the bugs and all the fish but there's only two games that have sea creatures that being new leaf and new horizons so i really don't feel like they'll be all that interesting you know like, i don't feel like all sea creatures will be all that interesting after well, i guess mos mosquitoes can still spawn after i cut down everything um i don't really feel like it'll be all that interesting with only two games and only like i'm gonna guess like i don't know maybe 50 unique different kinds of sea creatures, which is, you know, almost less than half of how many fish and bugs are in the game. So I don't know. I really don't feel like they'll be that interesting. I don't know, though. Catch a flea in every game speed run. Uh, ban a chatter any percent speed run for suggesting such an idea. No, I don't think I'll be doing that. Like, that's, a, that's the one thing that's, like, stopping me from doing, like, all models in New Horizons is the idea of having to get three fleas to make a flea model. It makes me want to, like, behead myself just thinking about it. So, yeah, I don't know about that one. Maybe all fish models, but I feel like people are kind of tired of the fish videos on my channel. I've, I've made a lot of fishing videos lately. I feel like I should probably branch out, do some other things. The tension factor, deep sea stuff is like, oh, I gotta swim towards it. Yeah, it's also like... That's a good point, and maybe something that, in the back of my head, makes me not want to do it as well. It's because, like, I don't know. I guess it's kind of like fish, where you do have to, like, you don't know what it is before you catch it. Like, you know, you know what bug you're going to get before you actually catch it in your net. 
But yeah, there is less tension to it, isn't there as well? And also deep sea diving in New Leaf is really annoying with how things would just like randomly despawn. Breezy Kitty. Don't. Portia. H I I I I I. Hi. I I I I I. Thank you for the six months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Portia. Portia. You're a sworn enemy of the state. You're a sworn enemy of this stream. You're a sworn enemy of mine. You're completely immune to being hit by a net, apparently. Tee hee. Fuck you. I guess because she's immune because I haven't talked to her yet, so I haven't gotten through the introduction phase. I'm molding right now. I'm actually, like, molding. It's fine. We'll see. We'll see more, Goliath Beetle. Surely they won't take until the heat death of the universe now. And Atlas Beetles definitely won't. Alright, um... Well, hilariously, <clears throat> if that goliath beetle hadn't gotten scared away and I was able to catch it, I would have been done with all the palm tree beetles. But now, we still need a goliath beetle. So. <laughs> only four bugs left. Yeah, only four bugs left. We got um, goliath beetle, oak silk moth, tarantula scorpion. That's it. We would have been done with the palm trees. It wasn't for Portia. And then after I get... If I get the Goliath Beetle and the Oak Silk Moth, I'll probably farm up some axes. And... How do you get a golden axe in this game, actually? Is it easy to do? Because I would rather have one golden axe than have to, like, buy a shit ton of regular axes, break them all, and... How do you get a golden axe in this game? I don't know if I ever did. As a kid. Is it easy to do, or is it, like, take a lot of finessing? It's not getting a perfect town, because that's the watering can. How do you do it? You just bury it? No, no, I think you're thinking of the shovel. You throw your axe in the fountain? That's game. That's city folk that you're thinking of, man. The, no, no, the, ch the chihuahua, I know what you're talking about. That's in city folk. Oh, that's right. It's like this fucked up series of trades. It's like this series of, like, trades that you have to do with, like, Pascal and Tortimer and Wendell. I remember now. You're right. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. That's so... That's not gonna happen. That's a lot of, uh... That's a lot. It, I don't know. You can look up how to do it. I remember, um... <clears throat> I remember trying to do it as a kid. And it's complete RNG to get the trades that you need. And then, once you get one thing that you need, then you need to give it to someone else who only appears during, like, very specific times. Like, oh, yeah, never mind. It's That's never going to happen. I'll just get a bunch of regular axes. That's a vid in itself? Basically is, yeah. Like, it, it would take, like... I don't know, and a lot of people are like, get all golden tools in all the Animal Crossing games. I'm like, no, are you kidding me? I, I did it in New Horizons alone, and it was a pain in the ass enough. I mean, you could speedrun that. Yeah, but it's just RNG, you know? Like, I don't like RNG-heavy speedruns that just rely on getting the right thing at the right time. You know? I don't like ones that at least have a level of, like, skill involved in them. And I'm like, I don't know, that one's just kind of silly. What emulator are you using? A Wii U. A Wii U. There's also dead ends in the trade. Yeah, that's true. There's dead ends in the trade to where you have to restart the, uh... Restart the entire chain of trades if you get the wrong thing from someone. So, yeah. Yeah, just even more reason to never want to do it. Legit Wii U. Yeah. It's a... It's a Wii U. Says, oh, hey, that's a nasty screen. It says Wii U. Look, okay, the screen just sits there. I don't even do anything with it, okay? It just collects dust. Don't act like your shit ain't nasty, too. <laughs> yeah, it's just a Wii U, man. 
Wii U gamepad and dust are best. That's pretty true. That is pretty true. I crack this thing out like once a month. So, you know, it's only kind of right. Then I saw my keyboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take apart y'all keyboards. Then you can come talk to me. Breed a purple flower in every Animal Crossing game? Why a purple flower specifically? But you know, maybe more stuff with breeding flowers. Could be kind of fun. Then again, it is kind of just RNG again. However, knowing how to get the flowers is kind of something that requires skill, but I don't know. You're the only person I know owning... Owning with a Wii U? You didn't it flop? I'm the only person that you know that owns a Wii U. Didn't it flop? Yeah, it did kind of flop, but honestly, like, it's still a good system. I just think, I don't know, and I can't pinpoint the reason why the Wii U did flop. I think that it being branded as, like, a Wii, but better, was kind of, you know, a bad start for it. It being labeled uh, a Wii U is kind of... I, I don't know. And it is like a Wii, but more. So I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't... I don't know. Maybe that's not a good reason to, to think that it was kind of a bad name for it. But I don't know. A lot of people probably looked at the Wii U and they're like, Oh, I got a Wii, so why do I, want, why do I need a Wii U? I don't know. It's a, good, it's a good system, though, man. Twilight Princess HD. Yeah, it had a lot of good exclusives until they brought a lot of those exclusives over to the Switch, and then and they're not really exclusive anymore. But still, it's a good system. It's a good system. You can play DS games on it, for goodness sakes. Had to put orange juice in someone's Budweiser today. I've lost faith in humanity. They tried convincing me that's a normal com combination. Interesting. Um... I mean, isn't Budweiser kind of like... I don't know. Isn't that like basically you're watering down your orange juice? I don't know. I don't know. Orange and beer is a normal flavor combo. It might be a normal flavor combo, but I don't really know if orange juice and beer is really like a normal thing. But I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't really drink. A Blue Moon commercial with the oranges? Yeah, I think so. OJ and beer is def like orange juice and beer. It's one thing to like have an orange flavored beer or like a, a beer with an orange slice. I think putting orange juice in the beer is weird though. I think that's a little that's a little much. Kind of like a cursed mimosa, yeah. I don't like oranges or beer, and I still want to try that. Mm, what's stopping you? What's stopping you? No, hate on screwdrivers? Yeah, like a screwdriver's vodka and orange juice, and that makes much more sense, I feel. Vodka begs for, like, being mixed with other things. I'm not 18, that's what's stopping me? I mean, I suppose. Beer with orange wedges is kind of normal. People prefer lime, but pure orange juice ain't it. Yeah, basically, right? I don't know, I don't drink, so... I, I All these alcohol anecdotes don't, you know... I, I, have, I have no input into it. It has pulp in it? Not necessarily. A lot of people don't like pulp in their orange juice. A lot of people get, like, a pulpy orange juice, and they're like, bleh, bleh, it's actually got, like, real fruit in it, bleh, bleh. I'm like, man, pulp ain't bad. Would I prefer a pulpless orange juice? Probably, but when I get pulp in my orange juice, it's, I'm fine with it, you know? Pulp is great. Yeah, it's like, oh, no, real fruit. Real fruit in my, in my orange juice? No, I only want the artificial. It's kind of refresh. Yeah, it's like a little refreshing, right? It's like little pieces of actual fruit in there. It doesn't taste as artificial, you know? Like, I know it's still probably artificial for the most part, but like, you know, at least it kind of, the texture, like, I get it. I get it. The texture is kind of weird. Like, you don't really want to drink something that has little pieces or little bits in it. But I don't know, man. I, I, I don't mind it. Some people are like just inanely grossed out with pulp in their orange juice and i'm like look i think i'd probably rather without it pulp but like it's fine it's fine it's not a big deal just a little pulp never never hurt nobody i drank expired milk once and so no on pulp well that'll do it you recognize though that that's like you know i don't know it's not really the same thing 
primal reptilian brain says no? I feel like... I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a brainologist. The worst yogurt is with fruit chunks? Highly wrong! Just insanely incorrect! Just insanely incorrect! The best yogurt has chunks of fruit in it. Or like little bits of fruit in it. That's the best yogurt! Oh, no, it's not like Gogurt. Oh, no, I want it to be more like Gogurt, where it tastes like 100% sugar. I don't want to chew my drink argument. Boba tea is so... Oh, shit. <laughs> I just casually waltzed up on this thing, and I happen to need this thing still. Yoink. 64. All right, that's all palm tree beetles done. And the only regular tree thing that I need is a oak silk moth, which I'm surprised I haven't seen yet, but I think we should maybe hold off on that for a minute. And, I mean, I don't have an axe, do I? I think we should hold off on the oak silk moth, cut down all but a few trees on our island, and then come back to this time to see if we can't get a scorpion and a tarantula. I think, is probably what I'm going to do. Alright, let's do that. My friend puts Greek yogurt on sandwiches like mayonnaise. Alright, that's a little weird. I've been spelling yogurt the wrong the whole time. I think yogurt has like a different spelling depending on where you're from though, right? Yeah, like we leave out the H, right? I don't know. I think, I think so. I think that depending on where you're from. Yeah, I think it's deforestation time. Shit! I definitely pressed up there. And it, like, flicked up to the phone and then back to my player. Yogurt. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, do you put an H in Gogurt as well? Preparing bug? Yeah, I meant to call my damn island bug, but I, instead I made it my name, and so now I'm bug from bug. If someone gave me juice with pulp in it, I would drink it, but I wouldn't buy it myself. That's fair. That's fair. There we go. Alright, we want to go... I mean, I guess just to the daytime of the same day that we're playing, right? So... Can you just, like, make it, like, 11 a.m. instead? And then we'll just keep time traveling, getting axes at the store. And until we have enough axes to cut down the entire island. Good. Bug is narcissistic. Yeah, he happened to move to a place that just shares his name. You know what, Dag? I appreciate your existence. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Americans leave out letters because of capitalism? Explain. <laughs> it's this, what does this mean? We leave out letters because capitalism. Come on, man. What do you mean, come on, man? <laughs> I'm currently playing Animal Crossing in French, so I can keep st keep up with studying. You know, that's gotta be a good way of, like... That's gotta be a good way of, like, keeping up with the language, honestly. Like, playing Animal Crossing with how dialogue-heavy it is, that has to be a great way of, like, keeping you sharp with language, you know? It actually sounds like a good idea. How's your day been? It's been alright. It's been alright. It's really good for, yeah, like, reading practice in other languages, right? We can't afford extra letters, too busy paying for healthcare. I feel like this is a shoehorned joke a little bit. I feel like, I feel like we're kind of shoehorning the, the anti-capitalism jokes. But that's fair. Any opportunity that you get to, you know, to, to make a crack at capitalism, I suppose I'm down with it. You can just get a sphinx from Nook? Yeah, bestie. I used to watch Shrek in Spanish. Hell yeah, dude. How was that? That's what I did with Detroit Become Human. I liked hearing all the different voice actors, too. Yeah, there you go. What's up, Spook Blooky? How are you doing? Unlike the socialists that speak British? Yeah, unlike the, the UK, a notoriously socialist country. Bug Service Center. It's the old Bug Service Center, man. Man, imagine being Blathers, hating bugs as adamantly as he does, and yet moving to a place called Bug. 
We found out the jury's verdict for the Depp versus Heard case tomorrow. Justice for Johnny. Okay, for as much as, like, I feel like it's, you know... Okay. Like, it sounds like I, I have been on the outside looking in on this, um trial that's going on between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. I don't know much about it. For, from all I understand, it seems like Johnny Depp, uh, yeah, yeah, it seems like he, it seems like he, he was in a shitty situation. It seems like it's all gonna hopefully get resolved when the jury's verdict is out. Okay, that being said, why is everyone talking about it? Why are people talking about it so goddamn much? Like, I have never in my life, like, I've, I've lived through, through some pretty notorious, like, trials in my life. And never in my life have I heard as much about a trial as I have with Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Because celebrities, celebrities, I love celebrities, I love talking about celebrities. They're just like us. They're just like us, they're just normal people that are, you know entirely egotistic and have more money than I could ever imagine having. They're just like us, though. Why do I keep hearing about these damn celebrities, man? I don't care. There's more important things going on in the world. Anyway. Um, yeah, justice for Johnny, though. Hope, hope, uh, hope my man's... Hope my man's gets, uh... Gets, uh... Hang on, I think I need to sell my ship first here. The trial is hilarious. Like, it spawned, like, some pretty hilarious stuff about, like, how Amber heard, like, shit in his bed or something. Yeah, I was too young for the OJ trial, but, um, I'm sure that it, like, I don't know. People who have lived through the OJ trial, were people talking about that nearly as much as people are talking about the goddamn Amber Heard, Johnny Depp trial? Like, Jesus Christmas. It proves that women can be abusers? Like, any sane person already knew that. <laughs> any sane person already knew that. I don't know, man. Like, that's that's just like... That, you, this is not a revelation. This trial did not bring this to light. By the way, Nora Raven. I was too in the middle of my passionate rant. Uh, thank you for the subscription. I appreciate that. And thank you, Chelsea, for the Prime as well. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh! Oh! Oh, Jesus! Alright, one more. Alright, get to chopping. It's chopping time. That's me, that's me like the thing from, um, the Fantastic Four, where he says it's clobbering time, but I say it's chopping time. That's me, I was trying to do like a Fantastic Four there. What's up, Vance? How are you doing? Anyway. The problem is that so many now men now use it to point fingers about all women and avoid accountability related to male abuse as a whole is seen on most Reddit posts about the trial. Yeah, so true, Bestie. No, I, I get it. Like, it's almost like the internet is not, like, a sane place. It's almost like... It's almost like we use any, like, slight bit of enforcement for our arguments that we could use it to take it to insane levels to justify our bigoted ways. Yeah, no, it's almost like it's the internet. And, of course, they're gonna do that. But I get it. I get it. They'd be live streaming on TikTok and whatever here, Germany, especially law students, ate it up and called it their Grey's Anatomy. That's fucked up. What? Their Grey's Anatomy? Ain't that a TV show, man? About, like, nurses and stuff? I don't know. You're so true. So true. Thanks for the hydrate. I don't know, man. I'll just be happy when, like, I stop hearing about the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. Because I don't care about it, <laughs> to be quite honest. I just, I just really don't care to hear about it anymore. Like, I, I, I just... Wow, those break really fast. Aw, oh, rats! <laughs> those break really fast. Try running away so you don't get stung. You can make it to a building before they finish chasing you. Thanks, man. I'll give that a try. Your main concern is catching every bug? Yeah! Uh, wait. Trials? Johnny Depp? Amber Heard? All I want to hear about is how I caught every bug in every Animal Crossing game. I love Hopper. He's pretty good, right? He's pretty good. No problem, streamer. We are chat, and we are here to help. Chat unite! So true! Thank you. Thank you, bestie. 
It's like violent TV static. It kind of is, isn't it? What time is it for everybody here? Just curious. It's 0025. 3.26 p.m. What's up, Grave GF? How are you doing? Just fell and one of the lenses on my glasses came off. That is very unfortunate. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm very sorry to hear that. Uh, Hopper, please. I don't... I don't, I don't, this is, I don't, I don't want to hear it. I know it's my birthday. I don't care, man. Yeah, it's my, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Did the full museum every game? How much would you hate that? I, I would very much hate it. So, so, man. You got, <laughs> I thought the music stopped there. You got no respect. I think I know what kind of person you've really become. Now get out of my face. Interesting. All right, um, well, I can't sell that cake, so I guess just drop it down here next to the other fucking cake I got. Ha 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 Oh, I said so-so to how, um, I... To, to, my reaction to him celebrating my birthday was me saying, Oh, it's so-so, and he got really mad at me, so. That's, that's why. Why does he, like, look like he's hopped up on that dank kush? I think because he's supposed to look like a rock hopper penguin, like in real life. I think, I don't know, I think that's just what they look like. Maybe they got red eyes, I don't know. He needs some clear eyes for dry eyes, perhaps. Love the roaches running around the cakes? Yummy! Alright, looking for more axes? I don't see an axe, I don't think. Mm-mm. Do they have blood red eyes? I don't know. Am I Google Images? How's Kristen doing? She's good. She's sleeping. AM and PM are a thing? Yeah, in like most parts of the world. What the heck does the true friends achievement do? Besties with Cherry now, I guess? I think once you hit like a certain friendship level with villagers, you'll be considered best friends. So I think that's what it's supposed to do. Imply that you're besties. Anyway, somebody asked me a question, and I d didn't get around to answering it. Has anyone attempted every badge in New Leaf? Um, probably not, considering it takes street passes, so not realistic. Uh, oh yeah, somebody was asking me about full museum in every game. Um, no. That will not happen. Um, simply because, A, I mean, you saw how long it took to do it in New Leaf alone. Um... And in every game except New Leaf, paintings aren't able to be identified as real or fake, so that being a huge pain in the ass to just trial and error buying paintings until you get a real one would be a huge pain in the ass. And also, like, I feel like, I don't know, we already did it in the game that it's most difficult to do, so I feel like I've already done it. I don't know. I don't know, I feel like we already kind of, like, I don't know, I feel like we milked that cow. Full Museum and AC and H? Yes. It's my second most popular video on my channel. Is the Full Museum. I would like to see Blathers. I mean, I, I what do you want me to do? Why not an alpha why not an alphabet run? Like try to get a furniture item that starts with each letter of the alphabet in order. I, I don't know, like, maybe, I guess, it just doesn't really sound like, what, like, I, I guess what I would ask is, like, what's the point? Like, just, I don't know, a lot of people suggest videos, they're not bad, I'm just saying it, like, is there really, like, a purpose to them, or is it just, like, a collectathon for the sake of a collectathon, you know? Like, complete the catalog, I'm like, okay, what's the strategy to completing the catalog, what's the reward for it? What's the interesting things that can happen in the process of completing the catalog? They're like, I don't know, just do it. You're the Animal Crossing of Ascus, just do it. And I'm like, okay, well, I mean, if it doesn't sound interesting and it doesn't take strategy and there's no reward for doing it, then it doesn't really seem like something I'd want to do, you know? Make a cohesive room with the furniture? Like, okay, 26 pieces of furniture, one for every letter of the alphabet. Try to make a cohesive room for it. That could be fun, I suppose. Fumble through playing ACE Plus again. Not serious. That was fun. Even if it was fumbling through it, I did enjoy E Plus. 
Me lying on my couch in pajamas still? What the fuck? Grubhub driver. What do you mean Panda doesn't have Dr. Pepper? This is a disgrace. Through, th Screw everything. Flips table. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Seems kind of easy, though. I mean, are my challenges supposed to be hard? Like, I don't know. I don't want to just suffer. I want challenges that are a level of difficulty that's not torturously difficult. Ideally, at least. I panda was out of honey walnut shrimp yesterday. Damn, did we all get panda yesterday? I also got panda yesterday. Damn, that's crazy. I guess it was just a panda kind of day yesterday, huh? I love Tom Nook pajama moment in deep play. That's pretty good, man. I uh, I really wish they had brought that feature back at some point. I contemplate I contemplated getting panda yesterday. Okay, I guess it was just a. I guess it was something in the air yesterday. I guess it was something in the air. Get injured in every game. Jellyfish, bees, pitfall. I don't know. Is there anything else? Would be interesting, but also a bit weird. I guess there's scorpions and tarantulas as well. So, yeah, maybe something like that. I don't know, though, but again, it's just like... Why? What's the strategy? What's the accomplishment to it, you know? Now, I want Panda. Well, I mean, I'm not sponsored, but I don't know. It's pretty good. AM and PM stand for Ante-Meridium and Post-Meridium before and after midday. I genuinely did not know that. It's very interesting. I'm not a sponsored ad. Oh, did I get an ad right as I said that? Oopsie. Um, oh well. Was it a Panda Express ad? Speedrun a full bank account every game. No, not not gonna do that. I'm, I'm afraid I'm not gonna do that. Um, I assume you're joking when you suggest that. Getting every model in AC and HC, I've thought about that one as well, and I talked about it earlier, but I was like, just, the the concept of having to catch three fleas is pretty much the only thing that would make me never want to do that. I think my Twitch broke. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully it fixes itself. For the longest time as a child, I thought the PM stood for after morning and post morning. After morning and post morning, respectively, and was confused by it. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of kid logic, I suppose. Every model but the flea. Well, then that's just like, I don't know. Then it's just like, well, why didn't you get the flea? I mean, I don't know, man. If I was going to get 80 models in the game. Well, actually, sorry, not even 80. If I was going to get 160 models in the game... Or 159, why wouldn't I just get the 160th, you know? I don't know. Feels like I I might as well just go all out, right? I don't know. No, no point in, like, half-assing and, you know, doing 159 because, oh, no, the 160th would be too hard. I'm like, I don't know, man. P4 Midnight. Yeah, there you go. P4 Midnight. Opinion on Pocket Camp, it kind of stinks. A equals at morning, and PM was just PM. There you go. You don't need logic to it. PM's just PM. What does ad mean? People are getting an advertisement middle of the stream. And, you know, I really wish that I could prevent that from happening. Unfortunately, Twitch is not too uh, kind to people with ad blockers, so... Oh, well. Every villager move in and out just for pain? Like, yeah, it's just that, though. Like, you're just wanting to see me, you know, be in pain. Like, people suggest video ideas just to see me, like, haha, funny man goes through torturous activity for my entertainment. But, you know, I'd like to think that I would at least do it for, like, a reward. Other than, you know, the money that I would earn for making the video. We all know that Dagnal wants us to experience four ads in a row with no skips. So true. I personally ordered Twitch to do that. So true. I spelled ad wrong both times. It's a two-letter word. Ugh. After death? A-D? No, A-D, like... No, isn't A-D like Anno Domeni or something like that? 
I don't know. It's like Latin for I don't I don't know. The whole year system is completely like arbitrary, isn't it? Like, why is year zero year zero? I have a fucking idea. Every villager photo? No, I'm not doing that. Why would you suggest such a thing? Why don't you? Here, here's my. Okay, like I know that I've built my brand around like doing Animal Crossing challenges, but. I don't have to be the only one to do these. Y'all have a future. Y'all have a career in being a YouTuber, doing all these video ideas that y'all want me to do. Y'all have a future in this. If I say that I don't want to do something, you should look at that and be like, Hey, well, if he's not going to do it, I'll do it. And you got a million view YouTube video on your hand. Seems like, you know, seems like my loss is your gain. If I don't want to do it, then you guys should do it. I'm not the only one who could do these challenges. But I don't want to, I don't want to suffer, sir. Exactly. You guys don't want to suffer, so you take the inherent Animals suffering of something that you suggest and you plump, him feel put it on me. We randomly give him because bits. you don't want to suffer yourself, you just want to see the funny guy over here suffer. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost like uh, it's, it, you're self-aware at this moment. You, you, a revelation, a breakthrough. A breakthrough. You guys only want to see other people do it, and you don't want to do it yourself. Okay? Yeah. Hmm. Hey, thanks for the 100 bits, Charmorg. Doesn't want us to do anything except stop making him feel weird when we randomly give him bits. No, you can keep giving me bits, man. It doesn't feel weird. Do you think I want to catch fleas? No. Do you think I want to either? Not really. Not really, man. Like, this is just it. Like, y'all are becoming self-aware, and yet, like, you know... There, or at least, like, you're, 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 like, setting yourself up to realize that, like, you know, maybe there is a level of self-awareness in what you say, and yet, like, you know, I, I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to say. For a villager photo, gifting only shells. I pl I'll play it, too, when you stream. Yeah, it doesn't really seem that, you know, interesting. Villager photos are just kind of something I don't really ever want to make a video out of, because they're just too much of a pain in the ass. They're too much of a pain in the ass. Jeremiah, my love. He's pretty good. Can you do a VS type video like AC and H versus Stardew? How long to get a golden tool or AC and H versus Stardew? How long to get 100,000? Yeah, that could be fun. And I mean, AC and H and Stardew are probably good games for that. So I've thought about it before. I just don't know what I would do. Thank you, Funky Kong. I watch your streams every night, and they're great entertainment. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I hope that, uh... I hope that your sickness ails quickly. Yeah, Stardew versus AC and H. Like, how to get a gold tool in Stardew versus AC and H. How long would it take, one versus the other? I don't know. Yeah, something like that could be fun, but, uh... I don't really have any good specific ideas in mind. Fleas are so rare and worth nothing. It's so rude. It is rude. Then again, I guess it would be kind of annoying if they were, like, super common for your villagers to be going around with fleas on them, but I do wish they were a little bit more common than they are. AC and H versus Terraria? In what regard? Like, what would I compare? What's up, Cryptid Youth? How are you doing? How long would it take to get the exact same villager on New Leaf and New Horizons Town? Like, the same 10 villagers on one town versus another? I don't know, at that point, why wouldn't you just generate 10 random villagers and then see how long it takes to get those 10 random villagers? I've thought about doing stuff like... Like, I mean, just like that. Like, generating... Picking 10 random villagers and then trying to get those 10 villagers on my island? I've thought about doing something like that, but... I also get extremely tired of villager hunting after, like, I don't know, like a hundred islands. So I'm like, oh, I'm subjecting myself to something that I'll know I'll just get sick of after a while. So I don't know. Portia, my girl. Portia's on the shit list right now after scaring away a Goliath beetle earlier. So, yeah, not not exactly my girl. 
What's villager hunting? Blank NFC cards for the win. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that would definitely be a way of doing it. Is this New Leaf? No, this is Wild World. My King Hopper would never. I mean, he has never, as of now at least. Literally pay to win gameplay to use the amiibo cards? Maybe. I guess so. I just like collecting them, really. I think green mums are really rare. Also, so true, village hunting sucks. It does kind of suck, which is why I see these, like, streams where I'm like, 2,000 villager ticket villager hunt for this villager, and I'm like, you are, you're crazy. You're a little, you're, you're a little, you're a little insane. But, you know, fair enough, I suppose. Everyone needs content. Making fish bait is a fun, idle activity. I highly disagree, but respect your opinion regardless. You have to get Chow as a starter in every game? I've already done that at this point. Alright, done that twice over. Do you have any advice on getting back into New Horizons after months of having no motivation and unwillingness? And I've gotten the DLC, but I'm not that great at decorating and it gets boring and tedious? You don't have to play the game. Like, you don't have to get back into it. There's no, like, you know, nobody's, like, waggling a finger at you, making sure that you're getting your daily allocated New Horizons time. You don't have to come back to it until you're good and ready. It sounds like you're not good and ready because you're, like, asking for advice on how to stay motivated. I think the motivation will come to you once you're truly ready to get back into the game. Fun, idle activity seems like an oxymoron. No, not really. Idle doesn't really imply that it's, like, boring. It just means that you're really not doing anything else, you know? Just in your own time. I've never seen Chow in the wild. <laughs> Lucky you. Maybe try working on your museum if it's not done already because it's very different from decorating. Yeah, I mean, if decorating is like the sole purpose of why you want to play, I'd think maybe shift your focus, but I don't know. Then again, the game is only really... I don't know, it's only like a game that's really good for decorating and really not much else. I don't know. What's your favorite drink? Water. Yeah, this axe is... I mean, it's like, I think every time you hit a tree, is like a chance of the axe losing a bit of durability. This one is a very bad axe. This is a very this is a very unfortunate RNG axe right here. This thing is gonna break probably any hit now. Idle hands are the devil's tool. I, I've always heard idle hands are the devil's plaything, but yeah, there you go. Kat Katana Crossing just put out a great video about New Horizons burnout. I'm curious to to watch that. What did they say about it? What did they say about it? Like, what did they say about Animal Crossing Burnout? Because a lot of people just, like, they, they don't... I, I, don't, I don't mean to sound rude. A lot of people are like, I'm burnt out of Animal Crossing. What should I do to, like, keep my motivation up? I'm like, don't play the game. Just don't, don't play it. You can be burnt out of it. It's fine. Nobody's making you play it. Like, oh, I'm burnt out of Animal Crossing. What do I do now? Find another game. Find another game. <laughs> Play other games. Exactly. That's the simple answer as to what you do with Animal Crossing burnout, man. You don't play the game. Oh, my villagers will be sad if I don't... No, they won't. They won't. They're not real, okay? They're not real. Like, but I, I don't know. Like, what did that video say you should do? Because if the answer is anything other than play a different game, then I disagree. So I don't know. For a while, I played Omori, so now I'm occupied with that. And now you're not even worried about it. You're not even worried about New Horizons, because you're occupied with something else that makes you happy. It's that easy, you know? I've, I've been in that funk, though, before, where I'm like, I don't really have any games that I want to play. I'm burnt out of everything, you know? I've had that before, and I, unfortunately, it's just kind of something you gotta deal with sometimes, you know? Until you can find the motivation to play something else. Switch sports? Yeah, switch sports. That's a good fallback. If you want to drop 40 bucks, it is fun, though. What's up, Racer Grill? How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. How many hits does it take to clean out an entire town in each game? Uh, well, it depends, because axes in this game, every time you hit a tree, I think it has a percentage chance of getting a... Uh, of losing durability. So it could be... I guess, theoretically, it could be three hits, or it could be 300, depending on how lucky you get, or unlucky. 
Great luck on the axes? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. What are the chances of an axe showing up every day in the store? Like, three and seven? Three to You get three tools, and there's seven possible, so it's like less than a 50% chance. I'm just guessing there's seven tools, though. Yeah, like, I'm burnt out of eating ice cream. Okay, eat other things. I only like ice cream. Well, I don't know, man. I think you should diversify your palate. Same thing with video games. If you only like Animal Crossing, I feel like, you know, you just haven't tried anything else. 1 over 7, 1 over 6, 1 over 5 probability, I think. If there's 7 tools and you get 3, would it not just be as simple as 3 and 7? I don't know. Like, I don't... I think it's that simple, right? I don't know. I'm also dumb, but... Thank you for the advice. Basically, all the main storyline before the major storyline and decorating my island before the big update with Brewster. So when I came back for a month, I got bored and unmotivated again. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I get it. But I would just embrace, like, the burnout for it, you know? Like, don't try to fight it. Just embrace the burnout, man. Play something else, you know? There's a lot of great games out there. I mean, if you still, like, want to play something like Animal Crossing, but you're burnt out of Animal Crossing, there's so many games out there that are, like similar to Animal Crossing in ways that maybe Animal Crossing isn't, like, specifically, but stuff like Stardew, you know? Like, there's games out there that can probably scratch that itch without being burnt out of it, you know? And... Oh, Peacock. I don't know. I think it's just a matter of, like, trying other things, you know? Expanding your horizons. It's 1 in 7 plus 6 over 7 times 1 over... What... No, I think you're overcomplicating it, man. If there's seven tools total that can appear in the store and you see three different ones every day, is that is it not just a three and seven? I I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean I'm also stupid. I, I don't I'm not good at math, but I uh, you don't know. Well you can't have a tool more than once. Like I okay, I suppose so. I suppose that's true. I guess three and seven is kind of a simplified way of saying it though. Even if it's not completely accurate. Dependent on one another and not independent. I still think you're, like, overcomplicating it. Even if you are literally right, I think that, like, 3 and 7 isn't far from incorrect. Way oversimplified? Alright, yeah, I also took, you know, a math... I also took math classes in college. I took AP stat, I can't help it. Yeah, I know, I know. Probability's a bitch, and there's a reason I took pre-calc instead. There's a reason why I dropped out. That's because I'm dumb as shit. I always alternate between AC and Stardew when I get burnt out. There you go. There you go. And there's a lot of, like, clones of both of those things that, you know, if you get bored of both of them, I'm sure there's other things you can enjoy between them. I'm also a dropout, Dag. I'm speaking high school. Hey, I hope you're still girl bossing it up, though, despite that. I find League of Legends very relaxing. Hmm. Hmm. I also like being called racial slurs because I made a mistake in a video game. At least that's been my experience with competitive online games. I have two jobs and I'm working and making money. There you go, making the bread. How can you, how to make, how to make fun, AC and H fun, abuse your villagers and then make them ask you if you can leave, say no, and then start abusing them again and just repeat? Are you alright, man? Are you alright? Did you receive, like, enough attention as a child? Did, did your parents give you enough attention? I, I hope that you had a good childhood, man, because the way that you sounded is pretty concerning right now. In Pokemon Unite, you cannot chat, at least only with the given prompts. I love, the true MVP is video games, competitive multiplayer games where there's no ability to type or speak in chat. I do enjoy that. I do enjoy games like that. I got burnt out of MLB The Show 2021, took a three month break. After that break, I really love playing it again. Yeah, a three month break, it'll do wonders for you, man. Meanwhile, I can't reset because I'd feel guilty for voiding my villagers. The villagers don't feel emotions, man. Like, you don't have to feel guilty. They're not real people. I see you want to quit. I do not, though, actually. 
Splatoon with no talk is oddly calming to me. Like, I'm such a pussy, dude. In Rocket League, I have to disable voice chat. I have to disable text chat from teammates and opponents. I can only see chats that are quick chats. Like, ones that the game... You know, like, quick chats, like, people saying thanks, or great pass, or great shot, and stuff like that. Because if I actually have to, like, see what other people say about me, I would, like, fucking... I, I would stop playing the game. I'm such a pussy. But it's better for your mental health, by, like, a long way. I... I just... You know, forgive me, I don't like being fucking verbally assaulted every time I make a small mistake in a video game. It's why I don't like, like, competitive online games, for the most part, is because, like, I just, I just can't handle fucking other people. I don't know, there's ones that I've got into before, like Rocket League, but, I don't know. Usually they have to be, like, no communication from other people for me to actually enjoy it, you know? And also, they don't take themselves too seriously. Like, the reason why I like Switch Sports, for example, which is multiplayer, or at least that's how I primarily play it, is A, nobody can talk to you, and B, it doesn't, you know, it's not serious. Nobody's like a, or at least nobody should be like a serious Switch Sports gamer. Yeah, I take the game seriously. No, man, it's not a serious game. Oh, wait, we can cut these down as well, since we don't need them anymore. We don't need these anymore. LOL, community toxic as fuck. Yeah, I'd never get into League or anything like that because, I mean, A, I don't... I, I, to an extent, I value my mental health. And also, like, I don't know. Stuff like that I've heard can be, like, cripplingly addictive. And, like, RuneScape as well. Stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, I got the Goliath now, right? Yeah, so we're good. We don't need palm trees anymore. But I did have to think about it for a second. I'm cutting down all these trees, in case you're curious, by the way, to help my scorpion and tarantula spawn rates. I do need to leave a couple, though, because I still haven't gotten an oak silk moth. So actually, before I go absolutely crazy with the cutting here, let me remind myself that I do still need an oak silk moth to spawn. So... Where should I leave, like, a group of trees? Where should I leave, like, a little bit of trees? Somewhere convenient. Animal Crossing tattoo? No. Do I have Animal Crossing tattoos? No, I don't have any tattoos. I think I'll leave, like, maybe three up at the top, like, near the... Near the river up here, I think, is where I'll leave a few. I don't think there's any other game I would recommend with Second Thought is, like, Star... Like, Stardew? Yeah, Stardew is, like... I don't know, man. I feel like anyone can enjoy Stardew. I feel like literally, like, it's a game that is just enjoyed by everyone that plays it. I suppose there are people out there who might hate Stardew, but to them I say, why? Simply why? I don't, I don't know how you could. All right, I'll leave that apple tree, and I'll leave this other tree over here. And min-maxing of Stardew is what I love, but there is no right way to play it. Yeah, like, a lot of people are like, Oh, if you don't have, uh, Starfruit Wine going by year one, you're failing. And it's like, no, you're not, man. Don't try to, like, take this casual game and make it super try-hardy. I hate when people do that, you know? I hate when people do that. Alright, so I think it's just this, like, little strip of land along the right side that has trees left. So, we'll chop those down and then get to hunting again. But I think it's because I get confused by all the options. It could be a little overwhelming. I can see that as someone who... A reason why somebody I definitely hit up to go to the phone. Uh, yeah, I can see why that would be someone... The reason why someone would not like Stardew. You can be gay in Stardew. You can be gay in any game that you so choose to be, bestie. Because you are you know, yourself. The fun part of Stardew is getting a gay boyfriend. There you go. There you go. I suppose not every game you could choose to have a romantic relation with someone of the same sex, but, you know, either way, you're valid. Is he finished cutting now? No, I think one more axe will probably do it, though. Gotta head out. You have a good rest of your stream? Thank you, it's Chelsea. You have yourself a good rest of the day. A regime hydrate. Please drink water. Thank you. Thank you. 
Wow, okay, that's crazy. There aren't a lot of games that support fruity stuff. I feel like there are. I don't know. At least I feel like it's becoming more prevalent. I don't know. I, just, I, don't, I don't know. As someone who's, you know, straight, I, I guess maybe I'm not as noted. I don't notice as much, but I feel like games are pretty aware of that now. Should be more games for the gays. I, I think, the, I mean, I don't know. I feel like it's as good as it has ever been. But I guess it could always be better. You can't be gay in Tamadachi life? Well, that game's not that old, really? That's interesting. Can't wait for this museum stamp thing to end. Is that still going? For when I last, before I did this challenge, that was still going. That's crazy. Damn. Or, like, it was just starting when I, like, last played New Horizons, which at this point was, like, over a week ago. Holy shit, how long does that thing go? And, like, you still get the same damn rewards every day. That's so sad. Alright, after we get down all these trees, well... Yeah, we can just time travel. You don't need the stumps. The stumps, I don't think, will spawn anything in this game. I mean, there might be, like, a violin beetle in this game. I actually have no idea. But I don't think the stumps should spawn anything. Goes till the end of May? What the... F I mean, it's only a, another day or two then, but still. My god, that's insane. I did it once. It was kind of fun, but only once. Yeah, it's a fine activity to do once. Once. You get the rewards, and then you do it again. You get the same rewards as you did it the first time, and it just completely disincentivizes actually wanting to do it again, you know? Like, what's the point? Why didn't they make it so that, like, you had a museum-like furniture set that you could earn the completed set by doing it every day? Fuck! No, man! Really? With three trees left? Oh my fucking god, you're... ass. It's been ten years since they said that, though. Yeah, Nintendo hasn't exactly been the most progressive company out there. I mean, as an example, you could only be a white person up until, in Animal Crossing, until uh, the most recent Animal Crossing game in 2020. So, yeah, Nintendo not exactly known for their progressiveness, have they? I've left two trees. I've left two trees already. Those three are... Not amongst the two that I left. I see you want to quit. I see you want to go fuck yourself. I don't know. Sometimes my inputs, I, I can only assume because of the delay in my inputs, they just don't register. Like, I'm just pushing buttons too fast, I guess. I'm here, streamer. Hello, Jesse. How are you doing? Alfonso's leaving my island, and I'm so sad. That'd be pretty sad. Alfonso's kind of the man. One of their packs included a gay couple, and it wasn't going to be released in Russia because of it. Yes, notoriously notable progressive country, Russia. Yeah, but that sucks. Um, and I'm not surprised at all. If, if EA is facing backlash because of that, I'm sure that that's hardly the worst backlash that EA has ever faced. <laughs> I... Pretty sure they're always in hot water about something. So if it's about a gay couple in a Sims pack that they released, I think that they'll be all right with that. I don't. I don't think they're too concerned with that. If anything, I think like being banned in Russia should be like a patch of pride at this point. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm banned in Russia. I don't know. EA Games challenge everything. Oh my god, dude! Don't even start with me. Freaking Need for Speed Underground 2, you get hit with that EA Games challenge everything. <sighs> so good. Uh, what's this comment, man? Pretty, pretty strange comment. Voices in AC and H are so much more higher pitched. I like the animalies in this game, personally. I like the animalies in this game. Oh shit, different childhoods Dagnall and I had. What, like, you heard that from a different game? I mean, there's a lot of games that had, were EA games. I mean, they were fucking... They were actually making, like, good games back when we were kids, man. Very late to catch on to things, like switching from cartridges to CDs. I'm sure they'd do that much better if they got with the times faster. When did they go from cartridges... Are you talking about CDs to cartridges? I mean, when did they go from CDs to cartridges? Only with the... Well, no, because they're funny. They went from cartridges on the N64 to CDs on the GameCube, CDs on the Wii, and then cartridges on the DS. 
and then cartridges on the 3DS, and then back to CDs on the Wii U, and then now back to cartridges on the Switch. So they're like, they're all over the place. So which way are they going? I don't know. They're, they're all over the place. Riders on the storm. Oh my fucking god. I'm due for another Need for Speed Underground 2 playthrough at some point. Maybe sooner than I thought. And head out for at least a little bit. You have a good yourself a good yourself a red vision. You have yourself a good rest of the day. An absolute masterpiece. That game just in general is a masterpiece. The switch is too small for CDs. Yeah, I get it. But like, aren't CDs pretty obsolete as forms of game like I don't know, like like, what, I suppose, like, the PS5 and the, the latest consoles are still using CDs, right? They're not using cartridges. I don't know. And again, I don't really know. I don't have a PS5. 100% be down for a Need for Speed Underground 2 stream? I don't think I'd stream it, because it's just not related to anything that I play. Don't think anyone would really care to watch it. Some people would. I don't know, some people are like, I'll watch you no matter what you play. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to play Need for Speed Underground 2. And they're like, ah, that's just not what I meant. So, yeah. Did your grade school have, like, random educational games that really weren't? Like Microsoft FSX, The Sims, and other things? No. <laughs> no. The closest things to faux educational games that I have played in school are, like, CoolMathGames.com. Which are, like... Well, you know, on the surface level, games that'll teach you about math, but in reality, they got, like, fucking... I don't know. Like, fucking, uh, Line Rider or something. Challenge involving K.K. Slider? What would that entail? Ugh! Alright, I only need one more axe to cut down these last three trees that I need, and of course, it's gonna be a little bitch about it. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, they did say it's cool math, so I don't know, man. Maybe the teachers are misled on that one. Imagine the chat backlash if you played MLB The Show on stream. I don't know. I guess. Papa's Pizzeria? Don't get me on my fucking Papa's rant again. I'm not doing it. Don't know what you're talking about. Fireboy and Water Girl was very mathematical. Very taxing on the brain, yes. You gonna stop streaming today? Wondering if I should stay up or head to bed. You should. You should uh, head to bed. You should head to bed. It's kind of the kind of the easy answer. But I don't know. Depending on how long these last few bugs take is when I'll uh, wrap up stream. Probably. I don't know. We'll see. Finally got the axe, so hopefully not too much longer. What about a challenge where you speedrun getting your favorite furniture set in every game? I don't know. Just collecting for the sake of collecting. I don't I don't really know. And also just completely RNG based, you know? Heard Disney's making a film about Fireboy and Water Girl falling in love, but like Shark Boy and Water Girl already exist? Yeah, like Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Like that's literally like a, a thing already, right? We weren't allowed to play cool math games after a while. Yeah, your teachers probably eventually learned like, oh shit. <laughs> These games are just generic Flash games. They're not math at all. Luckily, our teachers never caught on, but uh, seems as though your teachers are wiser than mine. Seems like your teachers were wiser than mine. All right, finally. If this axe breaks on these three trees, I think I'll probably cry. Oopsie. Chop the bees. How long will you be streaming? I want to get me some food. I don't know, for as long as these last three bugs take that I need. For as long as these last three bugs take. Let me guess, bees again? Oh no. I thought since I only have three trees, it's probably going to be bees and at least a decent amount of them. Alright. Every tree but two are on my island now. So that means that those two should pretty reliably spawn me an oak silk moth. And then after we get that, we'll chop down those. And then pretty much the only things that can spawn is a tarantula, a scorpion, and a, I guess a handful of other bugs as well. So let's go to sometime in July at 11 p.m. All right, I'm gonna go get myself some food. Yeah, go for it. Axes can break in this game? Yep, axes can break in every game. Yeah, that's the one tool that uh, can break in 
any game. Like, I know that a lot of tools don't break in the older games, but, uh... Yeah, axes were the one that could still break. For whatever reason, I guess they try to disincentivize people from chopping down their entire islands, but... I don't know. What's the weirdest NPC, in your opinion? I don't know. Well, Math was banned at our school for like a week, but everyone was so upset that they unbanned it. Wow, the school actually listened to you. That's crazy. No, weirdest NPC? Oh, shit, I don't think it could be raining. Uh, unless the tarantula and the scorpion and oak silk moth can all spawn in the rain, I'd be quite surprised if they all could. I'd be quite surprised. Uh, what the hell is that? That's just a saw stag. I mean, these bugs are spawning. I don't know. I mean, like, let's check, I guess. Oak, silk, oak, silk, moth, A, C, and H. Or A, C, wild world. It doesn't really say whether they spawn on rain or not. All right, I'm going to guess that they don't, though. Just guess that they don't. So let's move on to another time. They can't. I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Preferred favorite weather in AC? I like rainy days. They're pretty good. They break because there is nothing else a golden one could have provided? That's true. I guess it could have made it so that you can cut the tree down in one hit or two hits, but that's kind of lame. I don't know. Then again, like, the golden shovel was pretty lame compared to its regular counterpart, so I don't know. I guess they don't really need to have too much of an incentive. Alright, try the 16, I guess. I've never played Wild World, I've only played AC Nature and a bit of New Leaf, but how come there are so many pitfalls? I think it's like the first pitfall I fell in. The entire stream. I don't know, but you got one that spawned randomly every day as opposed to New Horizons. You don't get any spawning, you'd have to bury them yourself. I guess that's the difference, but I don't know, I don't think I've fallen in that many today, have I? Unless I'm just misremembering. Alright, non-rainy day. Let's, uh, I don't know, let's dig up the stumps. Not that I think I need to, but just to... Just to, um, make as much space as possible for a scorpion and tarantula to spawn. And then I can just, like, I think I can enter a building and then re-exit to fill in all the holes in case you're getting mad at me for not filling those in. Uh, let's also get rid of the flowers that way as well. Help. People always remembering the I.O. games as if they're old. Why? Wow, stop making me feel old. They're not that old, man. The third grade teacher would yell at me for getting my French wrong. Getting your French wrong. Interesting. I never took French. I only ever took Spanish as far as foreign languages go. Aside from E+, and my least favorite is Wild World. I mean, as much as I would hate to say it, I think my least favorite is also Wild World, but I still like it. You know? It is just that. It's my least favorite. Not that I hate it, it's just like, you know, of all the ones, I think it's probably, like, the one that I like the least, you know? Not that it's bad. It just doesn't hold up as well as the newer ones, you know? It doesn't hold up as well. Je n'ai pas les passe français. Is that? I don't know. I, I don't know what, you could have just said something horrible, man. You could have just said something horrible, and I'd have no idea. Oh. Wait, did that just spawn? Like, I, I just caught it out of the corner of my eye, and, like, it was just there? I, I, I want somebody to clip that. How did the hell did that... Did that just appear, like, on the tree? Or was, did the tree get unloaded for a second off screen? And it spawned during that time? I mean, either way, whoopsie. I ain't gonna complain. Alright, that's 66. It got unloaded? Okay, it must have just barely got unloaded. It's pretty, but yuck! Pretty funny. Alright, 66, and now we can chop down these last two trees, since that's the last tree bug that I need. And then, the last two bugs that I need, in general, are just the scorpion and the tarantula. And after I get this whole island cleared out of trees, flowers, and everything else, I reckon... Those shouldn't take too long. Those shouldn't take too long. At least I don't think they should. There we go. It's the silky moth. It's the Japanese oak silk moth, apparently, is the full name for it. 
I might get stung a few times before I get them, but hopefully they don't take too long. What's up, Philo Joe? How are you doing? Welcome. That really likes the style of New Horizons music better than the older games? I just read really chill vibes? Yeah, I don't know. It's a pretty unpopular opinion to feel that way, but I don't feel like the music is bad. I just, and maybe it's nostalgia that I like the older tracks better, but I really don't feel like New Horizons hits the same. I feel like even without the nostalgia factor, I would still be like, older games are better. I missed a tree. Oh, I missed a couple. What the fuck? Am I high? I missed two trees and nobody said anything? Huh. Wow. Interesting. I, I missed two trees. And they're right next to each other. Wow. Alright. Interesting. Well, good thing I still had some durability on that axe. I have strep and mouth sores and I can't eat. I'm going insane. But hey, Dagstream. I'm sorry to hear that. Seems like we were talking about it earlier. Like, fucking everyone is just sick right now, I guess. Yo, hey, Kiki. Thanks for the host. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that very much. I hope your stream was good. Thank you. Chat's failing the streamer? Yeah, like, everyone's like, Oh, streamer? You missed a couple of trees. And I'd have been like, oh, thank you. But now, when I actually do make a mistake that I need to be called out for, oh, uh, I do not see it. I do not see it. Yeah, chat, where you at on that one? Spent two years protected from all the normal diseases, and so now we're paying for it? I mean, that makes sense. I don't know, like, you're probably right. Is that how it works, though? Like, if we aren't actively exposed to these diseases by staying outside, we're more prone and susceptible to falling ill to them after it's done? I mean, it's not done, though. I don't know. But you get what I mean. I guess it makes sense, but I don't know. Being sick near the summer is awful. Being too hot for soup or blankets. Oh, never too hot for soup or blankets. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, it's uh, it's winter time. Why are you eating ice cream? I'm like, what? What do you mean? Ice cream's a good year-round thing. Soup, that's good year-round. Summer, winter, who cares? Like, freshman flu at college or preschoolers basically being plague vectors? I guess so. I guess. I don't know. Same, I was away, but now I'm back. We were bad, but now we're good. Welcome back, though, Kyuto. Welcome back. If they, Vietnam, could have a national dish of hot soup, I'm not pussying out of my cravings? Wait a minute. If they, Vietnam, can have a national dish of hot soup... Oh, because it's a hot country and soup is there. Ah, okay. Yeah, so true, so true. I don't suppose the national, uh, you know, the national food of Antarctica is an ice cream. Hmm? Yeah, if they can do it. Yeah, what are y'all complaining about? Hot soup tastes good in every season. So true. Best sick food? Tomato soup? Grilled cheese. Mm-mm. I mean, that's healthy food as well. Like, I'll eat that if I'm healthy, sick, or anywhere. But, yeah, that's good stuff, man. What is to Vietnam? Like, I think I was confused, but, like, I think what they're saying is pho being the national food of Vietnam. Like, despite it being a very hot country, like, geographically. If they can eat pho all times of the year, despite it being hot, then what are we complaining about that it's too hot for just a, for a soup, you know? I think that's what they're saying. But I might be wrong. Of a hot, humid country. I'm having my soup in May! Yeah, that's so true. So true. Tomato soup. Grilled cheese. That's good stuff, man. This challenge seems like a punishment, just saying. Not really. It's pretty fun, actually. Like, a lot of challenges that a lot of people suggest to me do seem like punishment. But this is hardly, like... This is hardly gonna be the worst one. It'd probably be harder than the fish one that I already did. But, no. It's fun. I mean, shit, I'm just, like, digging up stumps, shooting the shit with chat. Not having a bad time. I haven't had COVID yet, as far as I know, and there's no way that that's the case. What do you mean? Tomato soup and a peanut butter sandwich? Mmm. I don't know, like, tomato soup and peanut butter doesn't seem like a... As much of a winning combo as a grilled cheese and tomato soup, but maybe that's just me. 
I've also never had COVID. Yeah, I've also never... Oh, yeah, again, as far as I know, could have had it and been asymptomatic. But, yeah, I haven't had COVID. I don't think Kristen's had it either. I mean, she got tested a couple of times for the sickness that she's feeling now, but both of them came back negative, so... You know, I don't know. And I'm kind of surprised I haven't been feeling bad, despite what she's been feeling, because, you know, she's holding up inside while she feels better, and I've been inside with her, and... I don't know, man. I'm doing all right. Guess I'm just built different. I don't think I've had it. I don't know how I haven't gotten it. I mean, I haven't been inside 100% of the time ever since, it ca ever since you know, ever since quarantine. But uh, I don't go out much, so I'm not that surprised. I'm not that surprised, I suppose. Because I've been in contact with a lot of people and keep on testing negative. I mean, I don't think you can be immune. You could be asymptomatic. I've had it twice. Yeah, I, I saw this guy on Twitter that was like, I've had it 15 times. And I'm like, sure, man. I don't know about that. Twice is realistic. But like, I've seen some people be like, yeah, I've had it like 10 times by this point. I'm like, you're just irresponsible. If you've had it 10 times, you're irresponsible. And I feel like your body is, hmm, I don't know. I don't know, I feel like your body just kind of hates it at that point. Yeah, almost two years apart and having it twice. Yeah, that's not bad. That's just unlucky, really. But 15 times, that's that's a mix of irresponsibility and also your body just hates you. I don't know. I don't even know if he was vaccinated as well. I feel like if, you, if you've had it 15 times and you survived every one of them, hopefully, I would probably think that you are vaccinated, but I don't know. I don't know, he was also, like, a hockey player that said that, who got injured, like, multiple times every year. So I'm like, man, I think that guy's body just sucks. I don't know. Same guy. So I don't know. My friend had it three times? Yeah, three times is... That's that's pretty unfortunate. And she's vaxxed? Yeah. Once a few months ago was the only one wearing a mask at my school? Pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And now we're all back to, I don't know, I feel like it's, I feel like, uh, okay, so we've had mo many instances by this point of people getting complacent and then easing restrictions and then having it get worse. And I feel like that's happening again, but just nobody's acknowledging it. Like, I, I keep seeing these things that are like COVID cases up, you know, 200% this week. And I'm like, okay, so it's another spike again. But everyone's just like, they're not even changing restrictions at this point. They're just done. They're just done. I don't know. I get it. Like, I'm tired of it too, man. But, goodness gracious. How many spikes does it take? Definitely hate you with the increased heart damage that COVID causes as well. Probably the dozens of long-term effects that we don't even know about it yet. Yeah, like, God knows how many years down the line we'll be discovering that people who had COVID have, like, a higher chance of, you know, something other something else. I don't want to cause any anxiety, though. China's on full lockdown again. I remember seeing a report that was like, North Korea is being like, I devastated right now. Of course, North Korea, there's no getting in, there's no getting out really, so... It's kind of not really surprising that if something goes around North Korea, it's gonna spread like crazy. Um, but yeah, I saw a report that's like, North Korea being terrorized by mystery disease, and I'm like, oh, what could this mystery disease be? And they're like, yeah, it's COVID. I'm like, yeah, I kind of figured it might have been COVID, and it's like, I don't know, if North Korea is admitting it, then I'm like, whew, must be serious. Entire generation in Europe that had neurodivergent problems after a mass outbreak of viral encephalitis. Hopefully COVID doesn't do that. Hopefully. I mean, I feel like that'd be worst case scenario. I also wash my hands for 20 seconds minimum. I don't be, like, singing happy birthday when I wash my hands, but if my hands don't feel thoroughly clean, then I don't finish washing them. They gotta be feeling 100% clean. Yeah, it's a mystery respiratory illness. Oh, could be anything. It's highly infectious. Mysterious respiratory illness. Yeah, yeah, mm, hmm. Wonder what that could be. But again, if, like, North Korea is, like, out there saying that they have a problem, then I'm like, ooh, must be pretty serious then. They're not usually ones to uh, admit when they're in trouble. How long do you think you're going to stream today? I don't know. See how long the scorpion and the tarantula takes. 
which is concerning that I haven't seen one ever since I've deforested the island. A little bit concerned about that. Um, let me just check something real quick here. Scorpion. Just, just, just check something here. Wild World, July to September, 7 p.m. to 4 a.m. Okay, well, it's July. It's between 7 p.m. and 4 a.m., so... Yeah, and then a tarantula, I think, is the same time. What do you mean, time of year unknown, Nokopedia? What do you mean? 7 p.m. to 4 a.m. I mean, I have to imagine it's the same. I don't know. It's two bugs left or three? Two bugs. Wait, why am I at 67? I think I should be at 65, right? I think I should be at 65. I think it's 67 after I'm done with all the bugs. I think I should be at 65. Pardon me. Yeah, I think it's two more bugs. The scorpion and the tarantula. So we got the oak silk moth, which was the one tree bug that I needed, and now we got that, as you can see. And with all the trees gone now, all the holes filled, now it's just walking around trying to find a scorpion or tarantula. Now, it's been a long time since I've caught a scorpion and a tarantula in Wild World. I don't know how long this is going to take. I'm hoping it's not going to be too, too long. I'm hoping it's not going to be too, too long, though. We shall see. But, mm, in my entire, oh, good job, dude. You're so lucky. Okay, I, I guess we'll, blunk, there we go. All my rewards are out of stock? Yeah. I don't know. I, I haven't seen one yet, despite pretty much making the island optimal for spawning a tarantula and a scorpion. So, I'm a little concerned at how... This is going... I mean, I guess other things still can spawn, like moths can still spawn. Uh, mosquitoes can still spawn. I missed a stump. No, it's not a big deal. I don't need to dig up all the stumps. Nothing spawns on stumps, but merely for the sake of being thorough, I wanted to do it. What does a four-leaf clover do? It's, um... If you put it in your house, it's big points, but I don't know what it does completely. I think there is, like, a hidden luck factor in these in this game. And I think it might increase that hidden luck factor, but uh, I don't really know what that luck factor does or anything about it. I think that if you put it down in your house, though, you get a bunch of points. Thanks for the hydrate. And that's mostly just HHA points, right? Pretty much it. What's for dinner? I have no idea. I have no idea. Yeah, but let's check all the buildings, see if mods are spawned by the lights where the buildings are like or mosquitoes any mosquitoes either let them bite me or catch them now outside of that that's about the most i can do that is the most i can do i think the weeds aren't doing anything i just feel like picking them up melba is the best villager she's pretty good if i may ask why are the rewards out of stock um because they're out of stock i don't know do you uh, do you, like, ask a store why something's out of stock when it's out of stock? I don't know. It just is. Kind of just... It just is. Hey, Funky Kong. Thanks for the bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. I missed the four-leaf clovers. Yeah, you can't get them in New Horizons, can you? Unfortunate. Like, everything I want to buy is out of stock? Yeah, you don't really question it, though. No, get away from me, man. New Horizons cut so many of the small things. I think, like, if I had to pinpoint, like, why New Horizons lacks charm, it's because of, like, cutting things like... I don't know, that seemed pretty trivial, like the, uh, the four-leaf clovers. Like, things that don't seem like a big deal, but, you know... If you, like, take away enough of those things, then they kind of make it feel like something's missing, you know? Like the four-leaf clovers and stuff like that. AC&H definitely has the best gyroids. See, I would agree with that. I was kind of mad at how AC&H designed the gyroids when I first saw them. But then I'm like, I don't know. The more I look at them, the more I'm like, man, these things are kind of awesome. Compared to the, I don't know, the ones in this game, which are kind of, or at least previous games, which are kind of silly, you know? I don't know. Hopper might have had a flea. Oh yeah, I guess we also made ideal flea spawning conditions, didn't we? 
by completely decimating the island. I guess we've also made pretty ideal flea spawning conditions. Well, that's good. I, I don't need a flea, because we already got one in E+, plus, so not a, not, not a huge feather in my cap, but I guess kind of cool. No, maybe we could catch some fleas. Do a little flea farm in here. So healing, seeing Wild World and hearing its, he, hearing its music. Yeah, dude, this music, specifically 11 p.m. as well. Very, very soothing. Now, counter that with the um, absolute insanity that it is going to be when I eventually see a scorpion and tarantula in a total panic of how I catch it. We'll see, though. How much I love late Wild World music. Yeah, it's really good. I think 11 p.m. especially is very good. Speed run until 10 flea models in AC and H. You're probably suggesting that as a joke, but there are probably people that unironically want to see that. Sadly. Do they chase you in older games if you're unarmed? I don't know. I gotta, like, I haven't caught a scorpion or a tarantula in so long in this game that I really forgot, like, how they work. I'm like, yeah, maybe I should put my net away so that they don't uh, chase me, but I'm like, I don't even know if that's a thing. Like, does anyone remember Wild World? Like, should I be putting my net away? I don't think I should, because I think if I... I, I, I don't know. I don't know how I do it in this game. I guess it's just gonna be something that I'll find one and figure it out when I deal, when I, when I find it. I think they always chase you. I think that's how I remember it as well, so I think they'll always chase you. I feel like you should have your net out so that you don't have to, like, pull it out at a later point after they're already chasing you. I feel like having it out by default is probably the way to do it. Oh, jeez. All these mods. I thought I caught both of them at the same time there. I was like, whoa, that's pretty cool. I didn't know you could do that. They only aggro with a net. They only do in New Horizons. Do they do that in this game? Even so, I feel like considering you can't sw quick switch between tools... I feel like you're better off just carrying the net with you because of the fact that, I mean, when you want to go into your inventory, pull out the net, they're going to chase you as soon as you arm it, you know? I'm going to turn the sound up as well so that maybe I can hear their skittering. If indeed you can hear the skittering, I have no idea. I think you missed a fossil. Oh, unfortunate, man. Probably just a pitfall anyway. Probably just a pitfall. In this one, too. I don't know, man. Like, even if that is true, I still feel like having your net out would be better. I don't know, though. I can't... I can't say for sure. I can't say for sure. I mean, let's just fucking... Can I find one? Just to, like, see? I can't even find one, for God's sakes. Like, this is a little absurd. I've, I've made the island perfectly... Uh, I've made the island perfectly suited to have a scorpion or a tarantula and I still can't get one to spawn. So, I don't know. I don't know. The forums say to leave your net out. Well, it, it, if, if it's the forums, then that strikes me as correct because if, it, if this game is old enough to have forum discussions about it, it's probably, you know, probably accurate. From a weird dream that I don't remember. Yeah, I hate not remembering my dreams. It's very annoying. Just keep it out. It'll take too long to get it out while it's chasing you. Yeah, exactly. Like, the fact that you can't quickly switch between tools makes it so that I feel like it's better to just have it out. Would it help if it was raining? No, because I don't think they spawn in rain. I don't think they spawn in rain. It would help if they could, because that would make it so that I probably, like... Mosquitoes probably can't spawn, or moths probably can't spawn, and probably make it easier as a result of despawning all of those, but I don't know. I don't know. Probably not, because I feel like while it would make other things not spawn, it would also make them not spawn either. But yeah, it's very, uh, mysterious. I didn't know that they're this rare. Like, I knew that they weren't going to be very common, but my god. Perfectly getting the island to account for them, and I still can't get one to spawn. You've gotten so many bugs and still haven't made it to New Horizons yet? Nope. And then after we're done with Wild World, we'll have to do New... Uh, we'll have to do uh, City Folk, and then New Leaf, and only then will we get to New Horizons. Which 
I don't know. New Horizons won't be too bad. It didn't introduce a whole lot of bugs that are super rare. The giraffe stag's the one that sticks out the most to me. Do you like Garfield? I guess it's fine. I used to love Garfield as a kid. Any music wrecks? Not really. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a music guy. It says, don't have your net out. This is for Wild World specifically. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm going to take the chance and have my net out. I'm going to... I'm going to take the chance and have my net out. Maybe if I don't run. It'd help if I don't run, maybe. I don't know. But then again, like... It's the best way to maneuver around the island. If I go, like... 30 minutes without seeing one... I'll probably wrap it up and do some research off-camera and try to get it again tomorrow, but, uh... I don't know. Can you hit villagers to aggravate them in this version? You can, yeah. You can... I, you have to introduce yourself to him first, though. That's why he's not getting mad at me. I'm back with food and tea in my Animal Crossing mug. Both of them in your Animal Crossing mug? Well, I'm happy for you. How's your food and your tea? What if they don't spawn when the net is out? Well, that's just ridiculous. What do you mean they don't spawn when the net is out? No, oh, I don't see how that would be the case. Like, if you could find documentation that that's how it works, then sure, I'll put the net away, but... What do you mean they don't spawn with the net out? That'd be quite specific. How many bugs were introduced in AC&H? I don't know. I think it's probably like... If it's anything like the fish, I think it introduced like 11 fish. So maybe 11 bugs as well. Would make sense. And the hardest of which that I can think of would be like the giraffe stag. But other than that, like, I don't think New Horizons will be too bad. I don't think New Horizons will be too bad at all. How long have you been looking for a scorpion now? It's been a solid 10 minutes since I've solely committed to trying to look for the scorpion or tarantula. I deforested the entire island, I filled in all the holes, and I dug up all the tree stumps. And that took like 15 minutes, and in those 15 minutes, a scorpion or tarantula could have spawned. And, you know, so I guess really, if you want to be more specific about it, I guess like probably closer to like 30 minutes I've been looking now, but solely committed towards looking for one it's probably been about 10 minutes now and nothing not even like not i haven't even seen one got stung by it and you know just said ah we'll get them next time like i haven't even seen one i just want to see one just to like get my experience with like having how to handle one if we catch it great if we don't at least we could say we learned right Catching the crawlers in City Folk was harder than any other game? I don't know. I feel like this game has to be the hardest simply because of, like, the frame rate. The frame rate makes it so hard to catch anything in this game. At least City Folk runs at, like, a nice, smooth 60 frames per second. I'm gonna create a restore point just so I can come back to a nice, clean island if I ever need to... If I ever need to, like, you know, have a good place to hunt scorpions and tarantulas, I don't know. I don't know what could happen, but, you know, just to be safe, I guess. Banana chocolate popsicles? That does sound kind of good, actually. Pick up all the apples and bells and stuff on the ground. Alright, I'm really not too keen on doing that, because fruit does not stack in this game, so... I really don't want to have to deal with that. Not with nooks being closed and without the ability to, like, quickly sell them all. I don't think that those are... I, I don't think that they're affecting it too much, to be quite honest with you. So, not worried about the apples and the coconuts and the bells on the ground. Madagascan Sunset Moth, Damselfly, Blue Weevil, Common Blue Bottle, Earth Whoring Dung Beetle, Man Face Sting Bug, and Rosalia Batessi Beetle. Got the Giraffe Stag, I think. Giraffe stag is missing. Uh, Blue weevil beetle will be kind of tough as well. I kind of... I don't know. I struggle to find that sometimes. Okay. I mean, you know. Better clear the moths out, I guess. You ever played Breath of the Wild? I've done two playthroughs of Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Great game. Very much looking forward to Breath of the Wild 2. At least can spawn with nets. I actually went out and watched the video. Interesting from the wiki is that the fandom wiki or nookopedia fandom wiki is not reliable in my experience at least what's up safety kitty how are you doing they're pretty slow in this one well that's good 
That's encouraging. I would like to see for myself how slow they are. Would be nice. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to... I'd like to... <laughs> I just want to see it. I just want to see it, man. Like, I, if I miss it, I miss it. But, like, I just want to freaking see one at this point. You got, like, 100 pixels on this screen total here. And I can't... Not, not even one. Not even one scorpion. Not one. Do you remember old online Disney multiplayer games? What are you talking about? Like, Toontown? Like, uh, Club Penguin? Yeah, I remember them. Unless you're talking about something else. What's up, Alex Schlosser? How are you doing? I'll probably not play Splatoon 3. I don't know. I thought I was going to be interested at some point, but I don't know. Not too into Splatoon, to be quite honest with you. It was the fandom wiki. I'm looking at Nookopedia right now. Yeah, Nookopedia I found in my experience to be a lot more reliable than the fandom wiki. I don't... Like, it's kind of silly how, like... I don't know... How there is like two different wikis, but the logic that I was given by one of the staff members of the Nookopedia was valid. Like, I guess fandom wanted to like do stuff that they didn't want to do, and so they like separated from the fandom wiki at some point. I don't know. It always confuses me though. Sometimes I'll see that where like a game that I want to research about has like two different wikis, and I'm like, okay, which wiki do I use? You know? I'm doing good. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Where do you source your critter in from, from? Fandom or Polygon? I do it from Nookopedia. I don't use Polygon or Fandom. Like, Polygon. I don't I don't know how reliable Polygon is. I don't know. How does the bugs we're looking for spawn? How does the bugs that we're looking for spawn? They're just on the ground. Like, they should just be, like, walking around the ground. Like, Tarantula and Scorpion and future games will be like that as well. Should just be waltzing around. Not doing anything specifically, just skittering around. I don't know, maybe I should be, like, entering and exiting buildings more often to, like, refresh. I don't know, I'm really reaching at this point, but I don't know. This forum, Game FAQs, says 1 a.m. is the best time. Like, I, I don't want to, like, ask for a source, like I'm, like, a Redditor, like, uh, do you have a source for that? But, like, what is their logic for that? Is that just speculation, or is that... Is that actually got, like, data behind it? I mean, I have, like, spreadsheets of data mined info. I don't know how well this game's been data mined, so I don't know if we truly know, like, when the peak times are, but... I don't know. I If you could, like, find... Pull, like, a... No, it doesn't have a spreadsheet. Well, it does, but I don't really know how much it's been data mined yet. I don't know, though. Anyway, like, if you actually had, like, source code that could say, like, this is the best time for it, I'd be all over it, man. I'd be, I'd be jumping at the bit. Still on Wild World? I mean, we only have two more bugs, so I'm close to done, but unfortunately, yeah, still on Wild World. It may have not been data mined, but damn, that data is fine! Shit! <laughs> Peak times were 11 p.m. to 2 p.m. Or 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. Well, and I mean, I'm at, what, 11... 11.30 at this point? Yeah, 11.38, so... Sounds good to me. I don't know the peak months, but, like... I don't know, there was no source for, like, the best months to catch it, so I don't know. Could have sworn it was in HD when I used to play. Yeah, I used to play on a screen that was, like, this big. Now you're watching it on a screen that's, like, <laughs> this big. So, of course, it looks... You notice every pixel a little bit more easily. How many games are there? There's Animal Crossing and Wild World, City Folk, New Leaf, and New Horizons. So five mainline games that we'll be playing. And we're on number two. Almost done with number two, though. Surprised the scorpion tarantula aren't population growing. They're so iconic. Well, now they are. But I don't know how iconic they were back in the day. Pretty annoying, actually. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I remember, like, seeing them back in the day and being, like, annoyed when I saw them. I don't know. Is there something similar to Mystery Islands? No, otherwise I would probably be doing that. Unfortunately, there's not really a small island where you can, like, try to get them to spawn very easily, but... No, unfortunately not. 
Wild World looking. Same with Mario Odyssey and Mario 64. New Horizons looks how I remember Wild World looking. What do you mean by that? New Horizons tarantulas are scary. They're not. If you just don't carry your net out, they won't charge you. No scariness to it. In this game, I think they'll just approach you without even being like... They won't even ask questions. They'll just fucking chase you. They'll, they'll, they'll get you. They'll get you. I think they're scary in these older games than they are in New Horizons. I don't know, though. May we see the handsome doggo of yours? He's busy. He's got things to do. I don't want to, like... That's kind of why I got rid of dog cams, is because I don't want to, like, just have chat members just summon him. Like, me having to, like, grab him. He's probably... He might be, like, eating or doing something. I don't know. I felt bad about, like, how many times I would just grab him, hold him in front of the camera, be like, look, look at him. You know? He's got his own... He's, he's doing his own thing. He's doing his own thing. He's out there. He's moving. He's grooving. I don't want to disturb him too much. No, I don't really do dog cams. Unless Kristen, like, brings him into the room. But, no, not really. He's making plans. He's making moves. Exactly. I don't want to get in his way. What villagers do you have? Uh, let's see. I don't know the full list of them, but... Mallory, Melba, ha oh, Melba, interesting, I didn't know she was here. Hopper, Drift, Jeremiah, Patty, Kiki, Portia. There you go. There you go. I was gonna save for the dog cam. Yeah, sorry. Now you can save for other worthy causes, such as, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should make new channel point things. Maybe. I also don't have any ideas. Can we please see Kiki in this version? Sure, I'll eventually find her, I'm sure. I'll eventually find her. Eight bugs introduced in New Leaf. Looks like the hardest is going to be the cicada shell. Cicada shell was not rare in New Leaf. I know it's super rare in New Horizons, but it's it wasn't rare in New Leaf. I don't know why they made it so damn rare in New Horizons, but the cicada shell was like all over the place in New Leaf. And for whatever reason, they were like, hmm... You have to crank that down to like zero in New Horizons, so I don't think the cicada shell will be too hard. I can't think of all the bugs that new that new leaf introduced, but um, I can't think of one that will be particularly troubling. Can you terraform in this version? No, that wasn't until New Horizons. You weren't able to do anything like that in this version. Every time Kiki's head pops into frame, I have a small heart attack because I think it's a really thick tarantula. Oh, do you? That is one thick tarantula right there. There you go, though. There's Kiki. There's Kiki for you. Probably to make it more like the cyclic ones. The cyclic ones? Like the one... Like you're talking about like in real life, how only every 17 years you'll find cicadas? That's not even true, because like cicadas are like all the time. Certain species of cicadas are like the one in every 17 years thing, you know? Hey, Jackbird. Thanks so much for the subscription. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So are you saying, like, they'll make it so that they spawn all the time during certain times? Because that's not even true either. Like, I don't think they have, like, a particular time where they'll spawn, like, a lot of them. So I don't know. I think they were just being a little rude when they made it so that they basically don't even spawn. Most people only care about the fancy rare ones. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh... I don't know. Uh, us, like, completionists kind of get annoyed at how little cicada shells and fleas there are. Which AC is your favorite? I don't know. Either New Leaf or New Horizons. Either New Leaf or New Horizons. I'm getting tired, chat. I'm getting, I'm getting a little sick of this. Like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't think I am doing anything wrong. I, I just, uh, I don't know. There's not like a total catch requirement to where they won't spawn until you catch a certain amount of bugs. I don't, that's not a thing in this game. Otherwise, how would I have caught all those rare beetles on the palm trees? I, I don't know what I could be doing wrong, but like, this, surely I'm doing something wrong. This isn't right. This isn't right. Like, I don't think this should be... Your gates are not open. No, gates aren't open. Just 
getting incredibly unlucky with your spawn rates. I, like, this is just, but this is absurd. Like, considering nothing but moths, mosquitoes, and fleas can spawn. I, I don't know. The only thing I can think to make it even more optimal, and this is super, like, inside baseball, the only thing I can think to make it even just a slight bit more optimal to spawn a scorpion or tarantula is tra time travel to a time where villagers are asleep. Like, do it even more, like, later in the night to where your villagers are asleep, and so they aren't outside spawning fleas, and they aren't inside with their lights on spawning moths outside. That's the only thing I can think. That might help a lot. Look, I'll try it. I'll go to like, I don't know, what times do they spawn again? What times do they spawn? It's until 4 a.m. So if I go to like 3 a.m. Where more villages are asleep and less villages are inside with their lights on. I mean, Jesus, man, like, eh. Christ, I don't know. They only show up when you're not looking for them and don't want to catch them. So true. Just like the flea. Just like the flea. Are villagers awake at 2 a.m.? I don't know. I'm just going to go to, like, the most absurd hour of the day where nobody could be awake. Right? Right? You're not awake at 3 a.m., right? Surely not. 3 o'clock a.m. on the 17th. All right. Oops. Nope. I don't know. And then make like a quick save here to where I can quickly go back in case it rolls over to 4 o'clock. I don't know, man. So you can just change the time in-game? Yeah, New Horizons was the first one where you actually have to change it on the console. Oh boy, 3 a.m. Uh, well that's no good. Um, don't think it could be raining. Alrighty. I think some kind of Murphy's Law is happening here. I don't know what that means. 2 a.m. music? No, the 2 a.m. music that you're probably thinking of, the one that goes like... Bah, 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 that's only in GameCube, sadly. So do all of them work on actual time, though? Um, I mean, it matches... Until you change it in-game, I think it matches the time that you have set on the system, so... If the time on your system is accurate to real time, then I don't know. I guess so. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. I guess, kind of, then? I don't know. Is that Murphy's? There's too many laws out there, dude. I can't keep track of them all. Like, what's Occam's Razor? What's Murphy's Law, dude? I don't freaking know. Oh, yeah, now it's a little funky. This 3 this 3 a.m.'s a little funky here. It's not as funky. I've, I've seen funkier, but I don't know. Of course, the museum will still be open. The gates, you know, the, the, the town gates will still be open. Apparently, Porsche is still going to be awake. But, uh, yeah, like, these will still be spawning moths. Like, there's no way to completely eliminate all sources of light to make it so that moths don't spawn. There's no way to make sure that all villages are asleep. But this is honestly the best that we can do. Like, let's... Uh, Let's create a store point here to where we can quickly go back to this time in case it rolls over to 4 o'clock. But, um, you know what as well? I might want to create a restore point if I see a scorpion that isn't immediately chasing me. It's actually a good idea. Like, at this point, I didn't anticipate these, these things being so rare that... I would consider, like, cheesing it by creating a restore point right as they're chasing me. But, I mean, shit, dude. Like, if it's going to be this rare, I'm going to probably want to cheese it a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Destroy the generator that powers the town? Yeah, there you go. So true. So true. Hey, Mallory, what's up? It's pretty late. Yeah, it's all right. Skin cells rejuvenate when you're sleeping. I don't really want to think about that, man. I don't really want to think about that right now. Okay, well... I think I said, like... I think I said 20 minutes ago that I'm going to give it, like, 30 minutes. So... I'd probably give it, like, another 10 or so before I just get tired of this and log off and contemplate life for a little bit. Because I, I don't know, like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. 
think I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I want a taquito right now. Hey, be the change you want to see in the world. Okay, I mean, mosquitoes can still spawn. That's fine. No way that you can get those to stop spawning, I don't think, so. I had no idea they'd be this rare. I don't really think that they should be. Like, I, I think I'm doing something wrong. I don't think that they are this rare. I, I, I mean, I definitely, they definitely weren't common when I played as a kid, but like, shit, I mean, I saw them. I saw them on towns where, like, I had non-ideal spawning conditions as well. Like, here... I'm thinking about it now. Could it be that my town is in such a decrepit state where no good bugs can spawn? Now, that's a stretch. To be clear, I don't actually think that this is the case, but I remember when you have a Rafflesia, which is that big stinky flower um, that spawns when your town has, like, a bunch of weeds and shit. People who play, like, older games might remember them. I think when you get a Rafflesia, the only thing that can spawn in your town is, like, flies. I don't suppose something like that could happen here. I really don't think so, because I don't have a Rafflesia. However, my island sucks, because I have no trees. But... You have tons of stuff on the ground? I don't think that that should be the case, though. I don't think that that's the case. Maybe you need to clean up the items? I, I don't think so. I don't think so. But I guess I could ask, like, someone I know who knows a lot about these games and is in tight with the people who data mine the game. I don't know. Yeah, like, the bugs are like, damn, bitch, you live like this, and then they just don't spawn. I suppose that could be the case, but... I really don't think so? Kind of seems silly, right? Like, why would tarantulas and scorpions not spawn? They probably love the wide openness. I don't know. I don't know. But at this point, I'm, like, just running down the list of things that, like, I could be doing wrong and thinking about it, you know? Like... I don't know. Just, just merely, like, pulling at straws. I don't think that that's the case, but, I mean, at this point, I'm, like, racking my brain over what I could be doing wrong. And I don't think that I'm... I don't know. I really don't know. Really don't know. Would it be cheating to catch a tarantula in another game? It wouldn't be... I mean, it would still fulfill, like, what the challenge is, but... I do have a rule in place that's, like... If a bug debuted in a game, that should be the game that you catch it in. So, I could break that rule if this gets to, like, absurd levels. I mean, it's pretty absurd at this point, but, like, literally I go days and days and days without having caught one. Now, if it gets to that point, I might just, you know, stay fuck it and, yeah, just catch it in City Folk. I don't think we're at that point yet, but, I mean, a few more days of this, man, yeah. They do indeed, yes. They do indeed what? I don't know. Maybe because of the fish? No, fish don't... In, fish would not take up bug spawning things, no. No, I don't think that... I think the cues, in your words, are different from... Like, the, the cues for fish are not the same as the cues for bugs, so they wouldn't interact with each other. No, we're not even close to the flea. If it gets, like, flea times, then, okay, we can start talking about saying fuck it and doing it in another game, but, eh, I don't know. I was gone for a bitch. Catch a scorpion? Nope. Have we seen a scorpion? Nope. Nothing. Just, just, just confused. Confused. I don't know. Just confused. I don't really know what I'm doing wrong. I don't think I am doing anything wrong. And, like, at this point, like, the longer that goes on without seeing one, you can't... I don't know, I feel like it's less believable that I'm just getting unlucky. I don't know, though. Mm. I don't know. 
how the rule if a bug debuted in a certain game like every bug debuted in some game or another there's no if here how the rule is if a bug debuted in a certain game like every bug debuted in some game or another so there's no if what do you mean man like are you challenging the grammatical integrity of the rule it sounds like a uh, you sound like a lawyer man now theoretically if my client followed the rules perfectly because in the rule itself the grammatical structure of the sentence makes no sense you sound like a lawyer dude i think they are just rare in wild world more than any other game maybe you can try going in and out a bit more maybe maybe I mean, I, I actually, I, I prefer it that way. I prefer hearing that I'm just getting unlucky because it at least tells me that I'm doing it right and I'm not completely, like, I don't know, brain dead. But, I don't know. Or maybe I would rather have it be wrong, I don't know. Bug must be catching the game it debuted in. I don't know, man, like, it sounds like you're just reading into it too much. I think you're just reading into it too much. I would stay in Wild World and do more research. Yeah, I mean, I plan on it. Look, if I go, like... If I go, like, two streams. Like, the entirety of tomorrow's stream without catching one. And then, like... I don't know about the entirety of the day at the stream after that without catching one. Like, I don't know. I'd probably go insane before that happens, but... I don't know. I don't know. Roasting me? No, I'm not roasting. If y'all can't bant, then I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, you just sound like a lawyer. Not a bad thing. Oh, you sound like someone with a profession that probably is, you know, very suitable for the economic turmoil that the world is currently in. Oh, well, silly you. Speaking of lawyers, did y'all watch the Amber and Johnny trial at all? Uh, we talked about it earlier. Um, I'm really sick of hearing about the trial about celebrities I'm, I'm really sick of hearing about celebrities like don't get me wrong like it seems like my man's johnny d kind of got the short end of a stick here and it seems like there's going to be some justice for him um which is great you know whether he's a celebrity or not he deserves to get treated like a person so that's good but at the same time can i please stop hearing about it <laughs> i just i i don't care about celebrities and whatever bullshit they're up to. Like, when people were talking about, oh, Will Smith slapped Chris Rock at the fucking... I'm like, I don't care. Oh, it's celebrities being celebrities, man. They're not... They're basically, like... I don't know. I don't know, man. Everyone's like, eat the rich. And then they're like, oh, did you see what this celeb did today? And I'm like, hmm. I don't know. Does luck affect spawning? Don't think so. Don't think so. In which case, I got a four-leaf clover on my head. I should be getting super lucky. I gotta go eat dinner. Enjoy your dinner. Enjoy your dinner. Has to be something missing or wrong. Feels like it should be easier. That's why more research may help you. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna give it, like, five more minutes before I just tap out for today and try to see what I can do to, like, find out what's going wrong, if anything is going wrong, that isn't just, you know, you're getting unlucky. I don't know. If there's any, if there is anything I'm doing wrong, please correct me. But the fact that nobody has tried to correct me tells me I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. It tells me that I'm just getting unlucky. I I don't know. Like I guess if I was doing something wrong, it'd be easy to correct and But I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you guys you do chit chat. You, you do a little chit chatting. Make an island for them to spawn. Just make sure you have an island. Yeah, I'll be sure to do that. Bestie, do you like strawberries? They're not my favorite. I don't, I don't love them. But I'll eat. I could eat a strawberry. I like to dip them in sugar. But then, like, I don't know. You're kind of taking the, the health benefits of a strawberry and ruining it by doing that. But I don't know. Like, if your food needs to be dipped in sugar for it to be an enjoyable food, I feel like you probably don't really enjoy the food that much. To excessively overanalyze your question. I try taking off the clover. No, I, I don't think the clover is going to do anything, man. Part of the map where they're at the moment spawning that you aren't covering with your patrol? It is true. I have this little strip of land on the right side. You see this, like, little stupid strip of land on the right side that goes all the way up? I'm not checking that. 
okay? And I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm not checking it because I have to cross this bridge, walk all the way the fuck up here, and then all the way the fuck back down for to check this very little area relative to the rest of my town. Like, this is... I don't know. Like, I'm not checking it. You're right. But I'm like, oh, jeez. I feel like that's just a waste of time compared to, like, checking the rest of my island. It's such a stupid little area. Like, this is so annoying that this exists. Because, yes, if I wanted to be thorough, I should be checking it. But at the same time, it's such a pain in the ass to access that I'm like, I don't want to. But, yeah, I guess maybe I should probably be a little bit more vigilant about that. What loner lives there? I don't know. Who is that, actually? It's a good question. Is that Melba? Mallory? Hopper? Drift? Jeremiah? Was it Drift? No. Patty? Kiki? That's Kiki. It's Kiki. Picking up the items. Look, I, uh, I'd, I'd want to, like, have nooks open so I can quickly sell them. I guess I could eat the apples. Ah, oh, jeez. I, I, I ain't gonna do that, man. I don't think the items are gonna do a whole lot. If your island's Las Vegas Strip, but instead of gambling and booze and extravagance, there's a kiki and stinging bugs? I wish there were stinging bugs, man. You're only half correct. I wish there was stinging insects. Actually, they're arthropods, but whatever. You get what I mean. These Fortnite ads are not the vibe. I didn't give Fortnite permission to advertise on my stream, I'm afraid, so... Sorry, it's kind of... I wish I could curate the ads. I wish I can get rid of them entirely if it was up to me, but I can't. How big of a forehead do you have? I have a four-finger forehead. What a question. Um... If you have a four-finger four... Where's the four... Where's the measurement start, and where does it end? Does the measurement start, like, where your eyebrows are? In which case... And do they go to, like, where my widow's peak is? I guess I have a forehead. Is that how we... Is that why we call it a forehead? Surely not. It's not because you can fit four fingers on there perfectly. It's because it's the forefront of your head, right? Surely that's why they call it that. Hi, eyebrow to hairline. Well, my hairline ain't straight. It goes down... So, like, where's, the, like, the bottom-most point of the hairline to my eyebrows? Yeah, I got about four fingers there. Yeah, I got about four fingers there. I, I, I think I got a normal-sized forehead. If anything, I guess my forehead's a little big. But I think that it looks big because I put my hair back. And so, you know, sure, if I wear my hair, like, you know, I just showered, so it's not going to cooperate very well. Yeah, if I, if I wear it like this, I probably don't look like I have nearly as much of a forehead, but... I have a head? Yeah, I guess. It do be a head. No denying that. I wish Twitch personalized ads, because that would make them so much more tolerable. I mean, they probably are. They're probably listening to you right now. You should speak into your microphone and say, Hmm, sure wish I saw more advertisements for Tide Pods or uh, Honey Made Graham Crackers. And I'm sure you'd probably start seeing them. I'm sure you'd probably start seeing them. So really, you could be the change you want to see in that aspect. You could be the change you want to see. And now I'm going to get fucking honey-made graham crackers and Fortnite ads or whatever the hell I said. Tide Pods, yeah. Now I'm probably going to start getting them, so. Yeah. Like, you ever be, like, just thinking about something and then you see an ad about what you were thinking about and you're like, hmm. Ooh. You start putting on your tinfoil cap a little bit. Is it really worth the billions of dollars of fines for intrusive data collection practices for an algorithm that gives me three Audible ads in a row? Probably. Otherwise, they wouldn't do it. Good day slash night to everyone. Yo, hope your day's going well, Jazz. Hope your day's going well. Is that a... Not some furniture. If anything, if, uh, if there's one reason why I should clean up this furniture is because occasionally I'll fool myself into thinking that it's a scorpion or a tarantula, only to realize that it's a fucking piece of furniture sitting on the ground. So, if there's, if there's any reason, I don't think it'll help spawning, but it might help me fooling myself. I don't know. Maybe. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna walk in and out. Like, like, I get it, there's a lot of moths spawning, but like, I mean, I've been doing this for 40 minutes, man. Like, good God. 
If they hide it in the TOS, then no one can get sued. Yeah, like, y'all ever read, like, those EULAs that you have to sign on for before you can, like, use something? I'm sure somewhere in there, it's like, oh, hey, by the way, we're listening to everything that you're saying in order to personalize advertisements towards you. Are you okay with that? But you didn't read that part, because why would you? That's how they get you, man. They make you, they present you with, like, a 10,000 character EULA that you, that they know you're not going to read. And so you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's where they hide all the shit that you don't want them doing in there. It's like shiny hunting. I don't know, at least shiny hunting, like, you have, like, a tangible percentage that you know that... I don't know, like, the thing with shiny hunting is that it's, like, in optimal conditions, at least in the latest games, it's like a 1 in 5, 12, right? Now, that's pretty low odds, but at least you know the odds. In this one, it's just, like, it's not really, like, a set percentage that you know that they're gonna spawn. And even if there was, like, a set percentage, I guess there is, but... With how many factors that there are, it's really hard to, like, know exactly what your chances of getting these things are, you know? Because it's like... I don't know. I don't know. It's not really something you can, like, really pin down. But I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna tap out for today, though. I really am sad because I really wanted to finish Wild World today, but I also... I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't get anything to, to spawn that I need, so. I guess, um, thanks everyone for watching today. I do very much appreciate it. I'm going to be live again tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. GMT, 7 a.m. AEST for more Animal Crossing Wild World. Uh, I was going to say flea. Scorpion and tarantula hunting. Um, okay. Pause the timer. Uh, and make no... I mean, dude, we did make good... If you told me today that we wouldn't finish Wild World, you'd be two bugs short of Wild World, I'd have been like, that's pretty cool. But the fact that we had two bugs left for, like, the last hour and I didn't manage to get them, it does kind of hurt. But we did make good progress with a lot of the rare beetles. You know, we got everything that we needed except for two things. That sounds pretty cool, but, uh, isn't it 65? I think it's 65. How does my shit keep getting messed up? 65 out of 93 at 15.2605. All right. I don't know. I guess that, uh, we can still call today a pretty successful day, despite the fact that it came up short of everything that we should have had today at the end. But oh well. I won't bellyache about it, too. But I don't have to agree with them. All right, let's get started. What is this, day four? Day four, we're trying to get the tarantula and the scorpion. You know what I might do is I might actually try to clean up some of the shit on the ground. I don't really want to, but I, at this point, like, it took me so long to even... I don't know. I, I, I hunted so long for the tarantula and the scorpion, so I didn't see it. So I'm kind of like, man, at this point, I might just try things and hope that it works. And if one of those things could be... You know, I, I guess try and pick up everything on the ground. Uh, I'll try it. I guess I'll put all the bells in my inventory and then I'll put all the fruit in my mouth and then See if that helps. I don't really think it will but uh, I don't know I don't know but if we get the scorpion and tarantula today in wild world then we move on to city folk which introduced I think eight new bugs Three of which concern me in city folk. So I don't think city folk will be a gimme but Hopefully it won't be too bad. Only game I've never seen any footage of until now? Wild World's a good game. Even if it looks a little rough on the eyes, consider that I'm stretching it out to a big old screen. So, it would look better when it was in its inherent DS state. Yet an old Animal Crossing game can still be played at all? Yeah, I mean, there's always emulation. That's why I... Oh yeah, what am I gonna do with the furniture, though? That's always why I'm kind of like... Anti... I don't know. I'm always very pro-emulation because if game companies don't make ways of making their older games accessible, then it's kind of on the community to make it like that, you know? It's kind of on the community. Luckily, Nintendo did make it so that I could play, you know, Wild World on uh, a Nintendo console, but uh, 
soon enough that's going to be not an option anymore and so i wouldn't have any uh i wouldn't have any uh you know gripes with anyone emulating an older uh, wild world after they take it off the wii u so i don't know what can you do no other way to play it legally what's up taquito how are you doing and chris robin how are you doing I really want to hack my Switch, but I have a light. Kristen told me that I think... Is there not technology out there to hack a light now? I don't know, though. I, I might be wrong about that. I might be wrong about that. But I know that old enough... Switches that are old enough, like ones that are, I guess, the first generation of Switches, whatever the hell that means, um, can be hacked. And I think that as the research into it gets further and further, of course, newer and newer Switches will be able to be hacked as well. So... I don't know. Maybe you can. I don't know how recently you checked whether you can or you can't, but give it a give it a look. Maybe you can at this point. I honestly have no idea. I honestly have no idea. Favorite version of Animal Crossing that you played? New Leaf or New Horizons, probably. Thanks for the hydrate. Parts of the New Horizons islands after the Animal Crossing games? Yeah, I've seen some of those islands. Basically, they make it so that there's a bunch of random dirt patches around. So, I mean, you know, it's nostalgia, I suppose. It's nostalgia. Why are we hacking switches? I don't know, you can do some fun stuff with a hack switch. Kristen, I mean, that's how Kristen's able to do her job, is because she has a hacked switch with which she can uh, spawn any Animal Crossing item that she wants, which is not an incentive for you to harass her to spawn all the things that you want in your town, but, you know, merely saying that is something you could do. That is something you could do. You know what's something that I saw when I logged on today? It was a shooting star. And I forget what the function of shooting stars is in this game, but, uh, yeah. You can't eat coconuts. Well, uh, what am I gonna do with all these coconuts, then? What am I gonna do with all these coconuts? They can go in your house? I suppose I'll have to put them in my damn house. Oh, okay. I totally missed the memo that you can't eat coconuts. I don't... I mean, I guess. Look, yes, I understand. You got, you'd have to, like, crack them open. It'd be a huge task to do so. But if you could just... Forgive me for a little bit. I don't really think... I can't care anymore. I can't care anymore. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Forgive me if I'm looking to take a little bit of realism out of my video game and just eat the damn coconuts if you don't mind. Just, just, just please eat the damn coconuts. It, it'd make my life so much easier. To pick up a package, so out of breath. Hey man, I don't miss apartment life for that reason. Having to go to like an office where all the packages are delivered. I don't miss that. I like just walking my porch. But either way, it has some benefits as well. You have two cakes now? I do. I do, I do, I do. Does that say a hentai bonsai? Oh no, it's a hawthorn bonsai. Okay, I got a little concern there. Um, alright, well, let's glunk. Throw the hentai bonsai down, and I got no more room for nothing else, man. Orion? Er, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I remember, <laughs> you, you like, comment. I was watching back a VOD one day, and you commented, I love how Dagnall always mispronounces my name as Orion Castillo, and it's Callisto, not Castillo. I'm sorry, but either way, um, thank you for the four months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Have you ever played Happy Home Designer? Yeah, it's pretty good. I enjoy it, I guess. I'm not much of a designer, though. And Shinobi... Good luck is Wild today, World. Dagnall. I will need good luck today. I will very much need that. So thank you for the four months in a row and for the good luck. I will need both of those things today. Well, I guess I don't need your subscription, but, you know, it's appreciated either way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't know she watched your channel. I haven't seen her on here live yet. Wait, who watches my channel? Who watches my channel? I was watching one of your challenges, I saw one of my friends' name. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is Wild World. Which bug are we looking for now? We're looking for the scorpion and the tarantula. And I tried for an hour after completely leveling my town yesterday to try to get it with no luck whatsoever. I'm hoping that my fortune changes today. The reason why I'm cleaning up all the shit on the ground is because it took me so long to even 
Well, it took me... I, I, I spent an hour hunting for it and I didn't find one. So I'm like, at this point, what am I doing wrong? I guess I'll try to clean up everything that I have. And a Fardis! Thanks for the seven months in a row. I appreciate that. And Geeky Tez, thanks for the four months in a row. Hey, hey, hey. I appreciate that. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope everyone's doing good today, and thank you for the subscriptions. I appreciate it. The subs will bring good luck. Yeah, one sub equals one scorpion and one tarantula. Which, you know, at this point I should be having like maybe five of them at this point. But, you know, it, I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. And a fartist. Thank you. Ah, tragic. Good Ten bells too, too many. Ten bells too many. Thanks for the 500 bits of fartist. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Try to get an original Switch to hack, but my 2DS is banged up physically and I hacked it, so it's probably not worth much. I don't know. Probably not enough to get yourself an original Switch, considering those are still kind of a luxury to get your hands on. I mean, a, a regular Switch, or a hackable Switch, is, is still a Switch at the end of the day, so you probably still have to pay full price. Oh, thank you, Sir Herberto. I appreciate that. Thank you. The videos are awesome. I appreciate that. She is literally a bitch. Why do you think I called her a bitch? She's proverbially, proverbially a bitch yesterday for scaring away a bug that I needed, and literally a bitch. So, it's, you know, I'm, I'm right. As always, the common diagonal correctness. Also, what's up, six phases of fat? How are you doing? Yeah, so close to 69,420. I can't take out 10 bells, I don't think, sadly. Porsche's the new diva. Oh, no, no, not even close. However, diva isn't in this game, so I guess she is kind of like, you know... Maybe the diva in replacement. Proverbial and literal bitch. A proverbial and a literal bitch. You know what? Can I just scare you away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll get scared away. And a mosquito. Like, all that all that I made it so that I can spawn is mosquitoes, moths, and fleas on villagers. And scorpions and tarantulas. And I'm only getting mosquitoes and moths. I haven't even seen a flea. <laughs> You look like Zach Bagans from Season 1 Ghost Adventures. I don't know what that is. Is he handsome? I hope he's handsome. Is Porter in this game? He is not. However, is he not the villager in this game? Like, wh what's the villa- Is it Champ, I think? Champ is like the villager that looks just like Porter, and people speculate that he is Porter? I think he might be in this game. I think he might be in this game. Yeah, he's the villager in this one, right? Yeah. Porsche asked to move off my island today. I gladly let them. Honestly, great choice. Great choice. This version's my first Animal Crossing ever. Same, bestie. Same. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Jeez. Apparently, Kristen saw the guy from Ghost Adventures that you said I look like, and he was apparently very orange from tanning. Like, self-tanning, as it turns out. So there you go. That's Kristen's experience. I don't know. I don't think I look very orange. I mean, I guess, like, the lighting kind of makes me look a little orange. I promise you I'm not that orange in real life. It's just a lighting thing. Rodney came out of my island today on my birthday and it ruined my whole day. Yeah, that'll ruin your day pretty quickly, I imagine. I missed the last two streams. What game is this? This is Wild World for the DS, but I'm playing on the Wii U. He was super pale in the first season, I think. Oh, and did, like, people bully him about his paleness? Ah! Wait, he's so slow. He's so slow. You're so slow, motherfucker. Bite me. Bite me. Bite me. Please. Oh my god, I thought I missed. <laughs> Alright. Jeez, Louise. Alright. They can spawn. Let's go. They can spawn. Let's go, boys. Whew. Jesus. Why did that... Like, literally, I, I hunted under these pretty much exact same conditions for, like, an hour yesterday. And 
I didn't see, I didn't see, I didn't see! Forget catching one, I didn't even see one yesterday. And what, we've been streaming for what, like, 15 minutes today? I mean, I've been only like trying for like 14 minutes and we got one, alright. Now we just need the scorpion. Now we just need the scorpion. Cool beans, as they say. Cool beans. I thought it would take a while. I mean, I did too, but that's only because it took so long yesterday. I don't know. Those good luck subs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good luck subs. I think in order to get more good luck, it, it must be the subs, right? Yeah. I'm just kidding. Please don't give me your subscriptions unless you genuinely want to support my content. That was so quick. Yeah, now, knowing my luck, we're probably gonna get, like, a hundred tarantulas before we see one scorpion. Is it seasonal? Like, New Horizons or tarantulas and scorpions spawn at the same time? They spawn at the same time in this game. It was only ever... It was only until New Leaf... Or, sorry, New Horizons that they made it so that they spawn at different times. Which is kind of cool, I guess, because it makes it so that no matter what time of year, you have at least one expensive bug that you can get. I want this game, but my DS is straight trash. The buttons are so jank. Well, I don't suppose you have a Wii U. If you have a Wii U, then you can still get it. Before it gets taken off the eShop, at least. I would recommend it. I would recommend it. I remember vividly ages ago, I was playing this game on my DS when a tarantula attacked and killed me. I literally cried. Imagine. You get bit by a tarantula in this game, it resets your save. That would be pretty funny. It would be pretty horrible. Nintendo, I'm glad you didn't do that. Thank you. You don't always make the right decision, but that one you got right. What's up, Dolphy Coon? How are you doing? Welcome. Did you get the tarantula and the scorpion? I just got the tarantula. We just need the scorpion. We just need the scorpion. Animal Crossing Hardcore? I guess it'd be kind of a cool challenge, like... I don't know, catch all the stinging bugs without getting stung, otherwise you have to start again from zero. I don't know though, it doesn't... I don't know. It, it, you could workshop it into maybe something that'd be an entertaining idea, but I don't know if, uh... I don't know if that's for me, personally. Yo. Good luck, three month resub. Sending scorpion vibes. Beef! Sending scorpion vibes. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I hope I get them scorpion vibes pretty quickly here. Thank you for the three months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. 3DS is no longer supported. The eShop. It is still supported, but it's running out. I think they recently made it so that you can't buy games with a credit card. You need to buy points with a card and then use those points to buy... Um, D or th Wii U and 3DS games. So that's what you have to do. But you're running out of time. You're running out of time. If you want to get any 3DS or Wii U games, you got to do it probably like within the next several months. Is probably what you need to do. So I would recommend jumping on it now. Give give the 3DS e store and the Wii U e store a quick browse and see if there's anything that you might want. Because I would probably recommend it before it's too late. Of course, there's always physical copies, but if you want, like, any of the virtual console stuff on the Wii U, then there's really no better way of getting that. Do I need an SD card? I suppose if the internal storage of the Wii U runs out, then you would need an SD card. It's resetting in March of 2022. It's shutting down in March of 2022. Bro, it's May of 2022. It's almost June. Are you talking about 2023? I'd rather buy physical games since it can be, it would be discounted, used games, baby. Yeah, if you got a good retailer around you that still supports, like, older games. Like, I don't know, the GameStop, for example, if that's, like, the best that you can muster, they usually don't really have a great selection of older console games, but, um, I don't know. If you have, like, a local place, then maybe they'll have something like that. Tamadachi Life? No, I never played Tamadachi Life. There's a website I use that has some old games, and well, there you go. You just don't want to, like, overpay for them. You'd rather buy them at the, you know, MSRP value that you'd get on the eShop rather than, you know, having it shut down and then waiting to get a physical copy of it and having to pay extra because it's no longer being produced, right? But anyway... New Leaf has a lot less territory than New Horizons. It does. Also, this game does as well. I mean, New Horizons... Nope. 
This guy's faster than the tarantula is, man. Alright, we outran him. You're a little son of a bitch, you know that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm cool, man. I'm cool. If you're cool, I'm cool. If you're cool, I'm cool. If you're cool, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Whew. All right. Um, we're good. We're good. We're good. Woo. Woo. All right. Get me out of here. Get me my... Get me my... Mm. Mm. Get me my... Wii. My Wiimotes. It's funny because it's Wiimotes because the console is a Wii, but it's 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 Wiimotes as well because it's kind of like a play on words of of remote remote a Wiimote. There we go, and we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna go to the Wii menu. Yeah, yeah, and then you're gonna go to do do TV only here. Let's go, boys. Let's fucking go. Easy. That was easy. Like, I don't know why that took me an hour yesterday. I really don't. I guess I was just getting unlucky yesterday. I could have swore I was doing something wrong. But, seems not. Seems not. Alright, Animal Crossing City folks. Animal Crossing City Folk only introduces, I think, eight new bugs, which is going to be the least amount of any game, much like the fish. Using the Wiimote to point is so cool, but is so jank. I don't know, it works pretty well if you're, like, close enough to the sensor bar. I don't know, I got mine pretty good, and it seems to be pretty accurate. Anyway, City Folk only introduces, like, eight new bugs, I think. Let me see. Centipede, Walking Leaf, Violin Beetle, Raja Brooks Birdwing Butterfly, the Giant Petal Tail, the Cyclomatis, the Golden Stag. Is that it? Seven? Only seven new bugs in City Folk? Wow. That's okay, dude. We might even knock out City Folk today. However, the Petal Tail and the Golden Stag. And the Cyclomatis stag might give us issues. I'm thinking the petal tail is specifically. We'll see though. We'll see. First time catching a vid. Well, thank you, a better. I appreciate that. The giant petal tail is a is it's a dragonfly. It's bigger than the banded dragonfly, and it's fast as fuck in this game. It's gonna be really tough to get. Isn't petal tail in a perfect town? No. You might be thinking of a Jacob's ladder. I don't know. No, a petal tail can doesn't need a good town to spawn. Yeah. So about fish, Rover. About fish. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of this, man. We're gonna do a little bit of this. I missed the scorpion and the tarantula, dude. They came quick as hell. They came quick as hell. So honestly, like I can't blame you. You blink and you missed it. You want to see some real speed? Yeah, Rover. I cannot see any bugs. Where are all the bugs in New Leaf? Where are all the bugs in New Leaf? I don't know. My mom's name is Katrina. She used to... She used to be a telephone psychic. Wait, really? The crawlers are already caught? What the heckers? The, what the heckers the game? Not me, man. They came quick. Gone. Reduced to atoms. I think that's an MCU reference. I think that's a, it's a Marvel Cinematic Universe. How many bugs were new to AC and H? I don't know exactly. I don't know exactly. City folk, my first animal crop. I feel like a lot of people, I don't know, with how many, like, people had a dang Wii, this was a lot of people's first animal crossing. Maybe second most popular to New Leaf, I don't know. It didn't introduce many creator, cre creatures? It kind of did. It kind of did introduce a lot, though, from what I remember. Alright, so we want to start on 4, 9, 2023, 20, because that's Bunny Day. And we are going to need to get a store upgrade at some point. 
We're gonna need to get a store upgrade at some point. And the way we're gonna do that is quickly sell some bunny foils to Zipper. Reason why we need a store upgrade is because we're gonna need an axe to deforest our town. All right, this time I'm gonna call myself Dagnal, not Bug. Accidentally thinking that I'm putting in the name of the town instead of the uh, instead of the name of my character here. Nice name, I like. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I know. All right, and then we are going to Bug. No, not Bug. Bug. No, not Bait. Good. Bug. Yo, Sphinxette. Thanks so much for the subscription. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Do people ever call you a dreamer? Do people ever call you a fucking asshole? Gosh. Anyway, we probably want to be at the house closest to the store, which is kind of none of them, but... Sure, I guess we'll go to that one to the bottom right of the town hall. Look, don't capital D colon me, okay? He, that was a dickhead thing to say to me. No insulting Rover in my presence? I mean, I don't know, man. It's, it's a little... It's a low blow by him, man. He will ever call you a dreamer? Eat my ass, dude. Yo, this is a great character. I love this guy. I love this guy and his big old eyes. Look at him. He's cute. I like this guy. I like this guy. This is a cute character. 23, but no idea they existed. Hey, I get it. Apologize to Rover. I will not apologize to Rover. I'm right. All right, let's see here. Where's the thing that I... Oh, he's literally to the bottom right, dude. All right, city folk, it's Wild World, but it's better, and it runs better, and it looks better, and it's kind of just better in every way, and it has the city. It's a good game. What's up, pals? How are you doing? Welcome to Bug. Who are the villagers? Oh, yeah, I should probably look at those, huh? Rover's the best character ever. He deserves hugs and apologies. Highly disagree. But, you know, I respect your opinion. We got Hopper again. Nice. We got Hopper again, Nan, Chrissy, Prince, and Mael. Outside of Prince, it's pretty good. Rover's a loser? So true. So true. I know how to use the map, girl. Don't worry about me. I'm good. Without me face, you shall not prevail with the bugs. If we're if we're down bad with some of the bugs, like if we're down bad with some of the bugs, I will use the me face. But only if desperate times come to desperate measures, okay? Otherwise I don't I don't fuck with the me face. It's too creepy. Rover is the type to slay at a dance battle? Yeah, he's the type to Versace the boots, exactly. Why do I feel like City Folk is better graphics than New Leaf? Because it's a bigger screen on a home console, not a handheld, probably. I am. Yes. Me face is basically cheating? That's pretty true as well. It's also basically cheating. You do get, like... An insane amount of superhuman powers from using the me face. No, man, that's alright. Rover got them apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. With the fur! How goes the grind? It's good, man. We wrapped up Wild World in like 15 minutes after starting, so... Going alright, man. The way leaves are arranged in the trees in older games makes me very uncomfortable. Why? I think they're iconic. I love the older trees, honestly. They're, I don't know. I'm not going to say they're too highly detailed New Horizons, but I don't know, man. I really like them in this game. But, of course, it could just be nostalgia talking. Probably is nostalgia just talking, to be quite honest with you. All right, where the hell is the shop at? I forget where the shop at. Oh, it's over to the right. Some vibrant sky. Look at this. Dude, this game looks good. I don't care what nobody got to say. This game looks good. I'm out now. All right, you gotta talk to the villagers first. Curly fries. Wow, eight it's a lot of months, months man. Thank you. I appreciate the eight months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, it's the the raccoon. Trees are vertically challenged. Look, we're all a little vertically challenged, man. People who hate this game are nostalgia blind for Wild World. I don't even see how they could be nostalgia blind because this is just Wild World but better. 
Like, it's it doesn't have everything that Wild Word has, okay? Notably, the Acorn Festival, Yay Day, Lottie Day, a lot of the holidays that were Wild World exclusives. Like, don't get me wrong, I miss those as well. This game is just Wild World, but better. It really is. It's got more villagers, it's got more space to work with, it's got more features, it's got the city. It's just better. I think the house upgrades are a little worse, but that's okay. There are things that Wild World does better, but I think that City Folk is just... It's... Wow, goops. All right. It's just Wild World, but better. I don't know. I hated City Folk because I had Wild World as a kid. I, I, I loved them both. I don't know. Much as Wild World do the motion controls. You don't even need to use the motion controls, though. Like, I'm not... As long as you don't point the thing at the screen, it... You don't... That... Like, I just use the nunchuck. I guess if you don't have a nunchuck, then you have to use it, but... I don't even use the motion controls at all. <clears throat> What's up, Tord? How are you doing? I have prints on population growing and new horizons. I'm very sorry. Nan's good, though. Is there any reason for me to get Wild World now? I mean, honestly, if you have City Folk, not really, unless you just want to see what it's all about, but I don't know, man. It's kind of a... It's kind of a tough sell. It's kind of a tough sell, is Wild World. Alright, we got Hoppa. I mean, shit, they're all, like, down there. Alright, cool. Let's just go down to where our house was. It's a tough sell. I I'd have a hard time selling Wild World to you, because genuinely, it's just a little dated, you know? And if you have City Folk, then there's really nothing that Wild World can offer that City Folk doesn't do, you know? Look at these inclines, man. Like, it's got goddamn inclines. Okay, here's one sell that I... Here's one thing I can sell Wild World to you on that does better than City Folk. And ain't no one gonna defend this. Wild World doesn't have grass deterioration. Now, that being said, there's a lot of dirt on the island just in itself, so... I don't know. Unless you maintain, like, perfect purity of your island, your island will eventually, you know... Uh, I don't know. The grass deterioration does suck in this game, but I don't know. In Wild World, it's like, there's a lot of dirt just already. Like, you don't even have to do anything. There's some IL. Damn Karen Bangs over here. So one thing I hated about City Folk, yeah, and I guess you can alleviate it with paths, but... I don't know, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Because you can't really, like, download paths from people, from other people. It doesn't have much grass in the first place. Yeah, like, that's the thing. Is that, like, oh, there's no incline back there. Just a completely, like, useless strip of land back here. Alright, cool. But, yeah. And, like, if you run enough around your island, your grass will just be fucking gone. I don't know why they ever thought that would be a good idea. I guess because they're, like, oh, it'll make you to... It'll give you, like, natural paths around your island. And it's, like, yeah, but they'll look ugly as shit. And since you couldn't just, like, download patterns from other people making good-looking paths to cover up the dirt patches was really hard. Uh, alright, cool. We got three tools, none of which are the ones that I need. Pretty awesome, pretty epic, pretty poggers. Awesome. What's up, Moon Group? How are you doing? One of my starters in New Horizons, so glad I got her out. That's a good reason to be glad. It's a good reason to be glad. Uh, please give me my work uniform, if you don't mind. Your grass is ass, and my dirt is dick. Yeah. I think grass deterioration should be a cool way to make paths. Um, where is this going? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, maybe, if it actually looked good. I don't know. What's up, Gino Jalapeno, and thanks for the hydrate. Alright. Is this new leaf? No, this is city folk. This is city folk. <clears throat> um, sure, just... Uh, glunk, glunk, glunk. You don't even have to. You ain't even gotta try, man. I ain't gonna use these trees. I ain't gonna use these trees. Nothing that I need spawns on trees, I don't think. Some. Uh, there's only one bug that needs a tree, and that's a violin beetle, and that needs a stump, not a tree. So, I don't know. We're kind of good. I should buy that shovel, actually. I do need that shovel, because I'll need to get a centipede, which is in rocks. But other than that, I don't need a fishing rod, I don't need a watering can. Because I don't need a watering can because I don't need to breed hybrids in this game. Alright, I gotta learn to read. Who's this going to? Prince? Alright. Game design's teams have made a few bad choices. I mean, I still love this game despite its silly choice of grass deterioration, but yeah, I don't know. 
It didn't. It definitely didn't make enough bad decisions for me to not like it. But that was one that I do question quite heavily. Rip, no cat villagers? Yeah, no cat villagers, unfortunately. Unfortunately. I also think the village dialogue got a little bit worse in this game compared to Wild World, but still nothing as bad as New Leaf and New Horizons is. Good job on the scorpion and tarantula. Thank you, thank you. Wasn't this the AC that sold the least? I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest with you, because a lot of people didn't love City Folk at its release because it didn't really innovate anything. Um, I don't know why I'm typing in my real birthday. Like, it fucking matters at all. It didn't really do much. Like, a lot of people probably looked at City Folk and they were like, I don't really understand. It's just Wild World, but better. Well, it's just Wild World. They didn't even include the but better part. Um, and so I think that, yeah, this game probably did sell the worst, but it's far from the worst Animal Crossing game. As if, like, any of the Animal Crossing games are bad, at least the mainline ones. Seven. Too. I love the villager voice in this game. It's very good. It's very good. Music when you go to the city is all you need to make it a better game. The city music, like the when you first go there, and then the city daytime, morning, and nighttime tracks are very, very good. Yeah. So snap to it. So eat my ass, dude. Where, who am I sending this to? Again, I need to like learn to read. New Leaf was my first AC game. Yeah, but even New Leaf made some bonehead decisions. Who am I sending this to? Did anyone... Did, I, did I, anyone make note of it? It can't be Prince. Mael, okay. I hope that's not a lie. Because I will be sad and I will cry. But then again, I guess I'm wrong for uh, having not paid attention. So... AC Amiibo Festival is the worst AC game? I mean, that's true, but mainline games... I don't know. Kind of rough to say that any of them are, like, the worst, because it implies that any of them are bad. But yeah, Amiibo Festival's pretty bad. Amiibo Festival was a touchy-touchy situation, you know? Because it came out on the Wii U. Okay? And the Wii U lasted for years, and we all thought that we were going to be getting an Animal Crossing game on the Wii U. And then they were like... It's an Animal Crossing game on the Wii U! And then they're like, oh, 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 oh. And then, and then they're like, oh, yeah, but it's Amiibo Festival. It's like Mario Party. And then they, they, they toyed with our heartstrings in such a way that we'll never forgive them for. That's why I think people don't like Amiibo Festival. Also because it's a bad game. Not as bad as everyone makes it out to be. I think the fact that it's it came out... Instead of what people wanted, uh, that being a mainline game for the Wii U, I think it makes it sit even worse with people. Is probably my speculation. It's also kind of clunky having to like... I don't know, from my understanding, it's kind of like clunky to have to like switch from the gamepad to the TV and then like yada yada yada, I don't know. But I could just be making that part up. Weirdly close to that old Mr. Sandman song from the 60s, this song right here... Is it? Is this Goose? Yeah. Maybe. Jobers did literally admit it was made because they wanted AC Amiibo. Yeah, like, it kind of seemed like, I don't know. Uh, Animal Crossing Amiibos had functionality in the mainline game. Enough to where they probably would have sold well enough just for those, but... I don't know, just the Animal Crossing Amiibo game, specifically with the intent of selling uh, Amiibo cards. I don't know, it didn't sit well with me. So how are y'all? I'm doing all right. Bit of a cash grab, I think. I mean, I guess so, but I don't know. I don't know. The one that plays when you talk to someone. Oh, the default town tune. Oh, maybe it is. I don't know. <laughs> Paid for the subscriptions, but it was still cheaper than a console game. I mean, how much was Amiibo Festival? I have no idea. I never, I never played it. Despite my disliking for it, I never played it. So I'm basically a scumbag. Is there a Portal 2 Geico ad now? People were just talking about the damn Cuphead Geico ad. And now... Wait. City has another music track at midnight? Midnight specifically? I know it has a morning, a uh, daytime, and a nighttime track. I didn't know about midnight specifically, though. And add about the Bob's Burgers movies. At least that's, like, kind of entertaining. You got Geico a few video games. Damn, they did, like, a few crossovers? Holy shit, man. I knew that they did the damn 
Cuphead one. Now they got a Portal 2 one out there? Damn, dude, that's crazy. The morning, day, evening, and late night music. Oh, okay. Maybe I didn't go to the city enough times, like, at midnight as a kid. I don't know. Because, no, I don't remember that. Stranger Things ad with no audio? I'm sorry to hear that. Yep, that was me. I'm watching your streams. Recently, it motivated me to start cooking again. I'm making chili as we speak. Yo, that's pretty awesome. Of course, I'm doing HelloFresh, so maybe that's where that came from, but... Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm glad that I can be a source of motivation for something that makes you happy. Guess that's all that matters, be it cooking or otherwise, right? Because that's cool. I don't know how much, like, I'm into cooking, but it does help me feel, like, normal, so I don't know. Your bot said hi because I said morning. That, that's just Yarpbot. Actually, fun fact, Yarpbot emailed me. They're like... Do you want to do a Discord call to go over the features of Yarpot and, like, what you want to see it improve? And I'm like, not really, man. It's it's good, you, you know. I'm like, it's good. You don't need to, like, if I had any criticisms, I'd rather just type it out than go and do a whole, like, Zoom call for it. But, you know, I guess it's at least good that they're reaching out. What's on the HelloFresh menu for today? Good question. I actually have no idea. I actually didn't get it delivered yesterday because it was Memorial Day, so I have to actually... Pick it up later today. I want to try HelloFresh, but I'm poor. I mean, I don't know. Like, yeah, it's definitely going to cost you money. But I don't know. When you compare it to how much you already spend to eat, you may even find that it's cheaper. But I don't know. I'm not a shill. So I'm not going to tell you that you should or you shouldn't. The AC theory on why everyone is animals except us and also why we see normal animals. I've never heard the theory. No. What is the theory? Do you like Marcel? Not really. Not really. I have a short attention span, so I stopped playing City Folk 30 minutes in, but I didn't want to waste my money because I got it for six pounds. Is that pounds or euros? That's not bad, though, for City Folk. That's not bad! All right. The chisors are all done. Let me sell what I have. Buy that Chauvel. And then we're going to dig up some bunny foil, sell that to Zipper T Bunny, and then... Yeah, give me that. Hey, relax, my son, relax. We're going to buy this, we're going to dig up a bunch of bunny foils, and then we're going to give them to Zipper. I think I did this on Bunny Day. I mean, there's a lot of things buried in the ground, so I have a good feeling that I did choose Bunny Day correctly. Yeah, I know how to use a shovel, man. I had Petri for him. Yo, Petri's pretty good. Right, that's Euro. Sorry, I get him confused. All I'm saying is that they both look like an E, okay? It's very confusing. It's very confusing. Alright, best feature about this game versus Wild World? You can quick switch between tools. What a fucking lifesaver, dude. Alright, I did choose Bunny Day. Let's go. So we want about three, and by about three, I mean literally we want three bunny foils to give to Zipper, who is... Very sorry that you have to witness him, but uh, there you go. <laughs> Look how sad he gets when you walk away. He's actually like, if you think he's sassy in New Horizons, dude. Oh my god, you ain't even seen him yet. You ain't even seen him yet. Fastest way to make money in Animal Crossing New Leaf? Honestly, dude, the island's a great way of making money in that game. I've forgotten the music. Oh, the music's so good. It's so good. No, I don't want fossils. I don't watch the stinky fossils. I just think up about like, I don't know, one more maybe. Maybe like one more. Diagonal, hi. Hello, Winter. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. He's got a nine to five. He's tired. Nah, man, he's around all day. But he only works once a year though, so I don't know if he really has that much room to complain. Okay, we don't want candy. Candy's the, the bad option. Okay. Oh, this is tragic. This is tragic, dude. Okay, there's one. We need three of those. Oh, let's go, boys. One more. Are you gonna do fossils next? I don't know. Fossils is just not nearly as interactive as bugs and fish are. Like, I don't really want to do fossils because, I don't know. It's just RNG, really. There we go. We have bunny day. Bunny day so that we can quickly trade in these three pieces of foil to get some expensive furniture from Zipper. Sell that furniture to Tom Nook so that he upgrades his store. And then, 
we want to, um, and then he'll start selling axes, because at some point we're going to want to deforest this entire island to try to make it easier to get a petal tail and other things. Is the mole cricket in the original Animal Crossing? It is, yes. Sea Creatures is only two games. Sea Creatures is only New Leaf and New Horizons, so I don't feel like Sea Creatures would be all that interesting. Like, I don't know. At least, like, I don't know. Having only ha having only them in uh, New Leaf and New Horizons, I feel like, I don't know. You're only playing two different games in that case. Cause some stress and our character moves out and lives alone and is in debt? Interesting. If you want to keep the spirit of the series, you could, like, track for interest sets across the holidays in the game. I don't know. Like, for a video idea? I don't know, maybe. If we had a bat in-game, get stuff from trees, pop balloon, hit rocks and villagers, very versatile. There was a hammer in Animal Crossing New Leaf that kind of did all that. There is a hammer in New Leaf that did all that. I don't know, like, it couldn't pop balloons, but I think you could whack your villagers with it. And I don't think you could, you could hit rocks. I don't think anything would come out, though. Yeah, the toy hammer, dude. It was so good. I love the toy hammer. I love my toy hammer. All right, sell. We don't need to keep the candy because we don't need an ant or a fly in this game. So you can just get rid of that. There you go. 27 Grizzand. Pretty good. All right. And now. Now, 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 now. We're going to time travel like 10 days. And by the time that I time travel, it should, it should, um, the store should be upgraded. And then the store being upgraded means that it should have some axes, which I'm not going to worry about deforesting right now, but I will stock up on some axes. I might as well. How'd you get the toy hammer? It's a good question, actually. I don't know if I ever got the toy hammer in New Leaf. Is it something you had to get from the island? I actually have no idea. Uh, other things. I didn't know how to get it. Yeah, I honestly don't know how to get it either. Do you get it? I know that there's the mini game. There's the mini game on the island that involves it, but I don't know if you get it from the island. I actually don't remember at all. Man, I'm smart. Could you get the biggest house in every game, or is that going to take too long? I mean, I don't know. I could... If there was, like, a reliable dupe glitch that in, a, in every game, I suppose I could. But... I don't know. That would take a long time. I saved! Oh, wait, he comes out at the first time every time. Right, I forgot. I was like, dude, I'm, boy, I literally... I, I, like, started second-guessing myself. I'm like, did I save? And I did. I'm like, brother, fuck off. I did everything right. I got a little favor to ask you, but I, I know what I'm doing, okay? Paying off the first loan in every game? That would uh, that would honestly not take that long at all. That wouldn't take that long at all. New Leaf's easiest dupe I know requires a second 3DS and a second game. That's not easy. I don't have a second 3DS and a second game, so that would not be easy. It might be actually easy to pull the glitch off, but that is far from easy to actually do, though. Why are you still... Why are you still level 1 store? Please, please, browse all you'd like. I mean, do you at least have a net? No. Bro, Did I do something wrong? Is it... Did he, like, announce the upgrade? Did I need more than three? I thought it was three. Just catching up to me. I hope the stream cheers me up. I hope it cheers you up too, man. I've been there before. I've been there before. What the fuck? Hmm? Do I have to... Is that not enough? Is that not enough? Getting art in every Animal Crossing? Yeah, but art is, is no way to tell whether it's real or fake in the newer games, sadly. There's no way to tell. Alright, maybe I didn't do enough foils. Or maybe I didn't time travel far enough. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Wait, really? Oh, he's got his own little cushion. Any more neighbors coming in? I didn't check. I guess I could check later. 
Ever have a different hairstyle than you have right now as an adult? No, not really. I've just... I don't know. I, I like my hair in its current state, and I really don't see myself ever changing from what I do now. Even if it's boring, because, like, this is just the most manageable hairstyle, you know? It's just easy. Having, like, short, manageable hair is so nice. Just Emu tree. my first day of work at the core doing engineering stuff TM and I'm tired. He'll relax by enjoying my emotes and ad-free viewing. There you go, your emotes and your ad-free viewing. Enjoy them, and thanks for the seven months in a row. I appreciate that. At the corpse, doing engineering stuff, TM? I believe you. Yes, I'm a, I'm, I'm a bit of an engineer myself. But either way... Bro! What do I gotta do? Wait a minute. I must be doing something wrong, man. Maybe you have to buy some, some stuff? Do you have a net? Thank you. At least he has a net today. My god. I thought it, I thought it was three bunny foils. I don't know. Maybe I gotta do more here. You know, I'm something of a scientist myself. Yeah, true, true. My hair's to my waist right now, and I'm sick of it. I'm thinking of getting it cut just from my shoulders and donating it. Yeah, I can't imagine having long hair, man. That just seems like a pain in the ass. It just seems like a pain in the ass to like wash, manage. I don't know, man. Not for me exactly. Not for me. Gotta give him 30 of each wood and 30 iron nuggets. True, so true. Alright, buy those, sell them, maybe that'll get me there. Is it like 30,000? I just, like, didn't get to 30,000? Interesting. Buy, sell 80,000 worth of stuff? No. 80,000? Can't be that much, right? Can't be that much. Surely not. I remember doing a golden net speedrun. They didn't need you to get 80,000. Yeah, there you go. April 30th. Okay, so now... Now he's gonna be closed. Alright. Cool. And then, what that means is, after we get it upgraded, now we gotta go to September at 4pm to get a centipede, walking leaf, and a violin beetle. And we're gonna keep farming up axes once we get there. We're gonna keep farming up axes. Go buzz cut or bald at 200k subs on YouTube? No, I'm not that kind of streamer, man. I'm not that kind of streamer. I don't really do, like, sub incentives, really. Especially not ones that, like, make me alter my body. Kind of weird, in my opinion. I mean, it's fine. It's fun. It's interactive for some people, but I wouldn't do it myself. Not exact after all, huh, Timmy? Yeah. Go, no. Like, I've had buzz cuts before. I wouldn't go bald, though. A lot of people do, like, the, uh, I'll dye my hair at this sub-incentive. And I'm like, no. No, not for me, man. Not for me. Alright, so now his store should be upgraded, right? Does he have an axe? Yes. Well, his store is upgraded. Does he have an axe, though? I've never had one before. I remember when I got a buzz cut, it would be, like, kind of freeing in a way. Like, it, it's like... I don't know, your your head can breathe. It's in, it's incredible. But you know, I don't know if it's the height of fashion, but it does make the whole head breathe. When did Timmy and Tommy show up with Nookingtons? Any new villagers? I, I gotta check, I gotta check. When you ever get a nice new hair color? No, I like my hair color. In, in its all natural state. I had to pop off for a bit, guessing you caught the scorpion and tarantula. It did not take long at all. Yeah, we did get it. We did get it indeed. All right, so now we want to go to the previous year in September. So, 9-1 just for posterity's sake. 22. And then just put it to the top of the hour. There we go. All right, beautiful. And then at this time frame, we want to get the centipede, walking leaf, and violin beetle. And buy axes as we go. Centipede, Walking Leaf, and Violin Beetle. Wish we could upgrade Nook's Cranny in New Horizons like in New Leaf? Yeah, I mean, you can once, but I don't know why only once. Kind of lame. Kind of lame. Right, give me my net. I don't need to catch anything like that. It's not like Golden Net where I need to catch everything, so I can just waltz right by that. Alright, check if he has an axe. 
do like a round around the town to see if we can't get a centipede and a walking leaf and then uh, keep time traveling till we have enough access to cut down the entire town. How is Rover not confused about watching you be a year behind? He has no perception of time, man. It's fine. It's fine. It's no big deal. So the shop upgrades three times? In this game, it upgrades... Once, twice, yeah, three times. That's right. Because you get Nook and Go, Nook Way, Nookingtons. And then in New Leaf, it's four times, I think, right? It's four times in New Leaf. You get... You start off with Nook's Cranny again, and then you get whatever Nook and Go's equivalent is in that game. I think they changed the names of it. Oh, God. Is there four in New Leaf? Yeah, and then New Horizons, there's only one. It's just extremely lame. For whatever reason, they just... I don't know. They were just like, oh, surely nobody would care if we don't, like, you know, give any incentive to upgrade the store again. Yeah, there's four in New Leaf. I felt like there was a lot. And they actually took, like, a long time to upgrade in New Leaf as well. Like, it was not, like, a, a quick thing. I remember it took a long-ass time as well. We got the last Wild Ward bugs. I missed the first hour of stream. We did, and they came very easily, surprisingly. Move resident services. Some would like it on level two or three. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I feel like if they haven't made that change by this point, then they probably never will. But, um, so, I don't know. I wouldn't hold out hope at this point. Yo, what's up, Abby Debbie? How are you doing? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. The fashion checks? Wait, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, the Gracie fashion checks! Oh, yeah! Yo. Wouldn't that. Discordia! Thank you so much for the subscription. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And Miss Cherry Pie. Five months down. Also, hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube! Yeah, I guess this will go on the second channel at some point, so hi to the second YouTube channel. And thanks for the five months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. They're so crisp compared to Wild World. It's so much better. It's such a... It's so night and day, isn't it? It's so night and day. Yeah, kind of crazy. But either way... Remember when I was young about your favorite Martian coming back? I'm right now. Oh yeah, I've been seeing stuff like that. Your favorite Martian, that damn Ray William Johnson band? Oh, uh, yeah, are they coming back? I've been seeing people talk about that lately. For better or for worse. Um, yeah. <laughs> Apparently your favorite Martian's coming back. Let's go, boys! I I'm not insanely pogged about it myself, but you know, that's fine. That's fine. Getting every material, storm, iron nuggets, gold nuggets. Wait, what? Stone, iron nuggets, gold nuggets. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Doesn't really sound that interesting. Are you gonna completely clean up the land now, like yesterday? Yeah, that's the plan, because the giant petal tail is gonna take some finessing to get, so I'm probably gonna need to do quite a bit of terraforming in order to get that to spawn, but uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll get it before then. <clears throat> Who knows? Wait, I should've... Well, no, I can't plant that coconut yet, because I'm gonna need an axe first. I don't need an axe, but uh, I don't know. I'm pogging when I see it, if it's good. I I personally didn't think it was very good the first time, so I don't really think it'll be good the second time, unless Ray William Johnson's honed in his singing skills over the last, like, decade since it's been popular, but, and of course, maybe he could've, but I don't know. I don't know. Two. What if you get every Nook store upgrade in every game? I mean... I could. Is that just... I don't know. I guess that could be fun and interactive. I don't know, though. I'm not really looking for new ideas at the moment while I'm still working on this one. But, you know, give me your ideas after I'm done with this one, because I really don't know what I'm going to do after this. Rover reminds me of my cat. Not a thought behind those eyes. He does a lot of thinking. Don't insult him. He's thinking a lot. 
Yeah, New Leaf had four store upgrades. Yeah, and they were quite hard to get, but I imagine... I don't know, with time traveling, it probably wouldn't take too long. I'm just... Wow, you are a dickhead. I need an axe. We're looking forward to the open world Pokemon Presents tomorrow. Is there a Pokemon Presents tomorrow? I feel like nobody's talking about that, if that is the case. Is that not just the Pokemon equivalent of a N Nintendo Direct? That's kind of a big deal, isn't it? That's kind of a big deal. All those store upgrades, you need a friend to buy something? You do, except in the um, Wii U version, they got rid of that feature. Since you can't visit other people in the Wii U version, they made it so that you don't need to have somebody buy from your store in the Wii U version of Wild World, which is great. I love that. Hi Dagnall, you're one of my top three favorite streamers. Yo! Love your content and this community, Thank you. Dagnall Purr. Ooh, bunny. Thank you, Blue Moon, for the seven months in a row. I appreciate that. And thank you for the nice comment as well. Thank you. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah, Bunny's great. Can I have a centipede, please? I just want a centipede. Not that hard, right? Bob reminds me of my cat. Too many thoughts behind those eyes and in love with food and bugs. There you go. There you go. Sad alerts not working again. No, it just went off, right? I think it was going off. Right? I think. I I was hearing it, right? I, th I thought so, at least. I don't know. I could be silly, though. I don't know. Sonic Frontiers footage out of nowhere? Sonic Frontiers? What is that? I have two cats. One has too many thoughts and one has none at all. Yeah, I heard the alert. Yeah, my cat... <laughs> I think he's probably in the not many thoughts part, but you know, we stand him either way. Yeah, I heard it. I don't know. I have no idea. But either way, thank you again for the seven months in a row. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. It's an open-world Sonic game. Ah, right. Another open-world game. Hmm. Interesting. Still no centipede, huh? All right. Unfortunate. Any open world is just a Ze is just Zelda Breath of the Wild. I mean, I haven't seen it. Is it actually just like kind of a ripoff of Breath of the Wild, or is it actually got its own unique twist to it? Yeah, but did it was just a little late. Might just be me. Yeah, I don't know, but it was there. Thank you though so much to about it. thank you for it. I appreciate it. Sometimes I like to hide under a rock and pretend I'm a centipede. Interesting. I guess kind of same. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. Not literally, but kind of. Figuratively. How you guys doing today? No joke? No, the joke is that people say every open world game is just Breath of the Wild. Oh, right. I mean, before Breath of the Wild, every open world game was like GTA, and then before GTA, every open world game was like... Well, GTA was kind of like... It wasn't the first one. Actually, no, 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 okay. Before... Before Breath of the Wild, every open world game was Minecraft. Before Minecraft, every open world game was GTA or Skyrim. There you go. So true. So, it, it'll, when the next innovative open world game comes out, every open world game that comes out after that will be that game. Yeah, true. So true, bestie. So true. That's pretty true. That's pretty true. Breath of the Wild is the Elden Ring of Zelda games. So true, so true. That's so true. That's pretty true. Um, am I doing something wrong with centipedes? I feel like they shouldn't be this rare. Is it five o'clock? Or, like, something? I don't know. September... September at 4.05, hmm. There are a lot of admittedly open world games inspired by Breath of the Wild. I mean, I, I've often heard the... Wow, you are a dick. I've often heard uh, Genshin Impact described as anime Breath of the Wild. And I don't know how true that is. I never played Genshin before. I've never played Genshin Impact before. Elden Ring was inspired by Breath of the Wild. I mean, I'm sure that in some ways it was, because how could you not make an open world game that takes upon at least slightly the, the success of another very popular open world game? Like, 
Is it a bad thing that it takes inspiration from another open world game? I don't think so. As long as it's not like a straight up copy of it, then what's the problem? I don't know. Like, every game after, like, I don't know, every game, like, three years after Minecraft was like, it's Minecraft, but this. It's the Dark Souls of Minecraft. Breath of the Wild is already anime. So true, bestie. So true. Why would you only take one coin from the... Wait, I need you. I need you. You. Handsome. Handsome. Wonderful. Beautiful. Handsome. Thank you. I was not even looking for that right now. I was gonna get that at a whole different time, but alright, sure. I've never seen Breath of the Wild gameplay. It's a very good game. It's a very, very good game. Why would I only take... Because I don't need the money is why I don't need... You know, no point... If there ain't a centipede in that rock, I do not care, basically. If there ain't a centipede in that rock, I do not care. Don't need a monarch, don't need nothing. Don't need nothing now that spawns on flowers. I really should have, like, not been digging up the flowers as loosely as I was because I need the Raja Brook. Um, but now I can. Now I can. Hi, I just got here. What are you missing? Well, we just started City Folk. Um, so I'm not really missing anything, although I'm not getting a centipede yet, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong with that. Is the centipede... I thought it was 4 p.m. and later, but maybe it's 5 p.m. now that I'm thinking about it? I don't know. Centipedes are very uncommon. Well, that'll explain it, because my goodness, they are... They are acting very uncommon. And also, axes are apparently very uncommon as well. So, lucky me, I guess. Centipede is Tarantula, the sequel? I don't... We're not even close to Tarantula and Scorpion hours yet. Gonna dip, best of luck, boss. Thank you, Saturn. You have yourself a good rest of the day. Yeah, we got the Scorpion and the Tarantula very quickly once we loaded up Wild World today. Just totally miraculously, they just appeared within like 15 minutes of trying. Pretty awesome. Pretty not awesome that it took like, you know, an hour of playing yesterday and didn't see either one of them, but you know, either way. 4 to 11, eh? It's 4, so I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll just keep grinding. I have 435 hours on Breath of the Wild. If I was on my Switch, I'd check, but I'm probably like a couple hundred hours on Breath of the Wild. Just break the rock! Just break the rock, streamer! Just break the rocks! You can do that in this game, right? Yeah! Yeah, totally. Someone drew Link and Cloud Strife in each other's cross-dress outfits? I feel like that's happened probably like quadruple digit amount of times. Maybe. I have over 2k hours on New Horizons. Yeah, I'm probably approaching 2k myself. Probably getting there myself. What's you? What do you mean? Oh, what's up, squad fam? Oh, not much, man. I should go to sleep. Have a great day slash night. Yo, you have a great day slash night as well. Thank you. I have kind of a lot of names. Bye. Getting every building in Animal Crossing Pocket Camp included... Okay, you just... You, just, you, you could have stopped after Pocket Camp. I, I don't play Pocket Camp. I don't play Pocket Camp. Also, I'm not really looking for video suggestions right now. If I'm usually in, like, the middle of a video, I'm not really looking for suggestions at the current moment. So, I don't know. At least not until I'm done. At least not until I'm done. The Gerudo Women. You could have just said Gerudo people, because, like, aren't they all women? Except for Ganon, who's, like, the first Gerudo male. And that's why he's, like, such an incel that he decided to rule the world instead of going to therapy. I don't know. Please stream Breath of the Wild sometime. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Check if we have an axe first here. Why are the graphics on this game better than AC and H? I don't know. I don't think the graphics are better, but it definitely runs smoother. That's for sure. This guy is just not selling an axe. He's just not selling an axe. Yeah, you know, it's just this is insane. You played Terraria before? Yes, Terraria is a great game. It's my like second most played game on Steam, with like. Several hundred hours on it at this point. 
Why is he gatekeeping deforestation? True! Let me deforest, man. It's good. Deforestation is actually good. That's why people like New Leaf. Why is why people like New Leaf? You know what? Everyone, Gerudo is fine. Even Ganon, IDC. Yeah, true. Ganon kind of thick, though. Ganon kind of thick, though. So true, actually. So true. It's fun, and the music is great. It is fun, and the music is great. That's pretty true. Why? Wind Waker Ganon is good. The rest are okay, I guess. Well, Ganon in Breath of the Wild isn't even Ganon. He's like this figure. He's not even Ganon, okay? I've only ever played one other game, and that was Wind Waker. Ganon in that game, I mean, he's if you got a thing for big honkers, then whew, whoo wee then Yeah, that's your man right there. Go get your mans. I don't know, though. Outside of the boisterous honker, I don't know if he's that desirable of a male. He seems kind of like a emotionally distant, you know? He seems a little emotionally distant, but that's okay because you know, like you know, I know we as like males are kind of taught that like showing emotion is weakness. So like you know, hiding your emotions and you know being emotionally distant is kind of a typical thing amongst us 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 dudes. So I don't know. I guess it's kind of fair. I guess it's kind of fair that he feels that way. He's valid. I do love horrible men with big honkers. Well, <laughs> boy howdy, dude. Boy howdy. Have I got the mans for you? The Golden Trio from TP are kind of fire. Her kind of fine NGL. TP, Twilight Princess. I have not seen much Twilight Princess, unfortunately. Although people were trying to get me to play it after I said how much I enjoyed Breath of the Wild. They're like, oh, well, if you enjoyed Breath of the Wild, you'll enjoy Twilight Princess. And I'm like, I don't know if that's true, but maybe. Maybe. Perhaps. All right. Uh, it's a very uncommon centipede, very uncommon, um, axe, apparently. Hide your emotions and show your pecker kind of type. Now, when you say pecker, do you mean... Never mind. I'm glad that I'm leaving being a man behind. I'm out of here. This shit sucks. When will Animal Crossing add the ability to hug villagers? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think we're getting any other major updates, and I would consider that a pretty major update, so I don't think that's ever gonna happen. Five. Skyward Sword is so fun. Yeah, and that just recently got re- not remastered, but re-released on the Switch, so... I guess if I wa really wanted to play it, I would kind of have a good way of doing so. I require physical attraction from the villagers. Kind of weird, man. I think New Horizons is probably the last Animal Crossing game. Just extremely untrue. Like, I guess I can't prove that wrong, but I have a hard time believing that it would be. Like, why would it be the last Animal Crossing game after being the best-selling one by far? When has a game series ever, like, stopped after selling their best- Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Like, am I going insane? Am I going stupid? What is going on? I can't get an axe. Kind of weird take? Yeah, like, why would the best-selling game of the series- Why would they stop after the best-selling game of the series? Like, this is ridiculous with the axes, dude. Like, has a game series ever stopped after releasing their most successful of all their games? I really feel like you'd be hard-pressed to find a series that would do that. And not to mention, it's not even close. New Horizons outsold everything. Like, by a lot. In fact, if somebody could do the math, not that, you know, I know it's a lot, but I wouldn't be surprised if New Horizons sold more copies than the combined sell than the combined amount of copies of every previous mainline animal crossing game so that's to say that it sold more copies than new leaf city folk 
Wild World, and then all the GameCube versions combined. I feel like it sold more than all of them combined, so it's not even close that it outsold all those. Nintendo would be silly billies to not make another Animal Crossing game. They might even, like, not even wait for another console at this rate, because my god, it did sell so well. Then again, they might. There's, ne there's never been two mainline games um, on the same console for Animal Crossing, so it probably will be on another console, but I don't know. Maybe they don't want to wait. Maybe they don't want to wait. I feel like I'm right about that. I don't know, like, that's just my speculation, but I don't know, N Animal Crossing was never, like, a main... Animal Crossing was never, ever, like, a headline franchise for Nintendo until New Horizons. Now it's a headline franchise after how well it sold on the, on the Switch. It never was before. It was always kind of like a secondary, sort of like, very well-loved series, but doesn't quite shine the spotlight as much as Zelda, Pokemon, etc. It was always kind of like on the back burner a little bit. So I wouldn't be surprised if now they're gonna like, you know, now they'll probably prioritize it a little bit more. They're gonna be able to improve on it? I don't know, like, if that's the logic, then I feel like A, they will be able to improve on it, and B, even if they can't improve on it, they'll still, they'll still make another one, because there's money to be made, so I don't know. New Horizons, 70, or, Jesus, I'm like dyslexic, but with numbers. 37.62 mil, sold more than all the main titles, 30.81 mil, there you go. It was closer than I thought, but yeah. There you go. Seven million more copies than every other one combined. Six. Yeah, I think they'll make another one. They'll keep making games till people stop buying them, basically. But there are definitely things that can be improved. There is absolutely things that can be improved. Absolutely. So, I don't know. Discalculate? Yeah, I don't know if I actually have that, but I get numbers backwards. I, I don't often get letters backwards, but numbers do get me sometimes. Numbers numbers be kind of tricky, man. Numbers be kind of tricky. Uh, little, little tricky numbers. Alright, please have an axe. Ease my suffering, please. Oh, what's up, Lorton? How are you doing? Thank you. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. It only took, like, how many days? Like, five days of time traveling? Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. And it breaks, by the way, in case you're wondering. It's not gonna last forever, so I'm gonna need, like, several more of them. That's just my first one that I needed, so pretty, pretty cool. Oh, the next game keeps all the customization that New Horizons allowed. I like to getting to decorate outside and stuff. I wouldn't mind if the next game focused more on, like, what made the older games so good, that being, like, the villager interactivity, the sense of, you know, community, and also rolled over the same decorative features of New Horizons. Because, I mean, Nintendo would be kind of silly to not, uh... I don't know. It, like, they look at it and they're like, okay, so the Animal Crossing game that focused mostly on decorating and stuff like that is our best-selling one. So that's probably, like, a feature that we should include in our new game as well. So I'm kind of hoping that they, like, mix the older games with, like, the community feel and the good interactive villagers and the decoration of New Horizons. And, I mean, I feel like that would be an easy way to make a, a better game than New Horizons. But, you know, I don't know. Maybe that's not their sense of direction anymore for Animal Crossing. Who knows? So that's a way of getting your coconuts to guaranteed grow, is to chop down a tree and then plant the coconuts where those trees were. That means these coconut trees will definitely grow. And we're going to need a Cyclomanus stag and a Golden stag on those trees later on. So that's why we want coconut trees. Alright, and then now it's just keep looking for a damn centipede. Also a walking leaf. I need a walking leaf as well, which I haven't seen either. But, you know, I guess the more flowers that I destroy and the more trees that I destroy, the more likely you are to get one, but, uh... I don't know, man. It's getting a little ridiculous at this point. Hi, what are we playing today? City Folk. Animal Crossing City Folk. Just, just, just drop it, man. Just drop it. There you go. Kit, Isle, Sunny, Cupcake, Feline, I want them back. Yeah, that's another way that you can improve the game. Bring back a lot of the villagers that they cut over the course of the games. Also pretty true. Also pretty true. 
I want nose gay back. Give me nose gay. So true as well. So true as well. Meow and bow. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody said that, like, since those were, like, heavily based on Tamagotchi, I don't know if those would ever come back. Same with Feline. Like, I don't know if they'll ever bring Feline back because it was a Monster Hunter crossover. So until they got the rights for Feline, they probably won't do that one again. But I don't know. I guess they did get the Sanrio ones back. So I guess not all hope is lost. So glad we got Zoe back. Yeah, there's a lot of good ones that they brought back from older games that got cut. Zoe, Rio, uh, Roswell. But there's still more. There is still more. But watch out, Yuka. Whoop. Nobuo? Nobuo? Who's that? I don't know who that is. Find hilarious that Ganon can live in your village? Yeah, Ganon the pig! Oh, man. Like, I don't know why they didn't bring back the freaking other Nintendo crossover series villagers. Like, oh, Nobuo is Chabwick. Oh, okay. Interesting. Is that kind of like how, um, Rhett was Champagne before? Interesting. Well, either way. Oh, yeah, Woolio. Gotta bring back my man's Woolio. Also, um, I don't know. There is also ones that, uh, they need to bring back that, uh, they brought back a lot of good ones, but there's always more. There's always more. But yeah, like, why wouldn't they bring back the ones that were other Nintendo franchise crossovers? It's not like they need to get the rights for them as your franchises, man. Like, why didn't they bring back Ganon? Why didn't they bring back Epona? Kinda stinks, man. They changed his name because we already have Kit the Kangaroo. Maybe. I mean, they did change names, so it's not unprecedented. Blanca as a villager? Yeah, or at least as a roaming NPC like she used to be. What about Holden the Glue Hamster and Philly the 7-Eleven Horse? Holden the Glue Hamster. Okay, I don't know who that is. I remember Philly the 7-Eleven Horse. I remember they did do this whole crossover with 7-Eleven. Where you had... This axe is a fucking champion, by the way. There we go. I mean, that thing held out a long time on its last stage of breaking. There, I remember that there was... Philly, the 7-Eleven horse, they did the whole 7-Eleven crossover where they brought over that whole series of, uh, 7-Eleven furniture items, which is pretty cool. Who's Holden, though? I don't remember that. Yeah, Cherry and Cherry, Sherry and Sherry. Yeah, so I don't know. Or Tammy and Tammy, yeah. So I don't know. It wouldn't be unprecedented that they would bring back a Kit, and that Kit with one T, and then Kit with two Ts. Wouldn't be unprecedented. It was only by accessing the Wi-Fi in Japan. Interesting. I wonder if I... Hang on. Holden. A-C-N-L. Oh. Interesting. That's a jock villager. Alright. Uh, I'm not gonna change the scene to show you guys if you just wanna... Wow, dude, that's gotta be a pretty... That's gotta be a pretty, like, rare villager. Like, do you think that Holden is, like, a hot commodity in the New Leaf trading market? Like, God, how many people got Holden? You can only get them by accessing certain Wi-Fi locations in Japan. I mean, God, there's gotta be not many Holdens. Wait, he can't live in your town? Oh, is he only a camper? Oh. Well, there you go. That would explain why I probably haven't heard of him then. Crossover with a Japanese stationery company. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Cool. Bring back Holden. Bring back my mans. If it was a 7-Eleven horse, we needed a Sheets crossover. Oh, a lantern fly. I don't think Sheets quite is to the popularity level of 7-Eleven, but that would be nice. He'd be kind of cute, though. Yeah, I think I've seen him before, but I forgot, like, that he existed. That's gotta be the most obscure villager. Like, special NPC or villager. Like, I don't know. There's some pretty obscure ones out there. Like, ones that, like, not many people have heard of. Like, maybe Farley from Animal Crossing GameCube. But damn, the Holden? A regional exclusive villager that can only camp out in your game in Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo? That's pretty... I don't know. That's pretty... I don't know. I, I imagine not many people have heard of them. Claude is that one that's still in the game and nobody knows about- I like Claude! He's a good guy! Reminds me of GTA 3. 
and GTA 2 and GTA 1, but you know, you get what I mean. I didn't play those two. Yeah, but I like Claude. He's a good guy. There are some pretty forgotten villagers that have been in games. Like, yeah, Claude, I guess, is kind of forgotten. Um, I'm sure that there's other out there, but you can forgive me if they're not exactly coming to mind. CC and Beach? Yeah, those were the, um, squirrels. Were they not squirrels that were crossovers with Splatoon? And then Feline, Link, Wolf. Yeah, those are all, like, Welcome Amiibo villagers that came over as crossovers from, um... From, uh, other Nintendo franchises. Yeah, and they didn't bring those back, even if they had the rights to the Splatoon villagers and the Zelda villagers. I don't know. It's kind of weird that they didn't bring those back. Like, I don't even think if you have the Amiibo cards for them, I don't even think they work, right? Like, they would, they would just give you an error. I love the Mario items in New Horizons. They should have done more stuff like that. They... Oh, okay, yeah. Like, other series. Yeah, well, they did in previous games. I didn't change the time. <laughs> Has Dag shit himself yet? No, quite the opposite. I caught the tarantula and scorpion very quickly. No shit in my britches. They use the actual amiibo figures. Oh, what's the error if you try to scan those in? Because I don't have any of those myself. I think we have the same map. How many different maps are there in City Folk? I'm curious, actually. Yes, we're in City Folk. Mario items in City Folk are S tier. They're pretty good. I don't know. I didn't quite love them myself, but, uh, yeah. I think you got them from balloons in this game, right? And I gotta give it credit. Getting the Mario items from balloons in this game is a hell of a lot better than getting the damn balloon items from New Leaf in balloons. Whew. I'm very glad that they did not do that again in New Horizons. Hey! Settle down, my boy. Settle down. Relax. Relax! What's he crying about? Seven! Seven! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Yeah, let's get started. Fucking hate New Leaf Balloons. One of the few bad things. Like, just an objectively hated feature that you only get the balloon items from those. And they're not even worth much to, like, sell. Just annoying. Just purely an annoying feature. Due to that not being intended, he's kind of both jock and lazy. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. That's really weird. Because, yeah, like, it said it's a jock villager, and that made me think, like, you can bring him into your town, but if it's only a camper, then I'm like, why would you even give him a personality? Why wouldn't you make him, like, a special NPC? But I guess I understand. I never bought slingshots? Like, what's the point? What's the point? It's, you don't get anything good from it. It's not even, like, a 50-50 chance that you'll get balloon items or something else. It's just, like, legitimately, you only got balloon items. Didn't sell for much. They looked ugly as hell. So, what's the point? Hey! Settle down! Barking ass. Hey. Lord and Savior Monka, thanks so much for the Prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Couldn't you get other stuff after you got all the balloon items? Nope, I think you only ever got the balloon items. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's all I ever remember getting. Was just the balloon items from New Leaf. Very, very annoying. Tom Nook saying hmm at the end of every sentence? Why would you say that? Like, I don't know. It's one thing to just find it weird. It's another thing to call it that. I don't know, man. Just not exactly the place, man. Welcome Amiibo, they patched it so that you could get other stuff. Oh, did they? Obviously, I, I must have never discovered that feature because by the time Welcome Amiibo came out, I was too far gone from ever shooting down a balloon. Has there ever been an update on merch? Yeah, it's a headache is the update. Um, yeah, that's the update. How can you not check what furniture fell from the tree like? Because I don't really need it, I guess. I don't really need it. I don't know, like, I'm not, like, you know, gung-ho about just catching bugs without, like, you know, stopping to smell the roses, but I don't know. Don't really need it all that much. 
you do get other items after you get the whole set. That must be a welcome amiibo thing, man, because I don't think that I was shooting down balloons very much once welcome amiibo came out, because at that point I was like, oh, what's the point? He's just a dude? Leave Mr. Nook alone? Yeah, it's just weird. My favorite thing ever to happen in New Leaf was finding a moon that fell from a tree. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Just the whole ass moon falls out. From the AC wiki. Well, there you go. I guess they did change that. They recognized that, that nobody liked that feature. Well, that's good. It's kind of cool, like, when Nintendo does rarely, and I'll be clear, it is rare. Hey, man, what's going on? It is very rare when they actually listen to people, but, you know, when they do, they do, I suppose. Like, when they change the rates of how often things, uh, spawn during the Bunny Day event once the game came out. They, like, tinkered. They, they saw how annoyed people were at the egg rates, and so they tinkered with it, and it's like, wow, Nintendo. That's so, like, that's so un-Nintendo of you. That's so un-Nintendo of you. What are we hunting for? The freaking uh, centipede. God dang centipede. Didn't think it would be this rare. Alright. From the beginning, but I couldn't remember wrong- that I could be remembering wrong, too. I guess? If it's on the AC wiki, it's probably right. I guess it's because all the red dragonflies. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just not the best time for it anyway, but I don't know, I guess the red dragonflies probably aren't helping either. My cat stole my brother Tom Nook's plush and put him in the litter box? Oh! oh gosh, just throw it in the wash. Just throw it in the wash. You'll be fine. Maybe you need a me face? Like, I'm getting kind of like... I think the me face should be like the equivalent of my Joker face. Like... j j, -j joker face. I think it should be my, like, Joker face. Like, once I guess... Once I start getting fed up with society... Society being bugs, then I'll slowly, like, put on the Joker face. I'll start putting on the me mask. Nobody cared who I was until I put on the mask. Yeah, 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 I think that's a good idea. The more fed up I get with society... Here, you happy? I got a cactus. The more fed up I get with society, society being bugs, I'll start putting on the me mask. There you go. How's that sound? June to February, 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. for the centipede. So it should be able to come out now. Yeah, I know. That's... That is why I routed it for the current time. That is why I routed it for the current time. The me mask always creep me out. It is creepy. My centipede joker arc. Exactly. I mean, at least I'm getting access now. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, the boy's borkin. What game? Animal Crossing City Folk. Can't read my joker face? That's also pretty good. Love her or hate him, he do be kind of barking. How would you ever hate him, though? How could you? Just a crime. Crime against humanity, quite honestly. Yeah, Joker mask overlay redemption. We should. I don't know if I could, like, cleverly set that up in some way. I could do that. Joker these nuts. Not even funny, man. Impossible to hate. He's perfect. He do be kind of perfect. This game slaps. It does slap. This is still a good game. <clears throat> I don't know, I feel like if you are looking for a game that's more less focused on design, more focused about villager interactivity... Ooh. Well, no, actually, this is good. Rain is great, because I think it'll mean that dragonflies can't spawn. And I have a hard time believing that centipedes wouldn't still spawn in rain, so actually, this is good. This is actually pretty good, I think. Sadly gotta head out, sorry for all my bad takes today. It's alright, man, we all have bad takes. We all have bad takes. Nothing but love and his favorite snacks. There you go. He's a joker. He's a smoker. He plays his music. Oh, yeah, 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 that song, that song. I was like, where's this comment going? And then I realized you're singing a song. I'm back. Welcome back, random person. Back from dinner. Damn, everyone's back, dude. All right, hell yeah. The party's just getting started, I guess. We need a corgi villager. So true, bestie. Oh, I thought it was genuinely a piece of furniture. You fooled me. You fooled me. He got me. All right. Well, thank you to the rain for making that spawn, because I don't think it's a coincidence that as soon as it starts raining, we get a walking leaf. And I'm hoping that we can get that same luck for a centipede. In fact, I don't think I should leave this day 
I don't think I should leave this rainy day until we get a centipede, because I feel like now is going to be our best opportunity with which to do so. So, I feel like we should do it now. It's the sex number. See, that's really funny, because, uh, <laughs> I have a lot of sex, by the way. Um, it's really funny, because... <laughs> It's really funny because the six, it's like a person laying in bed, and then they're, 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 um, and then the nine is another person that's laying right across from them, and then it kind of looks like they're fellatioing each other because the six is at the other end of where the nine is, and then, 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 and I have a lot of sex, by the way. Um, <laughs> I browse reddit.com. Please consider subscribing to the stream if you enjoy these jokes. If you enjoy these jokes, you should subscribe to the stream. Um, these jokes, if you enjoy them, you can subscribe to the stream using the subscribe button down in the bottom right corner of the stream video player. Dagnal, please, I'm at work. You're watching Twitch at work, man. That you, you, You're setting yourself up, man. Setting yourself up. Oh, Dagnal, you swore my parents are walking by. Yeah, you're gonna have a thing called headphones. Yes, King, now explain 420. Okay, I, genuinely, I want someone to explain it to me. Because while it is universally recognized that 420 is the weed number, which is hilarious, by the way. I do smoke a lot of weed, by the way. Just as I have a lot of sex, by the way. Um, but why 420? Why April 20th? Why April 20th? Why is that the... It's the police number for marijuana. Oh. Well, there you go. I learned something today. I had no idea why 420 was the, the weed number. I, I had no idea that 420 was the weed number. That's actually... Okay. Makes a lot of sense, I suppose. Hey! And now the entire YouTube video knows that 420 is the weed number because it's the police code for marijuana. And they say you don't learn nothing on twitch.tv slash diagonal. 70. Cool. Alright, so now we just gotta get those trees to grow and get more axes. Deforest the entire island. Sounds good to me. Hi, YouTube! Hi, YouTube! 420, 420, or 420, pronounced 420, is a cannabis culture slang for marijuana and hashish consumption, especially smoking around the time 420 p.m. or 1620 UTC. Well, thank you! Well, there you go. Look at that. Meanster! Thanks for the prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. By the way, Lord and Savior Monica? Or Monka? Yeah, no, I thanked you, right? I thanked you. Yeah, 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 I remember now. I thought I missed your subscription, but I got you. We'll have another shout out either way. And thank you, Meanster, for the prime as well. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and your ad free viewing. Of which I believe an ad just started running, so sorry, non subscribers. How many bugs? 70. Because 420, it's when school is out before parents come home. It's when school is out before parents come home. I feel like the police code makes way more sense than that. I don't know. My dad gets off work at four. But, you know, different strokes, different folks. Did you manage to catch the stingy boy? Yeah, I got both the stingy boys, as a matter of fact. I got both the stingy boys. Man, I gotta redo my Prime sub soon, or I'll have to do it when it expires. It's unfortunate. But, you know, take your time. I don't need it. What's up, Danny? How are you doing? Kind of late? Not late at all, man. Not late at all. No late when, in, when it comes to my stream. I don't expect anyone at a certain time. The VOD is always there for you to replay it. You, you might as well have not missed a thing. My sisters get out at 2.20? Like, I don't know, man. I, I know that the typical, like, day shift is often called the 9 to 5. But when I worked a day shift, I was 8 to 4. And I gotta be honest with you, chat. It's pretty great. Yo, what's up, Skelyar? Now I need more, so here I am. Well, there you go. We're getting bugs. We're getting bugs. Can you order the axe from the catalog? Oops. Uh, I don't think so. I feel like tools wouldn't be in the catalog, but I can check. I, I don't know. The official, this is how the gold net run does it. So I have a feeling that if they, 
Like, this is how the world record runs for Golden Net goes, so I have a hard time believing that there's an obvious better way to do it than like that, but I guess I can check. We're on City Folk now. I work 8 to 4.30 with a one-hour lunch break. 30 minutes of lunch break is paid, though. See, that's pretty sick, dude. 8 to 4 is so much better than 9 to 5, and I'll even do you one further. I would do a 7 to 3. Like, on, I think the lowest I would go is a 6 to 2. I think 6 to 2 is probably the lowest I would go, but... I mean, sure, let me, let me check the catalog. Oops. I think 6 to 2 is the lowest I would go, but that's got to be super nice to get off, like, at, uh... No, not Umbrella. Yeah, like, are tools even a thing here? I don't think that you can get tools, sadly. No, I don't think so. Unless there's, like, another category? Gyroids? No. No, sadly not. 7 to 3.30, he decides his own schedule and he loves it. Yeah, like, getting off at 2 or 3 or 3.30, that sounds pretty sick. Me doing 5 to 10s? See, I've done that before where I get off at midnight. Ugh. Horrible. 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 Doesn't it come in the mail? What do you mean? 4 to midnight isn't a horrible shift? It's not. If you don't need to do anything after you get off at midnight. If you do, then everything's closed and you're kind of SOL. And that's kind of why I didn't like it. But I don't know. I guess it had its perks as well. It's not nice? Is it not? I suppose different strokes, different folks. I'm not a morning person, but... I don't know. If you, like, put me on a routine, even if it's as early as 6 o'clock, I think I can get used to it. My friend does 5 to 1s on weekends. He does 7 to 4 every other day. That's a little volatile. I don't know. That's like a whole, like, 2-hour shift in when you have to go to work. I don't know. I'd rather have it be consistent, like, one or the other, you know? I work overnight, but it's only three nights a week. Yeah, I mean, I did a schedule like that where it was 12-hour overnights from 7.30 p.m. to 7.30 a.m. It could be anywhere from five times a week to two times a week. So depending on, I don't know, depending on how my shift was scheduled that week, it, I don't know, it sucked. I, I don't care even if it was one of the two-day weeks. It sucked so much, man. I can't do that. I can't do overnights anymore. I used to think... Oh, I like staying up at night. I could do night shifts. And then I did it. And after a month, I was like, I want to die. I want to put a fucking bullet in my head, dude. That was horrible, man. Horrible. You guys copping my story? We're copping your story. What do you mean by that? I'd rather work remote? Well, now I'm a Twitch streamer and YouTuber, making more money than I did at any other job that I worked. Um, so I guess I'm alright now, I guess. I'm okay. Hate having an inventory that's unorganized. You know, so I'm doing alright now. I'm kinda- I'm kinda boy bossing. Always need a big boy sleep. You did get a big boy sleep when you worked 12 hours, because, you know, on your days off, you would- but, like, the thing is that on your, on your days off, thanks for the hydrate, your, your days off on a 12-hour shift were just making up for the lack of sleep that you didn't get when you worked 12 hours. On a day that you did work 12 hours, here's how your day went. You got up, you took a couple hours to get ready for work, you went to your 12-hour shift, and then as soon as you were done with your 12-hour shift, you were too exhausted to do anything by the time you got out, and so you pretty much went straight to bed. Probably didn't get enough sleep, and then you gotta do it again. That's a, It sucked so much, and it basically made it so that your days off were just, you know, making up for the lack of sleep that you didn't get when you were doing your, you know, when you're, when you're working your shifts. It sucks. I hate it. I would never do 12-hour shifts ever again. Even on daytime schedules. They become recovery days. Yeah, it's not even, like, days off. It's recovery days. You don't have the energy to, like, do things that you need to do because you're in, like, recovery mode. Horrible. Is girl boss not gender neutral? My first language isn't English, so I've been calling my BF a girl boss, and he hasn't said anything otherwise. I I think so. Yeah, I think I think if somebody called me a girl boss, that would be pretty funny. But yeah, I mean I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure girl boss is pretty gender neutral. I don't think your boyfriend will have a problem with it. It's kind of a meme, right? 
the travel that varies per per yeah plus the travel like the travel wasn't even bad for me it was like a 10 minute drive but i don't care like of course the travel being like an hour then yeah an hour or two and an hour back forget it you're not getting enough sleep it's impossible we call you a girl boss all the time exactly and i appreciate it if anything i am kind of a girl boss what can i say what's the next bug um petal tail which is why I'm trying to cut down everything. I suppose I could be cutting down everything. Oh, actually, I need a violin beetle on one of these stumps here as well, which I'm surprised I haven't seen with all the stumps that I've made. Um, and then we'll get a petal tail once 5 o'clock rolls over here. Or at least we're going to hope that we get a petal tail once 5 o'clock rolls over here. So I'm just chopping trees until 5 o'clock rolls over. Um, the petal tail being as rare and pain in the ass as it is, I want to try to get ideal spawning conditions for it, which is why I'm deforesting the entire island, and also looking to get a violin beetle as well. The fountain? What about the fountain? I do be girl boss, and I'm kind of a girl boss, you know me. Same old G. Anything could be gender neutral if you're not a coward. What does this mean? What does that comment mean? Being called bestie unironically fills me with rage, but that's a me problem. Okay, kind of same, actually. Kind of same. Um, bestie is, like, used so condescendingly sometimes to where I'm like... I can't tell when... If somebody says something like, Hey, hey, bestie. I'm like, are you patronizing me? Or are you genuinely calling me, like, your friend? I have no idea. Better than Twitch Baby? Okay, yeah, it is, but still. Same energy as Sweetie? Yeah, like, uh, Sweetie, you're- and then, like, you rattle off some, like, patronizing comment. I don't know. But I love Bestie. I guess it's all in the context of the person who says it. Like, if I know the person who says it isn't, like, a dick, then I'll probably know that they're fine. Or they're not being patronizing when they say it, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm bringing back BFFL and Biffle as well. <laughs> you bring it back Greg Biffle. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. IDK, my BFF Jill. It means any words can be gender neutral if you're not a coward. Yeah, I don't really know what that means, man. Throw an axe in the fountain, you can get a silver or gold axe from the dog goddess. Yeah, do you also want me to grind up like 300,000 bells to pay that off? Hey, bestie, westie, ooh, woo, pleading emoji, pleading emoji. Yeah, if you say that to me, it's probably cause to be banned. But that's fine. You know what? Yeah, getting the fountain probably isn't worth it. Also, isn't it complete RNG to even get the uh, axe? Like, I'm pretty sure... First of all, the silver axe, does that still break or what? Because I think it's like a pretty low chance to get the gold one, but to get the silver one, I think it's a little bit higher chance, but I think it also still breaks, so I don't really know if it's worth the time. Otherwise, again, like if it was worth the time, then they would probably route it in the official golden net speedrun route. Yeah, I feel like if there was a more efficient way of doing it, they would have done that in the route. And I'm kind of following the route. Do you have a 3DS? Yes, I do. I do have a 3DS. I love my 3DS. Favorite food versus your favorite food to cook? I like bread. It's my favorite food. My favorite food to cook? I don't really love cooking any food, to be honest with you. Like, all food cooking is kind of a chore, to be con quite honest with you. Like, it, I've never, like, really made a food and been like, that was fun. I'm gonna do that again. I suppose it's possible that it could happen, but I have yet to find a food that I, you know, actually enjoy. They're so expensive now. Yeah, they, they're they not being produced anymore, sadly. So, whatever 3DSs out there are still in circulation are, unfortunately, going to be more and more rare as time goes on. Opinions on the word slay? I like the word slay. I like to hit the slay button on occasion. Run. On occasion, I've been known to hit the slay button. I've been known to slay and yas and wig and Versace the boots. But... I can't say it's, you know, 
I can't say it's something that happens too often, you know? Hi. What do you think about very often? Yeah. Yeah, Alaska Thunderfuck, the drag queen. Y'all know Alaska Thunderfuck? Sh ah, that's a violent beetle. Shoutouts to Alaska Thunderfuck 5000, Erie, Pennsylvania native right there, repping my home city. Yeah, it's about the only thing that we've made in Erie, Pennsylvania that's made national attention in a long time, but I guess except for the pizza bomber. But other than that, that's about the only claim to fame that we have, I feel. Alaska is fucking goals. Yeah, there you go. She's from Erie, Pennsylvania. Kind of a girl boss. We should yossify Dagnall. I'm pretty yossified, man. I'm pretty yossified. I'm about as yossified as I could be. I mean, I've been streaming Animal Crossing for two years, man. I'm pretty yossified. I don't know. Is that the wife in the background? It is the wife. Every time I hear the wife, I'm like, that's how like a 40-year-old person describes their 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 wife. It's like, oh, the wife says I can't go out tonight, fellas. Sorry. No, no insult. No insult intended. I just mean that's just what it reminds me of. Yeah, it's Pascal. I should go get a scallop for him. I think you just find scallops on the beach in this game, right? The misses. Yeah, the misses. Uh, let me do a quick check, actually. Let me- I- I feel- I feel like I need to vindicate myself after scaring away that violin beetle. Okay. I... They're so small, admittedly. Like, I'm not surprised I missed it. The thing was teeny tiny. I wish Goose- I had Goose as a- as a villager. Goose is pretty good, man. Slept on, honestly. Slept on villager. All these red dragonflies, they're gonna fuck up the petal tail chance, man. Is it, when do red dragonflies stop spawning? Is it 5 o'clock and then the petal tail starts spawning? Or am I wrong? Because that's a lot of red dragonflies, man. They're gonna fuck this whole thing up, I think. Alright, my coconuts grew at least. I'm just gonna leave those two. I don't think I need any more than two. I don't think I need any more than two. What's your thoughts on pop-off, sis? Pop-off, sis, is good. Maybe it's an English thing. British! Yeah, maybe. The old ball and chain. I thought that was the old ball and chain. Wait, what do you mean? Sishet comedians when they talk about their wife? Yeah, basically. It's the middle-aged married couples who joke about how much they hate each other and hate getting married so much and they get offended when you tell them to get a divorce then. Yeah, they also are known to, like, be balding, wear keen sandals with checkered plaid shorts, with cargo pant pockets on the side, and they wear tank tops, and their arms are, like, excessively greasy. They probably got, like, the tattoo of a beer logo on their arm somewhere. Sorry, is this way too specific? Are you ever going too old about Animal Crossing? Huh? What's up, Kelsey Marie? How are you doing? Or Crocs, yeah. It could be Crocs. Why not catch 93 fleas in New Horizons? Why not ban you 93 times? That'd be pretty funny. What's up, Meehan? How are you doing? I guess if I banned you 93 times, since it's an odd number, I guess I would... You would end up unbanned. The end of it. Painting a vivid picture? See, I feel bad, because I kind of painted a picture of my dad, but my dad isn't like that, so I don't know, I kind of felt bad. I was like, oh man, I'm doing them dirty over here. Challenge to catch a flea in every game possible? No, I, d I just don't feel like doing that. It just doesn't seem very interesting. Y'all really that pog to watch me try to catch a flea? I promise you, it's like the most boring thing. It took me like eight hours to do in New Horizons one time. It was literally just me save and quit, save and quit, walk around my town. 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 And it probably took like a thousand times before I actually found one. Ever gonna get old for Animal Crossing. Am I ever going to get old for Animal Crossing? I don't know what you're asking. I don't know what you're asking. It sounds like hell. Yeah, it pre it's, it doesn't sound very fun to either play or watch, really. Simply Soggy. Right name. Catching every bug in the whole series? Hmm? 
Maybe. I'm, are you going to get tired of it? Oh yeah, I'm already tired of it. I'm already incredibly burnt out of Animal Crossing. And the only reason I keep playing is because it's my source of income. Yeah, no, don't worry. I will. Animal Crossing is literally a therapeutic game. You will never grow too old for it. Like, physically old? Oh, jeez, that was a dramatic change of grass color there. Like, physically, will I get too old to enjoy this game? No, probably not. I think I can enjoy this game even in my elder years. But... I don't know. Tired of it? Yeah, no, trust me. I've been tired of it, bestie. There's grandmas that stream Animal Crossing. Yeah, I feel like it's pretty, like, all-around enjoyable game. I feel like every every age demographic or everything can enjoy Animal Crossing. It's a beautiful thing for that reason. What about getting a five-star perfect island on every game? Maybe the criteria in the older games is so specific and weird that I would be kind of... I don't know. I feel like I would just be annoyed by trying to get them in those older games. But maybe. I guess if I did my research and... I don't know. I guess I could try it, maybe. I just remember, like, GameCube, you needed, like, a certain amount of trees per acre, and every acre had, like, you needed amount of flowers and stuff like that, and I'm like, geez, this just sounds complicated. That would be an insane grind? Yeah, that would be a little bit... I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't be. I'd have to do my research. See how hard it would be. My grandma plays ACNH. Yeah, there's plenty of grandmas out there. MMA fighter Ronda Rousey streams a lot of Nintendo. Ronda Rousey. Why do I recognize this name? And yet I don't know who you're talking about. It's like that name rings a bell. Get every bug and fish sculpture from Flick? I would either do one or the other. And the only thing that's keeping me from doing bugs is the flea. Having to get three of them sounds like hell. Um... And then fish, I don't know, I kind of feel bad with fish because I've done so many fishing videos on my channel lately. I don't know. Everywhere, like, 2015? Well, that may be why she rings a bell, then. You know Rhonda? I know Rhonda the villager from this game. I don't... I've probably seen her before, I'm just gonna be honest with you. She's in the WWE? I don't watch the WWE, so... I don't know. The guy who proposed to his wife through a letter on Animal Crossing GameCube? It's a real thing? I'm not surprised that that's happened. I'm, just, I'm mostly surprised that it happened in GameCube and not New Horizons. I feel like it's definitely happened in New Horizons as well. Audie is based off of a grandma who plays AC. That's true. I'm pretty sure that's how Audie got her name. Ronda Rousey when she fought iCarly, the original Jake Paul fight? What are you talking about, man? Ronda Rousey when she fought iCarly. What? The bug off. Oh. What in the fuck are you talking about, man? Oh, I remember. Is that really what sparked it for you guys? That's what made you remember. There's a, a, a iCarly. There we go. Eh. Eh. Blink. There we go. 71. Oh, he's excited. Ronda Rousey. <laughs> and iCarly? Why? What is your favorite Animal Crossing character? I don't know, man. I don't know. Swear she was the champion at one point? I mean, if she's as popular as people say, then I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know. Anyway. Interesting. Oh, it was Victoria Justice. Okay, I know who Victoria Justice is. She's like a singer. She was on Victorious. What are you doing, man? Stop! Relax! Working too much. Golly. Cool your jets, man. Exactly.
Victoria Justice was from Victorious, which was a Nickelodeon show in, like, my teenage years. I remember that. And then, is she, like, a popular singer now? I don't know. Is Victoria Justice still, like, girl bossing? I don't know. I don't, I don't really keep up with these teen celebrities. I suppose they're not teens no more, though, huh? Is it strange from the rest of the Victorian- from the Victorious cast? Why? No, not really? Interesting. Stanley misses being on camera? Oh, too bad. I don't think he misses it at all, to be honest with you. Victorious was a flop for her? Ariana Gr Yeah, 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 I remember Ariana Grande was in it! That's actually, like, that's- that's where I first saw, like, Ariana Grande was in Victorious. That was crazy. And then, like, I remember... Okay, so, like, this is how, like, my knowledge cycle of Ariana Grande went. I remember seeing her in Victorious, and then... After Victorious, I didn't hear about her for, like, years. And then she emerged as, like, one of the greatest pop stars of the modern times. And I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? Are you talking about that girl from Victorious? That's crazy. And as it turns out, yeah, talking about the Victorious the lady from Victorious. As wild. Nick Nickelodeon was my jam? Same. But not really, like, the live-action stuff. I was more of the cartoon guy. Who was that frog with the five o'clock shadow? That was Prince. That was Prince. She was the only one from the show who didn't get a pop career? That's kind of sad. That's kind of sad. Remember the movie Swindle? She was in based off of a book. No. She was a boxer in iCarly and then did a victorious iCarly crossover, which was- What's up with, like, Nickelodeon cartoons and doing, like, crossovers with other cartoons? Like, there was the- the Jimmy Timmy Power Hour. Apparently there was the victorious, uh, iCarly crossover. What's up with that? They love doing that, man. The Nickelodeon Cinematic Universe. Yeah, everything is a fucking cinematic universe now, dude. It's fucked up. And I know that you're not even lying when you call it the Nickelodeon Cinematic Universe, because I be getting, like, these videos recommended that's, like, Spongebob compilations, and you know what the fucking channel that's recommending them to me is? The Nickelodeon Cinematic Universe. Look it up, it's an actual channel. And they host a bunch of, like, compilations of their various cartoons, and I'm like, wait, why is everything a fucking cinematic universe now? Is it a Disney Cinematic Universe? The Jimmy Timmy Power Hour is the greatest event of the 2000s. So true. So true. Unironically true. The sweet, the sweet life of Hannah Montana. There you go. Everyone, you got... When there's cash to be made from a crossover, dude. Of course. The Dagnal... Yeah, I'm gonna start making the, the fucking Dagnal Cinematic Universe at this point. The funny thing is Victoria's supposed to make Victoria all popular and just work for Ariana instead. I mean, that's, you know, bittersweet, I suppose, right? Bittersweet. Disney Channel was also bad about the crossovers. They were bad about them? Why were they bad? I don't know. I wasn't... I was kind of a Disney Channel kid. I enjoyed the, um, the Lilo and Stitch show. Like, D Disney Channel did some, like, pretty cool things in regards to, like, making shows after, like, spin-off shows after the original movie. Like, y'all remember The Emperor's New School? Which was, of course, The Emperor's New Groove. But, like, a TV show spin-off? It slapped! Do y'all remember the Lilo and Stitch show after the original? It slapped! By the way, I think the game audio is a little loud. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. It slapped, dude! Yeah, Lilo and Stitch had a crossover. It was great. I think they had a crossover with, uh, Kim Possible, right? Yeah. And then the Penguins of Madagascar, but that's not Disney, that was Nickelodeon, and that's a DreamWorks film. But that was still good, too! That was still good, too! I remember enjoying that, too. Yeah. I don't know. Like... If Disney Ta if Disney Channel made, like, a spin-off show of a popular movie of theirs, it was probably a banger. Monsters vs. Aliens? I never saw the movie, and I certainly never saw a show that followed up the movie. <laughs> I don't know. I thought that movie was kind of a flop, wasn't it? I thought Disney was a pay channel, like HBO and Showtime. Yeah, not everyone had Disney Channel, did y'all? Didn't they make a Cars series as well, or am I tripping? I don't remember. 
I feel like I would have been all over that as a kid, considering cars came out in like 06 during like my my NASCAR phase. I feel like I would have been all over that if they did. Super cheesy monsters versus alien show. Fascinating. I have no idea. I had no idea. Crossovered with the Proud Family. Oh yeah, and then they they made the Proud Family. Like the Proud Family's getting like a a, a reboot now, right? I never watched it, though. People that loved cars are now F1 fans. Change my mind. Pretty true. For me, at least. I was a NASCAR kid, and now I'm an F1 adult. I still like both of them, though. I just don't watch NASCAR anymore. I hate the new Proud Family. Is it bad? I never watched the original or the remaster, so I have no idea. Just how many trees are on this island? It's a big island. It's bigger... It's the biggest island until New Horizons came out, so a lot. Yeah, I'm happy for uh, Perez. I'm happy for Perez. Just, yeah, like, I don't know. My turn prices are 61. Unfortunate. Yeah, I'm like, calling it an island is not an island, but for so long I was calling the island in New Horizons my town because I was too old-fashioned. And now I'm fucking, I'm reversed now. I'm calling these islands. It's not an island. Yeah, it's a fucking... Shut up, okay? Every cartoon remake or new version is always Nightmare Fuel. I think some of them do well enough. I think the Animaniacs one is okay. I think that... I mean, it is kind of... Packing up the Hot Wheels as we speak? Okay, at least you're packing them up, not throwing them out. Like, I'm, it, I guess it is kind of a testament that not many of them are done right, that I'm struggling to think of a single other decent one. Whoopsie daisies. Whoa, 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 whoa. no, 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 no. Uh, no. No, no, no. Goodness gracious. Um, no, no, no. Now, uh, Jesus. Osmosis Jones. I've never seen Osmosis Jones. I like. I guess it is kind of a testament to how many of them are done so shittily that I can't think of a good remastered show that came out recently other than Animaniacs, but I don't know. I don't know. On eBay, they could be worth a lot. I don't want to sell my Hot Wheels, man! Why are you telling me to sell my Hot Wheels? My Hot Wheels. DuckTales? Is DuckTales good? I don't know, I just feel like none of them have, like, the sass that the originals did, you know? You could get away with a lot of stuff in, like, older... old The older days of TV that I feel like a lot of modern remasters can't get away with, which is kind of, like, why they're not as good as their originals. Can I have your Hot Wheels? You are not having my Hot Wheels, man. They're my Hot Wheels. Can't get an axe anymore. I probably only need, like, one or two more axes. I don't think I have a whole lot of island left. Cautiously optimistic about the new Batman cartoon. There's a new Batman cartoon? Remember Fingerprints? Fingerprints. Huh? Eh? No. The Owl House and Amphibia are good animated shows that came out not that far. Are they originals or are they like remakes of shows of the past? I don't know. I've never heard of either of them before. Eh. Two, one. Two, one. All right, so it's five o'clock now, so first of all, do you know where your kid children are? Second of all, uh, Petal Tail should start spawning. Seven! <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Fingerprints was a joke from Animaniacs. No, I don't remember that, man. I have not seen every Animaniacs, I'm afraid. Where Yakko said to look for fingerprints, and Dot interrupted that as fingerprints? Fingerprints? I don't think so. Oh! Oh! Okay. Yeah, I don't think they'd be able to get away with that one anymore. I don't think they'd be able to get away with that one anymore. I feel like there's some pretty equally, uh, lewd jokes. The Rugrats reboot was a thing that happened. Are you talking about the one called All Grown Up, where, of course, all the Rugrats from the original are all teenagers now? Are you talking about that one, or are you talking about they actually remastered the Rugrats, like they're all babies again? If you're talking about All Grown Up, then I never seen it, but I did not... 
I, it didn't look very good. It didn't look very good. No, it's the old one, but CGI? Oh god, CGI Rugrats? That doesn't sound very good. The weird 3D Rugrats that just came out on Paramount Plus? Oh, jeez, I don't know if I wanna... I don't know about that. I don't think I'm gonna be watching that one. All Grown Up was right? Maybe All Grown Up was good. It didn't look all that good. It's just me, though. I didn't think it looked all that good when I was a kid, and I was pretty easy to please as a kid, man. I don't know. I feel the need to make all old things, like, 3D and shit. I don't know. It's like... I imagine 3D modeling animation might be easier than... I, I don't know. And I was gonna say, like, cell animation, but they don't even do cells anymore. It's it's all, like, on computers. Maybe that's easier than, like, doing it, like, uh, 2D. I don't know. Maybe it's easier, and that's why they choose to do them. It, it's cheaper than 2D now? Yeah, like, that's probably why. Looney Tunes show where they were basically in a sitcom was pretty good. The Looney Tunes show where they were basically in a sitcom. Is that not what Looney Tunes is? Or like, kind of a sitcom. I don't know. Paw Patrol is fire? That's a little... I'm a little old for Paw Patrol, I think. New Bob the Builder is hellish? I didn't even watch original Bob the Builder. CGI artists don't have a union, so corporations are taking advantage? Really? Interesting. Maybe that could be the... Maybe that could be the reason? But then again, like, for example... Disney and Pixar? When was the last time they did, like, a 2D animated movie? The Princess and the Frog? Or Enchanted, which was, like, half live-action, half 2D? I don't like Pocket Cam very much, Romans. Uh, like, those were the last ones that I can think, right? Damn. Like, even they, and th I don't know, like, that's been over a decade and probably, like, a decade and a half now. Since they've done, like, a 2D movie. And that sucks because, I mean, that's, like, what I grew up with with Disney was those 2D movies. Of course, as a kid, like, they were going in, they were getting into, like, 3D animated movies. Like, with Toy Story, which came out, like, right around when I was born. And so, like, over the course of time, they've eventually shifted from doing 2D movies to those 3D movies. But, man, I grew up with the 2D movies, and I'm like, man... Why'd they stop doing those? Probably because cheaper, easier? I don't know. What's the mission again? I just gotta keep getting axes. Deforest the entire island to make ideal spawning conditions for a petal tail dragonfly, which is gonna be a real pain in the ass. And then after I get that, a cyclomatis and a golden stag is after that. Simply soggy. Thanks for the prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Yeah, this is what I did with the fish, except now I'm doing it with the bugs. Exactly. The ads are stinky! So true. Well, I'm glad that you don't get no more ads now. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. 2D animators are now out of big feature-length movies. They're now out of big feature-length movies? What do you mean by that? It's fading away? You only get them on TV shows now? I mean, that's kind of sad, though. Like, I don't know. There's charm to that. There's charm to that. I kind of miss it, but... I don't know. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm nostalgic. They're kind of brought it back, though. I don't know. Like, you definitely still see them. I just feel like... I don't know, what is it, like, 50-50 when I see, like, a new cartoon coming out for, where it's, like, either 3D animated or 2D animated? I don't know. Feels like back in the day they were all, like, 2D animated and now, like, I don't know, so heavy rely on 3D animation now. And, like, both of them can be done very well and very bad, so really it's all about, you know, the actual quality of the show. Anime has left the chat. I don't watch anime, can you tell? Stop motion, my beloved. Okay, stop motion, I have a lot of respect for. Because that shit is mad, like, I, that just takes, like, an insane amount of skill, time, and effort. At the same time, I don't really like how it looks. I don't really like how it looks. I, I don't like stop motion looking things. But that's just me. That's just me. Wallace and Gromit? Yeah, like, Wallace and Gromit. 
Uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas, Corpse Bride, Coraline. I don't really like. Well, okay, I've never seen Coraline. All the other ones I have seen, though. I I'm not a big fan. That axe was a fucking wimp, dude. That axe sucked. Chicken Run, yeah. Uh, chicken... No, not Chicken Little, right? I, I don't know, man. I, I don't really like them. Kubo and the Two Strings? No. I don't like The Nightmare Before Christmas. I, I don't like it, and I've been hated and discriminated against for that opinion. I've been protested and demonstrated against for that opinion. Um, and I don't mean to call nobody out, but too many people base their entire personality around being fans of The Nightmare Before Christmas because it makes them cool and quirky. And I'm like, okay, but like, you know, it's, I, I don't like the movie very much, you know? I don't like the movie very much. Like, I don't know, it's, it's like a little overrated, I think it's like extremely overrated, but, you know, it's aesthetic, it's Kowiwi. Mad respect for the animation, exactly, like, I don't like how it looks, but I gotta respect the effort and the time and uh, just how much, like, work that takes, you know, you have to respect that, it's an insane amount of work. It aged poorly? I don't know, like, I don't, I, I don't know. I didn't really like it back in the day, and I don't really like it now, so I guess I'm not qualified to say. Appreciate the art, even though I don't vibe with it. Yeah, kind of, basically. I don't know. What was that movie? It's like two rats, and like, the one is like, extremely British, and, 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 like, I think they're like, secret agents or something like that. That one was also stop, mo stop motion, flushed away, yeah, I think I liked that movie as a kid. There you go, there's a, there's a, there's a stop motion animation film that I enjoy. There you go. Found one. <laughs> but I think that's, uh, I think that might be it. And I also haven't watched that in forever, so I don't know if I like it still to this day, so I don't know. There you go, though. Flushed away. Poor, poor Rodney flushed down his own potty. Sure, man. Sure. I think, I think that's a reference. It was so damn boring. No, I don't like Wallace and Gromit very much, unfortunately. I don't like Wallace and Gromit very much. Not a, not a Grometer. The Great Mouse Detective. I've never seen it before, I'm afraid. Flush Rodney from AC&H down the toilet? That'd be pretty funny. I can get down with that. Flushed Away is in 3D. Flushed Away is in 3D? No, it's like... I mean, I guess it kind of literally is, but like, it's claymation. Are you consider claymation 3D? These axes suck! Like, damn, these things got no ass to them, man. I'm getting unlucky with finding the axes, and then the axes that I do get, they don't last for shit. I feel like, at least. I don't know. Nightmare Before Christmas is one of those movies you remember with fondness and nostalgia, but upon rewatch, you realize it's not really as good as a lot of us make it. I think that that's just, like, kids' movies, though. I, I feel like that's just kids' movies. Like, I feel like that's just like, every kid's movie I watch. Rarely do they ever hold up, you know? I don't think it's a Nightmare Before Christmas specific thing. I will say, though, there are some movies that you enjoyed as kids, but they're even better as an adult, because they got a lot of them jokes that you didn't get as a kid, but as an adult, you're like, ah, you sly dog. Like, in that scene in Shrek, where they go into Duloc City, and they're like, Duloc is a perfect place. Please keep off of the grass. Shine, shine your shoes. Wipe your face. And they're gonna say ass because it rhymes with grass. But then they say, nah, this is a kid's movie. We can't be doing that. And so they say face, all out of tune and shit. Wipe your face. Yeah, I'm like, oh, as a kid, I'm like, ah, it's a little catchy song. As an adult, I'm like, that's funny, dude. They were gonna rhyme with ass, but they couldn't do that. Which is funny, because I'm pretty sure they did say ass in that movie, because donkey, right? Yeah, and then they get that one scene with, like, Farquaad getting a fucking hard-on. 
when he sees fucking Fiona on the magic mirror. And I was like, I was a kid, I'm like, oh, what's he, well, it was just like a weird pause there. And as an adult, I'm saying like, he's getting this damn fucking, his little peepee getting hard underneath them blankets. And I'm like, what the fuck? How'd they get away with that? It's a, it's a PG movie. Gosh. Huh? Look it up. Look it up. I'm gonna ruin that scene for you. Look it up. What? I don't remember that. It's, it, it's... Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Get your fucking ass. Get your ass over here. Hey! Get... Okay. Okay. Relax. It's fine. He ain't going nowhere. Look, he's just gonna fly himself right into the cliff. He's just gonna fly himself right into the cliff. Whoop! Yeah! There we go! Let's go! Whoo! Let's go. Hey, that wasn't bad. I didn't even need to deforest the entire island. Nice. All right. Cyclomatic stag and golden stag. I mean, I might as well use this last axe I have. Um, might as well. I don't... Like, that's really the bug that I was trying to deforest the entire island for. And Well, as it turns out, I didn't really need to. I didn't really need to. Shrek movie night tomorrow? If you want to watch Shrek in the movie night, you can. I mean, you're you're in charge of all that. I I don't. I'm not really much of a movie night guy myself. Is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. I'm so sorry, dude. I'm so sorry. I have to ruin that scene for you. But that is pretty funny. Did you get the stump beetle. Yeah, I got the violin beetle. Got the giant petal tail now. Got, just need the golden stag and the cyclomatis, which I don't think either should be too bad, considering I've pretty much, I, I don't know, I've made it so that essentially nothing else can spawn. Although, I really, I guess I should get rid of these trees over here, because shit can still spawn over there. But there's my coconut trees. The, the two trees that I need to spawn what I need. I suppose I should plant more of them if I really wanted to, but it's fine, it's not a big deal. And we want to go to July at 8 p.m. to get both of those to spawn. I just saw the video of Lord Farqua and now I want to die. Look, y'all, this is the risks you got to take when tuning in to twitch.tv slash okay? I ruin childhoods. They don't have to be on the beach. No, I. if you plant them in a place where trees, where a regular tree used to be, then they will grow, guaranteed. Eight. Zero, zero. Yeah, it's a little trick that I learned. The consequences of Twitch. Exactly. Remember the Shrek 3D short? It was for Halloween? I think I remember a Christmas one. I don't know if I remember a Halloween one. I don't know about that. But you're probably right. Shrek was insanely popular. I would not be surprised if such a thing existed. How they chose Farquaad because it sounds like fuckwad. Yeah, I don't know. That one, I'm kind of like, I've heard that before. I'm kind of like, that one's a stretch, though, man. That's, that's a bit of a stretch to assume that they called him Farquaad because it sounds like fuckwad. It kind of doesn't, though. Like, it doesn't really sound like fuckwad at all. But, like, if you think about it, you know, too much, maybe you might be convinced. I don't really know, man. I, I don't know if it, I don't know if that's why they chose Farquad. I think Farquad's a funny name, and that's why they might have chose it. I don't know. I feel like it's a stretch to say that it's based off of Fuckwad, though. I've always assumed that's why they named him that. I don't know, like why Fuckwad, though. I feel like he could have done funnier than that. Yeah, Fartquad, more like. Might as well grab another X while I'm here. Say it with a British accent. Fartquad. Far. Far quad. Far quad. Alright, I have to do it. Far quad. Look, I guess it's more, it's closer, but I don't know. It does in Shrek's accent. Far quad. Yeah, okay, okay, I can kind of see it. I really would need, like, to hear Shrek saying it to really put it together, but he's got, like, a Scottish accent. So, I don't know. But he's like, it's a very light Scottish accent because I can still understand what he's saying. So his Scottish accent isn't like truly, truly Scottish, really. I'm British. I don't think it sounds like fuckwad. Like, it's a stretch, man, right? It's a stretch. 
which is British, it sounds closer to it? Probably. Probably more better than a nasally American's accent, right? Alright, is this the last trees? It's a stretch, but you know, I I, I see. I, I, I hear it. I do. Love the Shrek movies? They're very good. I mean, I even like the third one, which people say is the worst one. I'm like, I've never seen the fourth one, so I don't know. People say the fourth one's better than the third one. I don't know, though. I like the third one. Shrek the third? Eh. To be more specific. Always been about wild cartoon exaggerations as a substitute for getting wood. Seen in classic WB and MGM tunes. Yeah, instead of getting a boner in those old movies, um, they do, their eyes just like pop five feet out of their head and steam starts coming out of their ears and like a train sound in the background. It's like, a woo happens. Instead of getting a boner, all that just happens. Yeah, that's how they symbolize that the character in question has an erection. Which is pretty funny, honestly. Pretty, that's, that's pretty funny. Maybe even funnier than just getting an erection itself. I don't know. Alright, every tree is chopped down. So, uh, I guess let's just keep, like, entering and leaving buildings. Yeah, it all happens to me, too. Yeah. Hello, nurse. I don't know, I think I'd rather just get, like, a boner. Because it's a little bit, like, less noticeable. You know? <laughs> A little less embarrassing. I'm off to bed. Have a good one, everyone. Yo, you have a good night as well, Toasty Joe. You have yourself a good night. Oh, that house is closer. Okay, and on the an elephant. Need a Cyclomatis and a Golden Stag. You should have named your character Wunsler. Wunsler. For what reason? Have you seen Drop Dead Fred? No. Bound to be a lesser god in reference to the Shrek movies? Hmm? Is this the strat? I think this is the strat. I guess if you really wanted to maximize it, though, I would have planted more coconut trees, but it's not a big deal, I don't think. The deforestation guy in the Lorax. Oh! oh i never seen the Lorax, sorry. i never seen the Lorax or read the Dr. Seuss book as a kid. Kind of beat the dead horse with the Shrek franchise. After three, it was just excessive. I mean, yeah, like, but money's got to be made. Money's got to be made. So, I don't know. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I'm kind of shocked that, honestly, like, is there not, like, another one coming out? I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of surprised that they did stop it for. I don't know. What? What? Okay, interesting. The most... The most versatile mosquito. I highly recommend Melvin, brother of the Joker. <laughs> Melvin, brother of the Joker? What is that? They were working on a Shrek 5, but I don't know if it's real. I wouldn't be surprised, man. I'm kind of surprised they stopped it for. When it's such a popular franchise. Seeing the Lorax either or reading the book? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't read much Dr. Seuss as a kid. The Wunsler fucking sucks. People simp for him because he's a twink wearing green and black stripes and he sings. Interesting. Do tell more. Shall I restart my island for fun? Um, probably not. You'll probably regret it if you're just doing it for the sake of fun. Shrek the musical slaps so hard. Yeah, uh, Kristen showed it to me and I'm like, wait, is this a joke? Like, do people hate this or is, do people kind of love this? Because it was kind of catchy, man. It was kind of catchy. Being quite honest with you, I, I, I did find myself quite enjoying the, uh, the Shrek musical. I'm not normally a musicals guy either. Making a Disney live-action Pinocchio? Yes. And the only reason I saw this, because like, before I started stream today, I saw, like, the poster for it from Disney on Twitter. And I was like, interesting. Was it known that they were making that before that poster got released? Or is that the poster that confirms that they are going to be released? I don't know. You know what I'm going to do, actually? Is I'm going to play more nuts. I'm going to play some more nuts here. I think if I plant them where I have these tree stumps, they should grow. So... Del Toro Pinocchio is so hype, though. What did you just say in my chat? I don't know what you just said. It's astonishing. 
Please look up images of the live-action Winnie the Pooh horror. Yeah, we were talking about that the other day. Apparently, Winnie the Pooh is now public domain because its copyright expired. So, people are going ape shit by making, like, Winnie the Pooh fucking horror bullshit. But apparently, it doesn't look like the Winnie the Pooh that is commonly depicted. Um, because Winnie the Pooh, like, that's Disney's take on Winnie the Pooh. Actual Winnie the Pooh is not actually like him. So, the Winnie the Pooh in that movie is going to be, like, different. Just saw the Lord Farquaad scene, it ruined my life, bro. I'm so sorry, man. Genuinely, I apologize greatly. Twas not my intention to ruin your life. I was about to say, I hear a little guy over here. I hear a little guy! Good thing I don't need him anymore. Oh, he's the director of the Poke uh, Pokemon, of the P Pinocchio movie. Okay, interesting. Yeah, just death. It's unfortunate. Unfortunate. The Winnie the Pooh horror thing looks awful. Like, is it awful because it's Winnie the Pooh, but, like, horror? Or is it awful because it just looks straight bad? Pinocchio-mon? Who's that Pinocchio-mon? People are talking about the, sa the same one with Yas? Yasified? He got Yasified? Is nothing sacred anymore? It looks like a C movie. It's not bad. It's not great. C's do get do be getting degrees. It's not great, not terrible. Which is, if you want to talk about an A plus, not movie, but series, Chernobyl on HBO Max. I don't even I don't even like I don't know, man. I don't even have HBO Max for any reason other than Chernobyl, and I'm just telling y'all it was worth it great series. I know it's not as popular as it was when it first came out, but Chernobyl, the, 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 the HBO Max series, go watch it if you haven't already. It's fantastic. The trailer for Yas Pinocchio is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. The concept of a Yasified Pinocchio does sound pretty funny, admittedly. Father, when can I get to be on my own? 2021 Pinocchio. So, so true, bestie. So true. Oops, one of them didn't grow. Oh, well. Chernobyl is very, very good. I would highly recommend it for HBO Max. If you're interested. I don't even like, I don't think I've watched anything on HBO Max other than that. And I'm like, yep, that was pretty good. That was probably worth it. Isn't the guy who voices Pinocchio like a 40-year-old man? Didn't somebody say it's going to be Tom no Tom, not Tom Nook, Jesus. Tom Hanks? And yeah, he's like, probably in his 60s now? Or am I mistaken? You almost nailed how the line was said in the trailer. Wait! 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 That's actually a line from the trailer? That wasn't just a shit post? Huh? That was actually a line in the trailer? It's not a shit post. What the fuck, dude? Father, when do I get to be on my own? Wait, is that- that's actually... It's very real. Well, now I gotta fucking watch this, man. This is fucked. Pinocchio, but instead of father, is daddy? Does he actually say daddy? I've got the whole world ussy. No, stop, stop, not the world ussy. Stop, stop, skull emoji, skull emoji, stop. I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, skull emoji, not the world ussy. No, no. That's actually it. That's fucked. That is so fucked. Help. Weird Yasified one and then the weird Del Toro one. Interesting. So there's two Pinocchios. Help. Russian interpretation of Pinocchio that got popular in the States because the people in charge of the English dub went, Hey, wouldn't it be funny if we, like, yassified it? Interesting. Papa's pinocchio Ria, And it all comes full circle. Please? Cyclo... Ooh, got a Goliath. Yup! Okay, good try, though. Good try. I think that was a valiant effort, in my opinion. Sting me. Sting me. I want you to sting me. He says, Father, when can I go to be on my own? I got the whole world to see. Oh, and people interpret that as world to see? Like, oh, okay, I see. 
What would the world Tussie be? What's the like largest volcano in the world by diameter? I guess that would be the world Tussie, right? Which I guess is kind of funny. Uh, I had a dream last night, and it was like one of those like marathon dreams that's like three hours long. And I climbed Mount Everest like three times. It was pretty funny. I don't know why. Like I just, I, it, was, it was just extremely weird. Like, my family drove me to Mount Everest, and they're like, All right, sport, see you in, like, a couple hours. I climbed Mount Everest, and then I came back down, and then they just picked me up, and they were like, How was it? And I was like, It was good. I climbed Mount Everest. Pretty awesome. And I did it, like, three times. This happened, like, three times. Anyway, that was my dream last night. Storm Cloud, thanks for the six months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. I think Goose has a flea. Does he actually? Let me get, let me check that. I mean, that actually would be worth catching because I... He does! Wow! Look at that! You flea bag. Get him out of here. That's good because, you know, less things spawn the better. That's quite the achievement. Thanks, man! And I did it three times as well. The world Ussie is the Pacific Ocean? I don't think so, man. That's not really a hole. It's not really an Ussie. Anyway, enough about that. Goose, he was one of my first villagers. He's a good guy. How come you've been destroying the flowers? I don't know. Just less things around. Like, I don't need to dig up the stumps. I don't need to destroy the flowers. Just gives the bugs that need to spawn on the coconut trees the most real estate to actually spawn. Which doesn't make any sense at all, I recognize. But you get what I mean. You you know. I'm just trying to make some room. I'm trying to make some room over here. Whoop. Forbidden World Dussy is the Dead Sea. Isn't that like the saltiest sea as well? Like, that's the saltiest sea. <laughs> the Marianas Trench is the world that sea. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Ugh! All right. We want Golden Stag. We want Cyclomatis Stag. Golden Stag, Cyclomatis Stag. Thanks for the hydrate. <sighs> Mauna Lo is the world that sea. That's the biggest volcano. There you go. We've located the world's Ussie. <laughs> I think. Hey, man. Yunk. There you go. That wasn't so bad. Don't want to arm wrestle this guy. I despise this conversation. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'll do better. I'm listening and I'm learning. Make the world flat. Uh, it's actually a cylinder. My timer. I'm looking at the same screen you are. This damn timer is getting in the way. Makes it hard to see. Tarantula took the L on that one. That was a little embarrassing, man. He got fucking L rip bozoed. I love this convo. Dagnal never change. I mean, I'm not going to change. I'm just Dagnal, man. If you don't like me, then that's very appropriate. You know? You know how people are like, if you don't love it, leave? I'm like, if you don't like me, man, you have very good reason to not like me. I have very many character flaws that I need to work on, and to be quite honest with you, I, uh, you know... There's a lot that I could do to improve myself and make myself more likable as a person. Is it the right month in game? Yeah, it's July. July, 8 p.m. I think they spawn in July and August, so we're good. I caught a live Dagnal. I'm happy today. Hey, glad to have you here. Love him or hate him, he is Dagnal. I do be kind of Dagnal. I don't change for nobody. Unless I just watched a movie with a really badass character, and, and I want to, like, alter my personality to be more like that character, then I'll change my personality for somebody, okay? Then I'll do that. But until then, I don't change for nobody. So true! So true! Soul Red! Soul Red! He just, he just Soul Red me. Wow, that's so like me. He's just like us. He's just like us. Poor Chrissy's so confused. Oh, she's fine. She knows what's going on. She knows what's going on. Is the Milky Way the universe's Ussy? Un Univussy? I think the Milky Way is far too small of a, of a material being for it to really be considered the asshole of the universe, you know? He just like me, for real. 
Why are the flowers so beefy in City Folk? I don't know. I think this game just... Everything's beefier in City Folk, to be honest with you. I think everything's just beefier in this game. <sighs> anyway. Weird, I got the Silent Stranger thing ad, Stranger Things ad as well. A Silent Strangers thing ad. Everyone's talking about Strangers thing. Stranger Things? What's going on with that? Y'all, you got a new Stranger, Stranger Things out? New season? Or did, like, one of the characters get involved in some shit? It's got a new season? Oh, okay. I never got into it, even though people have tried to get me into it. I don't know. I still gotta, like finish Better Call Saul so that I can be caught up with the new season that just came out. It's just Stranger's Thing. Hey, you want to see my Stranger's Thing? I gotta get caught up with Better Call Saul because the new season just came out. And then, then, like, after that, I got, like, you know, I gotta, like, after I finish a series, I got, like, a four-month break that I need to take from any other TV series to watch because I far exhausted myself from my ability to pay attention for something for as long as I have. So after I finish Better Call Saul, then I gotta like, you know, then I gotta like do, you know, other things to keep myself occupied. And then maybe we can start talking about getting into Stranger Things. So, you know, basically give me like a year, okay? Give me like a year. Yo, Channel Potato, thanks for the Prime. I appreciate that, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. I was about to save. I don't need to save. I have ADHD, so I have no attention span for any show ever. See, I'm like either completely disinterested from ever watching a show ever, or I'm like infatuated with a show and I'll binge like 10 episodes in a day. And that's rare, but when it's, you know, when I'm hooked on something, I'm hooked on it, man. Be it Better Call Saul, Phonics, or otherwise. What's up, Cherry Lollipops? How are you doing? Welcome. I won't enjoy my emotes, and I won't enjoy my ad free viewing. Okay! Then don't! Yo, chatters, are we still going? Yeah, I mean, assuming I was really hoping I'd get these two beetles a lot faster than I am, but, uh... I mean, geez louise, man. I, we would probably be wrapped up with city folk by the end of today. Then again, I'm not getting anything to spawn here. I don't know, I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. Like, uh... Could be checking this rock occasionally for a pill bug or something. Yo! Morg's niche? Thanks so much for the subscription. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I usually stream for like three hours and it's been two hours and 50 minutes, so if we can get these bugs in 10 minutes, it'll be pretty much perfect. Pretty much perfect, but <laughs> I don't know, man. It's getting a little concerning how few things I'm able to get spawned on these uh, palm trees here. Maybe it'd be faster to do like a lap around the town. It seems like when I enter a building and then just exit a building, that doesn't seem to spawn anything. So maybe I gotta do like a lap to get something to spawn here. It's quite a ways, you know, that takes a decent amount of time as well, though. I don't know, though. Lost so much time on these beetles, you probably should have restarted the run to get a faster time. Uh, I think you're a little confused, man. I think you're a little confused. No, that didn't do anything. <laughs> Alright, uh... Mm -hmm. Really wish whoever was to the left there was home. We're getting close. We are getting close. Almost there. We might finish Wild World and City Folk today. Which, not that impressive with City Folk. I'm surprised I got the pedal tail as quickly as I did. That was really the one that I thought was going to hold us up. But that didn't take too, too long. No, I don't care that much about getting, like, a good time, because I'm the only one to have ever attempted this. So, therefore, no matter what time I get, it'll be the world record, so... I don't really need to, like... I don't really need to try too hard. I'm a professional, okay? I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I just, like, sit here for, like, a... 20 seconds or so? I don't know. Second longest game to complete because of the bug catch requirement? Theoretically, yeah, but catching 100 bugs shouldn't take too long. And I really feel like New Horizons bugs will be faster than New Horizons fish. So, we'll see. I don't think New Horizons will be bad, though. 
I don't think New Horizons will be bad. Certainly not longer than Dobutsu no Mori E+, and Wild World took. I really don't feel like it'll be too, too bad, honestly. I don't feel like it'll be too, too bad. Yeah, better restart after 18 hours. If you microwave your Animal Crossing game, then you have all your bugs. So true. I heard that it also charged my phone. Too, too bad? Too, too bad? Oh, not too, too bad. Good one, man. How you doing today, Blue? Welcome. I just got pizza. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Happy for you. You must have a lot of world records. If you consider um, doing so many arbitrarily made up speed runs and then being the only one who is bold enough to even ever complete them, uh, and therefore by default having the world record for those completely made up categories, then yeah, I got a lot of world records. For example, uh, full museum in Animal Crossing New Horizons, world record holder. Um, um, <laughs> <laughs> Catching at uh, uh, world record holder getting the golden slingshot without using the slingshot. Uh, uh, um, world record holder at getting my villagers to pay off a bridge for me. Uh, pretty pog. Any friends? Yo, I actually added a new emote. Please use it accordingly, pog friend. Any Pog friends in chat? Thanks for the bit, Morgs. Thank you. Any Pog friends? World record holder for the most amount of world records in AC. So true. So true. So true. Pog friend. I enjoy Pog friend to a great extent. Didn't someone do the bug challenge while you were doing the fish challenge? Yeah, but what they were doing, that's Wilbo's world. Um, they were doing every bug in every game, as in completing the bug Critterpedia in every single game. So, that's what they were doing. I'm not doing it like that, I'm just getting every unique bug in the game. So, every type, every 93 different kinds of bugs across the entire series. I can't get nothing spun, man. Thank you, Garden Lantern Lisa, for the 100 bits, I appreciate that, thank you. Thank you, thank you. No, fuck off, dude. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. Wait, no. Not for bits. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. Thanks for the bit morgues. Pog means play of the game. That is what it means. Um, I don't think anyone recognizes it as that anymore, though. Which word from Twitch do you think you unironically use the most IRL? I try not to out myself as a excessively online user um, in public. I like in public. I would not describe something as pog. I might do it in like a Discord call. In public, though, I think you would catch me. I, I think you'd probably like catch me dead if I ever like said something was pog, though. Like in the grocery store, I'm like asking. I'm asking, like, the, the, the worker, like, where can you find the Weetabix? And then they're like, aisle four. And I'm like, Pog, thanks. I think I would probably end it on the spot. Extremely Poggers, thank you. Thank you for the meal. I think I'd probably end it right there. Like, what else would I say? Like, what other Twitch vernacular would I use? I don't know. Wibble's still doing it, too. He's still on the flea in New Horizons. Poor guy. I knew that that was going to hold him up. Well, more than likely it was going to. But, yeah. Yo, Morgs, thanks for the gift sub to the Grumpy Lump. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I would never say Kappa, because, first of all, nobody would know what you're talking about. Second of all, Kappa just kind of sucks. But either way. And Grumpy Lump, enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, nobody should, like, go around saying Kappa or Kipo. Even worse, Kipo. Like, they're all pretty bad. Nodders? Yeah, but I wouldn't say Nodders because nobody would know what it is. Pog has at least achieved a level of mainstream 
where if I say something is pog, most people could probably know what I mean by that. Yeah, K Kona. <laughs> yeah, call people K Kona in real life when I see him at the damn 7 Eleven with a gun in their fucking back side holster. Yeah, pretty K Kona. No, if somebody said dat sauce to me in real life, I think it would kick him in the balls. I actually say Monka W under my breath all the time. I mean, at least it's under your breath. I don't think I'd want to be caught dead saying, like, Monka S to something. Wowee is also very good. Again, though, like, nobody would know what you're talking about. If you describe something as Wowee, I feel like... I don't know. I don't know, I feel like you get some looks. That's, like, what I try to do in public, is just try not to, like, get a look from nobody. None of these words are in the Bible? I feel like... Yeah, probably. You're right. Yeah. I was like, maybe Kappa could be in the Bible, but I'm like, that's not really... That's not really biblical folklore. I don't know what any of these words are. It's probably better that you don't know. It's probably better that you don't know. The guy who did the famous Pog face was cancelled. That's pretty true. He had some pretty uh, stupid things to say in regards to... Woo-wee! Woo-wee! He gonna get you! Can you outrun these guys? Can you outrun these guys? How do you how do you catch a tarantula in this game? Like if you didn't if you're in the current state that I am in, how do you catch it? You have to run in a straight line. Damn. And even then you're not losing them that much. My god. Holy shnikes. Jeez, even if you're in a straight line, like, you're not losing them. And you're gonna run out of room. Huh. Oh my god, he is just like so, so marginally slower than you in a straight line. Wow, that's crazy. I feel like once he's chasing you, you're just fucked. As fast as fuck, boy. At least you can, like, pretty heavily outrun them in seemingly every other game. Even Wild World, they weren't that fast. He took the bus? Yeah, man. Sent me to hell. I just gasped? I don't think I was catching that. Go inside a building? Yeah, I guess that's... I guess that's the way of doing it, but... I don't know. I think to catch it at that point, I don't know. Animal Crossing solidified my arachnophobia as a kid because of that. Definitely doesn't help, right? When City Folk becomes a horror game, it was already a horror game. Take the shovel out and dig up a crack, you can reset the race. Like, specifically a fossil crack, not just a hole. Why can I not get anything to spawn? I'm getting mad. I can't, I haven't had anything spawning on these trees in like 15 minutes. I'm getting upset, and I don't know why. He's just zooming. He was zooming. When God gave Moses the Ten Commandments, he said, Potters? Poggers, you mean, right? Tarantulas aren't dangerous IRL? I mean, I wouldn't fucking, like, go near one. Like, if that's to say that, like, they're okay to approach, I still wouldn't do it. But, you know, good to know that if I get bit by one, I'll probably be alright. In fifth grade, someone told me Pokemon was wrong because God didn't create them. So true, though. So true. But they're so right, though. Can't believe Jesus just turned water into wine. That's so Pog. Can we get a Pog in chat for Jesus? Let's get a Pog in chat for Jesus. I think that was, like... I think that's essentially the Final Supper, like, summarized, right? Maybe it might be me FaceTime. Maybe. I don't know. Is the salon even open at this hour? Probably not. Pog equals Jesus. Yeah, exactly. He was the player of the game, essentially. He was the player of our game. I think? I don't know. Some are dangerous, but it's mostly the hairs on their back that cause a bad reaction. Well, it's a good thing that I would never touch one. People are like, Oh, somebody brought in a pet tarantula to school one time, and I'm like, Why? That's just, no. I would not, no. Not even like an arachnophobe, just don't like tarantulas that much. Alright, well, we finally got something to spawn, and it isn't what I need, so pretty epic. Pretty epic. What's up, Prinster? How you doing? 
Let's have fun in the sun. Let's play all day. Let's not, man. POG, praise our God. So, that's so true, man. That's so true. I'd carry caterpillars into my classrooms in elementary school. So you were that kid. And I respect that kid, but don't catch me, you know, digging up caterpillars myself. Stream is keeping me company while I apply for jobs. Yo, hopefully, uh, best of luck, first of all, on your job applications. Um, 7 a.m. and raining. Okay, I can keep that in mind, actually. Best of luck on your job applications. I pray that you don't run into any of those job applications where you have to upload your resume. And then after uploading your resume, they make you fill in all the information manually that was on your resume. Or alternatively, uh, it tries to pull that information off of your resume, but it's just completely incorrect. It assumes that, like, your job experience involves, uh, you know, the... I don't know, the, the like, the... I don't know, like, it tries to, like, pull the information based off of, like, some algorithm that someone programmed, but it, it just gets it completely wrong. Just, like, so fucking annoying. Made a special kid bringing live pigeon to class in his school bag? Interesting. What do you mean, special kid? Yeah, let me try... I guess let's try finding a rainy day at 7 a.m. Oh, there we go. Those Indeed IQ quizzes that make you do are 10,000 times worse? Uh, Indeed IQ quizzes? What do you mean? Like, when you want to apply to something... When you want to apply to something, they make you take an IQ test. I assume that goes to the employers of who you're applying to, and it shows you what you scored on that IQ test, as if IQ is anywhere vaguely an indicator of actual qualification for a job. Well, that's pretty, like, horrible. 7 a.m. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Yeah. They're like little skills tests. Those are dumb. I feel like somebody could be like really good at that and be a bad like suit for a job and vice versa. Or it's spaced horribly and barely illegible. Yeah, basically illegible. Yeah. Rain? These things can spawn in rain, huh? I didn't think that they would spawn in rain. Otherwise, I probably would have looked for one. I guess let's check it even if it's not raining. Barely knew someone asked me if I was gay out of nowhere today, so... Wait. At, like, a job? Why? Started doing quizzes that are very similar to IQ tests, and it takes, like, 30 minutes to complete? Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that makes me really want to, like, you know, work at the place. That makes me take an IQ test. Not raining equals okay-ish. It'll do. Ah, well, I already reset. We'll try again. We'll try again. Some kid in my class brought in her hamster and put it on the floor and it crawled into the heater and it was never seen again. That's, that's just sad. It's just a sad story. IQ tests be kind of dumb. Yeah, IQ is just like not a very good measurement of intelligence at all. And then there's like Mensa, which is like this collective group of people who all like jack themselves off to having like high IQ, which is ironic considering like High IQ and flexing the fact that you have a high IQ means that you have, like, very little, uh, social intelligence. Enough, at least not enough to know that nobody gives a shit about your IQ. So, it's kind of like you're smart in the IQ department, but in the actual effective intelligence that you need to be, like, a decent person, you lack that intelligence. So, you know, you're, you have a high IQ, but at what cost? You're a fucking dingus bingus, you know? But, you know, what do I know? High IQ and low EQ go hand in hand? I don't feel like necessarily they do, but I do find that somebody with a high IQ and flexing that fact definitely probably has a low emotional quotient. I guess that's what EQ probably stands for. You got games on your phone? Yeah, I don't know, though. Like, if you have a high IQ, but you're, like, humble about it, and you're, like, you know, socially intelligent enough to know that nobody fucking cares, then, 
you know, you might have a high level of uh, social intelligence as well. And that's cool, because, you know, I guess it's cool to be smart, and it's even cooler to be, like, a good person. I had to put in my company survey that certifications doesn't mean someone can do their job. It, they can't apply what they learned and they don't know how to, just means that they passed the test. Yeah, it's like on one hand, like, somebody could have all the certifications in the world, yet be like a... a shitty employee because, like, their worth- where their work ethic sucks. Like, legitimately, I feel like you could have someone who's, like, really smart and intelligent and knows how to do their job. Okay, sweet. I hate doing this at, like, a head-on angle because I have no idea, like, how close I am. He froze. My guy hasn't moved in 40 minutes. Let's go. Alright, Cyclomatus, now just the Golden Stag. Now just the Golden Stag. Alright, and we'll just go one more day ahead. I feel like this isn't a bad method of doing it, saving and quitting. At least it's- I'm getting bugs faster than I was before, so I don't know. Send me to a rural town in Japan and let me be a rice farmer? Exactly! People with, like, a lot of qualifications are not necessarily good employees because, you know what's one thing that can just completely ruin a candidate? Is just having, like, a shit work, work ethic, you know? And you can't- you can't judge work ethic based on, like, an interview or something- something like that. It's just something you gotta figure out by, you know, seeing how they work. And it sucks because... You know, everyone, everyone in an interview always says that they have a great work ethic, even if they don't have a great work ethic. Oh, I'm such a hard worker. What's your biggest weakness? Oh, sometimes I work too hard and I forget to take care of myself. Fuck you. That's just a damn lie. I got a lot of flaws, but I would never say any of them in a job interview. Because you're not supposed to. You're just not supposed to. You're supposed to lie. You're supposed to just be a damn liar. That's all you're supposed to do. It's annoying. Biggest red flag is a new job every 18 months on their resume. That's true, because it kind of says that you're not committed, or ultimately, I mean, for one reason or another, you're just like, I don't know, you, you keep getting fired, I don't know. Like, that's that's definitely bad, or, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, then again, I have a lot of sympathy with someone who keeps switching jobs because they just can't find something that they actually, like, want to do for a living. I, I feel for that. I really do. Like, it might be a red flag to an employer, but, like, if somebody has had, like, three different jobs over the past, like, five years, I'm like, man, I mean, you're trying things, you know? Like, they're trying things. They're out there, like, trying new things, you know? And they have, like, the... You know, they got the, the gall to go out there and try different things, and I guess obviously the financial stability to try to three different jobs, you know? In the same field. Oh, okay, yeah, that, okay, now that I can see. Yeah, if you're trying, like, different jobs in different fields, okay, you're just feeling your, you're just feeling out what you want to do. But if you're talking about, like, yeah, okay, in the same field, that tells me that maybe you're an unreliable employee. Hmm. Now that's pretty true. Only one before New Leaf? Yep, we're not gonna get the New Leaf though, I just wanna get the Golden Stag today. And then probably move on. I can't find a rainy day. Rainy days in July, I feel like aren't that rare either. I feel like it should be happening pretty often. That or the workplaces keep sucking. Yeah, of course, like, there's more factors to it than that, like... And, and somebody quitting a job because the workplace sucked. You probably wouldn't... Do you still have all the new bugs in your pockets? I don't... I feel like I've definitely... No, I, d I just released the Cyclomatus, I think. I feel like... Somebody who has the gall to quit a job that is actually just like a shitty workplace... Would never admit that in an interview, even though like... We can all be like, ah, my man, for that one, you know? But you're not supposed to do that! You're not supposed to do that! You're supposed to be like, uh... You're supposed to fucking put on this front that, like... I don't know, that you're, like, the greatest employee of all time. It's just a fucking lie. Yeah, you might be, but still, like, I don't know. I don't know. Watching on YouTube for a while, ch check out the Twitch. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Like, let's see. I, I don't think I still have the Cyclomatus. No... I got a lot of them, though. Pedal Tail, Violin, Centipede, Raja, Brooks, Walking Leaf. 
I'm missing a couple, though. I feel like I'm missing another one. Bum, 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 bum. So many unspoken rules to applying for jobs and interviews that it's hard to balance being genuine and making sure you actually get hired. Well, I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm never genuine in an interview. And if I was genuine, then they probably wouldn't consider me. Because, like, I, you're just not supposed to... You're, you're just not supposed to be genuine. You're supposed to lie. That's what they want you to do. Job interviews are stupid as hell because you're supposed to put on this front, you know? Even the, the interview knowers, the interviewer even knows you're fucking shitting them, you know? They know that you're just pumping your own tires to make yourself seem like you're a qualified candidate. Depends on the job you're going for. If the interviewer shows to me that they truly want me to be honest with them in an interview, they present with me with like a, a comfortable enough environment where they just want me to be open and honest, sure, maybe I can be a little bit more like myself. But even then, man, you still want to show that you're like, you know, you're Billy Big Britches over here, you know? I don't know. Luck this is why I'm so happy to have Twitch and YouTube as a job, man. Just like, no... Oh, hey. <laughs> Just like, no fucking, like, real job bullshit that I have to deal with. Like, fucking interviews and bosses and shit like that. At least not tangible ones. No way! Sorry, girl. Just, like, no, like, tangible bosses, no, like, uh, corporate bullshit, you know? Like, there's a fair amount of bullshit, but not in the sense of, like, real jobs that I get so tired of after a while. And I'm like, I'm kind of my own boss, but in a way, Twitch and YouTube are my bosses, I'm at the mercy of them, you know? But in, you know, in the ways that I make my own hours and I do what I want to do, yeah, I guess kind of. Laid off multiple times from places, ha places having to be shut down. Yeah, and then COVID throws a whole fucking wrench in it, so. No, 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 no. Wish I could have your job, Dag. It's pretty sweet. Like, I'm not even gonna, like, be, you know. I'm not even gonna be like, yeah, it could be better. Nah, it's pretty sweet, to be honest with you. I'm thankful. Yeah, and like, you know what sucks about it though, is that if it ever falls through, and being Twitch- being a, on Twitch and YouTube is so volatile that at any point it could just fall through, the thought of going back to like a 9 to 5 dude, oh man, I don't know if I can do that, I don't know. I'm so out of like, the normal job routine. I've been out of the normal job routine for like over two years now, to where like, if I have to go back now, man, good lord, I don't know if I could do it. I don't know if I could do it, man. I mean, I could, I would have to, but, oh, jeez, man, I don't want to have to go back to that. I don't want to have to go back to that at all. Being a streamer is a lot of fun, but not as easy as one would think. Yeah, it's not, because there's a lot of stuff that you don't see. You see the part where I play video games for a living. You don't see the part where I edit, at least from YouTube. I guess if you're talking about a pure Twitch streamer, then less prep and off-camera work, but there is still some. But for me, being a YouTuber and a Twitch streamer, there's, uh... Yeah, yeah, I know, dude. I, I fucking hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. Um, yeah, there is a lot of, like, other things to worry about as well, you know? For example, the volatility that is inherent in doing a job like this is very stressful. Me having to, like, the time that it takes for me to edit, think of ideas for videos, upload them, make all the peripherals for it. Oh my god, dude. Is work. Maybe not as much as, like, an actual job, but it's still work. Workplace culture is so weird. Like, why are we expected to do the same thing for 40 years straight? Because that's how daddy did it. That's how his daddy did it. That's how his daddy did it. And that's how America does it. Yes, sir. I don't know. Uh, I put on a K Kona voice for it, but, you know, there's truth to what I say. Hey. Hey. Stop. Go. When they when they stop moving, you stop moving. When they stop moving, you stop moving. Belly bean. Thanks for the prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing. All right, boys. Get get your high YouTubes ready. Get your high YouTubes ready, boys. Get your high YouTubes ready. I swear, I th I was, I might have, I was this close to catching the Emperor Butterfly instead of the Golden Stag. I would have fucking screamed. 
There you go. We did it. We did it. There you go. Thanks for the hydrate. All right. As city folk done. Now new leaf and new horizons, and then that's it. And I don't really feel like either of those should be too hard. I don't feel like either of them should be too hard. Then again, I'll have to go over what the games actually added. Specifically new leaf. I can't think of... Off the top of my head, there's a cicada shell, which isn't too hard in that game, compared to New Horizons, at least. But we'll see! We'll see! It was fun, though. Thanks all for joining me for City Folk. Great fun, as always. I do enjoy this game very much. And I hope you guys did, too. If you did, drop a follow. Join the Discord, exclamation point Discord. It's the best way to keep up with me on and off the stream. Great progress today. 1831... 34 and 74 of 93 all right thanks everyone for being here appreciate new leaf did not introduce that many bugs only the house centipede the cicada shell the stink bug the wharf roach the rice grasshopper the giant cicada and the tiger beetle that's it do any of those strike you as particularly rare maybe the cicada shell if you've only ever played new horizons but in this game cicada shell is not that rare the hardest bug that I can think of all of these is the rice grasshopper, which is not bad. Like, I don't know. I don't remember getting them all that often in this game, but I don't think that they should be that rare. I don't think they should be that rare. But we'll see. Only time will tell. We only need to time travel to two different times in the year to get all those bugs. Both of them, all of them are available at some time in August. Yo, the pepperoni thanks for the subscription i appreciate that thank you thank you thank you and enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing i appreciate that let's get the timer started used to be my entire childhood yo there you go thanks for the 95 bits what's up ax new no one out pizzas the hut for real for real no cap uh yes sir i'm not like pizza it's pretty low on the on the chain pizza tier list for me but i suppose I suppose. Either way. I did a nasty sniffle there. You probably didn't want to hear that. Let's get started. I think that's where I'll start the, um, the VOD for the second channel video there. Is right where I muted that sniffle. Luckily, I did mute it, I think, right? Pizza Hut sucks. Compared to... I, I like many other chain pizzas than Pizza Hut. I think many people do out Pizza the Hut, quite honestly. Oops, I didn't mean to change the time. I think many people out Pizza the Hut, to be quite honest with you. But that's just me. Yes, shall we get started? Something else, if you don't mind. Something else. Let's just demolish the entire town, if you don't mind. Wait, what? You only had Pizza Hut twice? I mean, dude, I've had Pizza Hut more times than that, Axe. Now, how can you, how can you make the... The good faith claim that nobody out pizzas the hut when you've only had pizza from Pizza Hut two times. D delete it! Quit giving me confirmations, giving me chances to fuck it up. Cause this giant epic? What'd you get, man? Like, what made it so good? <sighs> Plenty of places out pizza the hut. Exactly. I can mention many of them. Just pizza, man? Like, what's on the fucking pizza, dude? Sorry for my brass language, but you're being obtuse. Yo. Musty Potato Mush. Thanks for the gift sub to Zafina Buggy Boo. Well, that's... Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We're going to go August 8th. One, sure, the first works. And let's go to like the fourth, just to be sure. I have it at 2022, just just so we're on current year. And at 7 p.m. is where I want to start this challenge. Yes, you got it right, my man. Hello, bug. Yeah, I'm going to be bug. I'm going to probably not make the town bug again this time. I don't know what I'm going to make it. Well, no, I'm going to be Dagnol. Well, no, I got it backwards. I'm going to be Dagnol. The town will be bug, okay? I'm Dagnol. There we go, and then, yeah, yeah, that's a fantastic- I know, right? Insect, yeah. 
Stuffed crust cheese pizza and those breadsticks would hit right now. I'm gonna hit y'all with a hot take. I think stuffed crust is extremely overrated. I think stuffed crust, I would just rather have regular crust. Uh, okay, I guess, sure, that one. Seems like it has a lot of real estate to work with. I'm gonna sneeze. Still! I don't remember, dude. What are you going there for? I don't know. Never had stuffed crust. I haven't had it in a while, but, like, I was always just, like... I was always just, like, I prefer regular crust. When you prefer something extra greasy, is definitely greasy, but I don't even mind that part so much. Bug station. Thanks for the bless. Thanks for the bless bit. I appreciate that. I'm a little... I'm a little... Maybe I have, like, a very low... I have a very low, like, level of sickness, like Kristen. Like, Kristen's got the mega sickness. I got, like, a little piece of it, because my immune systems managed to fight off most of it. But, uh, maybe I got, like, a, a, a resident sneeze or something. All right, I'm gonna do a, another sniffle here. It's gonna be nasty. Yeah, that was gross. You probably didn't want to hear that. Hey! I got the best looking character. Yeah, this is uh, playing on the DS. Using a modified 3DS to allow me to capture my footage. It looked gross. If it looked gross, I promise you. F oh my god! What is the... Whoa! Oh my god! What a starter! Tr oh my good lord! My mamma mia! Mamma mia! Kinda woo! We got Fawns, we got Kid Cat, and we got Flurry. Shoo, wish. That's gotta be him. It's me. I'm the man. Well, now I feel bad that I'm gonna nuke this island after a while. Hmm. Well, that's probably one of the better starts of villagers I've ever had. You're mistaken. Who's this mayor? Is this the right stop? Who's this mayor? Surely not me. Flurry's my girl, Kid Cat's my man, Alfonso is my man. This is great. You're mistaken. He just shakes his head. He's like, nah, that's not me, man. You're not getting cold feet. My feet are pretty warm right now. No, uh. Kid Cat withdraw? Yeah, the game felt bad for me. You have great villagers already, and there's two more that I don't know of. Ri oh, okay. Rizzo and Bonbon. Bon. Okay. I saw Rizzo and I was like, oh, okay. Well, that's come up and for getting such good starters. But then they're also going to give me Bonbon, bon, who's great as well. Well, geez, Louise, man. This is amazing. This is amazing. What a great, what a great set of starting villagers here. Yeah, and then Rizzo, who's kind of like, I don't know. Is, does that make up for all the good villagers we have? I guess so. Still pretty good. Child feline. Yeah, child feline. Imagine getting chow. I would probably execute myself. I'd probably execute myself. I had Rizzo once. Once. If I could, like, reverb my mic there when I... When I... When I, um, enunciated the once, I would have done it there. So what is your name? My name is Dagnall. I'm Dagnall. Yo, thank you, Musty Potato Mush, for the bit. I appreciate that. Thank you. I love Chow. How dare you? Look, Chow, even if I did like him, I have been getting Chow on every single save file that I make here. I am sick of him. I just, quite frankly, I'm sick of him. I'm just, just sick of him. I don't like Alfonso or Rizzo. The other three are great. That's fair. But how can you hate Alfonso? Ba -ba -bum 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 -bum. Thanks for the bit. Thanks for the bit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, thanks for the bit. That's three single bit donations. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Chow is revolting. Yeah, he's pretty bad. <laughs> was annoying in the Butsu no Mori movie. He was annoying in the Dobutsu no Mori movie. I never saw the movie before. But how could he be annoying? How could he be annoying? Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Can you build me a house, please? You just be- whoop. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's- that's fine, that's fine. I got Biddy moving in. How do you feel about her? Biddy. Biddy's that, uh, hippo, right? She's not that great. So you! He's gonna be like, stop! Please wait! 
I'm no 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 waiting. No waiting on you. You gotta catch up, dude. You gotta catch up. Catch up. Oh shit, he's fast as shit. He fast as fuck, boy. Alright, um, where should I build my house? Where should I build my house? Damn, he runs fast for an obese raccoon. Sheesh. Good golly. My god. Please wait. Bro, you're not, you do, you're not even that far behind. You're not even that far behind, man. I should build it next to Kid Cats. Wow, where's Kid Cat at? Okay, he's got, oh wow, he's like kind of crowded in there. I'm gonna build it in like a secluded location so that, well, I don't know, for whatever reason, I just feel like it's right. I feel like it's right, right here, my man. Yes. Plenty of space, and there's a river nearby. Look at that. It's not obesity, it's dad bod. Yeah, exactly. But he's not a dad, so I think he's just obese. Uh, but Timmy and Tommy, nope! Not even related to him. Fun fact. Not even related to him. Is titties? Maybe it's... Maybe it's... Maybe it's titties. Maybe you're right. Anyway, Dag, I do recommend watching the movie. Yeah, we watched it in the Discord. Um, I don't know, a few months ago. I didn't tune in, though, because I'm not much of a movie guy. Ta-ta-ta-da. I'm not much of a movie guy, really. He adopted them, so technically... He did adopt them, but biologically not related to him. He's an adoptive dad, and you can't tell me otherwise? Those are his children. Look, I guess, like... I think he's their adoptive uncle. Like, he adopted them as his cousins. Which is strange, I understand, but... I think that that is, like, the canon, but I don't know. I don't know exactly. Defective clones of his? Just really tiny clones of his. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I found a house. Yes. He's not an adoptive dad, he's an adoptive... President. CEO. Exactly. Y'all should read the AC gag manga. It's a trip. The AC gag manga? I don't know what that is. Hey, that's my birthday. How'd you know? Yeah. Uncle Bod is close enough? Yeah, I guess so. Let's go, my brother in Christ. I hope you enjoy this small payment. Oh, I shall. Thanks for the four months in a row, Jesse. I appreciate that. I shall enjoy the payment. Thank you, thank you. And enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. So, two things that we're going to need um, before we can actually start bug hunting. A, obviously a net. But B, I'm also going to need a shovel to get a house centipede from a rock. So, I'm going to hope, and it's not a great chance for this to happen, but I'm going to hope that the store has a net and a shovel for me today. And then I can, um, get started on bug hunting. And then during this time frame, assuming we do get both a shovel and a net, we need a house centipede and a wharf roach. A cicada shell and a stink bug also spawn at this time, but I put those as maybe, since I have a better time to get those. But if we get them, we get them. That'll be good, good enough for me. You know what would be funny if they ever made another AC game? They've never made two Animal Crossing games on the same console, so probably not until a successor to the Switch comes out, so. Yeah, New Leaf had five starting villagers, which I think is... Is that tied for the most with GameCube? No, I think GameCube might have had six, so I don't know. It's a lot, though, compared to New Horizons, where you only get two. Unless you want to count the three that you have to build plots for as starters, which I probably wouldn't. Uh, ooh, my perfect apple. Alright. This game does have centipedes. Maybe it's time to return. This game has two different kinds of centipedes, actually. It's got the- oh yeah, the stink bug's all over. Or is that a fruit beetle, actually? Oh shit, actually, I have no idea. I think that's a fruit beetle, actually. Yo. Thanks for the bit. I appreciate that. Thank you. And what's up, Danny? How are you doing? Welcome. Yeah, but, um, I feel like, yeah, this game definitely has the second most starting villagers as well, which is kind of, I don't know, kind of lame that they didn't add more. But yeah, I don't think that they're going to make another one on the Switch. I think that they'll probably wait until the Switch has a successor until they do that. But, uh, we shall see. Maybe stay optimistic, I suppose. I had to do a sniffle. Kid Cat got a female name in German. 
German's version of Wild World despite being a male. So I guess trans villager confirmed. I don't know if they fixed it in New Leaf though. I think I uh, got one out of two. Yeah, this is my first time in your humble establishment. Yo, Kate Lumbia. Thanks so much for the prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wait, I got to sell my things first. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I should sell these at retail, huh? Whoopsie daisies. I hope that I still get at least a thousand from all these. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, I was worried there. I forgot that you have to sell at retail in this game. And Paper Moons. Thank you for the eight months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad previewing as well. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love this game's music. It was my first AC game and I'm super attached to it. Oh, it's a great game. It's a great game with great music. In fact, many would argue that it's better than... I mean, I think I would definitely be amongst the people that would argue it's better than New Horizons, but maybe even the best in the series? I don't know if I would argue that, though. Thanks for the bits. Uh, okay. I remember buying this game same. I It was 2013, so I was like... Oh, what it was like. I was 17, so I definitely didn't have the money myself to get it. But, uh, yeah. Hey, man, that's a lot of bits, man. You're kind of, like, taking up the screen. Like, don't get me wrong, I appreciate it, but, like, mamma mia. You can, like, donate them all in, like, one fell swoop if you want to. It's kind of taking up the whole screen, though. Like, look at this. My whole, like, my whole ass, like, alerts here are just... I can't even see anything anyone else is doing here. Look at this. I mean, I appreciate it, Mamma Mia. One, 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 one. I, I gotta see other things that's going on here. Dagception? Yeah, a little dagception there. A little dagception never hurt nobody. Yeah, buying this game, I remember, it was 2013. It came- I was actually so mad because Japan got this game like a year before we did North America. And then... For, like, a year, I had to, like, watch as people overseas were playing the game, and I didn't have my grubby little hands on it. Imagine if they did that with New Horizons, man. Imagine if they did that with New Horizons. That have been so mean. You change the minimum bits that people can donate? I can, but I don't really want to do that. Because nobody's ever given me a good reason to. Thanks for the hydrate. Yeah, you haven't explained to me, but that's okay. I don't really need to know. I'm good. And thanks for the hydrate again. Hey, Peachster! Yo! Big man! What's up, dude? How you doing? I miss this guy. I miss this guy. Uh... Ah, oh, dude. Wisp, fuck off, dude. I don't... Wisp, leave me alone. Leave! Oh my god, why do I have to do this? I forgot, this is a welcome amiibo thing. Oh, at least I found him pretty quickly. <laughs> at least I found him pretty quickly. Pick up the lamp and take it somewhere quiet, like your house, for example? Uh, no, dude. That's okay, I suppose. It is a bit dodgy to take a strange lamp. Yeah, like, kind of, dude. Kind of. A little bit. Oh, a cicada shell. Well, goddammit. I told you these things are common, though. I told you these things are common. Like, I know how rare they are in New Leaf, and that's why everyone thinks that they're going to be super rare in this game. But no, man, they're common as hell. They're common as hell. So, hopefully that remains true, and I keep seeing them. But either way, still need a net. Can't even catch it yet. This game in 2020 for my birthday in March, right before New Horizons came out, is still a good game. Even if it isn't the most recent, it's still very good. Is dog cam ever gonna be back in stock? I don't know. I don't. I. I can't. I can't predict uh, the ways that the market works. Maybe they will be back in stock. I. I can't control supply and demand. I can't control supply and demand. What's up, Jaw Plays? How are you doing? I don't think I ever caught a cicada shell. Well, hopefully I can get one pretty quickly here. For right now, though, the only thing I need for sure is a centipede. Bomb, 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 bomb. Y'all remember that song, Centipede by Knife Party? Oh my god. I, I don't want to remember. I don't want to remember. Forget I said anything. 
Rice, no, sorry. House Centipede and Warp Roach. Those are the only two things that I absolutely need to get right now. The, well, even the Warp Roach is all year, all day, so I guess I could get it in the next split. But, um, yeah. The counter's at zero? Oh, yeah, right. 74, right? Yeah, no, it's not supposed to be at zero. The rarest fish and bugs worth the least amount. The most common fish and bugs worth the most, since the cicada shell is stupid rare and only sells for 10. It's not a bad video idea. I guess it would essentially be like, what bugs and fish should you catch to make the most money? Because they're common and they're worth a lot, and which ones should you avoid? Maybe. Maybe. You do control the supply? No, I don't control the supply. I, I don't control the supply at all. Would be a rather quick one, if nothing else. I have an idea for a quick video. It, it, it won't be, like, quick... Ooh, yeah, I forgot. It won't be, like, quick, quick, but I do have an idea for a video that won't take me too long. It's just, it's just insane villagers. It's just simply just insane villagers. I am, I'm going to, like, nuke this island as well. I feel bad because I'm nuking this island. See, this is a fruit peel. This isn't like a... Okay, need to work on that. That's just a fruit beetle, though. I don't think it's a stink bug. I think a stink bug looks notably different in this game than a fruit beetle. But, you know, gotta check. The queen is arriving and moving in right next to me. I'm gonna be hearing that next door. Ah. Anka has penis arms? Highly incorrect. I believe you got the wrong villager. I believe you got the wrong villager. Nice shot with that net. Thanks, man. Thanks. I think I'm too used to the hitboxes of New Horizons, which are way too generous. Which is, okay. I mean, you know, I'll get used to it. I'll get used to it. And people do be searching for her? Hmm. Wait, is there something on that? No, just so few pixels, I can't tell. I unironically have that song in my playlist. It is a very good song. It's just a, it's just a good song, man. Like, if you got that song in your playlist, I'm not gonna assume that, like, you have it for devilish purposes. I'm gonna assume that you like that song because it's just a good fucking song. That thing slaps. It's so good. So a wharf roach just spawns on the beach. It's not even on the wharf, really. Let's check the beach real quick here. This almost wanted me to play New Leaf again. Almost. What's stopping you? Pixels or migraine? We shall find out. Are these pixels giving you all a migraine? I hope not, but, you know, it's the sad reality. It's a 3DS game, and I'm blowing it up to a giant screen, so... Yeah, it's not gonna look great, but, you know, it's fine. I unfortunately can't really do a whole lot about it. Unless I emulate it, but I don't know. I feel like that has its own problems with it. The Horf. Yeah, exactly. Still play New Leaf, trying to complete my encyclopedia, but not by time traveling? There you go. That's the fun way of doing it, to be honest. That's the fun way of doing it. Looks a lot better than it did on my DS Lite. On my, on my DS, though, so hey, there you go. There you go. I mean, I guess it does. Ooh, it doesn't look any different, really. It's just it's just blown up. It's the same amount of pixels, though. It's just blown up to a giant screen. Um, all my rocks seem to be at the top. So, all right, interesting. That was a nice looking lamp. Yeah, that's Wisp's lamp. You can scan amiibo cards in this. I guess I could do that. I could do that because I got some amoebies near me, so I could, but I, I don't know exactly what all you need to do before he lets you do that. I definitely think I need to upgrade my house once because I don't think he'll let you put you down in a tent. The house is only 10,000 though, so it's not like it's a big deal. I don't know, should I like keep refreshing this rock maybe since it's so close to the town hall? NGL New Leaf is still fun. So true. So true. Dagnal is the villager in the animation with Anka? Uh, no. I would never be caught dead. <laughs> no. I've actually never seen... I feel like I'm the only Animal Crossing player who's never actually seen the, uh... The not safe for work version of that. So, basically, I still got that going on for me. 
have to go back to work. Have a nice stream. Yo, have a good rest of your day at work shipping Legos. Don't watch it. I don't think, like, I don't think I was planning on it. He comes out in the tent. I kind of restarted yesterday. Oh, does he? But then doesn't he say, like, oh, you need to... I thought he I thought he said that you needed to upgrade. He goofed on you for being poor. What's up, Philo Joe? How are you doing? Oh, yeah, you can sit on rocks. Yet another thing that I didn't bring back in New Horizons. What did I just scare away? Scared. I don't think those games are backwards compatible. Would the 3DS New Leaf game... Hang on. Would the 3DS New Leaf game... I don't see this question. Work on a DS Lite? No, it would not work on a DS Lite. It, a DS game would work on a 3DS, but a 3DS game would not work on a DS, no. So this is just a fruit beetle, right? Yeah, that's not a, that's not a stink bug. That's not a stink bug. Back when the loading screens only took three seconds. Isn't it amazing how the Switch, being the most powerful system that an Animal Crossing game has been on, is also the one with the worst loading screens? That's pretty awesome. Pretty poggers, if you ask me. I miss being able to make baskets out of fruit. Baskets out of... Oh, where you collect fruit and then you can stack it. Well, yeah. I mean, I guess you still have that ability with, like, you know, being able to stack fruits. If anything, the fact that they automatically stack a New Horizons is even better. Yo, Vic in the box. Gonna be logging off soon to play D&D. &D. Yo, have fun with your D&D. &D. Have fun with your D&D. &D. And enjoy. Hey, what's up, monster? How you doing? Still fucking sick, but slowly getting better. Hey, Kristen's slowly getting better as well. I guess it's just that season. You could have put those basket downs in decoration, though. Oh, could you? I mean, there's fruit baskets in New Horizons. You just have to go through an extra step of actually crafting them, I think. But you're right. Yeah, I guess you just need to, like, throw down fruits and you're good, right? People who find villagers hot. Red flag, red flag, red flag. I don't like the whole red flag meme. Like, I don't know. It's such like a... Uh, I, know it's, I know you're probably joking when you do that, but like the whole like... The whole like, oh, this guy did something... Ooh, nice. And I'll get to that in a second. Boop! There we go. Told you. Cicada shells really not that rare in this game. I don't know why they made them so rare in New Horizons. They, they were not that bad. Like person who i'm on a date with like uh uh does something slightly wrong red flag red flag like 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 he doesn't look me in the eyes when i'm having a conversation with him red flag emoji red flag emoji red flag emoji and i'm like bro maybe they just have problems with you know eye contact it's not a red flag emoji I don't know, people are, like, way too quick to, like, say red flags about something. I know you probably mean it as a joke, though, but that always rubbed me the wrong way. But, you know, this is not New Horizons, correct? This is Animal Crossing New Leaf. You need to go to Tortimer's Island for any bugs? Nope, luckily, that's that's one part of this challenge that's actually easier than the fish challenge. Feels good to finally catch a stream. I'm not sure I like this whole working for a living thing. Hope you are well. Well, as my fellow patriots would say, if you don't love it, leave. Except you don't really have the choice to do that. And I assume if most people had the choice to uh, love their job or leave, they would choose to leave their job. It's just not really a financial situation with which they can do so. Thanks for the 15 bucks. That's insane. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. When streamer disagrees with me, red flag emoji, red flag emoji. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just got the Cuphead Geico commercial. I'm very sorry that you just got the Cuphead Geico commercial. I'm I'm very sorry about that. Why? What? Wait, what are you doing? What? What are you doing? Do you have a fucking problem with me? Why can't you just fucking stay still, stay in place, huh? You little dickhead. Get. I don't want to have to do that thing where I go like, and then I like slick it back. No, I'm not doing that. Just don't stay in place, dude. My power being out for two days in a row. I mean, that's a red flag for the energy company for sure. 
I'm grilling hot dogs. A good day. That is a good day. Hell yeah. Snip it? I'm not gonna snip it. I'm not gonna snip it. I it, look, I'll just deal with it. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Greaser? I'm not a greaser, man. I'm not a greaser. I'm a pomader myself. Yeah, they like chow, red flag. Now that's pretty true. Now that's pretty true. Ask Kristen for a bobby pin. I don't think Kristen has bobby pins. Kristen doesn't like... She just wears her hair down. I don't really think she has anything particularly... Outside of like a ponytail band. Gotta love streamers who talk to their hair. I mean, I feel like that's pretty common, honestly. The fact it took me so long to find Dagnal, red flag, so true, so true, so true. Uh, anyway. Yeah, like, you ever, like, go on to, like, these, uh, like, Tinder discussion forums? I got them fucking old. Uh, <laughs> you ever go on to these and they're like, My date. I was on a date. I, 24F, was on a date with my 25M boyfriend, and he was, he, he was taking his mashed potatoes, and he was making little fortresses with it, and then he was taking his carrots and cutting up into little pieces, and making them the people who lived in those little forts. And then, every time I tried to talk to him, he said, Baba Booey, is this a red flag? I'm getting red flag vibes from this. I don't know, that's obviously, like, a dramatic example, but, like, yeah. I don't know, the whole red flag thing is kind of, like, I don't know. That sounds like a great date. To be honest with you, yeah, where's the red flag there? I love mashed potatoes, exactly. Tinder dates, red flag. I mean, I guess that's how some people gotta do it. You know, that's how some people gotta do it. Get out of here. I'm a red flag, I'm skinny, so I blow in the wind, and I dyed my hair red. Oh, well, there you go. A literal red flag. Sounds like asking Reddit MC parkour TikToks. You just said a sentence that I don't think makes sense, man. I think that you just did not say... I think that you just randomly generated a sentence. I, I, I don't know what this means. MC parkour. Is that Minecraft parkour? How is that related to the dating scene? The walking stick is impossible for me to get. Also another bug that they made super rare in New Horizons for no reason whatsoever. Thanks for the hydrate, by the way. That was a very specific example. Yeah, it's was, it was completely off the dome piece. I watched the Reddit MC parkour TikToks as well. You're making up a sentence! These aren't words! These are fake words! Not real! Minecraft parkour TikToks. What, what does this mean? People do like Minecraft parkour custom maps and then they make TikToks out of it? What are you talking about? Interesting. Catums, thanks for the one tier one. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing. Hello. They make TikToks where they're doing a Minecraft parkour map and they read t they read Reddit posts. They have a bot read Reddit posts. This is... Really? Is that like a popular trend? That's so specific. What's up with that? Like, you're not entertaining in your own facet? You need to have like a fucking bot read it for you? A bot is more entertaining than you? Itchy, itchy, itchy. What bug are you looking for? I'm looking for a house centipede and a stink bug. But, um... I'm not having much luck, unless you're considering I'm looking for mosquitoes. Actually, it is more entertaining. I mean, I guess. Text-to-speech Reddit videos are getting more traction that they should. Text-to-speech Reddit videos? Y'all can't read? <laughs> Y'all can't just read the Reddit posts? I don't know, maybe I'm a boomer. Bless you, thank you. Just got to the stream, welcome. Welcome. Do rocks reset automatically, or do you need a time travel to reset them? No, I don't think I need a time travel. I think if I just unload them and reload them, they have a chance of spawning what I need. 
or going into a building and coming back out. Text-to-speech Reddit videos am I recommended all the time. Y'all hear that static? Ooh, that's nasty. Hang on. Ooh! Uh... Now I can't even get it to play at all? Yeah, it's very soft, but it's there. It's pretty loud for me. Pretty loud for me. Hang on. And now it's even worse? How's it even worse? Oh my god. Uh. Ugh. Disconnect the 3DS and hit a rock for fun? No, I don't think it's a capture thing. I mean, hang on. Maybe it is. No, it's not a capture thing. Hmm. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah, like, sounds gross. It sounds like wind. I don't hear it. I only heard it once. It's not too bad, but, like, I don't, I don't like it. And, like... Yeah... Ooh, that's nasty. Um, yeah, the static is funny. And, like, when I left the town hall, it was, like, making some extra funky noises. The game footage looks moldy. That's because it's a 3DS. It's a little-ass screen that I'm blowing up to a whole... I'm blowing up to a whole-ass screen. It's only noticeable when there's no music. It, I mean, it's, I don't know. Maybe your audio levels are different than mine. It's definitely noticeable, though. Um... What if I try just restarting the 3DS, I suppose. Listen to the game through a phonograph. No biggie. Yeah. Yeah. Tell that to the YouTube audience. All right. So save, close, restart the 3DS, I guess. I don't know. That, that sounds bad, man. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna subject nobody to that. Power off. Okay, <laughs> we finally have a reprieve. I'm gonna unplug this. I'm going to... Oh, Jesus. It gives you comments and engagements. I promise I don't value either of those things very, very much. Enough to subject y'all to it. Enough to subject y'all to it. I think it's when you move the cable. I didn't even do anything to prompt you, though. Like, I didn't. Try it again here. Oh, it's back. Ah, that's... It's back and... I don't know if it's worse. It's definitely not good, though. Oh, hang on here. What the fuck? Close. Kit. Cat. Slim. No, it's not something with the capture here trying to connect and now it can't even connect oh i think i know why because i gotta do this all right sorry about the detour but um if i can't get the audio fixed up then um i guess we'll have to just deal with regular background music i don't know we'll have to see there we go and now should be able to do this and then you'll see that okay that's back at least now, <laughs> I think it's telling you to touch grass. Maybe. And then do line in? I don't know. I can't. No. I'm trying to change, like, the hertz. I don't know, man. I do not know. And this is the problem that I had last time I was trying to play. I don't know what I'm meant to be hearing. Everything sounds normal. Just just let me hush up for a second and you can hear it. 
Or alternatively, I can turn it up and then you'll hear it. Now you hear it? I bet you do. So I don't know. No, it's not a fan inside the DS, no. It, it's literally like static, like it's a bad connection between my three and a half millimeter jack and cause like no static there so it's something like something like just a bad connection or something but it's inserted all the way and this is me turning off my volume entirely it's still there so it's like a bad connection I don't know I do not know Uh, try this. No. No different. Alright, well. Gonna have to do no audio and generic background music, I guess. Because I ain't subjecting myself or you guys to that. Is it an ancient cable? Not, not really. It's a pretty, like, normal cable. Maybe it is bad. I'm not gonna eliminate the possibility that the cable could be bad. But, um, I don't know. I, I don't know. It worked fine previously. Now, for some reason, it's not. So, let's pop up some... Yeah. Yeah. We'll give you that instead, even if it doesn't perfectly... Uh, show the game the audio. You'll just have to deal with it. Maybe it's karma for good starters. Not worth it, unfortunately. Not worth it, unfortunately. It's a bop. Hi. Oh, yeah. Stanley, um, notoriously not very smart dog. He actually did something incredibly intelligent yesterday. After dinner, uh, Kristen had some leftover carrots, and we gave them to Stanley, but he couldn't get them all, and so what he did was he, like, tipped, he, like, grabbed the plate with his teeth, he's like, ugh, ugh, and he, like, grabbed the plate with his teeth, and he, like, tipped the carrots towards him. It was an incredible use of, uh, a ground loop isolator, the, like, $10 on Amazon. I've had an audio issue like that once. I don't know, do I play 3DS often enough for me to consider spending 10 bucks? Maybe. Maybe I do. Either way. How you doing, Wilbo? I don't know. It, he was like showing like complex thinking there for a second. I'm like, wow. Look at him go. He's doing it. He's beginning to believe. He's using his goddamn brain. Oh, that was fun. Remarkable intellect from the doggo. It was pretty incredible. More, more levels of intellect than I've seen him normally use. He's a bit of a, he's a bit of a himbo, but that's okay. He's a bit of a, he's a bit of a silly little guy. He gained one brain cell. Yeah, there you go. The one brain cell that he had perfectly hit the corner of his brain like a DVD screensaver, and that's what allowed him to uh, use that intellect in that moment. What age is our little Bork? He's seven. He's going to be turning eight in September. He's going to be turning eight in September. He's a Borky boy. Yeah, he's also Borking out there now. That's okay, though. Smartest doggo of all time. No other opinions. If you witnessed him in his normal state, you would not think that. But that's okay. That's okay. We share the same birth month. There you go. I mean, September's a pretty common one, because isn't September, it's like, you, you, I'm just gonna be honest with you, I don't want to put any bad images into your head, but like, it, it probably means that your parents were doing the hoochie coochie on New Year's as a celebration, so I, I don't want to make you think of that, but I suppose that could be the reason. Same thing with, like, I don't know, when I was a kid, I, I knew a lot of kids who had November birthdays. And Valentine's Day being about the time period where, you know, you might expect them to be doing the hoochie-coochie around then probably means that that explains that. Ringing in the new year, yeah! 
ringing him in. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. My birthday's on Labor Day weekend. I was old enough to think about it, and it ruined my day. Oh, don't let it ruin your day. It's not that big of a deal, surely. I mean, you already knew it would happen. You just try not to acknowledge it too much, right? And you see Nature's getting a direct this week? I think they are doing a direct this week. No, man. I don't think they're doing a direct this week. I, I don't know where you heard that from, but why would they be doing an ACNH Direct about a game that they said that they're not going to be doing any more updates for? Now, do I believe that they're not going to do any more updates? Oh, you want them to do a Direct this week. Is that what you're saying? I mean, yeah, like, I want them to do a Direct this week as well, but do I realistically expect them to do that? No, not really. But... I don't know. I like to have optimism, too. Yeah, I'm not the same- yeah, 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 like, where did we read that they're having a direct? I don't think they're doing another Animal Crossing so soon, no. New Horizons 2, let's go! Instead of approving the original game, let's just make a whole new one! Yeah! Yeah, totally. I mean, I feel like there is some pretty easy things that they could do to New Horizons to justify a big update. Hear me out, okay? I got ideas. I've had, I've, had, I've been st ooh, ooh, a yoink. All right, there you go. So the only thing I still need during this time period is now a wharf roach. So I'm actually really surprised I haven't seen one. They are all day, all year, so I could get them in the next time frame. But I was gonna try to get it now, so I don't have to worry about it later. But I suppose I could move on after this. Yeah, that's a house centipede. They're nasty as hell. Um, if you ever see one in real life, don't. Hey, is that a stink bug now? Wait a minute. Oh. Stink bug? Yeah. Wait a minute. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I have a stink bug down as a maybe right now, along with the cicada shell. And my two maybes that I had during this split actually came before the one that I wanted to get during this split, which is a wharf roach. All right. Well, there you go. I guess now let's just go along our beach. Probably not this one, though, because it's my shorter of my two accessible beaches right now. So let's try to go to the bottom one. I've seen one try to enter my house. Yeah, if, if you ever, like, see one, may I recommend not seeing one? They're pretty disgusting. They're pretty disgust. I mean, they are called house centipedes for a reason. They, they do be kind of living in your basement, so... Ugh, yeah. Because I hate watching their little, little legs move. It freaks me out. That beast is awful. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, it, well, it, well, don't say, don't talk like that about Rizzo. Yeah, but no, I get what you mean. I don't have a basement. Well, there you go. Problem solved. Just don't, you know. Just, just you don't want to hear about the fact that they don't have to be in your basement. But you're good. You good at karaoke? No, I'm not good at karaoke. Not good at karaoke at all. He was going in from the front door. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like... Uh, I don't know. I feel like they're everywhere. Like, are they, like, only in particular parts of the world? I have no idea. All right, here's a little cheese strat. It's hardly, like, a cheese strat, but if I remember that if you save and continue, it essentially refreshes all the shit around you, so... If it would be more worth your time, like if you're looking for like one specific bug in a certain area, this might be the way of doing it. Save and continue, refreshes everything around you, and then maybe that should help a uh, wharf roach to spawn. I remember when I was trying to get a king salmon, which spawns in a very specific location, right where the ocean meets the river. This was a good way of trying to get them to spawn. I was doing the save and continue cheese strats, so I guess let's try it. I don't know if it's faster, though. I saw a house centipede on the wall, and I literally cried. They're disgusting, man. They're pretty gross. I feel like I was talking about something, and now I've lost my train of thought. But that's okay, because we tend to do that anyway. It was like before we saw the house centipede and then the stink bug. And now I don't remember what we were talking about anymore. Oh well, sure it'll come to me. No problem. 
Oh yeah, we were talking about easy things that I could do to change New Horizons. That's right, I remember now. Yeah, I got some ideas brewing. A lot of them are pretty obvious to the general public, but maybe I think that, uh... Maybe... I feel like maybe I got some ideas that might be more obvious. Like, there's the obvious ones, like bulk crafting, better multiplayer, loading screens, but... Some less obvious stuff. One thing that I was really, really hoping that they did in 2.0, that they didn't do, I was very sad about it. Wait, that's just a Skeeter. That's just a Skeeter. One thing I was very... Okay, bridges over cliffs. Yeah, that's 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 one that maybe I wouldn't be too keen on suggesting, but people would love to see that. Yeah. Um, one thing I was really upset that they did not do in 2.0 was add new creatures. New bugs, new fish. I was really sad that they didn't, because I don't want to act like it's easy. But how hard could it be? Compared to some of the shit that they did do, how hard could it be to add like 15, 20 more bugs, 15, 20 more fish, maybe 10 new sea creatures? I don't feel like it's that hard. Especially considering they cut a lot of bugs and fish that they could just simply bring back. Oh, I save and quit. I'm silly. A lot of, like, bugs and fish that they just cut could be brought back. It really don't feel like it would be too, too hard. Cut villagers! I mean, I mean, they did bring back some of those, but I don't know why you wouldn't bring back all of them, you know? They have to animate them for the museum? I think relative to the difficulty of a lot of stuff that is involved in the game design process, don't get me wrong, it's probably pretty difficult, I don't feel like it should honestly be that bad. But I'm also ignorant of the process, so maybe I should just shut my fucking mouth. <clears throat> but I don't know. Anyway, this was all the, like the speculation over the uh, over the uh, oh, there's a direct coming this week. I'm like, I don't think there is. But if there were, this is what I would like to see. But I don't think there will be. So no problems, really. No problems. More custom design slots? Yeah, and they already did that once as well, so they're probably like, Oh, you got enough. We already gave you more. So I don't know if I would expect that, but it would be nice. The more the merrier, if you ask me. Or, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It would be nice, though. Hey. Get, get, get you on over here, little rat. Don't go in the water. Don't! You're a dick! Hi, what? Dickhead. How's he gonna do that to me? Oh yeah, bring back the ability to like make your town hall like zen themed, your train station zen themed. Take it down a couple notches, boy. Now I know I'm giving some pretty Palgers ideas, but let's just relax here. Yeah, like y'all remember back in this game, New Leaf, where you could like... You could, like, make your, after paying off, I think it was after paying off all your debts, you could make, like, or no, it was after getting a perfect town. You could, like, make your town hall zen-themed, modern-themed, fairy tale themed Why didn't they bring that back? That one was, that was such a fun feature. That was such a fun feature. I don't know why they didn't bring that back. In a game that's specifically about designing your island to the ways that you want it to, it kind of seems like something obvious, in my opinion, but... I don't know. What the fuck do I know, I suppose? What the fuck do I know? I'm just an idiot. Animal Crossing game in VR. Well, I don't have a VR headset. That might convince me to get a VR headset, but I don't think that that's coming. I don't think that's coming. Oh yeah, and the multiplayer island. Yeah, that also kind of sucks. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of things that they could add to New Horizons that would be make for a pretty obvious, like, improvement to the game, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know how hard it would be, because, again, I'm ignorant to the game design process. The me mask was creepy. The me mask, look, the me mask, it gets a lot of shit, okay? It was pretty bad. But it gets a lot of shit, man. Come on. The meme mask was innovative. A product of its time. That sh I don't know, man. Nintendo would not be so bold to add the meme mask again. But if they did. If they did. Fox Villagers, yes or no? Sure. I don't see why not. 
Yeah, bring back my man Woolio as well. Doesn't do anything but a multiplayer update, then that'd at least be a huge improvement. Yeah, I don't even play multiplayer a lot to where I would really be too pogged about it, but like, it would be good. It would be good, because it is like very much needed. It is very much needed. What song is playing in the background right now? Animal Crossing GameCube. Animal Crossing GameCube 2 p.m. was that one, and I guess it just turned 3 o'clock in real life, so now it's Animal Crossing 3 o'clock. There you go. How appropriate of a question. They are making a Buzz Lightyear movie. Yeah, isn't that like... Isn't, isn't that like... I have been seeing like stills of the trailer for it. It looks a little weird. Just something incredibly cursed about Buzz Lightyear without the Buzz Lightyear suit on. But that's all I've seen of it so far. On your island, unless you have a sibling or something. I don't see the use of having a second character on your island unless you have a sibling or something. Well, that's exactly the use of it. Now, do they need eight of them? I don't know about eight of them, but I suppose having the option there is nice. But yeah, that's exactly the purpose of it. I don't, I don't see why that would be a. I don't know. I don't, I don't think they should get rid of that. Leclerc and Signs have a voice cameo in the Buzz film. What? Really? Is there, like, a Ferrari segment? That's really cool, actually. It kind of reminds me of those Love, Death, and Robots space episodes. Love, Death, and Robots space episodes? What are you talking about? Yo! Hi, Dagnall. You're completing your museum video is how I found out about you. Thank you! Ciara Stam for the 1,050 bits. Thank you. I appreciate that very much. That is insanely generous of you. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of people found me through that video, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about it. That was probably the video that's taken me the most work. So I'm kind of glad that it did as well as it did on YouTube. You know, I'm very happy that it did as well as it did. I'm just gonna keep going between the two beaches. Maybe that would be a better thing to do. I don't know. These things should not be that rare. I mean, we did see one of them, so we know that they spawned, but my god. Should not be that rare. Thank you, though, CR. That was very, very generous. If you thank you for the 1,050. I appreciate that. Oh, there's another cicada shell. Further proof that they are not that rare. There you go. And they don't scare them away, which is nice. If you bin it like I did. What are bits for? Bits are money money well that can be used for a whole lot of things such as exchanging your money for goods and services or um well that's mostly it or saving you could save your money but that's kind of you're saving it for the use of like goods and services later on really so at the end of the day it's used for goods and services but either way that's what money's for what bug are you looking for the wharf roach and i guess i don't have to get it right now it's all day all year but I was trying to get it during a time where I feel like less bugs would spawn, therefore kind of making it more likely to spawn. So that's why I was trying to get it now as opposed to later, but I suppose I could try at a different time. Yeah, I know they only spawn on the beach, that's why I'm going in between my two beaches. I wish they actually made villagers like Nico the Langer Monkey, that would have been so loved. I don't love them, but that's just me. Saving is for pussies. I burn my money on lattes at Starbucks. That's pretty true. But all I'm saying is that if you're never able to, if you're never able to buy a house, that's why. Okay, Ciara. Thanks for the 510 bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. I appreciate that very much as well. Thank you. Thank you. Not because your boss refuses to pay you more money. No, it's because you keep buying these goddamn Starbucks lattes. That's why you'll never be able to buy a house. I'll stop eating avocado toast now and buy a house next week. It's that simple, really. That's how I did it back in 1947. It's that easy. I can't really remember which video I found you from. Might have been the one flower video, the rarest things, or the monthly things. Well, either way, I, appreci I appreciate that you did find me. Comrade Dagnall, so true. 
Did you have a nice day off yesterday? Uh, it was okay. It's alright. Very up and down day, honestly. Kind of wish villages had bigger size differences. Like, imagine all having their own heights and stuff. I mean, they kind of do. The, sh the, like, the hamsters are, like, half the size of, like, the, 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 the big bears, right? The hydrate? I don't see a hydrate. Oh, yeah, I do. Never mind. Thanks for the hydrate. I thought we were supposed to be building houses out of avocado toast. These fucking millennials, they don't listen. They play their music too loud. They got hearing problems. Was replaced by Freda on the KK Parade album cover for some reason. Did my man's dirty. Wooleo was on... Ooh. Alright, beautiful. That took way too long for a bug that is described as very common. I would challenge that ne that uh, that notion, but uh, either way. Now we're on to August at 12pm for a rice grasshopper, giant cicada, and a tiger beetle. That's all we need. However, I feel like the rice grasshopper might give us some trouble, because that is described as very rare on Nookopedia, I believe, so we'll see. We shall see. If the if the wharf roach gave us a lot of trouble for being very common, I have a feeling that one might give us some big balls as well. They replaced all the old characters in the e-reader cards on New Leaf album covers. Old characters on e-reader cards. There were characters on e-reader cards in New Leaf album covers. So wait, if I go to KK Parade, I'll find Woolio. KK Parade. In New Leaf... Well, this is very tiny. Hang on a minute. Where's Woolio on here? I don't see him. Unless... Oh, this. I still don't see him. Oh, I do see him. I do see him. It's very... Yeah, right there. Right there. I didn't know that they had e-reader cards specifically for KK songs. I didn't know that they had e-reader cards for KK songs. That's incredible. Hey, Dagnall, can you ban me, please? Sure, man. I didn't know that they had e-reader cards for KK songs. Interesting. And they also replaced, uh, who's this guy? That's Penny, right? Yeah, they got Penny out of there. They got... That's Rio back there, I think, but now she's back. I think this is... I don't know who that is. And of course, Woolio, yeah. Well, I didn't know that they had that. Fascinating. Alright, but either way, we should have now 78 bugs, so I gotta bring my counter back up here. 78 bugs. Live banning? I mean, that's the most justified banning I've ever had. Like, I'm just following orders. Based off the cards, mostly, look at the Japanese e-card for KK Corral. Interesting, I didn't know that they were- I, I thought that they came up with them in Animal Crossing New Leaf. Because that was the first game that had album covers when you, like, put it into a stereo. Interesting. I did not know that they had, like, things that they based them off of. Uh, you can keep the same day, and then go to 12 p.m. There we go. Correct. Yeah, I didn't know that. Can't wait to see the video, and considering I haven't really seen other parts apart from halfway through the Dobutsu no Mori E+, bugs. Yeah, Dobutsu no Mori E+, is probably gonna be the most interesting part of this video, considering A, it's a game that probably most people have never seen before, even if it is just Animal Crossing Enhanced. But B... It also has the most bugs throughout all the games that we're going to try to catch bugs in. So, I think that it'll be a very, very interesting part of the video. So, I'm looking forward to editing it and seeing how it comes together. Alright, so during this time, we need a rice grasshopper, a giant cicada, and a tiger beetle. I don't know, the rice grasshopper might be decently difficult, but uh, we shall see. It is described as very rare, so we'll see. 
I spent $600 on a Japanese GameCube, the three Japanese Animal Force games, and some of the e-reader cards, and a reader, just to realize I can't plug that shit in because I'm in an Amer- because I'm in America? You're talking about, like, the outlets, right? Surely there's an adapter. Like, I don't know, I'm not an electrical engineer. I don't know how safe they are to adapt the Japanese plugs to the American ones, but... Ah, maybe there's an adapter. There might be an adapter, but I can't promise anything. I can't promise that it, it, it's safe and it will work, but try to see if maybe there's like an adapter for like Japanese plugs to American plugs, because yeah, they aren't going to be the same, are they? Trying to find an adapter, but so many of them go from American to Japanese. Interesting. I'm like, can that work though if you like tinker around with it? I don't think this is a rice grasshopper. I don't know what it is to be honest with you, but I don't think it's a rice. Hey! Well, now I don't know for sure because he's fucking suiciding himself. They would fit into our outlets, but it's not the same wattage. Yeah, it's like there's there's factors to it that like I'm not an electrical engineer enough to know. But yeah, like different wattage. Yeah, yeah, electrical engineer. I watch Electro Boom, so I basically I know what I'm talking about. Did you actually catch the cicada shell, or did it appear on the tree before you had a net? I actually saw three cicada shells in the very small amount of time that I played in the last split. Just goes to show how common they are compared to New Horizons for whatever reason. I don't know. For some reason, they're like pretty common in this game. I saw three of them in like an hour. And then in New Horizons, you play for an hour, you'd be lucky to even find one. About 3,000 here in the UK. I think it's 2,000 in America. So true. So true. What are you, a giant? Well, I think that was a giant cicada, sadly. I think that was. It didn't look like a brown cicada or a walker or a robust cicada, so I think that was it. Whoopsie. They're not that rare, though. That's not the bug I was worried about. That's not the bug I was worried about. A lot of plugs in America are still two-pronged, like, they don't have the ground. I think if you have, like, an old enough house... Ooh, I think that is it. I think if you have, like, a really old house, yeah, your plugs probably won't have a ground to them, will they? Uh, Glunk? I think that's a giant cicada. No, that's a robust cicada. Well, shit! Alright, I was... Aren't the robust cicadas supposed to be, like, really green? This guy is hardly very green. Yeah. Did you end up getting Tarantula in Wild World? I did. I got the Tarantula and the Scorpion very, very quickly. Like, after spending an hour with nothing. Or, well, actually, over an hour. It was like an hour and a half of completely leveling my town, taking away the ability for most things to spawn. I just found the Scorpion and Tarantula after, like, 15 minutes. When the day previous, it took me, like, an hour and a half, and I didn't see anything. So, it's pretty lucky of me. Pretty lucky. Okay, brown cicada, probably another robust cicada. I don't know, he doesn't look very green, so maybe not. Oh, no, that is a giant cicada. Damn, he doesn't even look that much bigger. How are you gonna call this thing giant? It looks the same size. Well, either way. Giant cicada, now just a rice grasshopper and a tiger beetle, not tiger butterfly. That'd be nice. That would be nice. Man's is kind of tiny? Yeah, my man's, I think, is projecting a little bit. I, I feel like he's he's calling himself the giant cicada because he wants to feel like Billy Big Britches. In reality, he's William Small Britches. Not that good at all. He's a grower, not a shower, perhaps. Perhaps he's a grower, not a shower. That's pretty true. Which, never mind. Not touching that. Hey, that's a long locust. Not worried. Not worried about it. How many more bugs left? In New Leaf? Uh, two. We are... Like, I gotta be honest with you, chat. I don't have a plan for New Horizons. Like, I don't know... I, I, I didn't... I didn't... I didn't route New Horizons yet, so... I don't really know, uh... <laughs> I don't really have a plan for New Horizons once I finish up New Leaf here. And I think this is a rice grasshopper, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Wow. Um, so I have one more bug left in New Horizons. Or, sorry, New Leaf. And I don't have a plan once I'm done with New Leaf. Like, I don't have a, I don't have New Horizons routed out yet. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. 
All right, well, that was the one that I was thinking would give me big balls, if anything. Not the tiger beetle, but, uh, shoosh. All right. Yo, what's up, Fonz? How you doing, man? Pause and play GeoGuessr? I'm not, I'm not against that idea. I'm not against that idea at all, to be quite honest with you. Who's Sylvia? The purple kangaroo. We all live in a purple kangaroo. Yeah, she's pretty good. She was my starter in my first New Horizons island, so I have a soft spot for her. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah, I might do some Geo. Might do some Geo. Or some Switch Sports, or I don't know. Alright, okay. feel like that was a good swing, honestly. felt like that was a good swing. Not what I needed, to be clear, but thought it was a good swing. What bugs left now in New Horizons? Or, sorry, New Leaf, again. Uh, it is the... Tiger beetle, the jumping beetle, the one that, the one that you like approach and it like bazingas away at a million miles an hour. She was same. She was my starter. Yeah, my starters were Sylvia and Flip. So I have a soft spot for them, despite being pretty like unopinionated on both of them before I started my island. I think you gotta have a little bit of like, uh... No, I feel like I have a soft spot for your your starting villagers, unless one of them was Diva, in which case you do not need a soft spot at all. You're valid. Sylvia and Billy. Well, Billy's nice. I like Billy. I liked him even even if he wasn't my starter. Kangaroo was Kit, and I loved her to bits. Yeah, Kit's pretty good. Honestly, like there's some good kangaroos, like Carrie and Kit, and I like Matilda as well. But nobody be really talking about them villagers. Nobody be talking about them. Eh. For my first two villagers, Rocket and Boots. Okay, well, I, I don't know how much sympathy I would have with Rocket, but Boots is pretty good. And then Matilda, who just told me to move away. Matilda just told you to move away? Ooh. Hmm. I love Boots. Boots is... I don't know, kind of, kind of a clown ass. Like the second most clown-ish villager in the game, statistically. That's just raw stats. If you don't like raw stats, then, I mean, I don't know, man. That's just how it is. Hi. Stanley brought me his lamb chop. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at him. Hey, bring me your lamb chop. I can't. I can't. Hey, look at him. That, there's his lamb chop right there. Stanley, hey, thank you for bringing that to me. Thank you. It's very nice of you. Hey, he frozen? He ain't, he, he, he's just, you're right. Just chilling, I guess. Stanley. Stanley, do you wanna... Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you wanna... Nah, man, he's stoic right now. He's, uh, he's not having it. He is not having it. It's fair enough. Maybe just, you know, he's just in a relaxed mood today. Aren't we all? Aren't we all? It's Tuesday. Such an old man name, love it. Wait, no, it's Monday. What is it? It's Thursday. Yeah, my day off yesterday was Wednesday. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday. Yeah. I like your rug. It's nice. Thanks. I don't like it myself, but I'm glad that somebody likes it. Um, anyway. Yeah. Are we all a little chill today? Is that an old man name? I don't think so. I think Stanley's like a very all-age name. Hey, another rice. And that's a very all-age name, to be quite honest with you. I feel like you can find a, a three-year-old named Stan or Stanley, and I feel like you could find a 300-year-old named Stan or Stanley. I feel like it, at least. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But I feel like it's kind of one of those names that transcends time, you know? Kind of like my name, Daniel. You find freaking 90-year-olds named Daniel, you can find 9-year-olds named Daniel. I may be getting Pokemon Violet and Scarlet. Oh, yeah! Uh, what are people's opinions on that? What are people's opinions on uh, Violet and Scarlet after the trailer came out? I didn't watch it, so because I'm not into Pokemon anymore. I got despite like not having finished the Pokemon game since like Pokemon X in 
2013, I'm gonna guess that that came out. Um... I still have bought most Pokemon games since then because I'm a sucker and every Pokemon game I hold out the hope that it's actually going to be one that I enjoy and want to complete and every time since Pokemon X I have been proven wrong. So I think I'm going to finally break the cycle with Violet and Scarlet and not buy it. But, and, and the trailer didn't convince me too. Like the trailer didn't show me anything that would make me want to buy it. So I think I'm going to stand by that until people are like oh yeah it's actually good if people are ever like that kind of a gamble i don't think i've finished the game since yella well you got me beat there that's been a while <laughs> been a while on that one x was good man i think it's generally not well liked but i really liked x man i really liked x don't know why just stuck with me they stopped milking the title and make a good game yeah, because, like, I don't feel like Sword and Shield came out that long ago. But I suppose they could have innovated the series in the few years in between Pokemon X and Y... Sorry, Pokemon Sword and Shield and Violet and Scarlet. But the fact that they kind of dropped Violet and Scarlet when nobody was really expecting a new Pokemon game kind of tells me that they're just looking to get one out there, you know? Because, I don't know, one reason or another, they gotta... They got, a uh, there's bucks to be made. You know what, I really should be getting rid of these, shouldn't I? Arceus feels not too long either. See, Arceus at least innovated. I don't know, I didn't finish Arceus because I think I'm just too far gone to enjoy a Pokemon game anymore. But it, it, from what it seemed like to me, Arceus innovated. Arceus was like the biggest leap I've seen a Pokemon game take in like, years. So I don't know. I don't know. It seems like Arceus should have been, like, the mainline game, and then Violet and Scarlet should have been, like, the secondary one. I don't know. I loved Arceus. It seems like so many people loved Arceus, and I mean, like, it's bold. It tries new things, you know? It may not sit right with everybody, but you can't say that they didn't at least try something different, you know? Yeah, Tiger Beetles just spawn on the ground, but I'm not seeing anything. Kind of weird. They're not that rare. I loved Sword and Shield. It's not universally hated, for sure, but, uh, I, I don't know. I just feel like it was just dull. I don't know. I just didn't like it myself, but that's just me. That's just me. Make a new Mystery Dungeon game instead of remaking the old ones? I never played any of the Mystery Dungeons, to be honest with you. They're taking points from PLA for the new games. I don't know what PLA is. Stuck on the last boss battle in Arceus. It felt like Arceus, like, in my time playing it, I only actually battled one person. It seems like, and this seems to be a trend that a lot of Pokemon games are following, it seems like they're more about catching them all rather than they are actually about battling. This is a resilient fucking flower, dude. What the fuck? There we go. It seems like they're more about collecting than they are battling. And... A lot of people might like that. I don't. I think I'm I'm more of like a battler, dude. I think I like battling more than I like collecting. And when a game more prioritizes collecting than battling, I think that's kind of when I start to get a little bit, you know, like disinterested, you know? And you don't like battling, so you enjoy that. Right. Hey, Daisy. Thanks for the six months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You like both? Well, there you go. Best of both worlds, bestie. But still, I enjoy assembling, like, a good team and, like, grinding up the Pokemon and exploring. I feel like the exploration's kind of been lacking in the last couple of games as well. I really feel like, I don't know, I have not really... For as little as I explored in Sword and Shield, nothing blew me away. One thing that I really, really, really did not like in Sword and Shield was within, like, an hour of playing, they hit you with that wild area. Do y'all remember the wild area? The, the giant open field where, like, it seems like 100, 200 different Pokemon spawn. They hit you with that like, an hour into the game. That was so overwhelming. Like, that was way too much for me, man. 
Like, aren't you supposed to be, like, drip-fed little by little Pokemon? And then as the game goes on, then you have access to build more and more of an expanded roster of Pokemon? But, in damn, in Sword and Shield, they hit you with that damn wild area within, like, an hour? And I was like, damn, dude. Like, man, that's a fucking, that's a lot to handle. I don't know, I didn't like it. It lived up to its name? Like, it was wild at what cost? My god. It's, ugh, man, I, I don't know. Personally, I didn't love that very much. I can't go to Tortimer's Island yet, can I? I'd have to pay off the first loan. I, re I remember a lot of... Um, I don't know. I remember a lot of... Uh, tiger Beetle spawning over there. If, I'm, if I could unlock that, then I suppose I could... Probably get a Tiger Beetle pretty quickly, but I also have to spend a lot of time actually unlocking that island, so I don't know. The ending was literally a drawn comic? Wait, was it? I never got to the ending. And mostly, so it's basically Stanley's Instagram? It is basically Stanley's Instagram. My life is not interesting enough to actually make, make that about my Instagram. I don't even use Instagram. Kristen runs the damn Instagram. Hey, what's up, Sad Jess? How are you doing? Only 13 bugs left. Yeah. Yeah, and it's all open world now, because in the wise words of Dunkey on YouTube, if your game isn't an open world game, it is not a video game. And that's, to, to that I say, so true, bestie. So true. Yeah, if your game, like, it, it just needs to be an open world. Even if you can't, like, make a good open world, if it's an open world game, then good job, you made a video game. If your game is not open world, though, sorry, pal. It could be as good as it wants. That's not a video game. How do I find mosquitoes in New Horizons? They're all over the place past, like, I think 5 p.m. I hate Instagram. Me too, bestie. Me too. I think I just wanted to try a new thing with the wild area. Didn't work in Sword and Shield, but, like, working in PLA... But it's working in PLA. I don't know what PLA is. They're doing it again in Scarlet, Scarlet and Violet. What's PLA? I don't understand. I deleted Instagram as the best decision of my life. Hell yeah. Now TikTok. Oh, Legends RCS. Sorry, I'm an idiot. It works super well in PLA. When do you get the wild area in Legends Arceus? Because I played that game for a few hours and I don't think I hit a wild area. So, if it comes at, like, a point where, if it comes at, like, a point where, like, you're already pretty well established and it's not, like, super overwhelming because you just get hit with it right at the beginning, then that's fine. Because every Pokemon game has had a wild area, that being either the Safari Zone or, like, an actual wild area. But usually, like, the Safari Zones and the wild areas of old were all at the end of the game. Either before you get to the victory road, or when you are, like, actually done with the with the champion battle. I don't know. So I feel like at that point, like, you kind of have that freedom to get whatever, po assemble whatever team you want, you know? I don't know. It was a couple hours in. Bro, I played that game for a couple of hours. I wasn't even out of the damn tutorial. Maybe I'm just slow, though. I don't know. Crafting was in PLA. Yeah, also uh, another true fact that's very true, that's pretty true. If your game does not have crafting anymore, is not a video game. Now that one, I don't think Video Game Donkey said that one. We can call that a registered Dagnal trademark. But yeah, if your game doesn't have crafting, is not a video game. Every game needs to have crafting and every, every game needs to be an open world crafting game. Otherwise, it's not a video game. Crafting is an actual garbage in AC&H, though. I think AC&H is an example of one of the games that got crafting pretty pretty good, actually. I hate how much it's emphasized, but I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's bad. I just think that, like, me not really being too into designing, New Horizons kind of missed the mark as to what I enjoy in an AC&H game, but I don't think that the actual crafting is bad. Yeah, you can't bulk craft, which is a big L, but still... Yeah, like bulk. I feel like every game that has crafting also included bulk crafting, but I don't know. <laughs> I feel like that was uh, maybe I'm asking for too much, man. I don't know. Crafting in Stardew. I'm not huge about crafting in Stardew, but then again, it's not like super emphasized, you know. 
Like, at least it's, like, so simple. You just click a button and you've crafted it, right? I don't know. It's not heavily emphasized in Stardew for you to craft. So, hey, another cicada shell. Look at that. Whoop! Sorry, pal. <laughs> it's not super emphasized in Stardew, which is what I like. I don't hate the crafting, but I also don't love it. I don't really have to think about it because I don't do it all that much, you know? Yeah, essentially, if the game isn't a Minecraft skin, it's not a video game. So true. All games become Minecraft now. I mean, the level of alteration that Minecraft did to the video games industry is undeniable. No, of course not all games need to be Minecraft. This is a facetious level 100 here, but uh, the impact that Minecraft has made to video games is, is just absolutely insane. Like, just imagine a world of video games where Minecraft didn't come out. I would be willing to bet a lot of money that things would be a hell of a lot different, you know? A lot of games just wouldn't exist, and then those games wouldn't influence games, and then those games that they influence wouldn't influence games, and oh my god, it's this whole cycle. I just call an arowana very pog. That is very pog, hell yeah. Just made it, what did I miss? I only got one bug left, and I can't get it to spawn, it's the dang tiger beetle. Just the dang tiger beetle. Do you stream Stardew? I did. I'm a little burnt out of Stardew at the moment, so I'm not going to stream it again anytime soon. But, uh, yeah, I've streamed Stardew before. I've streamed Stardew before. I started with Omega Ru. Omega Ruby. Woo! There's no Minecraft. I would make Minecraft and name it Craft Mine. Why would you name it Craft Mine? It's not like Minecraft's a trademark. You just name it Minecraft. You know what? Like, I, I've talked about this before. But, like, if there was a time where people could go, where, like, if you could go back to a time in the world with the current amount of knowledge that you have, where would you go and what would you do? A lot of people would be like, I would go back to 1990 and I would invest in Apple. And that's all well and good. I would go back to May of 2009 with my current knowledge of the, of the success of Minecraft and I would make Minecraft Let's Plays. I would make Minecraft Let's Plays. I would literally be the first one to make Minecraft Let's Plays. And I would be a multi-millionaire. Like, I think that I could easily become, like, a Omega-sized YouTuber if I had just jumped on, been one of the first to jump on Minecraft back in, like, May of 2009. Not even that early, but, like, if you found Minecraft and you had... It, if you were a gaming YouTuber and you found Minecraft in 2009 before it became mainstream, you're probably a millionaire, dude. You're probably a millionaire. I was gonna say, you're pro you probably own like a house in the Hollywood Hills, you know? You made Minecraft videos, you just suck. Yeah, but I didn't make them early. And also, I was like a prepubescent teenager when when Minecraft came out, so unfortunately nobody wanted to listen to me. But if I was my current age, current status, current equipment, current everything, and it was May 2009, oh, forget it, buddy. It'd be over for y'all. It'd be over for y'all. I would've been multi-million. I'd forget all of you. I'd say, get the fuck out of here. Isn't that how PewDiePie started as a Minecrafter? I don't think PewDiePie really played much Minecraft, not, at least not until later, right? I don't know. So true, bestie. I know. So true. No, I don't think PewDiePie really jumped on the Minecraft plane. I think he, I think he started with, like, amnesia. Like, horror games. Did he start with Minecraft? Alright, Kristen, the PewDiePie expert between the two of us, said that he started with Minecraft. So I guess I'm wrong. Tries to run away from Reese in New Leaf. Try not to get caught by her. Reese? When is Reese ever... Started with Call of Duty, and then went to Minecraft. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. W what a transition. What a transition there. The evolution of PewDiePie. Wishing you all the bug luck? Thank you, Suzu. I appreciate that. I just need the tiger beetle at this point. I missed some flowers, I guess. Yeah, everyone went from, like, Call of Duty to Minecraft back in the day, dude. Everybody did that. That was the common trajectory for a gaming YouTuber back in the day. I'd never watched a PewDiePie video. I never was into PewDiePie. I I, mean, I feel like I've watched videos, because how could you not have, right? 
seems pretty hard to eight avoid. Crack attack. Now. Eight months of swag. Well, thank you so much for the eight months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I don't like. I don't like PewDiePie. I mean, I never really liked him. I guess he's kind of like. I don't know. He's like a staple of YouTube now. I don't know. I feel like you either love him or you hate him. I don't, well, I guess not really, because I don't really fall on either of those, but either way, how did that miss? He's not the hyper fella he was back then. I mean, I feel like that's how a lot of gaming YouTubers have evolved, right? Back in the days, everyone was like the, oh my god, like super reactive gaming YouTubers, where they like literally had to scream or otherwise nobody would watch them. And I think a lot of them have mellowed out over the time, you know? I think a lot of them have mellowed out. So many goddamn ads tonight. I'm sorry, man. I, I can't do anything about it. I can't do anything freaking about it. I wish I could. I can't. How did that catch? Yeah, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye. I think a lot of those YouTubers that were notoriously screamy back in the days have mellowed out. I think part of it is that, like, their audience grew up and they stopped, like, laughing at people screaming when the slightest thing happened. But, you know... That's fine. I suppose there's entertainment value in that. I grew up on Tan Dan TDM and Stampy. Yeah, like, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I've heard of them. I was around for those eras as well. Hello, Dagnall. It's the person who asked you how big of a forehead you have from last stream. Yo, what's up, man? How you doing? I never really liked Markiplier. I never really liked him either, but I don't hate him. I think he's fine. Seems like all around a good dude. Markiplier is often uh, pointed at when it comes to like YouTuber examples of YouTubers who never turned into like shitty people. <laughs> you know how so many YouTubers like turned into like revealed. It was revealed later on after their popularity of how like shitty of a person they were. I like how a lot of people point to Markiplier as like one of them that was like, oh. Finally, a YouTuber who didn't turn into an asshole, you know? And I'm like, that's good, but, like, man, are we really praising, like, people being, like, normal? I don't know. I don't know. They mail it out because they came jaded by life? No, I don't think that they were jaded by life, man. They're rich, all right? I don't think that they're that jaded by it. What's up with that? Didn't people ship Mark with Japsec Jacksepticeye? Maybe, man. I have no idea. Maybe they did. Yas Queen. He's one of the good... Yay! He's not, like, excessively perverted and he doesn't beat his... Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. I'm like, man, is that the standard of being, like, an angel YouTuber? Kind of sad, isn't it? Kind of sad. Never followed any of the big name streamers slash creators. Couldn't tell you how most of them are. That's probably fair because, like, obsessing about celebrities is always kind of weird, to be honest with you. What insect has taken the longest so far? Across the entire game? Um, the Hercules Beetle and the Queen Alexandra's Birdwing in Animal Forest E+, probably. Scorpion and Tarantula took me a while in Wild World as well. Yeah, 10,000 bells. Let's do it. No, no, that's fine. You needn't worry about giving me a single bell at this point. Except I'm going to do that. I'm going to do all of that right now, man. Thoughts on Ryan Higa? Uh, he was like one of the OG YouTubers, right? I guess you gotta respect an OG like that. And he also seems like a good person, I guess. So, cool. Good luck with the flea. Already got the flea, man. Already got the flea. I think you might be a little confused because you might be thinking that I'm catching every bug in every game. In reality, I'm catching all the different unique bugs across all the entire games. So the flea debuted in Dobutsu no Mori E Plus for the GameCube, and back then, it wasn't that bad. So I managed to get it pretty easily. So I don't need to worry about the flea ever again now. Uh, give me a green root, please. Dang, easy flea. Hold it! Oh my god, give me the damn green roof, man. Yes. Yeah, we're good. I've only heard of Ryan Higa from watching Sukuno. I have never heard of them before. 
What version is this? It isn't City Folk. This is Animal Crossing New Leaf for the 3DS. This is the uh, second to latest version of Animal Crossing, at least a mainline game. All right, I mean, I guess, like, fucking saving quit trying to unlock the freaking island i mean i didn't really have a anticipate having to go to the island to get the tiger beetle but like this is getting a little silly how long this is taking to get a tiger beetle shouldn't be that rare although maybe i should pull up the uh let me pull up the nook of no nookopedia just to make sure it's march to october and during march to september it's 8 a.m to 7 p.m so we're we're right there it's all year on Tortimer Island, to be expected, but... Uh, okay. I mean, I don't know. I don't feel like they should be that rare. How long Wilbo spent looking for a flea? I have. I've been tuning into those streams. Is he still not got it? I, like, he, he finished off yesterday's stream without it. Is he streaming right now? And did he get it yet? Because last time I saw, he still hadn't got it. Last time I saw. Perfect. Meet three bowls of cereal. Alright, what cereal? He hasn't gotten it yet. I didn't think so. so. He's streaming right now. How long to get every villager to live on your island without amiibo? That would just be ridiculous. That's, I don't know, that's a little silly. I've thought about doing the one... Somebody, somebody suggested one that I thought was kind of a good idea. And it was, um, taking, a, finding every villager in the game. And then, like, taking a picture with them. Wait, where's my Tortimer? Where's my mans? And then, like, taking a picture with them. So, like, as a way of saying that, a way of, like, showing that you found them. I thought that was a good idea, but getting them all to move in? who, mamma mia. I don't think I'm gonna do that, to be quite honest with you. That seems like a little bit much. Seems like a little bit much for me. I think I suggested that. Yeah, I think a few people have suggested that. And it's it's a good idea, but it is... I don't know. That, that's kind of like one of those ones where I run out of ideas. I'll, I'll maybe resort to that. But uh, before that, I think I'm gonna chill on that one. That one will take a while. How long to have every villager but not catch an amoeba? Is that what we're doing? Huh? No, we're trying to catch a tiger beetle, man. I'm villager hunting and I got dizzy. Do I pass him up? I already have two lazy villagers on my island. I don't know, man. That's tough to say. I've had three of the same personalities before. That's probably like my upper limit for the amount that I would have, but still. Shoot every villager in the game challenge? That's awesome, man. Imagine guns in Animal Crossing. That's so epic, dude. That's so epic. I just took dizzy ten minutes ago. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. I don't blame you. Thanks, man. I hope you... Never mind. My bad. Alright. It's a different story when you have two peppies. I don't know. I feel like they're all annoying enough to not want to have multiple of them. Unfortunately, there's only eight different types, so you're gonna have to have doubles of at least two of them, so... Unfortunate. Hunting for Opal and Dizzy, and or Dizzy, and I found Dizzy. Well, there you go. This is a stinky boy. Find all cat villagers and take a picture with them. Like, I don't know. At that point, I might as well just do all the villagers. I don't know. I feel like cat villagers being the most... Uh, like, having the most species of all of them. I feel like... I don't know. You might as well do all of them at that point, you know? I don't know, though. I don't know why you do, like, one specific species instead of just doing them all at that point. But I don't know. I don't know. So shouldn't I get Tortimer, like... Shouldn't I get Tortimer now that I've paid off my house? Or maybe I have to have my house built and then I get the Tortimer cutscene? Do you think Raymond is overrated? A little bit. Modded slingshot, able to shoot the villagers? That'd be pretty funny. I also have two dogs and two squirrels on my island. I used to have two horses. Hey, there you go. Hopefully different personalities. Having enough of the same species is fine as long as they're not all the same personality. Yeah, four jocks is pretty bad. That's pretty unbearable. That's pretty unbearable for sure. Poppy Marshall, Kid Cat Bob. Well, there you go. Good mix. Good mix. This guy, Fox. Who, Fox? Let's begin. 
I only had three of a personality with jocks. Big mistake. Yeah, some personalities are worse than others as far as having too many of the same type. Fireworks tonight and Tortimer, right? Where's my man? Where's my man? Show me my man. Where's... I thought I should... Did I get Tortimer and I'm just stupid? Like, I missed him and he's just sitting down here? Am I dumb? Where is my man's at? Like, I didn't get that Tortimer cutscene, right? You, my man's. No, he ain't here. Do you have to pay off your second loan? Huh? I thought it was just your first, your 10,000. Maybe? Shouldn't Tornimer show once Isabel loaded the game? Yeah, like, and you skip the day ahead. And... Yeah. Yeah, I think if you skip a day ahead after you paid off your first loan, he should show up and then it'll appear on the thing. It's two? Aw, oh, fudge. I thought it was just the first loan. What? Alright, well, I guess I'm stupid. But the second loan's like, what, 40-something thousand? That's not bad. That's not that bad, right? You have to pay the second one? Oh, fudge. Except I didn't say fudge. Please. I have three peppies. They're so annoying. It's almost like all the personalities are pretty bad. <laughs> They're all pretty bad. There's not, like, a good personality in AC and H. There's just some that are a little bit more tolerable than others. Help me. 39,800. Okay, well, I mean, that's not bad. I got how much right now? I got 900. All right, good start, boys. Um, Or maybe I'll just find the tiger beetle naturally without having to go to the island. That would be nice, but at this point, I kind of wish it would just spawn so that I don't have to worry about the island. Be pretty nice. Can they spawn on the beach? I feel like I faintly remember them spawning on the beach in this game. But maybe I'm wrong about that. I've, I could very well be wrong. Getting in the water. Get out of here. Scoop! Scat! There you go. The bell rock? I could get the bell rock as well. Yeah. I'm kind of like... I don't know. I kind of just want to get it here instead of having to worry about the island. I don't know. It's getting a little ridiculous. Pretty sure they spawn on the beaches here because I remember that as well. Okay. So I'm not crazy. Or maybe I am. Man, we're both crazy. Could be. What's up, Riz? How you doing? I do my hair toss. Check my nails. Uh, I think that's a walking leaf, man. Uh, I think that's a walking leaf. I think that's a whoop. Too bad no bug equivalent of fish bait. I mean, that kind of makes sense. What would be the bug equivalent of fish bait? Like, what would you do? Like like smear honey on yourself and like attract like i don't know i get i mean maybe like like a honey pot or something like uh something like that actually might make kind of sense but i guess it wouldn't really make sense for like i don't know i don't think all bugs are attracted to like excessive amounts of sugar so maybe maybe not yeah, honey, and then you can make honey with, like, beehives, and then, and then, okay, okay, well, it's kind of like, a, it's kind of not a bad idea, though. In Pocket Camp, it's honey. Oh, okay, well, there you go. I never, I never played much Pocket Camp. Pheromones? Yeah, maybe pheromones. Yeah, if you could, like, bottle up some pheromones, that'd be good. You could do that. I guess it's, you can just pop a pill in the Binding of Isaac. There's a honey pot in pocket camp. Fascinating. I I just guessed honey, but I guess it does make sense. There's a log, you fill it with honey in pocket camp. Interesting, okay. I mean, sure then, I suppose that wouldn't be a bad idea for New Horizons. But of course, this game didn't even have fish bait, so if we're looking to do that in New Leaf, then forget it, because they stopped updating this game, like, almost 10 years ago, so. And by almost 10 years ago, actually, now that I think about it, this game wasn't even out 10 years ago, so forget what I just said. A ridiculous amount of unique bugs? Yeah, because weren't all of them, or not all of them, but weren't a lot of them, like, um... Like, seasonal ones? Ones that can only spawn during, like, certain events or something like that? So, and, and okay, if it's like fish... If it's like fish... No, it hasn't been that long. I was, I was exaggerating a little bit. A little bit. 
If it's like fish, is is it where like some fish are like taken and recolored to where they're like instead of the instead of the sea bass, get this exclusive pink sea bass only available during this time. So where it's like, yes, there's a lot of fish, but a lot of the unique fish are just recolored sprites of just the existing fish, and they're labeled as, like, new. I don't know. Who is the other villager about to move in? I did not check. At least that's what it looked like for fish. That's what it looked like for fish when I was, like, going over all the different kinds of fish in the series. I was like... There's only 93 in the mainline games, but if you want to count Pocket Camp, there's like a million that they introduced as like a seasonal or event exclusive that are just like recolors of existing fish. Like, come get the green jellyfish. Like, no, I don't think I'm going to do that, man. I don't really want to play Pocket Camp, to be quite honest with you. Have you ever made any Pocket Camp videos? No, I don't like Pocket Camp. There's sea bunnies in Pocket Camp. That's kind of cute. Sea bunnies are pretty cute. I would never touch one, but they're pretty cute. Get this fish by buying the new special edition pack for four ninety nine. dollars Yeah, I feel like me doing all fish and all bugs, including Pocket Camp, would actually cost me, like, real-life money, which I would not be too pogged about spending. So... Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I don't think I'm gonna do that. There's bloopers? Oh, like Mario bloopers? Interesting. Favorite fish or bug in Animal Crossing? I have a very soft spot for barred knife jaws. Damn it. I have a very soft spot for barred knife jaws. I just really like the way that they look, like the black and white stripes. And not to mention, for being like a fish that's pretty, pretty, uh, common, it's also worth a decent amount of money as well. And I don't know, like whenever I caught one as a kid, it would just be like instant serotonin injected into my fucking obese head same with red snappers as well but less or so because while they're pretty they're worth a little bit less i don't know i just really loved catching barred knife jaws and red snappers as a kid i got a soft spot for bugs i don't know favorite bug mm, kind of a tougher one don't really have a soft spot for many bugs Sea bass would be worth 10k bells. Should be worth 10k bells. Isn't it like in real life, sea bass are super rare? Like sea bass are not accurately represented in rarity in real life versus in the game. Like sea bass, I'm pretty sure are like a delicacy in real life because they're not that common. But in this game, they're like, yeah, they're all over the damn place. So maybe they should be. Maybe they should be worth that much. Oh yeah, I liked Ocean Sunfish as a kid as well, because like, it was like baby's first shark. I wasn't, I wasn't good enough to actually catch sharks, but I caught a damn lot of Ocean Sunfish. And Dorados as well, I really like Dorados. Sup bitches, I'm here. What's up Laney, how are you doing? Welcome. The Blue Marlin? Blue Marlin's good as well, yeah. I mean, I don't know, I have more soft spot for like... Catching rare fish than I did rare bugs. I think something about, like, of course, you don't know what fish you're going to get, more than likely, before you catch it. As opposed to a bug, where you kind of know what you're going to get before you get it. So that fish always had that little extra surprise to it. Oh! It's alright. We are yeeting this island into the stratosphere after we're done with this, so... If it brings you any comfort... Um, brings you any comfort, we will not, Rodney will not see the light of day for too long, okay? Rodney won't see the light of day for too long. Now, that does come at the cost of Anka, Flurry, Kid Cat, Alfonso, but look, that's fine. I think that's a fair trade-off. The PAL version of City Folk is called Let's Go to the City? Yeah, I think in, it was only in North America that I think it was called City Folk, right? I love Rodney. Interesting opinion. I don't know how well that'll sit with the, you know, in the in the court of uh, public opinion. But I guess you're entitled. You're you're kind of girl boss, and I suppose. Finished my museum fish yesterday. Only one bug and sea creature to go. Which bug? Which sea creature? Not that I could help you, but mostly just curious. 
Kid Cat, Bob, Tutu, Poppy, Marshall, Claude, Billy, Lily, Willow, June. I love them all. They are all pretty good. Pretty good villager lineup right there. Wait a minute. Yeah, I thought I saw it out of the corner of my eye. I, that was very bold of me right there. If I didn't catch it on that swing, I don't think I would have got it. I don't think I would have got it because I think I would have scared it away. Whew. All right. That's it. That's everything in New Leaf. Oh my god, why did that take so long? It took like an hour just on that one alone. Didn't think that that would be the one giving me trouble. Alright, well now for sure Rodney will never see the light of day, because, uh... Well, I think, I think we're done. Like, I don't have New Horizons planned out right now, so... Because I, I really didn't expect to get to New Horizons today, so... I am kind of... Now I'm like, what do I do?